little excited with that. You know, a little bit of adrenaline. Yeah, and he knows. And your Dallas Open champion is Evan Gostet, the guy that did not lose today. I mean, that's unbelievable. Evan Gossett was able to stop Andy Haas's reign of terror, but could he go back to back and win player of the year? Here we are on the first hole and Andy's got a very makeable chip as he puts it in there. So here's a, here's a very makeable hole out. Just like I called it, a pretty easy look. That was a great chip there by Evan. I think he just got one back. Go back and look at, at him in Florida. It could be, oh, oh my gosh. See? He's really going after this, this one. one. <laughs> Green sloping with the wind. He's going, he's going naked on it. Let's see if that. Uh, now it's watered. Yeah. Oh, is that, that wow. might cost him. He actually hit the machine. $500 fine. All right, so what's Andy do here now? He's up to, uh, he'll just or he's, up, he's up more than two probably, right? Yeah. He'll just put it right in the middle, and then that's it. Then he will be the player of the year. Andy Haas wins Top Gun for the second time. With a bounce back win in December to take the title of player of the year, 2022 was dominated by Andy Haas. But a new year is upon us, and so is the start of the 2023 National Golden Tee Tour. The first stop is coming up in Orlando, Florida. Who will start this year off with a bang? Will Gossett or Haas take another W or will somebody else step up to the plate? It's anybody's game. Good morning, everybody. Good morning. How's it going? Art, thank you here. Kevin Lindsay, Art DeVry, kicking things off early on a Sunday morning, the women's only tournament. We are going to take a look at Johanna Cruz, Christina Guffey, uh, Elsa Boyd, and Crystal Huffins also playing on the other stream machine. And uh, we'll bounce around as we can, but go, go to Golden Tee Fan on Facebook. Steve Sobel from Power Events posting that bracket. We'll share it in the chat here as well so you guys can follow along on Challenge to see uh, how the women are faring this morning. It's gonna be a good morning. It's there's everyone's they're here early. They've been practicing. They're warming up. No one's talking. Earphones are in. It's a little bit different than what yesterday was, where they were talking. You know, this is where uh, things get serious. Um, and you know, 16 women in the women's only tournament, which means the winner of the women's only tournament is going to get a 2024 World Championship pass. Is this where you're going to? Get no. A, no. Okay. No. I figured I'd try. Sorry, no. guys. I gave. All right, so for those of you that don't know, Johanna in the white, Christina in the gray, playing here on uh, Easter. Easter Easter Island. Joe Brony, I love it. All right, so Easter, you know, uh, not a really bad setup at all during the qualifier, um, but we all know we've been there, 17, that par five can set up pretty nasty, um, especially for the few people that on this planet that don't use stouts still. Myself, uh, I think it's like Brian Bernhardt and like Matt Van Hoosier are the only people I know that don't and use stouts. Clint, or Clint moved. Oh, oh, Clint moved. No, did he or no? No, I don't. I, I can't remember. I, I no, I think know. Clint is stouts now. Oh, is I he? I think he is, but I, I'm not 100% sure. They were, the, the qualifier was rather easy setups. A couple said bronze tees. I was a little shocked. And then we got to Hollywood and everyone just got blasted. It was yeah. just an interesting setup. It wasn't anything anybody hasn't seen. It's just that all the, all the tough looks, all the tough setups all happened to be there. <laughs> the, the dominoes fell pretty quick. I mean, that's why I'm not in the gold bracket today. Shot exceptionally well on everything. Except for now. Yeah. Except well, Hollywood. Oh, and that's a rough shot by... Uh, Guffy there in the bunker. Now, at least she's not right up against the wall. So she's got a chance to chip in for Eagle. On this course, I actually carry the flop wedge. It's an embarrassing club, but I really? have it like only because of a couple of these holes. These walls are straight up, and I have it as a safety net. 
you can't really make anything with it, but it's just to just get out of the bunker. Oh, why did you use Baxton? But now that was actually, like, if you're going to get stuck in the bunker, that was probably the best case scenario because wind's blown to the pin, down four. Uh, good opportunity for Eagle there. But she's going to go, uh, Mr. Johanna Cruz is going to go up two, going into hole seven, the drivable par four. This is a tough setup. Billy, this is not the easiest. Uh, by the way, Billy on uh, YouTube says that uh, Clint is still Titan. So, okay. okay, there's four people I know. Me, Brian Bernhardt, Matt Van Hoosier, and Clint Grover. This is not the easiest of looks. And no, I, and I like the idea of like the high T. Um, you could see it a little bit in her face. Probably a little bit more aggressive than she like wanted to be. Um, but you know how it is. You high T it, and there's times where either forget that you're high T it or uh, it just kind of and you launch <laughs> it, it goes launching. Oh, it's perfect. All right, let's see She's what. Doing medium 10 5. A oh, overcut. she pushed it a little left. Spin. So. Now she has a gap wedge. That's going to be a little tough to get out of the bunker. She's going to have to look all the way to the right. Well, oh, she's, she's not, not in the bunker. bunker. Oh, she did okay. get, yes. She's in the rough. She's in the rough. So she will be, she'll be okay here. No spin, though. But the gap wedge, that's the problem. Is like, it's, it's such yeah. a long club. Still no spin. Oh. There we go. Okay. Yeah, you can tell uh, she is not she happy. She looks a little dejected, yeah. yes. But That's honestly, cuttable. we've all oh, we've chip, all though. we've all been there. You know, you you make one mistake and you're just like, okay, it's too early. How am I? Yeah, like good? too early, both in the day, but also in the game. Like, how do you, you know, how do you come back from that? But it's anybody's game. There's still plenty of time. It'd be an interesting thing to have heart monitors on people because of talking to CJ Friday. He was mentioning how it, he looks so calm and cool, but he said. Under the hood, his heart is pounding. And you yeah. know the level he's at. It's very interesting to see, you know, what goes through people's mind and stuff like that. It's, it's when you get these match play, you get a little, there's a little shake to it, little, little nerves. Well, and especially for the ladies, um, you know, Florida's the, the tournament where we always have the ladies only. And, and the fact that that world championship passes in the line, um, you know, hopefully they don't wear too much of it on their face. But again, we all. Even the even talking like with Andy Haas yesterday, everyone gets nervous. Like oh, every, you know what I mean? Yeah, I heard. Uh, you that. might not always see you it. Said that, and but I was like, whoa! I mean, you've been doing this a very long time. I always look calm, cool, and collected, and you never know what's going on. You know what's happening. All right, we got a five-stroke difference. It's a setup. I haven't seen this in a while. It's on the upper tier. Hit the rock. Oh, a couple lucky bounces. This is actually a candidate for a high T, move it up to the left, high T, just thumb it. Maybe push it with release. Just to float something in there safe. Not a bad shot. Good putt. Five at the turn. So, what do you think? Give us some inside scoop. Is this ever going to be drivable? We we talked about it yesterday. I'm I'm pretty sure knowing how Jim C Jim Z works after all these years, like th this is a perfect candidate for being drivable with the season four tees that come out in March. Straight look. This is probably like the one of the only uh, straight. Par fours, it's not drivable. It feels like it. That's the part that feels so weird. Is like you're so used to having drivable looks, especially with the current tees, the season three ones. Uh, a lot of these par fives are now drivable par fours. Correct. Yeah. There are times it's you know this hole could be in the three seventies and the wind's going right. You're like, can I get there? You can't. You just can't. It will be interesting though if they do have a tee box off to the left where you can hit some sort of cut or a fall in there. 
for yeah, it. Yeah, I, I, ha- Ward. I haven't, I haven't uh, looked at it yet, but now we're getting close enough that I'll probably start going through it um, just to start giving people the teases to see, uh, see what happens. It's not so bad. Yesterday we had our wind to the right. Good shot. Nice safe shot when you're up. Well, I think she's up six now. Little spin, come back. All right, should be a straight putt. Left one. There we go. Good putt. Uh, Shaggy, we, uh, it's too early to determine if it's a kegs and eggs morning or Bloody Marys and brunch. Although they have a BLT here, and their chicken here is fine, really delicious, and so I'm thinking about getting a BLT with just like throw a little flat piece of chicken in there. Get it blackened. It's delicious. Oh, that's a good point. I had blackened with bacon, lettuce, and mayo. As a northern guy, Love my mayo. Multiple different, multiple different looks you can do here. Probably a little baby cut. Just a straight push. Just want to hit something close. No need to try and hold it out. Thumb chipper, ooh, just to the right. All right. Still a good lead. Five after 12. Let's see if 13's luck. So an interesting thing here with that 14 left wind, even though they're playing stout, you could still hit a full here and the wind's gonna help it keep it back. I gotta do the fulls more. I just don't, I just don't do it. I love them. So at home, I mess around with the other balls. Like I play arrows on PGA. I play uh, grabbers and, and um, barrage at home. I'm, I just, I like hitting fulls. So I hit them, I'll just play games where I just have to hit fulls the whole time. And, well, I mean, you, you learn a lot. It's that's part of the nice thing about having a home edition, and it's very early. But I'm going to do the cheap pop, which is you can get $250 off a brand new Golden Tee PGA Tour home game okay. with the code PEGT Tour on uh, store.itsgames.com, or just you know go to Golden Tee and you'll you'll make your way there. But people are kind of on the fence about getting a game. Now's a good time to do it. World Championship, I will say, is going to be on PGA Tour games exclusively or on PGA Tour cabinets, so to speak. Um, you know, so if people are kind of on the fence about playing it at their local bar or getting it at home, you know, Worlds is happening in 2023, so you're going to have to get used to it by, uh, by the time Worlds happens at some point in 2023. The most common questions I get about the home... The, uh, most, the most common questions I get about home editions from the friends that I play with at the bar is, do you get to play the same games oh. that you play at the bar? How does it work? Yeah. So, you know, it's funny. I was explaining that a little bit to some people here over the weekend. Um, and there is the, the code and the, the link if you want to get on there now. But um, with the commercial game, you play at your local bar in most states. You know, you can play the daily contest for prizes, the money shot for prizes, 50-man uh, 50, 50 prize play uh, close to the pin. Can't do that exactly on the home edition. You can play events mode, which we do for prizes. Every week there's a... A unique event um, that's sometimes just for home, sometimes it's shared. Um, but anytime you're playing in a home edition event, you're competing against people like yourself that are playing on a home edition. Um, you could do invitational contests. Again, as long as you're in a prize play state, you know, you and I, we've all done it before, challenge each other for, you know, 5, 10, 50 bucks, whatever the case may be. Um, but 
there's things that we're tinkering and talking and, and working on. So there's going to be in the future, um, you know, more opportunities to, to get in prize contest at the on the home front. Now I have the legacy one at home. Is the PGA version the same exact one that's at the bar without the? It's the same thing like the legacies are correct. Yep, no it's difference. the same thing. It's just same bills, just no uh, dollar bill acceptor. Okay. Yeah, and and you know, there's people. Um, they already got a 65 inch 4K TV on their wall in their basement. They don't want the TV stand or they don't need it. You can get just the what we call a showpiece cabinet. So just the cabinet by itself, you can get that. Or if you want it to look and, and feel just like the one at the bars, you can get the whole you know kit and with the lights and everything. Yep, with the okay. lights, the stand. Yes, you can unplug the lights if they're too bright. Um, you know, I know somebody's going to ask me that. I may or may not have made a joke about the lights regarding tanning goggles back in the day, but that was a pretty good joke. Richard King is awake, and that is like we're Eastern time, so he's like seven thirty. Uh, uh, good Pacific morning, Mister Stark. Yes, Jason Stark. <laughs> oh. I think the PGI. So there's one at our, our, our local bar, and people, a lot of people eat there, and they always see me there because I'm always playing there after work and, and, you know, for an hour or so a day. And so they'll see me. So now I'm starting to get questions. How do I get one? How do I get one? How do I get one? So the marketing of it with the lights and the, you know, just the visual of it to get PGA people Tour just, to, branding and just all that. to look, just to catch your eye is definitely starting to work because I'm getting a lot of questions about how to get them. Good. Do I get the new one? Do I get the – I go – if you want it, spend a little extra money, get the new one. Get the one. new one because that's what's going to be supported. I mean, correct. And there's so much. There's there's actually, I mean, there's PGA courses on it. There's not on the legacy one. You can get the legacy one for cheaper, but you're missing you, out. Like, you're missing out. All the new stuff. features are most likely, I can almost confirm more than not, going to be coming to the PGA Tour version and not necessarily the existing one. So it's a, uh, no, I appreciate that. It's a good point. Uh, good morning to, uh, to Jade, Nate, uh, Greg, and John. Always happy to see everybody. Make sure you hit the uh, the like and the subscribe button. Feel free to share this on social media. Okay, real quick. This is actually a beautiful look on 17. Not It's not the greatest, but the wind is only 9 compared to having 15 in the, in the face that can sometimes really throw you off. Now, that's an interesting shot there. She did a full, but she didn't click out one right. She's going to ride the mountain all the way down, and that's actually a very nice, safe shot. Yeah, it's going to put you in the rough. The pin's kind of in the middle-ish of the green, um, but should not have any issues getting it up there. All right, Christina going just straight at it. So when it's a right win, where do you go? I probably I, I would have done something uh, similar to what Joanna did. like. So you go, you still go into the mountain even if it's I'll a right go, win? Yeah, well... Honestly, it depends on how I'm feeling. Am I having a really good game? Do I need to think about it? Or if I'm having a bad game, I'll just hit it and pretend like I wasn't even playing. I have seen four different shots on this whole on this course. One being up top, looking straight at it, right above where they are, looking up top. When the See, wind's going, just, it's too Monte Zabios feeling for me. Going to the little circle, going to where they are, or if you go way off to the right on the right side of the lake in the rough, you can go there as well. Oh, oh! that's perfect. Let's talk. Let's talk. No, I <laughs> – don't you have something to do? All right. I will say this. They, they, when, when, they, when the girls get up there and they just hit the pots without thinking, they're, they don't even look. I have to look. I don't know how they do it. I, I don't know how they do it. Excellent shot. Oh, oh, what a bounce. All right. All right. Well, <laughs> she stayed up there. That uh, If that's in fringe, I don't know with an up 10. It should be an up 10. I don't know if we can get there. Oh, no. That's, the, no. that's just a straight five hybrid just yeah, right in there. Chip. Yep. I like that. Ultra shot? Oh, oh. that was close. 
She is on fringe. Yep, she's chipping. I mean, you've got a lot of work, uh, a lot of room there, honestly. Just trying to see the other match. They're on Nord. They're on 16. Yeah, we'll switch over here in uh, a few short minutes. Oh, it's what a beautiful a chip. chip. All right, and so Johanna is going to take the victory over Christina. We'll switch over to the other game, which is Ilsa Boyd and Crystal Huffins on, uh, okay. on Nordling. Solid round, 25. Excellent job. Okay, so we have Isla Boyd and Crystal Hafiz. Okay. Yep, and I believe this is Crystal, and uh, she's teeing off on hole 16 of uh, Nordland, which is the designer hole. Although this look that people have seen for designer hole, uh, 963,000 times better than the normal tee look because you are teeing up on the rocks that are high up to the right. So you are literally hitting like an 80 yard shot into a massive elevation change um, and an up 11 green. <laughs> so I have heard, you tell me, I have heard you can actually, there are setups where you can putt that one. Is that true? The up top? I have not, I don't think so. No? But okay. I, I mean, somebody's gonna do it. I also don't think anybody ever thought you'd putt 17 of Bayou Bay. I think, yeah. that, you know, and that's happened, so. This was actually a, a decent setup yesterday. Wind was very favorable. Uh, pin was, the pin and the ball, her ball were kind of opposite. Good putt there. A lot of people scored well on this, this course yesterday. I think I shot a one better, so that says something about the course when I can shoot a one better. Um, it's just, no. No, but. Uh, so, Nate, that was actually the original tee boxes that because of the schedule change with the release of Nordling, you guys didn't actually see except in a couple of uh, Freaky Friday looks. Um, but season 4T is coming out in March, so you never know what you're going to get or uh, to expect there. And have you had a chance to play them a good amount? Uh, no, I actually I have not played them at, uh, at all. It's just been, it's just been pretty busy. I'm, QA has been, you know, going through all those courses, but now is going to be the time where I'm really going to start looking at them. We'll start teasing it on social media. Will there be a like an event or a Freaky Friday before of the new tees? I, yes, I believe so. Teaser? Yeah, I, I'm trying to remember what the schedule is off the top of my head, and it's just too early for that. But, yes, we'll, we'll do some uh, – well, actually, no, I take that back. We won't because – the events are like the the tee boxes are set by it net and so it's a whole okay. thing so we'll do a kickoff event you know when they launch um but no you're just going to go from season three to season four and uh, good luck <laughs> dave this is uh mr art devry who is with me you know he runs those colleges uh devry university proponent of the villages <laughs> dave you know that What's this? So 23, 17, going 18. And 18 really is never, I mean, that's not easy at times, but I've never seen a truly, like, hard, hard look on this on this uh, course. That ice is not friendly. Yes, don't hit, this, don't hit the ice and, uh, on the fly. <laughs> Only Danny Boy at... 10.30 in the morning or 9.30 where he's at could come up with some oh, oh wow that was almost an ultra shot but that was also almost wet <laughs> yeah. off the pin um, no Danny boy that does not mean that the world is going from 96 to 128 but good good try um, always Hell trying to angle for some more information I mean, I actually, uh, I really like the wind going into this because if that wind was blowing the opposite, it would be, yeah, it's, that would putt. be pretty She's, bad. She had two big putts at the end there. Not bad. Yeah, 
So did you look at the bracket yesterday? Did you see how close? Did you get a chance to see number one seed versus 2032 is only 10 stroke difference? No, I did, I did I, not catch that. It was, there was a lot, there was some interesting things that happened yesterday. Very, very interesting things. Yeah, people I, I, people I, shooting, dropping 21s that have, that with, with 30 handicaps and, and scoring or uh, uh, stroke limit for guys that in Maine. I, it was a very interesting day. I just saw that I was 44 and I, I stopped looking after that. That's good. You're in the top half, though. I don't. Yeah, I know. But, but Hollywood, you know, we talked about it, like that setup. It, you know, 17 was not a fun look on Hollywood. Um, what did you try and hit? Well, Andy uh, had the lead on, you know, he was teeing off first. And so he hit a two click to the right full. And um, I almost went at it to try to backspin from the back of the green over the, hill, over the mound because I was like, I'm going to go in the water either way. I should have done that because instead I tried just hitting my five hybrid to roll it up and it rolled up, hit the hill and just went right in the water. So the setup was right 16, pin was at the bottom right, correct? Yeah. And I, if I recall, Andy went to the back. I think he hit a two-click full and almost aced it. Mm -hmm. Other people hit five hybrids right. There was a bunch of different ways to do it. Yeah. I ended up in the sand on the right. A lot of people ended up right, and I think they listened to Andy talk about, I think it was with you on yeah. the stream, a lot of people had heard him say, just stay to the right. Just, just... And that was something I wish he would have said, you know, when before we were playing, <laughs> before I went into the water. No, it's just, it's not, um, I was really hoping that we would get the short tee box there. Um, uh, the little, you know, yeah. Because that, you can still go in the water on that one for sure. Just a little more user friendly, um, but, you know, it is what it is. And, you know, when you're competing against 186 other people, the fact that there's only a 10 stroke difference between one and 32 is actually pretty, it's pretty crazy. And was that your first time playing in uh, qualifying with Andy? I, you know, it's a great question. I feel like him and I qualified, but it's been years. It's been, it's been a long time. Um, I heard it could be intimidating only because he's, he already knows what he wants to do. He's been playing for so long. He just, he just knows the game as best as anybody. And I heard it can be intimidating because he is a very fast player and might get you kind of out of your out of your zone. No, so what actually works really well, um, fun fact, uh, I've been playing for like five or six years longer than Andy Haas, and I'm nowhere near the caliber talent of he. But, uh, no, Andy and I play, he plays fast and well. I play fast and Not sometimes well. okay, sometimes good. Uh, you can tell from the videos I do in the lounge where I'm just like, all right, I'm going to hit the shot, hit the shot, and then uh, I'm done. But... That didn't bother me, but I can see where a player who, you know, likes to analyze their shots, maybe move the tee box around, see where they're going to, you know, do I low tee it on the bottom right corner? Do I low tee it on the left corner? You know, I can see where that would throw somebody's ry rhythm off. But I think Andy and I, um, you know, play at the same speed. So to me, it was just like a regular, you know, kind of almost like a Sunday match. Obviously, we had Tim Boyer, but he also, you know, I wouldn't say he's a fast player, but he you know, makes his decisions and goes for the shot. Right. So, I mean, for, for qualifying late on a Friday night, it went, you know, went pretty quick. I had the, uh, I got to qualify with Todd yesterday. And then Terry was our B group. So I had two of the boyers. So you had one, I had two. Was, they're very nice to play with. They're very calm, very kind. Always, always there for you to try, you know, hey, oh, you have roll on there. You're like, oh, I went to, you know, yeah. That's happened before. Oh, yeah. We've yeah. all been there. You're like, oh, this is going to be a great shot. And you're like, oh, I meant to have backspin in its roll, and now it's in the water. Um, I, I did that in Dallas, I believe. It was not. It's not good. It's not good. All What's right. What's our so next match? What do we have next It looks here? like uh, if you guys, we're going to get That's the uh, be chat. We'll Izzy, get the Izzy and Johanna on the next match. So yep. Two streams. We'll uh, we'll get the bracket here for the, the challenge bracket posted in the chat here in a moment um so it's 10 30 local time in florida eastern time i think is what they call it out here i don't know i'm the, not I'm a, the I'm a chicago time. guy thank you thank you the no but time. uh 11 o'clock purple bracket will start so it's top 32 competing for the 2023 florida open championship 
Next 64 players, uh, myself unfortunately included, gonna be in the purple bracket. The 64 after that is going to be in the pink bracket. And then anybody after um, those, what's that, 100 and, uh, I don't know, I'm terrible at math. I'm a, <laughs> I'm, a, I'm a marketing communication guy. What's the math, your number, guy? Uh, 72, 172, does that sound about right? 162? What's it? Ninety six. No, 60. ninety six. And what's how many are how many are in the purple or the copper? I thought it was. I thought he was doing thirty two, sixty four, sixty four, and then everyone what's that? else. So that's what one twenty eight, one sixty two. Yeah. See, I was on. No, one sixty. How many are thirty two? Yeah, sixty four. That's ninety six. Plus, that's one fifty four. Guys, I'll be All back. Right, I'm, I'm gonna, gonna let him figure this out. I'm gonna do some math here, cause you're. I don't know. I'm not. You're the numbers guy. Thirty-two plus sixty-four plus sixty-four is one sixty. Isn't that what we said? Yeah. Yeah. All right. I don't know what's going on here. It's too early for this. All right. Now this is. Uh, all right. So Richard King said there's twenty-three in the copper. Twenty-three. All right. All right. All right. So this is gonna be a good one as well. Uh, Jamie Errington. She's probably, I would consider, the, the favorite. Nikki Cash, good player as well. She, what did she qualify? I think she qualified very well as well. Because they're playing in both, right? They have their own tournament, and then they're also playing. In the regular, yeah. I think she qualified very high. I don't have it in front of me. Let me look. Yeah, Jamie is, is, is very clearly one of the favorites. Um, her and her husband, Mike Arrington, uh, you know, have two home editions, I believe, and they're, they're, they're always playing and competing on. Um, <clears throat> also, if you want to follow the the gold and purple brackets, um, pegttour.com, brand new website. Looking, uh, looking pretty snazzy with the new website. You can follow the main bracket and the leaderboard to see where oh, people tournaments qualified. Oh, tournaments now. He's got it on the left side. All right, there we go. I've not had a chance to look at this. This is pretty neat. Purple bracket. Let's see. Where's the qualifier? Leaderboard, right? Is that how they do it? Leaderboard? Yeah, there yep. we go. Yeah, so Jamie qualified 58 out of 186. It looks like she was she was well on her way. It looks like Champ gave her a little bit of an issue with a 21. So yeah, that's that Champ was an interesting one. Champ was not wasn't a, a bad setup, at least in my head. But I don't know. I I somehow it was favorable win on nine to hit the uh, high six. Yep, that's that's what I did. Sixteen was a favorable win to hit a full a high three full. I actually did a high t or excuse me a medium tee ten and a half into the tree on sixteen, like facing the tree, and I went around it to the right. Yep. Uh, I got up there. I was actually not to brag, but only because I would never ever shoot this again. I was two better going into hole sixteen on champ, like better than Andy Haas of all people. Uh, my chip on on sixteen off of the fringe lipped out. Thank God it stayed up and didn't get wet, but I. Lost a stroke there, and then I parred 18. Um, just got stuck in the sand and hit like a stupid shot after that. So I, and I was looking at the leaderboard, and I was like, oh, 27 was the top score. And I was like a hole and a half away from 29. Cool. I'm going yeah, <laughs> to not why, do that. Right. This is why I'm in the purple bracket. Um, Let me show you how to mess this up. Yeah. Yeah, I wish we were recording that. All right. So these ladies are playing, I believe this is. Uh, one. Hole one. Hole one of Hollywood. Mm-hmm. Now I'm not. We were. I was too busy yapping. I don't, I'm not sure how how uh, Mrs. Arrington got here on the uh, on the chip. on the the outside of the green. But it doesn't matter because her chipping, probably one of the the best female chippers uh, out there. Oh, it's too early to be making uh, those unfortunate mistakes. And again, we've all been there, um, and. As we were talking about earlier, you know, these ladies playing in two different tournaments today, the women's only tournament, and then also in the regular, you know, uh, main bracket or purple bracket, wherever they finished in qualifying. 
Now, my, my terrible game on Hollywood uh, Friday night for qualifying started on this course. We had a really tough, like, 300-something look, and the pin wasn't, you know, top left. It was brutal. And I stupidly hit a 9.5-degree driver, didn't do anything with it, was just like, ah, oh, go for it. And that was just, that was the start of the, the downfall that of was me. The crash? Yeah, that was the crash. Did you hit the top of the hill? Oh, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, just, like, not playing much at all and not seeing, like, a lot of these newer tee box looks and then just hitting shots that I'm like, you know what, I should play it safe and hit a high three, would have a long putt. Nah, I'm good. I got this. Yeah, I got this. So with that being said, how many times have you reset your videos? What's your what's your record of resets of the videos you've done from the uh, IT office? Um, that's a great question. Maybe like three or four, but it's very rare. No, I swear to you, it, right. it, is, it is very, it's very rare. Usually, like if I'm streaming, it doesn't matter. Like there's no getting out, you know, yeah. going back. But I would say eight times out of ten, the first take is what it's good. Like if I if I screw up like hole one on something like ridiculous, then I'll probably be like, okay, this is not. I can't even make fun of myself in a good way. Um, but like once I get past like three or four, unless I somehow stroke limit something, I just I just roll with it. I'd rather make fun of myself and people enjoy that than like spend three hours in my office trying to shoot an eighteen hole video, you know. Who is this cash player? The second best beard in Golden Tee. That w that's his spouse. That's her. His yeah. I I knew what you were saying. Yeah. yeah so for unfortunately, you know, for those of, of you watching who couldn't make this tournament uh, in sunny, beautiful Florida, I'm um, looking really forward to going back to like 20 degrees Chicago tomorrow. Um, Wisconsin Open coming up. Sooner rather than later. It's a month, less than a month. It's close. I don't know if I still have it on the calendar. Yeah, no. so uh, the 10th. March 9th through the 12th, Sussex, Wisconsin, $7,500 added. If you've never been to Sussex Bowl, Stefan and Cassie, uh, the owners, amazing hosts, take care of the players. They've been doing this tournament. I think I, him and I went back and forth last year that, that was, last year was the 10th one they did. Um, the third or fourth official under the Power Events circuit, but that tournament's been going around long um, before it joined part of the rotation for, for Power Events. But that's the reason why it's now in the Power Events uh, tournament rotation because it's that good of a tournament. They were great hosts. Um, and if you've never been out there, you absolutely need to get out there because it's Wisconsin, it's Team Wisconsin hosting. Um, you know, you'll probably get 130, 150 players, big giant pool hall that we take over with 20, 30 golden tea machines. Yeah, it's a, it's a really good space, really wide open. And the one thing I like there, because it's um, about food, they yes. have the QR codes on the table, and they're all numbered. So you just order your food right from there. You don't have to try and go to the bar. You don't have to try and, and they just bring your stuff to you. It's phenomenal. It's, that is. It's, it's it, a great, it's one of the best setups in terms of service. Um, they're all they're all really good. They're all really good. The other thing that makes that tournament great too, and the same thing with with here at Sideline Sports Grill in St. Cloud, um, a lot of the people that you see behind the bar, running around helping, taking care of things, people have been there for years. Like mm -hmm. part of the fun, and it's actually funny, like giving me chills about like these tournaments is like you go to tournaments, and even if you haven't been to one for a few years. Yeah, of course, you'll see all the players and stuff, but it's the staff that will Same remember you, had, and they're yeah. like, oh, my God, how are you doing? How's the family? Da, da, da. Like, you know, it goes to show, like, there's people that will come back, even if they've moved on from working at that location, they'll come back to work the tournament, the tournament yep. because it's that much fun uh, that they're having. And, um, by the way, Mr. Sandmeyer, I'm actually just reading the Power Events website, so if it is more than 7,500, I do stand corrected, um, but we should make sure that, that Power Events gets their website updated because – that it is a massive tournament. It is a fun one. Um, slabs and crabs on Sunday. Um, although right. it's gotten harder to do because the tournaments have gotten bigger and bigger. Uh, when there was 50 of us on a Sunday after a small tournament, much easier to get some uh I want to say they nice sold food. out of them last year. I think they called a, called the quits and said, we're oh, out. They, yeah, yeah, they, I they, they had they sold to. out of them last year. All right, so hole five here on Hollywood. I, for the first time ever, watered this hole. 
it just does not it just did not cut back really i hit the i hit a far back left uh, she might have to put through fringe there i think she's going to hit the left side of it go Oof. Putt. And she is up four. Yep. So, uh, Richard King, when you're actually on the Power Events homepage where it says the next tournament is Florida and then it says tournament registration for Wisconsin, that's what I was looking at um, where it says 7,500. If you do go to the actual event page, it does have some more information. Um, and obviously, if we hit X number of players, that number that uh, Stefan and, and Cassie put in for the uh, prize pool does go up. All right, so let's see. That's an interesting play there. So most times, this is a straight look, kind of like we had yesterday. But she put herself, Jimmy put herself in a nice spot to either chush or have a nice chip straight at the hole with the wind. And I don't know what she's going to have for a left-right. Just a right one. This could go in. She's either going to hit it with backspin or she, she, I think she can chip this. Kind of like, like a six iron. Yeah. All right, she's going to go with the G. There it is. Let's see. Oh. What's the other course? They're on Easter. Easter. Okay. Yeah, I'm trying to pull up the, uh, looking at the uh, challenge bracket here. This is, in fact, I think it's Lauren and I don't remember her name, but I know they're Lori. like BFFs. Lauren and Lori. Yeah, is that who it is? Lori Hill. It's hard to see on the screen if that's who it is. No, no, no. On the, on the, oh, I'm yeah. saying look at the face. I'm just trying to see if that's. Lauren is wearing sneakers today. Normally she wears Crocs, so maybe I don't know if this is her new her new move or the uh, Sunday evening or excuse me the Sunday uh, afternoon power move. Yeah. So this is a fun one. The trees on the newer, on PGA machines and on your newer legacy machines, the trees sway for, for Jamie. If you look at those two pine trees, yeah. they usually go through, they're, they sway, they come in and out. So you have to sit and wait for them to open up and then you can hit through there pretty easily. By the way, uh, I was misspoken. The My challenge bracket apparently doesn't auto update. So we are actually, um, so it is, uh, Lauren and, and Marley um, on the other machine here on Easter Island. So we'll see how uh, the front nine here goes with uh, Arrington and Cash and maybe switch over. This is... Um, Which way is the wind? It's right in her face. I like, the, I like this look. I, it's not worth the risk of trying to go in between the trees. Sit. Oh. Sit. Wow. Okay. So, oh boy, <laughs> someone's living good. My wife just said to me, the camera adds 10 pounds. How many cameras are on you? I think that's a little rude. Wow. But she, you know, she, she loves you though, yeah, right? She loves me.
24 is the other stream machine. All right, so Jamie going to play it smart with the lob wedge here, not trying to get too fancy with it. Now, in a few minutes here, um, it's going to get loud. You might hear uh, Steve Sobel uh, from the background because Purple Bracket is going to get started, um, and you'll uh, you'll hear him uh, minutes, yep. calling matches out. All right, so birdie for Arrington, par for Cash. I like this look. I don't like the pin exactly, but with that wind, you can just kind of soft it from right to left and have a putt and, and, and feel comfortable about it. Yeah, this setup, I remember, this used to be the first set of tees. I think you had a driver just past those sand bunkers on the left, yep. if I recall. And then, then you had to hit a second shot in before. Yeah, this is one of those, you know, um, Hollywood's another course that has par fives that pretty much have just turned into par fours that are drivable. Which I think makes it, I think it makes it more fun having those drivable looks because some of them are challenging. I know Hollywood, there is the par five that becomes a par four that isn't always drivable. Mm -hmm. Or it's like a 400 yard look where you've got to hit it, you've got to pound that high tee driver to get past bunkers and then you may end up still with like an 80 foot putt. Yes. It's a beautiful eagle putt there. So Jason Stark, Eagle's Peak will be released um, at the end of February, February 20th. So it's gonna be before Sussex, but also another beautiful eagle putt there, but also new tees come out the week of the Sussex tournament. That sounds phenomenal. That sounds just great. Yes. That should be fun for everybody. <laughs> yes, <laughs> fun for everybody. So well, Eagle's Peak, so that comes out in a couple weeks. That has set tee boxes. Are they going to change? No. So though, so with the remaster courses, it's just one set of tees, and those don't change, Got just it. like Champ. Okay. I'm trying to see how close the other one is. There, there. Let's. Can we flip over to the machine twenty four? Lauren and uh, Marley on yeah. Easter. That one looks like they're about a stroke off from each other, if not tied. I think they're on nine. It's two clicks. <laughs> I wonder why there are no Crocs on today. That's a very interesting uh, observation there. I, it's, I saw her earlier when she came in. Oof, it's a great shot. Very good shot. I think it's 9 and 8 or 9 and 9. I can't tell. Greg, yes, it will be interesting to see... Um, you know, what the new tees look like for the week of uh, the Wisconsin Open. That will be, uh, honestly, a ton of fun. Uh, Nate, you know, uh, Jim Z's talked about it. I think in the future you may see new tees on some of those remastered courses. Um, it, there's a ton of opportunity for some really fun stuff there. But you never know until you see it, right? John Remmel says, travels to Florida just to play against each other. Yep. That's correct. I think they are from New Jersey, right? Yes. Yeah, okay. I think they're from New Jersey. Yeah. yeah, the New Jersey crew uh, run strong at, at most of these tournaments. The uh, Trash House crew doing a... Uh, Doing a lot of fun things in New Jersey, especially for a state that uh, does not have prize play in it. I have to give all those, you know, Steve and uh, Silk and, and Johanna and all of them um, a lot of credit. 
Yeah, I learned that this weekend. I didn't realize that some of the states, you can only win credits. So when they play, that they, you know, especially when they come to these tournaments, they'll they play a ton just to transfer Th this the is credits. The, yeah. yeah, opportunity to, to actually make uh, some money on their in a prize play state. Correct. Yeah, I didn't know that. So what's the uh, keep it? We'll, we'll keep it PG on the stream. Oh, them, them playing together? Yeah. Um, what? Who is that? Is it a state law? Is that is that how it makes it? How's that? Yeah, work? it's honestly it's different state by state, and you know, ugh, the problem is a lot of these states they just don't care about the skill based gaming. You know, they just they think of it. Oh, it, it's like a slot machine. Well, no, it's not. And. Even though we've gone to bat, and the you know our, our the team at IT has gone to bat about you know it's very clearly a skill based game. If they can't make money off of it like a slot machine, a lot of times they they just don't care. You know it's <clears throat> unfortunately. They won't do it. Yeah. <laughs> People's champ in the purple bracket. No, they. No. Oh no, they they no they will. So Caesar, your question about the bra the losers bracket. So there's an actual the, the brackets the bracket. You're in the winner's side, and once you lose a game, you're in the loser side. If you lose a game in the loser side, you're out. So I guess to answer your question, it is a one game. It's a one game elimination on the loser side. Yeah, double elimination overall, but. But yeah, once you're in the losers, if if you don't win uh, all the way back up to uh, the finals, that that's it. You're out. Ooh, it's a big putt there that thankfully grabbed the uh, the right of the cup and uh, pulled in. Those are my favorite when the cup grabs it, pulls it back. All right, we got a one stroke lead. That's our look here. Got to be careful that you don't try to get, you know, too cute with it because I've done that before where, like, oh, I'll just hit it in the rough and just bounce it up and then you go backwards into that sand. Um, but I like, the, I like the ten and a half degree move here. Don't kill it. Probably harder than she wanted, but puttable. You said earlier you started playing. You've been playing Golden Tee longer than Andy. How long have you been playing Golden Tee? Uh, since like I was five, since like 1996. And you would think I would be so much better. I'm not. <laughs> Somehow I've gotten worse. And then you're like, I love this game so much. Here's my resume. Yeah. Okay. I was like, I can't. I'm terrible. I can't make money playing Golden Tee. Please hire me. Let me change the code. No cheat no. code for no. no, no coding for me. Don't start that rumor. Uh, who was telling me yesterday? Do you see see how her head is blocking the hole? Yep. Somebody was telling me yesterday that they have the worst time putting because can, they can't see the hole. And I'm like, well, I, and I'm thinking to myself, it's a, if it's a right four, it's a right four. You don't need to see the hole. But some, no, it's the people it's, that watch you, the screen. Yeah, you are one of the few that actually like stares at th at the deck. I have spots. It's I weird. Hate, yeah, I, it's but I, I get it. I get it. But no, I. That's why some of those hats I just can't wear because it it just it just blocks a view. And it does make a difference on the green deck versus the brown deck. Not that the play is different, but your your spots are. Yes, because I can tell you when the graphic designers designed the cabinet, uh, the, the deck, they probably were not thinking about the little specks that are on there that people Correct. were staring at, if i got to be honest. And now you guys have a compass on there, which is makes it rather easy. Uh -oh. <clears throat> Sit. Now, that shouldn't be, uh, shouldn't be too bad. Good chip. Perfect.
Oh. That's so tough. You know, we've all been there where you're like, okay, I'm in the rough, but am I – you do the couple of clicks, and you're like, am I close enough where I can get it and, and just – Unfortunate for that for her that she couldn't get there. So looking at the deck seemed to have caused a stir. I will agree with Aljaz. I wish I had the skill to just look at the like and I bring up CJ, he does it. I see him doing it on the stream. He just looks at the hole and he's whacks it in. It's <laughs> wait hold on a second. Can we talk about I can't see who said it, but Somebody said they played with a guy who would change his hat during yeah, his putts. Yeah, Steve Bigger said that. Oh, yes, my I goodness. That, that uh, wow. I, th I guess it's just how you learn. There's no right or wrong way. I do think it's a better way to be able to play the game looking at the screen. I noticed that uh, I noticed that the Minnesota guys are Wisconsin. I'm going to say this wrong, so this is going to be wrong. But I saw that they taught Bryce, and I've noticed that when he started, he started just he doesn't he never looks down, and as he's getting more and more <clears> used to it, he's just he's draining a lot. So maybe that's the way to go. I look at the deck. I it is what I'm it is. surprised there are as many people that are agreeing with you that they look at the deck. I I mean, why why I just I'm trying to process like why you wouldn't just because oh look there's the hole okay boop like. I know, because on the green deck, let's talk about the green deck. The green deck has a triangle on the top. I know on each point of the triangle on each side is an eight. That's where it is. If it's uphill, you got to push it a little out, but I know that's an eight. I know about halfway is a four. Then you go from that, and then you just know your spots. You, you know, just know up you're, and down, and that's, and that's, now I'm hitting, you know, kind of. So let's talk about when people play the daily, right? They find a spot. They're like, oh, hit it between the AR. Well, they look at that spot, and they hit it between the AR when they thumb it, Right? when they thumb a, on a daily shot for a full. So that's how I learned to putt, and that was playing at Winston's, playing all the dailies with all them all the time. I just started doing the same thing, trying to figure out how to putt, and that's just where it came from. Okay, so for in your defense, you're a super technical guy, so I can understand it, but it, I don't know. I just, I never, ever, ever would have thought of that, ever. Now, again, I'm kind of, like, stubborn in my ways where I've been – you know, it's the reason why I can't thumb. I never, you know, I was always a push the ball forward. It even, I mean, it took me like 10 years of playing before I started pulling back and actually hit, you know, pushing out. Um, and every time I try to thumb, I just, I just can't. I'm just like, you know what? It would take me a thousand or two games to just, of screwing it up to get used to it. I just can't. I'm already bad enough as it is. I just can't. So you don't thumb anything? Oh, what happened? Did she catch the deck when she, she was hitting that? Yeah. Oh, no. I mean, to have a pullback only come off 163, or I mean 63 is. That's a, that's a mess. Yeah, that's definitely a mess. Lauren doesn't have the easiest putt coming back, so. So here, let's look, talk about this putt. It's a longer putt. Oh. See, so if you look at the deck, she probably hit it around a five, five and a half. If she would have put it out to the point and hit it out to the point, that's where the seven is. Uh, I, up I, long I think somebody could probably speak Japanese to me, and I would understand it more than yeah. what you're saying right now. Hey, and I, and I, you guys put the meter on there. And I'm terrible it. with with languages. Oh, this is an interesting look. So about where her marker is, sometimes there's a pin there and your, your tee box is way off to the right. When that wind's going right, those are some interesting looks. They, they, this, this hole can set up to be extremely holeable versus extremely like just stay on the green. Oh, stop. Hey, Nate, you mentioned that you look at a, you look at the hole, then you, you're head down and you hit your putt. Do you have spots like I was bringing up, or do you still, you just have a feel? So what, what, what do you mean you, you glance down and you, or you uh, look for a line, then you, you put your head down and hit it? It's 
to putt. I mean, I do putt. Straight something. I mean, you know, like two, three feet. I can roll Well, that's right good. Yeah, I, yeah. I feel better that way. That, so she's going to do the same thing Johanna did and just hit a full into the mountain and let it ride down and have the wind keep it uh, in. That's an interesting camera. I'm actually just don't hit the. So that just sucks straight down. Interesting. See, you do learn things. I learned how to drive. It's on Petra. I think it's number 12. You hit a full into the wall and it bounces up. Oh, yeah. yeah. I've seen people on it. Um, Andy Haas I've seen on there and, and Evan Gossett both playing were just playing friendly match and they were both on the green putt for Eagle. I'm like, how is that even possible? And uh, somebody showed it to me this week. So that's another reason why you come to these tournaments. You learn, you know, if you have your group of people you play with is great. But when you come to these tournaments, you've got a, such a huge variety of people and everyone knows something different than not everyone, not everyone knows. Yeah, you definitely you definitely learn a ton at these tournaments, no matter how what your skill level is. I mean, there's times where I see Andy or Evan watch somebody hit a shot, and they're like, okay, that's interesting. Like, it, ha it doesn't happen very often, but it does. Yeah, um, like they don't have enough stroke or abilities in their mind that they have to add more to their repertoire. Right. What? Interesting. All right, well, I'm going to take a quick break. I do need to get something to eat before I forget. Art, uh, if you're sticking around, great. If not, no big deal. We'll get, we'll get some uh, more people rotating in here very shortly. But uh, Yeah, I'll finish off this match. Sweet. All right, we'll gra I'll grab some more people, and uh, we'll keep it rolling here with the uh, women's tournament here at the uh, 2023 Florida Open. I Thank appreciate you, the sir. invite. Thank you. So in match play, on this hole, when you're up four, you can do what you want. It's probably safest to lay off to the right. Take your birdie, move on. What, you coming in? You guys you coming in? Excellent. I'm out. Enjoy your afternoon, everyone. Latino heat everybody. here. <laughs> Latino heat. <laughs> Mark point Gomez. Whore, point whore coming to you from Florida. God damn. I do. <laughs> I do. Jade McGillum, everybody. What time, is, what time is it? Still morning. Good morning out there. <laughs> so we are, uh, we are watching the uh, women's bracket yet, it looks like. I'd really love to know how many people are on the stream right now at 11 o'clock in the morning watching the ladies. <laughs> I'm well, actually having a great time. I mean, these girls are banging it out. Like, yeah. I've seen some pretty crazy shots. Lauren just made an unbelievable I mean, that's putt a on putt. 18. Right, yeah. Half the people in the gold probably missed that putt. This is not Including nice me. Either. Right, yeah. This is not very nice. you gotta, you got to act like this is almost a 12. So. The fringe. The 200 oh, right nice. now? 200. Nice. Well, they, I well, hope they, they all hit the like button. Well, thank you, everybody, for uh, joining in this early. Hope you can stick around for the next seven hours if you have nothing to do on your Sunday afternoon. If you're from where I'm from in Indianapolis, it's cold as hell, and uh, there's no reason to do not be on the stream. Well, so. I'm from Wisconsin, and it's well, just it's a little point. bit colder <laughs> than you are. So, <laughs> As I sit here next to my Wisconsin friend, uh, yeah, I have no room to complain. All right, so it looks like they finished up. Looks like uh, Lauren... I haven't seen a Lauren lot of took it down. parody matches yet. So I was warming up on uh, the machine next to the stream, and it's like five or six strokes each round. Yes. Yeah. Hey, there's, not, there's not been a road. Yeah, I haven't seen a yet. close one yet either. Um, I mean, Nikki in her first round, I think, won by six or seven, and then she just lost by six. So it's it's kind of an odd, odd tourney. But yeah. double elimination, never know what can happen. Yep, anything can happen. I see Al Jazz is on here. Elka Jazz is on here. 
We got a little bitty action, a little Pete Bitty. <laughs> I'm assuming he, he meant to say I close my eyes when I putt. Yeah. Well, <laughs> I, I lose my eyes. Yeah, like, he yeah, changed yeah, it. There we go. I haven't scrolled down far enough. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Lose your eyes, close your eyes. There's no difference. It's got, yeah, it's got Same a thing. hit and hope on some of those when you're <laughs> when you're deep, deep into the yeah. uh, the rough. Do we have a match going on the machine uh, next to this one? We got two. Uh, no, they right? look like they're both. Uh, oh, there we go. We'll both empty there right Ooh. now. Uh, they are starting to call. Uh, I know. Uh, I know. The, purple what, the purple and, and pink. We're gonna start going too. Oh, per, uh, copper and pink are probably. Copper and pink. There we go. Yeah, we have some time to. Uh, have some libations and uh, have a good time here. So, so did you? You made the cut, right? I made the cut. Okay. Yeah. I uh, somehow, some way, uh, shot a disastrous twenty on Hollywood. Ooh. Uh, so what? 16, still made the cut. That's 16, pretty damn good. I mean, I was I was one off going to Hollywood, and I run into sixteen, the par five. Yep. And it was that really tucked pin on the lower level up in the top left, right? Yep. So I played a nice little six wood in there. I made the fairway. Nice little six wood. I was 28 feet. Thought I'd give it a little extra. Was it a turbo putt? Well, I, I think someone was telling me that last night. Yeah. So it was like 28 feet. I was giving a little extra to kind of take away some of the cut. Pro side, pro side, pro side. Three missed putts in a row. Yeah. It so I stroked out on a par five, and I thought, well, there goes my main. And then here I made, I think I'm like 22nd, maybe. 20. Oh, so you were. And I, I, I was played like, okay, too, and I happen? was like, I looked, and I'm like, how am I there? Like, I right. didn't think I played that. I mean, I didn't play. I mean, I played okay. I didn't play great. So a couple guys points, but so a couple guys came up to me this morning, and they were like, oh, you've got Presidente. And I was like, yeah, I'm not looking forward to this because it's a grudge match. Okay. So uh, we had a, a quite – little bout at worlds this last year so i never like playing a guy that i just beat in a big tournament first round right because he's out for it yeah and he, he comes up to me he goes i just did three shots of jameson you're effed <laughs> i was like what and he goes yeah i play better when i'm drinking i was like uh wow okay <laughs> i mean I, so <laughs> that's that's a different level but i love it well, it looks like we got uh, another uh, round here in the women's. Yes. We got Gary Durkee <laughs> and Durkey Aaron Nelson. Durkee joined the women's bracket. <laughs> uh, <laughs> I don't know how he snuck in there. He was wearing a wig yesterday. I don't know how they let him in today. <laughs> no, uh, I believe this is probably, uh, I'm a, is this got to be purple or pink? Uh, yeah, I wish we um, had a little dot in the corner to tell us which bracket this was. But. I mean, we do have smartphones. We could look, but that just that takes effort. That's, yeah, it's too much time. I have two smartphones on me, and I don't know where one of them is at the, <laughs> point, at the moment. Well, that's not very smart. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I've got a computer laying around somewhere, another <laughs> smartphone. Real estate never sleeps. All right, so I believe Gary Durkee's getting six strokes here. Just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> Wouldn't that be something if we played this <laughs> handicap? Uh, I still owe Fitz an ass whipping after that uh, <laughs> display. In oh Wisconsin. yeah, I'm gonna give you two strokes, and you make me play on a PGA machine, which I've never played on. Yeah, I had to go to a practice machine to make a ball in a bag. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> I'm sure there's still people out like, there like that too. Play know? me like a man. Let's yeah. do this straight up. Yeah, exactly. And I beat him. I beat him by one. You know, on the first round of King of the Hill. Yeah. And so he wins, and then I just had to be aggressive on Easter. It pisses me off. <laughs> I'll get him back one of these days. Oh, yeah. Yeah, there's not going to be a whole lot of action or, you know, talking points here on Easter yep. for, for a little bit. But. So what uh, what do we got going on on the other? Can you bring us a doubler here maybe? See what we got going on on the other screen? I'm not uh, sure who we got here. And there we go. I'm not too familiar with either one uh, of these guys. I recognize this guy. I can I never it. remember names very I well. I see some handles here. But it looks like, so Durkee and them are on Easter. What did these guys get? These guys got Nord uh, Allen. Nord Allen, yep. Uh, does that say Debo? Yep. I'm, you know, I'm old, so when I see Debo, I think of Debo from Friday. Oh, yeah. Uh, most oh, yeah. people now think Debo Samuel from the 49ers. Yep. Yeah, so no, like, I think I'm the same thing. It depends Debo. on if you're 28 or if you're 40 yep. plus. Yeah, <laughs> so, it's the same so Debo. I, I think of Debo <laughs> from Friday. So I'll, I'll have to walk up and ask him, like, what's, his, what's, yeah. uh, what's the So is that Debo recently? from Friday right. or is that Debo Samuel? And I didn't catch this guy's screen name. I think Nordalen is pretty – Golf I, L. I, I would say mundane until you get to the back nine. Yeah. 
I mean, even the par five is ridiculous when you can drive her eight iron into a double eagle. Yeah. What is that, no. fourth, fifth hole? It's like, okay. I wish they would have come out with that in, in, in the same time like they did the the other four. Yeah. And then change the tee boxes. Correct. Because you could, you could make I think you could make, make Dardalen a very difficult, yes, very fun course. But other than the one hole, I, I believe it's maybe 14, the one you actually have to come unglued I think on it's, a driver I think it's or thir- I think it's 13, 13, maybe. Whatever that par four is. I mean, that's really the only challenging yeah. shot. I mean, every once in a while, 16 can be kind of, uh, but – most of the time, it's pretty simple, especially with styles. It's pretty easy. But. Uh, right. But, 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 uh, but I, yeah, I, that, that hole can be iffy, 13. I kind of get the argument you know, that most have about the stouts on a course that's so easy. Yeah, the graphics are amazing, and there's oh, a yeah. lot of un- – The course looks great. There's a lot of elevation change, but if it's straight shots every single hole, like yeah. even this, I, I, don't, I rarely waste tees, even though Bryce gets on me about it, but yeah. wasting two and a half cents, because you don't need to. Yeah. You flick it left or right, and it's like, yep. okay. Yep. Oh, we – that was a pretty good shot, actually. All right, so – I do love this hole over here on Easter on our on our left-hand yeah. side. I um, I will try to use that ramp okay. from time to time. So I actually A1 this now was, off yeah. the drive instead of hitting the straight roll. <laughs> so I like getting to a, a nine wood so that I can backspin it. So I will actually nut a nine wood so okay. I get a lot of action. Okay. And yeah. it's it's proven to get either points or drill it, you know, once yeah. every four or five rounds. Yeah. Where normally it's like a six. Now, have you ever, no, ramped, like six have you ever ramped it too far right and been in trouble? Uh, I have, and yeah. I was with Brandon Eby, you know Eby. Yep. Um, so he discovered that it actually had a ramp by doing it a long time ago. And I was like, okay. So, yeah, I've had the ramp, unfortunately, get me in the rough. And it, I think it gave me, like, a two iron. I was like, well, this isn't going to play. Yeah. So I had to, like, baby thumb this nine wood, and it still went up in the back oh, yeah. rough. It's like, Air mouth. So I, I, I wasn't even secure enough to think the five hybrid would be high enough. I probably should have tried it. But either way, great hole. That's that's a pretty good look here. I like this. Oh, uh, yeah. Tim on hour three, when it's yeah. up in that top elbow. I think you got to be aggressive and backspin that, but that's just me. <laughs> yeah, we have that aggressive mentality. I, I, I didn't get my nickname. For I always no, say, I didn't get my nickname for no reason. Yeah, right? <laughs> I always say, all right, I'm just gonna be, you know, I'm not gonna take, attack this hole. I just, I play it safe. Boom, tack it. It's like, ah, I guess it's not in my blood. Hey, someone brought up to me a point a minute ago. Where's mouth? We were talking about how uh, pretty cordial and quiet the room was for a Saturday night at a Golden Tee tournament last night. I guess everybody got after it pretty good on Friday. Um. Obviously, but Saturday was pretty tame. Yeah. But I was like, well, Mouth's not here, so that's one level of. (laughs) A few (laughs) levels. A few levels. Of escalation there. Yeah. So this right here, this whole uh, four. Yeah, I thought it was four. So uh, they could have backed this up like 20 yards and make you tee this. You're talking uh, uh, Nord? Nord Yeah, Nord Island. Yeah. Anytime you can drive her eight iron into a par five without even using a tee, it's yeah. a little short in my yeah. in my liking. Yeah, I mean, I mean shit, he's gonna have. A, sorry about my language. Yeah, that's gonna be a nine iron probably. Yeah. Right. I mean, he's got the eight iron by him. This is exactly what I would do. It's just a little right. Do we know if this is pink or purple? Uh, is it my son? I'm not sure. We can look. What's Jerky playing as? Arnold shot? Yeah, it's. <laughs> I believe it's his bar okay. that he owns or something like that. Or a restaurant or, or what. Oh, that's about the easiest look on nine I've seen. A dead straight shot, no matter what ball you have. So lately, I've been playing it. And it's I had that, that offset. And I say that. Oh, and he, oh, and he almost missed yeah. it. Yeah. Normally, it's got that <laughs> crazy offset. And <laughs> Literally almost gave him a jinx. <laughs> yeah, I mean, yeah, I'm usually turning one left. Yeah. And I'm, you know, aggressively pushing it back to the right in the wind. Aaron had a pretty good shot under there. So, you know, for the, for the watchers, like, what, what's, what course do you hope to pull on your first round in a tournament just to kind of get the jitters out? Do you want an Easter, or do you want a harder course, course and maybe get a little bit of advantage there? So, when I played the handicap tournament on Friday, I uh, 
my first match, which was my only match, I uh, we had spun <laughs> Nor- we had spun Nord Allen, <laughs> right. and I had to give five strokes. Oh God! And but again, that, that's why I don't like that course and as much for those not kind o- of situations. Not only that, uh, the guy aced two par threes <laughs> in the front, <laughs> so he was two better. I'll give you seven. So at that point, I'm just rooting for him to make everything. <laughs> right, so yeah. I'm like, just make it. I want to see you shoot a just, thirty-one. Just keep holding yeah. out. Just keep holding out, and. Yeah, he ended up beating me straight up. I mean, I mean what are you gonna whatever. do? Whatever. I mean. I mean, that's handicap tournaments, yeah. right? I knew what I was getting into. Going yeah, I mean, you can't expect, you know. I think my first round in your tournament up there, I think I was giving seven. And I even went to Billy or maybe Fitz. And I was like, well, I mean, my tournament was short-lived. I'm giving yeah. seven. Because yep. I thought everybody in there could, had game, right? Yeah. And I think this guy stroked out like three of the last six holes. Yeah. So, I mean, giving seven, and I think I won by eight or nine, like straight up. It, it was just bad. I was like, okay, we'll, yeah. see, what, we'll see what happens here. I remember in Dallas I had to give 22 strokes <laughs> in, a, in the handicap <laughs> tournament, and you it spun. Played. It was Baja. You should have oh, played even worse. It, no. <laughs> <laughs> it was it was Baja, right? Left-handed blindfold. It was yeah. Baja. I shoot a one better. The guy shoots a 17 under, and he goes, hey, that's my personal best. <laughs> of course it is. So then he really rubs it in. Right. I, he should have said, well, I just started playing last week. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so I beat him by 12 but lose I mean, by 10. And honestly, like Baja, <laughs> so. there had like one, one hole with water, right? So, I mean, yeah. you could be a – completely new novice player and shoot probably four under yeah you know I mean, as, yeah, as a, as a, yeah. Um, but there's always got to be one right yep. you got to have that warm-up course yeah. I mean, Easter's this year with the exception of you know may, maybe 18 if it sets up and you know right behind the heads so yeah. at 17 can be kind of tough if you got we, that we strong got, wind we got a strong little match over here on easter but again you know you're probably going to expect 14 unders on the front and then you're going to probably see some separation here by about 13 yep and this is a very makeable shot, but again, 13 mile an hour wind. I don't care what ball you use, that's going to move a little bit. So if it's up against the wall, they're going to have some trouble with it. Yep. I'm not normally one, so I'd say half my players and fishers, they will cut, kind of baby cut into the wind yep. with the stout. I like for right here. I would be aiming. I would push this up against the wall and let the wind do its job okay. instead of cut into the wind. So yeah, yeah I, I I play it like the, exactly like this. That's and bam, perfect. And there you have it. Got right it. Right on cue. It depends. If the pin's tucked to the right, then I'll cut it in left or right. You have to, right. You know, you can't really thumb at it. I, uh, I'm i really it. tired of all these guys that are playing the fulls and having so much success. So yeah. I did it the other day when it was exact, almost exact same setup, but the pin was way to the right. Yeah. So I turned one, and I did a full. I'm like, okay, there's something here. Oh, get, just match him. Jeez, good run at it. That would have been nasty. I love it. But, but, but again, there you go. So I, I play that same shot. So yep. I will play it into the wind and just hope for, you know, that 8 to 12 or 8 to 10 yard pullback. Yep. That was executed perfectly. Yep. They both hit really good shots. We got a missed green on Nardalen, which I, that was a straight almost thumb. I think he got a little too. A little squirrely on it, right. maybe. And we have a stroke five. So did we go in the water on, uh, on the tee shot? shot? Maybe. So we're going to see some separation by just user air here on uh, seven. Or no, I'm sorry. Yeah, seven, right? Yeah, it looks like seven. This crunching in the microphone. That's one of my favorite holes here on Easter. Oh, he did the click chip, buried it. Uh, this That's one. That's one of my favorite holes. On, yeah, on Easter, because yeah. Because lately you've had that really nasty offset, yep. and it's on the front. Offset and the wind going the wrong direction. Correct. So you are forced to play. You have to cut an aggressive in cut. Yeah, I yeah. love it. But that's what I said. So once you get to 11, 12, 13, you most likely going to see some separation. He just happened to bury 10, which was beautiful. Yeah, and you called it. I mean, it was the it was the nice thumb look. Just get it to the right. And right. Just got to get it out there. Let the green do the work. And you're up against the wall, so you're, you're almost cutting the you know half wind in half, if yep. you will, for the. Jeez, Durkee's throwing uh, yeah, darts yeah, here. Yeah. I was going to say he's he's. Tasting or I smelling the blood in the water now. And this is about as good as it looks. I mean, I I really like when the pins in the bottom left or the far left. Yep. Because you can re- not even release. It, I just, just thumb that. Let it go eight, naked. Eight and, eight and let it, it run at run it. it. Right at the cup, right. Where here you got to be more precise with the bite of the backspin. He just happened to drill that. 
uh, almost the same time. So that's my favorite hole on Easter. Or one of my favorite hole, two hole spreads on Easter. This is my favorite hole on Nordal. On Nordal, because it's really never too too difficult. You can kind of push that ten and a half, yep. push that three wood with a bite. It's it's makeable. You know, one every three or I, four I, rounds. I always burn the edge. I could never get this one to. I finally got it to drop. Uh, I mean, it took me a while, but I finally <laughs> got it to drop one time, and I was like, thank God, you know, like finally. So I feel like there was times where I just had the line perfect, and it just it just wouldn't fall. Bryce Lepic and I we we play more often during the day, usually on our hole in one day on Tuesdays, and he and I go round and around and around on that hole. I'll make it one round, one cycle, then he'll make it the next round. So we beat each other up on that hole. But it's such a good setup to be aggressive. Yeah, yeah, you. It's never really hidden, right? So that's yeah. what I'm saying. You can be so aggressive. Yeah, you can hole. let it run right at the hole. Let it. No matter what wind, no matter what the ball, you can go right at the yep. hole. Yep. Uh oh, now oh, Gary is in that bunker where he's not he, going to get it. He's he, got to turn. He's got to, I think he's got to, yeah, I was going to say, he's got to loop this all around. Take your medicine, boy. So there's going to be a big swing so there because I think he hit. a one-shot lead to a two-shot, three-shot. So he's going to double if he, if he he's makes the make putt. He's got to make this. He did, good long, putt. Long, long distance putt. So I think he's down So he might be right? down one or two now. Two, two yeah. yeah. That was big. Like you said, well, wants Easter, to get a few on the back there. That's dude, I'm telling you, by 13, there's some major swing holes. Now, this is not drivable. It's too far back. You're going to hit that but tree. I, so. I know a lot of people like Kyle Heasley. He tells me he goes to the trees regardless because he likes the chip shot. He doesn't like playing the elevation change. Okay. So I'm like, okay, there, there's. it just depends on what club you're comfortable with. But with the wind kind of helping you into the hill, I'm not opposed to that. I like playing the elevation change, so I'll take a 10.5, go over the little cycle of heads, and then I've got a 7 hybrid to an 8 iron with bite right at the cup. Okay, so I will I will hit it over the left trees here, not the ones you go through, right. but those two left. I'll just hit it a little cut over that and end up in the rough up here and have a Jeez. more level shot. Gary just buried yes, himself he again. Did. He may be far right enough. He could do like an A1 with a lob wedge. I don't know if he's got a lob wedge, though. Gap wedge is going to be too much club. Well, he may have just buried himself by doing that. We have some early action here, yeah. ladies and gentlemen. I, I'm, I'm loving this. So frustrating when you get Nardal in and 10's not there because this can be a drastic swing because if you don't release this, and, well, so I A1 this with release, and I go all the way, and I keep it up top because now you've got a drastic elevation. I always, so you're a club I always try to get up to that top section every time. Uh, yeah, it's an A1 with release, and you're up there, you know, considerably better shape than what he yep. just rolled down to. Yeah, they're not even thinking about it. This is going to come ooh, and this is going to come way back. So did Gary just get out of that? He must have. He, well, no, I think he made no, par, he, right? You know, he made birdie. Birdie? Okay. Oh, no, no. No, he made no. par because yeah, he she barred, got, he was she got a stroke Yeah, there. you're right. So, yeah, I mean, this isn't too bad. Wow, no she had, a, nice, she had yeah. a really nice shot in there. I foresee some shots being ordered at the bar in about uh, <laughs> six minutes for Gary. Boy, it's I mean, crazy how you can hit that, and it still stays up there. It well, does not fire it, hard. But it gives you a really difficult putt. Yeah, but back. you're not – it, it doesn't fire in the water, you know, and right. it, it almost should. I mean – So not going to see too many fireworks here unless 18 is just gross. This actually ain't too bad. No, this, this is great. Yeah, I just baby bite, push it to the right, if that's kind of how she's going to play it. Oh, she's going to thumb this. All right. So not enough out to the right, but yeah. Yeah. Right now she's tee green, right? That yeah. Just, no messing around, just really straight no forward. No reason to be too aggressive at anything at this point. Now, interesting, this hole here on Nord, I have. Oh, that's gonna be interesting. I have hit chush shots into this hole. <laughs> so, I'm not a chusher, but like I'd say a few of my. My fishers guys chush a lot. I just I shake my head every time. Like I, how, how? I will like if the pin is up like same wind, right. but if the pin's all the way up top, you got like ninety. Like a five hybrid. Yeah, like ninety yeah. yards. What kind, what kind of club? No, you got about? like ninety yards. I'll hit like a low. That's in. Bam! Wow, he buried it. I'll I'll trust like a low ten point five driver with release, and I'll I've pointed it a few times doing that, but 
I feel like I have a better chance than trying to get that wind perfect because it's coming back to, to make it, you know. And I was just goofing around, and I tried it. I'm like, well, that's it can't really hurt me there because I, I kind of had the yardage down, so I'm like, okay. When you've got a little bit of a backstop, if you give a little bit too much, yeah. it's going to probably hold on. Okay, so they got kind of a little tucked left pin there on 17. So, I mean, he could def well. I was well, say he could make a stroke or two back, but he went way, way too right. far right, and yep. that's going to be a one and five putt. That's here. that's a tough one. Let's see if she she's being aggressive yeah, with so bite. She went left. Yeah, she's going to be. And she's got bite on it. Now, this could be this really, could be good. really good. Oh, she went too no. far. Yep. Okay. So an opportunity here, but I think it's a little too far or too little too late here. Do you know where she hails from? Uh, I believe the, she's in Texas. Okay. Yeah. Look, she's well, got yeah, a Texas look at the shirt, shirt, right? But no, I yeah, I believe she's in Texas. Uh, well, hell, I had a desk her husband's shirt on a here days too. Ago, he's, so <laughs> he's from Texas too. So yeah, they're they're Texans. All right, safe chip. Just get her down by the hole. Make your uh, birdie and, and move on. Speaking of Texans, we haven't seen our boys uh, Orlando, Oliver, or Seth in a while. Hopefully the dentist and uh, the Seth, brothers are Seth, doing well. Seth was on the stream yesterday. I was talking to him. Missed those guys. Hopefully they uh, make their return here pretty soon. Yeah, I mean, this would have to be a monumental blow up. Oh, well, outwind. I mean, yeah, you, you, probably birdie, but, yeah, you're, you're going for the middle of the green. Yeah. Honestly, I'd probably take a five high. I would probably I'd hit a five. I'd probably hit a five release to run it into right. the, I'd hit the and come wall. back. I'd, I'd hit the wall just to come back and get it, even from there. You're lob wedging this to a birdie putt. Yeah, but yeah. I'd take a five with release. Now, now here's the hole we were talking about on Nord Allen yes. over here to the right. So that's a good setup either way. This is a really way good you setup. Play it. You could do a high three, high ten and a half. Now maybe it's three thirty five. I think you can just hit the medium. Uh, yeah, I, I would have not have high teed this. I would have blasted my nine and a half or my eight and a half with backspin and probably been you know 30, 40 feet closer. Yep. But again, it's an eagle putt. But if you miss your one eighty on that, yeah, uh, you're, you're in trouble. You know, and then it retees you, and now you have no tee. Then you have nothing, right? So yesterday, you know, we had kind of ugly looking qualifying. So I actually did do the ten and a half high tee, and it sent me all the way down to the bottom, and I was touching the fringe. So I had a seventy some foot putt on the fringe. Okay. So it's gonna turbo, right? Yep. So I gave it a little extra, like one degree, and it stayed high side. So I was like, well, that was my one stroke I missed on a dollar. So I was, I think through Nord Island, I was one off. I guess I ought to have been one off. And then we all know the rest of the story with Hollywood. <laughs> I think everybody has a story for Hollywood. Hollywood was, it was uh, not great, right? It, yeah, like 16 was tough. 17 was brutal. Uh, 18 wasn't bad, but 16 and 17 were brutal. Oh God! You had to you had to hit some good golf shots to, to um, make 16. She oh, has, she just she hit, the has hit the wall. Hit the wall twice. Now, if she doesn't get through here, we have a situation. I think she's turned one too. She's got to go back straight. Ooh, okay. Oh, she just. That's a good recovery. Now, she should still be up two if she makes that putt. Oh, no. Is this for eagle? Oh, Gary missed his. This is for birdie, right? Yeah, it's only for birdie. So, I think she still has it by one, even if she makes this, right? Yeah. Um, yeah. Yeah, so she wins by so one. So, she wins Ooh, by one. We had some fireworks there on 18. That's what you got. <laughs> they you made got, it you, interesting. You love to see it, right? Yeah, three strokes. We're like, oh, it's over. And yeah, made it interesting. Wow. But that's what you expect to see, right? It's Sunday. It's game day. Yep. you got to bring your A game or you're going to fall. Yep. You know, everybody's asking, you know, I'm hearing conversations around the room like, oh, who do you play first? Well, well you're in the main. It doesn't really matter, it's does it? It's a coin flip, right? <laughs> you, you would think it's a coin flip for, mo for most participants. And then I'm talking to Fitz. Guess who Fitz pulls first round in the purple? Oh, yeah. And Mr. Andy Fox. Mr. Andy Fox. That is a rough draw in the purple. So I remember I mean, it's probably been a shit, it's probably been a year, year and a half. Um, I was in the purple, and every single person I walked up to, they're like, why are you down here? I was like, hey, <laughs> alcohol, right? I mean, sorry. <laughs> I mean, take me out. It's yeah. what, what you got to do. But uh, yeah, that that is a that's that's a bad Sunday beat right there. When you when you not only mess up and you, you lose your chance to 
make a good run in the main, and you pull Andy Fox yep. in the purple. Now, I look at it two so, ways. I saw either figure Andy's going to be pissed off and on a mission. It, it, well, what you told me last night, because he was wrecked. He, or he and I were doing shots or he's just going to be like, I don't really care today. Right. I mean, he, he literally, the words out of his mouth said, well, when you miss the cut, you, uh, you, uh, take, uh, what he say? you take it out on the purple bracket or well, what? No, he, he, <laughs> no, he said, uh, you let loose. He goes, yeah, he goes, I when you miss the cut, you let loose, right? And I was like, oh, you did. <laughs> <laughs> the last picture I have the night was he and I doing a shot, and you could just tell. It's oh, an yeah. Andy Fox I'd never seen before. I was like, <laughs> okay. Well, that makes a lot more sense why he was uh, living it up. But. Is our uh – are people chatting, or is our chat not working here on our screen? Are you or on? not updating? Because it's been like this for a while. Yeah. I don't know if it's not updating or. Oh, pull it up. Is our is our chat still live? I just I, he's working on oh, it. Oh, there he goes. Okay. So this is actually not a very cool look here on, on 16 on Nord. Yeah, this is a little, a little rougher than we had in qualifying yesterday. I, I have a hybrid, so I like my five hybrid, and I would probably slam this. Okay, so we got a somebody. we got a response. You said we're just quiet, too early. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Uh. Thanks, Garrett. Probably yeah. <laughs> Probably a lot of quiet minds, or they've just set it on their TV and walked away for a little while until things uh -oh, get interesting. Oh, so this but is yeah, not going to be good. There's just no, there's no way. I thought he was going to high tee this, but I was like, well, that's not even, even with a stout ball, that's not getting there. Yeah, I mean, I'm, I'm probably high five ironing this with uh, maybe some bite. Kinda, See, I, I'm a little different. With some touch. I might, I might hit like a low eight wood cut in there. Mm -hmm. But once again, that's, I'm just too damn aggressive. I don't like backspin here. Yeah, this is. Uh, and if you're cutting it cutting left it. to right, and there's no chance here. So my lessons begin at 6 p.m. tonight. <laughs> so, <laughs> so, <laughs> so you just saw two ten, shots of what not to ten, do. Yeah, so <laughs> ten bucks around. <laughs> Line up. <laughs> Here's here's how not to play this hole. I mean, this could be interesting, though, right? Because I think it was a. I'm pretty sure we had a one shot difference. You could get this chip pretty close because I don't even like this putt coming down either. I like a lob wedge bite here and just drill it. Uh, so, unfortunately, I have been here a few times, and I've made it with a. I have a sandwich, so. This, I mean, neither one of these putts are very ideal, right? No, that's now gonna, you're touching the fringe. That, but that's going to be a left 12. Call it 12 because you're on the fringe. Yep. I don't hate this, but you got to aim it back to the left. Oh, oh yep, there we go. And so it's going to stay up. Oh, hoo -hoo. now he's going to try this so chip it's again. Right back. <laughs> 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 I mean, so, so, to our early point, um, there's not a whole lot of action. <laughs> now he's on this. Apparently, he caught the uh, the Velcro part. <laughs> Not a lot of action on Nadal, and we're seeing uh, we're seeing all kinds of issues going on. Oh, uh, he's he's in for par. Going, God, I just gained like five strokes. <laughs> <laughs> so what's he go? Yeah, so he's going for uh, what double here? Yeah, this is a double chip. So he's gonna make triple, maybe. Jason, J Jason just said we're chatting away on YouTube, so that's why so, we're, yeah, not, I don't we're not on YouTube. We're on some uh, restream IO. Let me get here. Let me pull this. Well, up that's YouTube. the restream is like that's Does part it of pull it. Pull it all together. Let me pull up YouTube on the on the old uh, smartphone here. Oh yeah, we do have a phone, don't we? But you know what? It's not Golden T TV. It would be uh, what am I looking? No, at? no, no. It's just it be, just uh, Golden T. Yeah, I'm just gonna say Golden T and then uh, Golden T Golf. Let's see if I can pull up that one. Yeah, here we go. Here we go. Uh, yeah, Golden T Championship Sunday. Boom. There we go. There, there is our chat. Okay. All right. Cool. All right. So let's set us up here. Oh yeah, Nate's on here. Johnny Mon, what's up, baby? There's Jason. Layups are I just sent Jake text. There we go. All right. Starks and Starks and yep, I gotta mute that phone. How do I mute my phone? 
Just turn your volume all the way down. I did. But that's volume, not microphone. No, no, no. He just wanted your phone off because you could hear it. Oh, the... there, you go, there you go. All right. If nobody has remembered to do it or forgot to do it or hasn't done it, make sure you smash that like button. Smash it. More that, people. I cannot the wait to see this putt down 18. <laughs> Most people probably wouldn't do it, but I, I, I definitely don't like backspin here, but I like probably a three wood with bite and, and get yourself with it get yourself within, you know, thirty Something feet, reasonable. Right? Yeah. yeah. I mean he's got ninety plus feet down ten with a slight turn on this. With no room for air. No. And, yeah, it's there's really not an easy putt on this screen. <laughs> Called so. it 90, 93 feet. Nailed it. Watch him drill this. He looks uh, like he's hitting it way out. It, ooh. That's that's what I was worried about. When you have so little room for air, I'm babying it down there. I'm oh, not yeah. getting too, too aggressive. Yeah. Especially with his lead right now. Hey, he doesn't need to make it. Just right. get it down there. Uh, did it hit 200 yesterday? Are you talking about players? I think we were 191. Were we 191? Not 190? Um, I don't know if we had any no-call no-shows. I think it was 183. So we had a couple like no-shows yeah. from the signups. Not too bad. I, this room is absolutely fantastic. These guys did a great job finding this location. Um, the only thing I would say yesterday is I don't think they were very prepared with the number of people. They had two bartenders. Yes. And, th and this location doesn't have floor service, so yeah. you're going to the bar. So we ran those two absolutely ragged, and they're both back here to fight another day. So I gave them props and some money this morning just, just as a, my God, you guys have to be tired. <laughs> yeah. It's – they definitely need a few more staff. But the location but is great. Yeah, I mean, oh, yeah. plenty of space. Everybody's pretty spread out. I was lucky enough to – we're still purple, pink or, uh, announcements, right? I didn't – I couldn't – Yeah, it. I mean, I looked at my phone. It's 1145, so but, uh, can't I, be I was lucky enough to get that corner spot, and so our machine had maybe – eight feet to the left oh, of us yeah, tons of room so we unplugged the machine and moved it to the corner so oh, okay. that we didn't have like people bumping into us every single shot so i was with gary sheldon and uh he and i kind of saw it the same way i was like i'm kind of tired of being so claustrophobic and it's it, it was it was odd so we moved our machine over and it was great we you know we got the it problem there by what round three i think yeah is when it all kind of came unplugged on us but well like i was saying in ours we got lucky because every time there was a issue we were already in the middle of our game oh yeah so yeah. we didn't have to worry about swiping in or anything so we so. were concerned that it went down in the middle of nardalen and i checked my app about 10 minutes after we got done well it didn't register yeah so we were thinking that we had to go back and play it well i had a great round with good points well about 20 minutes after i guess it came back online it pushed itself through so it did stay yep. cloud-based or some kind of memory bank so, yeah uh, I was I wondering about that too. We, we I never looked. We were but. concerned that we were going to have to have you know another two hours of qualifying because everybody has to go play two to three rounds, yeah. whichever didn't get caught yeah. caught in the memory. I mean, even when Stenmark's not in the room, we're watching uh, videos of him down in the bottom right here. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so it looks like we got a match coming up on one of them here. <laughs> My boy Austin's online. What's up, buddy? Happy to see you're on here. He's a west sider of Indy. He comes up to the to the main, I'd say once every couple weeks or so. All right, so it looks like we have Chris Baki yep, here. Yeah, we got Baki. And I'm not sure who this other gentleman is. I don't is. know. My dog is smarter than Biden. Got to love the political uh, shout-out on Sunday, Championship <laughs> Sunday. <laughs> <laughs> oh, boy. We'll, we'll run with some comedy here. All right. We'll keep it loose. <laughs> Jay Ware is here, and he's still on the stream. <laughs> he's, on the, he's on the chat room. <laughs> well, at least he was here yesterday. Maybe, maybe he's still at home nursing, uh, nursing his events. Oh, that's Dance and Jim. <laughs> Jim Peichel, Dance and Jim is oh, the other there guy. There we go. There, yep, yep. Um, hey, Graham, if you're still on here, uh, we were talking about you last night. you got to get out to some more tournaments, brother. We only see you in Texas. <laughs> see him trolling online a lot. He's still saying mute my phone. No, he said that earlier. I have it muted and volume off. Yeah, I don't know what's going on. Ah, uh, gotcha. 
I got Brad Baird messaging me right now. And he's, <laughs> What's up, Predator? He wants to know if the stream is in Espanol. <laughs> <laughs> I know about three words in Spanish, so I would say no. What, is, he, is he listening now, or he's just texting? Oh, look at the uh, comment we got. Uh, there's a comment for you from uh, Dave Sandmeyer, if you would like to read that. Sandy? <laughs> well, where is it at? <laughs> How do we get this going? Uh, here, here, just say yes. It'll go away. Staff there is great. Oh, they are great. See, I keep getting yeah, this. That's why I just leave it there. It won't bother your Dave, bottom. Can we replace Jay with Painter since Painter? <laughs> you <laughs> mother. <laughs> uh, I swear to God, Dave, I'm going to start flipping quarters from here, and Gomez is a man of integrity. He'll tell you if you win or lose. Yeah, you lost, Dave. <laughs> <laughs> So, oh no, he hit roll on. Oh it. yeah, I was gonna say, what's oh, the, what's he hit the wrong spin? I think, it, yeah, the wrong button. Well, at least we get to see Petra here. Uh, wasn't in the qualifier, but I'm excited. It sucks because I like this course. Well, I kind of thought that you know I wouldn't be lucky enough to have Petra, you know, excluded. Um, but I thought, okay, at least that helps you understand where you are. There, oh, well, that's a that could be a two stroke swing here. Um, you know where you stand, right, going into champ. Yeah. So you can kind of play champ completely Correct. differently yes. if you kind of have a couple bad issues on Petra yep. and you move down the line, and normally that's how, I'll, that's how I'll run my qualifying. Well, when they take Petra out, all oh, great, great putt. You made that putt, 80 nice. some feet. So it, it kind of changed the whole dynamic of your mindset in qualifying. So I was kind of, I was kind of happy to see how it all played out. But, yeah, I'll, I'll be excited to see – how people play and, and compete with Petra today. I asked my first warm-up round today. I got here just in time uh, to play uh, two warm-ups before the ladies' tournament, and I played a Petra. Oh, he got it. Oh, my. Oh, Dialed in. Shot. Dialed in. And it's pretty rare to be four under after two. So that would that would have been pretty ridiculous. The rat head. I like it. <laughs> He's got a one wood. <laughs> What's up, Predator? There he is. <laughs> he checked in. He's hey. got a one wood. <laughs> I don't even know. Oh, oh. my God. <laughs> that would have been disgusting. Oh. I tell you what, if he'd have made that, I threw the one wood right in my bag. <laughs> Next. Was, build a bag, add Build a parts. bag, add one wood, <laughs> super spin. <laughs> oh, my. The was that gross? Under Honestly, didn't even know there was a one wood in the bag. All, I didn't either. I mean, you might as well put a driving iron in there with super spin at this point in time. Oh, my. I mean, please make this. Let's just – this this could get out of hand quickly if these guys are just pin hunting like this. Oh, I know man. I'm probably only good for one. What's up, Josh? I hope you can make St. Louis too, brother. How's the, weather? How's the weather in Minnesota? Still nice and warm? <laughs> I haven't seen Josh in a little while either. Oh, my God, look at this. Oh, point. They're both. Uh, I mean, they I, both look a little dialed in, other than his I, missed I, I, click I'm, on spin on the first hole. After this round, I'm going to go talk to these guys and see if I get some pointers. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm familiar. I mean, Baki, I see occasionally. I, mean, I know he's got game, but uh, I'm not familiar with this guy. I think dancing Jim. I think he's an old, old school player. Clearly, he's uh, he's got some skills. Uh oh, did you get enough? Yeah, no, you did. got enough. Yeah, I, I, I'm, I'm concerned when I go to the right. It's, it's just getting you out of that range because yep. normally with an eight and a half high tee, I'm kind of like landing on the fringe more often than not. Correct. Um, and I've made the mistake of trying to hit straight over that mountain, so you can get clipped. Oh yeah. There and then, you, then you're really screwed, right? Because oh, then yeah. it gives you a re tee with no tee. Yep. And then you're going down the long fairway, and then if you get the, uh, the only there's a little I've, ramp there. The only reason I've made it there is because there is a ramp, but you got to be careful not to go springing over the green yep. up into the wall. So, <laughs> Brad, that's fighting words. No need to bring that up. <laughs> did you see what he wrote? Yeah, I did. <laughs> it's it's uh, the second time I've heard this story today, too. Brad Bear, don't you have a buffet or something you got to be at? <laughs> I mean. <laughs> <laughs> What's up, Farter Frank? I mean, it's not even noon. We got fighting over stream. <laughs> I love this. <laughs> oh, man. Brad, I'm a. I'm gonna come over to St. Louis soon. We, I, I'll, I'll holler at you. We got we got to make sure you're in the cade or wherever you're playing these days. Uh, looking Brad. 
<laughs> Never a dull moment with that guy. <laughs> no. Um, so very few people know, but like my fir- very first tournament ever, it was down in Greenwood in Indianapolis, south side of Indianapolis. And the first three guys I meet are Bacon, uh-huh. Baird. <laughs> Bacon and Baird, I'm like, okay, I think I'm going to get along great with this community, right? <laughs> yeah. And then and Fitz. Or no, I'm sorry, not Fitz, but um, oh, God, I just lost my train of thought. Who's my Chicago guy that, that came to – they came up to Wisconsin. Doesn't play a lot anymore. I literally just, I'm going blank at the moment. Oh, Jesus. Oh, Kent. 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 Yeah. First three guys I meet at my very first Golden Tee tournament. And I happened to get second place to Johnny D. If you remember oh, yeah. Johnny, Johnny D. D. out of Northern Ohio. So those are the first three guys I meet at Golden yeah, Tee. Yeah, Outside of my guys. Italian like, guy. You, you really, so, so I know, you know, Matt Cavanaugh and Mike Johnston and Bryce and yep. Goody and my, my Fisher's crew. So I meet those three guys. I'm like, yeah, I think I'm going to fit in nicely here. And then, you know, mouth shortly after that. So quite the, yeah, quite the crew to get, <laughs> get, just, get going with. Yeah. I mean, it's like a nineties comedy gone wrong. Right. With, with, with that cast of characters. And it's crazy. Cause Brad Baird, he, I think he's been playing for a while, right? Baird. Yeah. Oh yeah. Yeah. You would think he would be getting it better, but oh, yeah, uh, he kind of, he hovers in that mid purple range. Yeah. <laughs> I really want to take this farther, but I don't want to get to <laughs> Yeah. Ken's my man. He'll be on here later, I'm sure. He still watches. He just can't get out of, can't get out as much. So that was actually that nice little look you can run it at. Yeah, I, I, I kind of like what his process was. Like, you're, you're not going to leave this short, right? No. You, you've got to give it a run. Yep. I, I, I never bite this. I'm backing up and, and releasing it. I'm always it, letting, or it, or letting it run at it. it go. You've, you've got, I mean – 100% of short putts and shots don't go in, right? So you got to get a run. I, I like the offset here. I hate that that look when they give you the tee box, you know, 100 yards to the left and it's just a straight shot to the gap. I think that's ridiculous. Yep. He's going to have to nut this with a forward to get in a really good spot. It's actually not too bad. He's, he's going to be back a ways, but. I went farther than I thought. Okay. So, well, and the pin I saw, I think I saw the pin to the left on the side of the green. So. Yep. Either way, it I think yeah, I think he's got a good shot. But boy, I, I usually hit a high three, sometimes ten and a half because I, I'll do that baby cut. Yeah, I'm just hitting it high over high three wood right over. You're fine. <laughs> Ryan just chimed in <laughs> when you're in clear by noon. <laughs> yeah, yeah, the, he's, he's not lying. <laughs> I appreciate you, Rhino. Oh shit, that's funny. That is, <laughs> so it's funny because we, we get in money games with Brad Baird, and uh, he likes to talk. He likes to dabble. He likes to to <laughs> wander. And, uh, well, yeah, he's a social and he's a social. it literally uh, takes uh, a two-player money game with him probably takes an hour and a half. Oh my God! And about an hour I, and twenty minutes of it, he's not even playing. If I yeah, if I'm twenty you know, minutes in, I, I'm losing interest. He's already. wandering around, and it's like you just you want a DNF, you want to finish. What's going on here? You know, you're in a money game here. You know. I mean, sometimes money doesn't motivate. And yes, you should change your name to the ATM Predator. That would be perfect. <laughs> <laughs> That's good stuff, big boy. That's good stuff. Miss you, brother. Oh, that's so great. It's all in love, all in love. So Baki's still up one here, it looks yeah, like? Yeah, still, still got a, a good run here. Yeah. Now, this one's been kind of weird sometimes when they got that pin tucked left. I do a high five wood with a little baby cut, and okay. it seems to kind of settle Just in. Center. Even, even if you hit the sand or the rough, like before the pin. You get that pin, little hop. You get the little hop, unless you get a really bad look. So um, a couple of my guys will come out here to the fairway where he's pointed and snap hook. Just rip it in. And I... That scares me because there's a l- there's just less room for error when you've got that birth canal, so to speak, between the two yep. mounds. I mean, high f- yeah, we're gonna see it happen. Oh, he's here, ripping a full. Gentlemen. Not really. A full. I guess he when, got you're, it out when you're high little. five, you're you're plenty, but it's just you, you see what I mean. Yep. You've got so little room for error, and that is not a good high percentage shot when you've got an uneven oh. chip. Speaking up of Ken's, from sand. <laughs> there he is. How you doing, Ken's? My man. What's up, baby? It was good to see you the other day. Yeah, so he yeah he, he just he, hit a he, yeah. There, there's no reason to really mess around with yeah. it. Yeah, you're not 
I mean, you're not really making that hole. You're just you're just getting yeah, you it mean, close, yeah. making your putt, and moving you're on. You're not trying to get your six foot circle here. You're just trying to get yourself a makeable, easy, approachable putt, and you know, avoid this. Right? That's it. Oh, and he's lucky to get it over yeah, that left. I was going to say, it might have almost come back to him. All right, so I, we should so have So we're going to be knotted game. up again we now? We should have a knotted up game going into uh, – well, this has been a great match so far. At this point in time, like, when you, you come in a turn and you're down one and then you get it back, like, do the nerves start setting in? Like, okay, who's the first to make a mistake? That's always in my mind, right? Do I make the first mistake? Does he make a mistake? I kind of don't like – It depends on what hole we're on. He's playing a C wedge. You, right. <laughs> so Used all okay, these bags. Have, what's going on here? <laughs> if he if he makes this with a sea wedge, I am putting a sea wedge in my bag. I'm going I'm going to steal his phone. To, oh, oh, you almost ate your words. That was gross. <laughs> I'm going to go steal his phone to look at his bag because he, we're gonna we're gonna put, we're gonna put this on the stream. This is fantastic. He obviously knows what he's doing. <laughs> Jason came in just to like the stream. Perfect, Jason. We love it. <laughs> he's 50 feet away. And he's on the stream. There's a little speck in the right corner. Oh! Oh, here we go. The hockey with the I berry. Mean, I mean, he gives it up and takes, takes it, it right back. back. No, but I say this. Like, sometimes I like the honors. On a course like Petra, it, I like I, I don't ever mind having the honors because I can put the pressure on. But there are some looks on here that are like, okay, let's see what you do, right? Yeah. And you could, you know, if he makes the mistake like Baki did, you can play a little bit more conservative and get that stroke, yep. right? So it it's really depends on where you're at in the game. If it's 16, you play differently. If it's 9, get aggressive as hell Correct. If, he, if he screws up. I should say he or she. We've got a lot of good, good female players in the room. Yes, there is. I think I think the female tournament was uh, ladies' tournament was sixteen. Did I 16, see that right? Yep, sixteen. That's incredible. Uh, I don't even know where we're at. I, I wish we could get an update. Yeah. On that, I think if it's coming down to the ladies' finals, are we not? Uh, hopefully, we get those on a stream. I, I was thinking that we I were, think we were going to do that. I yeah. think they might have played some, and now they're mixing it up because remember Aaron played. Because, well, yeah, I know. There's and a lot. I know she's and, still well, in the Chris, tournament. Crystal's so. playing down to our left, so it's, I know it's still going on. I'm just hoping that um, once one of the stream machines, they'll put you know final four. Or, uh, we got some time. Okay. I could go get my computer and have the brackets pulled up too if I really wanted to get crazy. But, oh yeah, we got some time. The ladies? No way. Last year they did it last, right? At the end. They make him wait for eight hours? No. Jesus. I'm going <laughs> to. Yes, you do need to add that one wood and that sea wedge. <laughs> good, good call, Kins. So, how often have you got this hole? I so uh, it's kind of an argument, right? So, EB and Bryce yell at me because I don't even try it, right? So this this is a look where you can maybe get lucky with a couple ricochets. I am a higher percentage player when I can put it. With, I do a I do a five wood, no tee, no, no tee necessary. I'll put it about an eight iron, nine iron back, and I'll drill it from there. I see more often than not, if you're getting an outwind like that, you're taking a high 10.5 and, and you're smoking it, yep. right? But I've never – I think I've gotten on the green one time out of maybe six or seven tries, so it's not as high percentage as I like. I like being right here, downwind. It's essentially look at this as a straight putt, right? Yep. No, I don't like the eight wood here. This okay, so what I, I do I – would, I would baby this. See, what I do is I lay where he is almost with the pins all the way down, and I have the eight wood coming in, and I like that. Now, if the pin's tucked up tight, I'll hook it around and be in the yeah, fairway so about here nine, so, so I can get some spin right. and, and back it in with the iron. Yeah, but I, I'm not – I don't know, it's personal preference, right? But I'm not trying to get on the green unless it's like 13 to 15 miles an hour helping wind. I just I, – I haven't been lucky enough to do it consistently. Yeah. I do carry a lob wedge though, so it helps. Like if you're really stuck up against that wall, you're not you're not buried. You can you can somehow get it on the green and make a putt. Yeah. So I'm not scared of it, but I just have a higher percentage. I mean, I don't have my name for no reason, right? So I'm gonna I'm gonna attack <laughs> yeah. the, I'm gonna attack the hole, and I have a better percentage chance of making it from the fairway than I do, you know, 
that drive. This is always a swing hole. It so can be. I, it can be. I, I hate that the pin is in the or the T is in the left because yeah. it's over to the right. I like turning one and doing a full into here. Okay. Um, here I would probably do a five wood no high T so I get some action back. Normally I would. So so okay so he oh I thought he, yeah he is gonna. Normally try I would like but I I think I would just slide left hit a high T six wood. Uh, I think and we just cut little, it a little bit. Yeah we've got a we've got a mini full here just a. And that's just he, fine. If, oh but maybe. If he, if he hits the two there he's gonna be real close. The high T is just gonna push him a little bit too far. But I, I love this. I, at first I hated this hole, and when we first started playing it, what we were doing is taking ten and a half rolls and slamming it into the back wall. But then it's like okay it's it's a crapshoot on where you get the bounce. Yeah. But you were getting it back to the hole, right? Yep. So he's going medium five here. Yeah, I, I, I like this play. If you can get it out You just have to keep wall. it out. If, and he did. And he did it. Yeah, oh, he just hit it a little too much. Unlo- he's got an F wedge too. Thanks, brother. Let's see what the C wedge does. I... We have an F wedge and a C wedge in this bag. <laughs> I'm literally going to go steal his phone. And I a got, one wood. I have, I have to see this bag. And a one wood. <laughs> this is legendary. <laughs> so we got we got uh, Kobe or Todd Toad. Now I need to add a one wood and a sea wedge to my bag as well. I love it. Thanks, oh, Brad, appreciate it. <laughs> What's up, Kins? Yeah, I, you know, you always you always sound different to yourself, right? You're on the mic, and yeah. a lot of people were kind of guessing who we were yeah. up in Wisconsin as I yeah. as I broke my stream cherry. <laughs> yes, had so much fun, and uh, I, now I kind of like I'm digging it. Yeah. I, I love being on here because yeah. I, I love the game and I like talking about it. So now you all have to listen to me. <laughs> WTF is a sea wedge. <laughs> I think I think we're all kind of yeah. in that same I've heard question of it. mark in our head. Like, actually, didn't know it existed. Actually, funny story is <laughs> did the club just get invented last week. When <laughs> Bryce first came to the lounge and first played, he had my, a he had Bryce? a sea wedge. No, my Bryce. Oh, your Bryce. Oh, yeah, Bryce. yeah, yeah, young Bryce. Yeah. He had a sea wedge, and I said, "What the hell is that?" He goes, it's a sea wedge. I said, what I want you to do is build a bag and get rid of that. <laughs> Here, I'm going to hand you $4. You put in one. I'm going to build you a better yeah. bag. Right? I said, we're going to get rid of that. He goes, I'm pretty good with it. I said, well, you're going to have to be pretty good with a six iron. So, <laughs> so you're right. Yeah, exactly. So I have, I have a great Bryce story. So I, I was finally able to meet him. I think he was at a tournament before, but I never had a chance to talk to him or meet him. So I come up to Wisconsin, and they're like, oh, Billy said, hey, that's Bryce, the, the young kid. And I'm like, oh, shit. So I, I go over and introduce myself, and he's like, oh, I know who you are. And uh, so I start talking to me. He's like, um, well, hey, after we get done, let's start playing. I was like, what are you, a shark now? Like, <laughs> he, he's, he's asked me to come play. I'm like, do, do, you, do you gamble? He's like, my dad won't let me. He's standing over there. <laughs> and uh, what? no, it wasn't you. Some, um, who did, somebody spotted it. Someone was spotting him gambling money. To I, I usually do. Was it you? So, but yeah. someone walked up and says, I'll spot him. And he ends up beating me the first game, and then I, I get him on the next two, and he ended up losing, like, total, I think it was, like, $4. Right? Yeah. It was nothing. But I had a great time with the kid because he's got game. He, he yeah. loves the game. Um, he definitely analyzes uh, a lot of shots. But, he, dude, he's going to be a, a, a force to reckon yeah. with here in the, the next coming years, as long as he can get the tournaments, right? Yeah. Obviously, if his dad sees the potential and he gets him to a couple tournaments or you guys grab him and, and come down, right? I yeah. mean, he'll, he'll, he'll be there. Oh, yeah. What? Oh, video. <laughs> so, <laughs> Lindsay's taking pictures of it. I thought it was a picture. So, we do have uh, Monkey House. Now, do you know who nice. Monkey House oh, yeah. is? Mike Cannon. I, I, the great, the great the fox great himself. The great Mike so, Cannon. Um, uh, good story here. So, Mike Cannon is from my hometown. I actually met Mike when I was visiting home in Evansville, Indiana, like the southern little tip of Indiana. Yeah. So I, I, I still called on some accounts down in Evansville, and he was always holding his Wednesday tournaments. And if you get hole in ones, you get free pizzas at this place. So oh, nice. I go down, I meet Mike. Um, I don't, I can't remember. Maybe we knew each other through the like the Golden Tea community. He was like, oh yeah, yeah, yeah. So I, I show up. He's got vodka. What's got another? One. So I show up and we start playing these tournaments on Wednesday. So I was like, well, I'll start coming down Tuesdays and Wednesday nights. So I started playing with these guys. That's how I met Elliot. Okay. And then Jason Elliott yep. and I became good friends. And then in, being in the liquor business, then I set him up when he started his breweries. So just, just uh, yeah, Ken and I go way back. But uh, love Mike, miss Mike. I wish he was still playing. Is he going to play the chipper? <laughs> this is crazy. I mean, I think you've got to absolutely nut this thing, right? Oh, oh my, dude. So he did a half pullback on so this. So he's dialed with that chipper. 
I mean, now I'm intrigued, right? I'm gonna go put a bag. I'm gonna put a bag together just to play with it for a <laughs> few days and just see if it's. It, wow. Yeah, Kins, I couldn't. I couldn't agree more. Like. He, he, he wasn't cocky at all. He was very cordial, and he'd love to meet everybody, but he's got game. Like, he, he understands that. So if he could hone it in and get to some tournaments and just build build on that, I think the kid's got a ridiculous future. Yeah. And, of course, he can't drink, so he's got, you know, that going for him against, you know, 90% of the room. <laughs> so. uh. <laughs> but, but Brad, I couldn't – couldn't agree more. Oh yeah, best. but but the last time I checked, I, I thought uh, Mike cut his hair. He had this big flowing lock of '80s hair. And, Beautiful and, and, flowing and he, hair. Right, yeah. and, then, and then I think he cut it. Mike, you'll have to confirm for us here. All right. <laughs> yeah. Kins, I get tell I get told the same thing. <laughs> so, okay, so we have I'm another not, we have another I'm, match going on. I'm not Maybe scared. We can get a double gone. screen here. We got looks like Jay, yes. Jay Ware and Jay. Uh, Blake Boyette. He's a Texan. Yeah, uh, I was gonna say we Jay got, Ware's Nashville. We, we got a good squad here, Tennessee, Texas. Jay's a lot more. Uh, What's the best word I can use here? Controlled. <laughs> than I've seen him. In yeah. <laughs> than I've seen him in recent yeah. past in tournaments. Yeah, he was a true he was a true gigging machine back for a while. I mean, and that's saying a lot coming from me because I've let it let it you know come loose a few times. Yeah. Been known to do that. It happens. But uh, Jay uh, Jay makes me look pretty sober to to, to be blunt. <laughs> He's doing a good job this week. So they have that that look on Hollywood where you're tucked behind the trees yeah, we're, here. Yeah, we were talking about this earlier. It's like I'd say about one every 20 times you'll see this nasty look. Yeah, and that's a really that's good a shot. That's ridiculous shot. It's, it, it's unfortunate he didn't have his bite there, grab him, and pull him towards the hole a little bit more. Actually, I just I just played this contest warming up. I did Same too. exact one. I did too. I, I did a high five wood uh, backspin, and I bounced once into the slope, and it kicked it just on the other side of the hole, maybe 15 feet. So, uh, but I but I turned one. I turned one, and I full it in there. Oh, okay. It's just a little bit more. It's less room for air, right? Here, I don't like these half halves. I think it's especially with a stout ball. You you just don't know if you yeah. pull it back a little bit too far. It's gonna go. It's gonna go crazy on you. Oh, they both hit pretty Look at damn this. good shots. Uh, yeah. Uh, so you're gonna see some swinging on this one, I think. You're, you you may have a couple lead changes here. Great look over here on Petra, sixteen. Yep. Not much you really need to do. Not the nice eight wood look. I here. mean, you're almost going, you're almost going straight at this yeah. with a barrage or a titan, you know, whatever whatever the choice of the old balls were. I would say barrage because that's what I that's what I played for years. I don't envy this putt though. Yeah, you're right, Andrew. The ten and a half does go through the trees, but it, it was kind of an awkward shot because the uh, because the pin was down on the lower tier, and you almost have to land it on the upper tier and run it down to the lower tier on that look, and that's uh, I mean that's a little risky. Dave, I got to tell you a funny story, and I don't even mind saying this on the stream, but uh, I was telling somebody yesterday, it's like, I, I don't know if I've been lower than low when Dave Sandmeyer has to carry me out of a bar at a tournament. <laughs> <laughs> well, I got I got carried back to the hotel in Nashville by Dave effing Sandmeyer. What was funny is they had, <laughs> when they did their 30-pack uh, challenge with, yes. the, uh, with the, 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 the cycle, cycle the right, ultimate yeah. cycle, they had, they him and Fitz both had over 30 beers, right? Oh, and Fitz well, was completely oh, hammered. Yeah, there was he was he was incoherent. And he, Dave he was missing the buttons. He was Dave the didn't ball. look like he drank one beer the whole day. Well, Dave was still completing like well, I don't know if I call them sentences, but like gibberish, like a few words. And I sentence, I was doing the stream commentating there because we had that <laughs> set up, and I said this is crazy. I said you know what? I said when they leave, I said Dave's actually giving Fitz a ride home. All right. <laughs> So, oh well, Waterloo! It's like no one's around anyway. <laughs> <laughs> the sheriff oh, is asleep. Man. So, yeah. uh -oh, oh, oh no! Here's our first swing. Yep. Jay, look at he gave the Italian nod. <laughs> <laughs> what are you doing? <laughs> what are you doing? That's a terrible shot. <laughs> but again, if you're gonna make a mistake early, I'd rather it be on Hollywood. Yeah. Than, or or Petra. Correct. Than any other course because. I don't feel like you're playing catch up as much 
on those two courses, yeah. right? You, you, you gotta, you're playing North Allen. You're playing yeah, Easter. Unless you're playing a top you know, ten player, you, you know, you, you got to expect playing someone Nihon, to make, you're probably in trouble to make a mistake, and you have chances to get a hole out here or there. So I'm, I'm guessing this is purple, right? I assume this is purple with because I think Jay, yeah. like I said, Jay was pretty, pretty uh, calm and collected yesterday. So I think he's probably a good purple standing. So I'm not a fan of 18, 18 of Petra here. I don't. Thank, thank you, Brad, for confirming that. But yeah, it, it was a funny story last night. I don't like. Uh, I don't like not being able to hit a skill shot into a hole. What's going on here? I'm almost having more fun uh, co-mingling with this, yeah. the, the uh, chat than I am. With. Oh shit. Steve Bigger said it is pink. Yes, wow. it, Graham, really? you are correct because I believe that Fitz, um, I think by about beer 28, he literally pulled back and jammed his hand right into the rubber. I believe. I don't know if he broke any fingers, but it definitely it jammed up his wrist and some fingers. It I was, believe it when I common. said, when I was commentating, I said, I believe Fitz just tried to swipe his golden tea card again <laughs> in the middle of the match. <laughs> Oh, yeah. you, oh, wow. it, you should have been there and listened to that. The this, sound of that was oh, brutal. It, it's, it's, uh, it's not a natural sound, right? So um, I, was, I was corrected. This is a pink bracket. Yeah. Hey, I, I've sadly been there myself. Andy Haas is uh, over here chugging um, Trulies, so this could be an interesting uh, afternoon. Are they playing a match already? No, there's no way. They have to be. How are we at? I haven't well, I'm in, I don't know what part of the bracket I'm in, but. I mean, we play first, but it's going to be a while, right? It's, I mean, it's a squeeze, but. Yeah. I can't hear. Well, that was Tickner. Yeah, so they're so calling maybe, out. Maybe we are live. Okay. Well, we got to keep uh, one ear off the Well, I tell you what, I'm, gonna, I'm going to actually take a break here. Okay. Get off. I'm going to go to the bathroom, do my little, just kind of um, relax a little bit. Tell you what, uh, since we're kind of over here in the corner, um, find a good personality, send them over this way, and, and I'll, I'll, I'll kind of do the same thing. All right, cool. Well, I'll catch you guys later. Thanks, Mark. Always appreciate your time. I'll slide over here. Sorry, guys. We're trying to manipulate some chairs and stools here. <laughs> yeah, yeah. We have we have seen Haas pull out some uh, some crazy last few round antics with the alcohol flowing. It's it's fun to watch. Yeah, Gomi's going to take a break. I, I guess we're going to be called up here pretty soon. I mean, it is 12-15, so I'll keep an, uh, keep an eye out on that. Tickner's walking into the room. So. Got a tricky little chip here. I'm not a sandwich player, but ooh, Jay almost got that. That was good effort. We might be getting a little bit out of hand on this one. Three strokes after 11. Again, Hollywood, you just never know. You, you hit a shot, you hole one out, they make a mistake, anything's possible. See if Jay can make this interesting here. Ah, got the little spin on that. So you guys are asking about the uh, 
brackets or the standings, I believe it's on the new website. Yeah, so Austin's right. If you guys go to pegttour.com, I believe the new website was just put up not too long ago, a few days ago, and you'll see all the brackets there. Definitely a different look. I saw one on a phone this morning, but they're looking really good. So he's going, he's going a direction that I've never done. I get a little concerned with the trees, and then you've got that barricade rail in front of you. So I like this wrap around from the right side coming in. You always a pretty, pretty straight shot with a five wood, but we'll see how uh, Jay can get through this. I had an opponent yesterday hit a high six foot here and was way short. And that looks familiar. Oh, he's going to get lucky. Look at that. Nice miss. Let's see if he can take advantage here. Yeah, guys, if you're listening in, hit that like button. Let's build this up. Oh. Yeah, I think this one's going to get a little away from Jay here, so. I've never seen anybody play in the uh, great white shark head except for Predator. So, Brad, you got to start showing back up, man. Let everybody know this is your outfit. Jason, you talking about Aiden Cleary? Jay Ware? I'm not sure what historian's name is, actually. <laughs> there you go, historian. Uh, if you're talking about Aiden, Jason, he and I play first. So little grudge match from Worlds. What's up, Frank? Frank's online. Is Jade? You don't recognize the voice online? <laughs> Brad, I swear to God. <laughs> there you go. Uh, historian is uh, Blake Boyett. holding down the booth uh, by myself. It's a little strange. I broke my commentating cherry up in Wisconsin. Now I'm kind of digging it, but uh, Gomez had to hit the head and find me a replacement. Oh, that's right. Um, I got to take a break here too, just because I know I think we're getting into gold matches, so I'm going to be called here in a second. But I'm going to stick online with everybody in case you have any questions. But I want to see how this kind of finishes up. Jay let this one get away from him a little bit, but... Uh, it's going to be a long day. <laughs> um, the other Jason, 
Elliott. So uh, I'm doing my warm up round. I came in early with uh, some of the girls to play the uh, to play the uh, women's tournament and, and uh, help them out. And Aiden comes walking in about 20 minutes later, and he goes, "I just did three shots of uh, Jameson." And I'm thinking, good God, man, it's like 9.15. He goes, no, I play better drunk. I was like, well, okay, I've got, got, got that going for me. So we'll see uh, we'll see how this little grudge match between Aiden and I uh, plays out here a little bit. We got Tim online, everybody. Good morning. Oh, oh did they kill you? There we go. There we go. Good morning, everybody. Hey, man, we sit down. I am finally making it to uh, the venue. We missed you yesterday. Bro, it's been a long <laughs> weekend. You've had a crazy work weekend. I, uh, I yeah. get my computers in the bag, and, and I'm, I'm kind of working in between rounds as well. But a uh, good problem to have, right, when you're selling houses. Yeah. It's, it, adulting sucks, but it is what it is. <laughs> so uh, it's good to be here. What's up, Bigger? Miss you, man. Um, oh, here we yeah, go. qualified Friday night with uh, Haas and Lindsay and came in cold, so didn't really do what I wanted, but was able to play at least. So, okay. So it is coming through now. Okay. Yep. Okay. What's up, Brad? I brought this in just so we yeah, can see. Yeah, miss better. you guys. Miss being here. Miss being on the stream. Andy's actually playing on the exact same machine we qualified on, so he'll probably do pretty well. Just, just hold out on 17. Oh. Of uh, Hollywood right here. So what do we got? Jay, where is yeah. he up or down? We we we've let Jay's let this one get away from him. Um, he uh, had er, early troubles, and I mean, he's still kind of trying to play his game, not being too aggressive, but he just he's running into trouble on almost every other hole. I think he's down six. I mean, obviously he's going to get one back here because I, I believe that. Oh, Ooh, this is oh, going to stop. Okay, well, yeah, I think he I think he's clear. This happened to me yesterday during yeah. qualifying. I went around the ridge and I, I kind of got screwed, even though our pin was on the bottom. I got stuck up right, here. Right, right. Um, and that was after a, a stroke out on – yeah, I stroked out on 16. Oh, good grief. Um, still 16, made, 16 still was a bad I – mean, not a bad look, but it was a tough pin yesterday. Well, it, it, so I played a little safe, little baby cut with a six-wood in there, landed about 28 feet, but I had that left nine putt, right, or right, right nine. Right, right, And I gave it a little extra juice just to kind of take some of the cut out of the way. Pro side, pro side. Pro side. Oh man, Stro tough. stroked the hole when I was one off going into Hollywood. Yeah. So I, you know, I thought, well, there goes my main, and then I'm being told that, uh, oh, you're well in it. I'm like, what? So Jason Elliott will confirm. He, he texted me this morning. Is like, how do you shoot a 20 and make the main? I said, well, get back in the game, Maverick. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> gotta, that's right. You gotta be, you gotta be here because uh, there was there was trouble. Uh, just about every player in the room, other than maybe Haas, had, had some trouble. Gervais was telling me this morning he had some issues. Yeah. Oh, hosted. Did he? Yeah, Norland got he, he yeah Norland got away from him a little bit. He got a little frustrated, but of course then he we got back on Hollywood and I think he shot twenty eight twenty nine. Uh, yeah, I just, think he said I think I heard a one or two better depending on. Uh, yeah, he and on. he and Brian, uh, Kevin both were one better going into seventeen or eight, uh, eighteen. I okay. believe, but. That's right. You had Kevin too, yeah. Yeah, yeah. It was. I had. A, it actually, I had a good group. I was qualifying with two good guys, and uh, I wish. I just wish I'd had a little bit of time to come in and and warm up a little bit, get right. some games under my belt. But you know, like I said, it is what it is. I yeah. Uh, so. I, I was lucky enough to have uh, Skags with me. So oh, nice. Gar Gary and I were over in the corner, which I love because I didn't have two machines like bookending me. Right. Right. So we had a little bit more space. We had spread out. We had stools. Put our phones and our you know our computer and. Our drinks on, and yeah. then uh, your brother was actually next to me. There you go. So which we were, one? We we're hanging out. Um, Todd. 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 Okay. Yeah, Todd, Todd was right next to me, so we we're yeah. Hanging for out those of you that don't know, this my both of them are actually yeah, both here, are here this year. So it's and that, I was hasn't asking happened. Todd, I was like, "Where while. are you?" And he was like, "Oh, you're working." I was like, oh, shit. Yeah. "I'll catch him in the morning." Yeah, that's why I ran up to you this morning. <laughs> like, <laughs> you are here. I am here. So and I was like, "Where? Where's my? Where's my? Uh, my cut line pot?" I know, right? Because <laughs> you're always the first one to come and grab me. Yeah. So, and, I, and Todd didn't know me as well. So uh, I think BD grabbed me and goes, "Hey, Jade's in on this." So he ran up to me and said, "Hey." So I got to meet him, and then we ended up qualifying right next to each other. Yeah. Usually, me or Todd will do it. But he's here. It's everything going. Uh, Tim Boyer's on. Jason. What's up, Jason? Yep. It is good to be here. Good to be here. I feel a little off. You know, you know how you kind of just walk in. I haven't been here all weekend to get acclimated. Right. 
I just feel like you don't have the feel of the room because yeah, no one was, just, was. How many people were here when you qualified Friday night? Did you uh, late? Well, a lot because there were a lot of people in the handicap tournament for once. Right. Well, no, I didn't say that for once, but there were probably what eighty-five to one hundred people in the handicap tournament. It was a large number. Yeah. So it was it was a pretty good group, and then he put us over here in the corner on twenty-six, which was fine, but. You know, then everybody started coming around and kind of watching us qualify, and I was just like, e- "That was kind guys. of the question: Does everybody get a you know a free early yeah a free early look, look at qualifying? Yeah, so, so I mean, not that you're going to change your bag, your, no, your, I, and your attitude towards you know your different shots. Yeah, but and it, everybody think, was asking me, he's like, how how were every, was everything set up? I'm like, honestly, everything was set ooh, up fairly, it fairly really, easy. It really I mean, was it really not wasn't, a bad qualifying. No, mode. it just maybe three holes. Yeah, were really I was nasty. expecting you know some surprises on some of them, but. Anyway, it is what it is. Right. So. You know, I I, I don't oh. take any different approach when I come into qualifying there. other than the fact that I've never been in the A group. For some odd reason, I've always been in the B group, so you kind of get that early glance if you really want to know. Like, I'll check in when it's about 15th to 18th, right? Right. 15th hole, you want to come in and kind of see what's going on, make sure you're getting loose and, and getting ready to uh, compete. Um, but yeah, being an A, you're you're going blind. So those those guys that were able to sit around and watch you guys have that have that look. Yeah. So uh, we just had a little uh, change the tides here. Looks like I've got two more matches, and I'm going to be called to play. So it's I've been waiting around since a while. Uh, Luckily, you, I was able to come in this morning and play first? play some games. Um, I've got Steve Kalazuski. Okay. Right. No, Marshall. Marshall Ostro something. I, I don't know what his name is. Yeah. <laughs> no, I, I play the winner of Steve Kalazuski and Mitch Stanley okay. if I win. If so. you win, right. Yeah. So I, I didn't know it until this morning I woke up, and I'm staying with Marcus and Nikki Cash and, mm-hmm. and a lot of the Florida crew. And, yeah. Uh, they let me crash on the couch here, um, and I woke up, and they're all kind of getting their coffee. And Marcus was asking me, you know, how I felt. I was like, I'm oh, pretty good. I got a little bit of sleep last night. And he was like, you ready for Aiden? And I was like, what? <laughs> I had no idea. I never looked at the bracket. I mean, I, I was told I made the main. I was like, you got to be shitting me, right? Yeah. So, so I made the main, and he's like, you ready for Aiden? I was like, wait a minute, Aiden Cleary? Like El Presidente El himself? El Presidente, that's right. So we were talking about earlier right, right when I got on. I was like, I, I, don't, I don't prefer grudge matches <laughs> because they're always going to be angry from the first tee, right? So he's going to be a little bit more aggressive early on when yeah. I'm just trying to tee to green, tee to green, right? Yeah. And uh, so I, I've got to get lucky early to kind of get him off his game. Yeah. So we'll, we'll see what happens. But he and I become pretty close here. Yeah, that's uh, awesome. So it, it'll be fun. That's probably the biggest thing I've missed not being here steadily all weekend is just being able the to. The camaraderie. Just, yeah, just kind of calm yeah. down and just talk to everybody. And Friday night I felt like I was here. I was only here for a couple of hours to qualify, and then I had to leave because I had to work uh, yesterday. But, you know, trying to hit everybody on my way out and right. way in. And I just I know I miss some people. So I, I've told a lot of novice players or people that I qualify with, you know, over the last I don't know, four or five tournaments. I think it's really important if you can come in Friday and just have fun. Yeah. Play in the handicap if you can. Right. Because you never know. You can get lucky. Get yeah. Free roll in. But absolutely. It gets your mindset. Just like you said, it gets your mind right. And you're able to meet more people and you calm down because if you come in Saturday morning and just qualify cold. Yeah. You're, you're not going to have the same feel. As or you like, yeah, or like I did Friday night. 200 of these people, you mm-hmm. know, for a, for a full weekend. Yeah, so it, there's something we said just to be able to get in early and get some, get just get even if you get one game in, just to get a game yeah. in and get settled in and, and grab as many people as you can. I, I don't I don't like warming up, but I, I play during the day, so I Listen, nope, not me. I'm coming up close. I uh I play eighty percent of the time during the day by myself, so right. I'm a rhythm player. I can play a game in about six and a half seven minutes. Right, I just bolt them off. Right, just da 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 da. But when you get in tournament time, you gotta you gotta find a partner. Oh, that's gonna be short. You gotta find a partner. You gotta kind of get in a rhythm of playing two or three people deep, right? So when you come in early on these tournament or, or you know championship days, grab a few players. If you don't know them, yeah. just get them in. Start talking to them. where you from. Have have a few shots. Not not shots of alcohol, but take a few shots and getting in that rhythm of playing every thirty seconds, not every three. Seconds, Correct. That's right? the one thing I it's learned really, a couple of years ago. Is like really important. Even if you don't know these guys on on Sunday, you just come in here and say, "Hey, you mind if I jump in with you?" Yeah. And you meet the guys and and just just roll a couple real and, quick. And more often than not, unless they're just absolutely horrible <laughs> and they're new, they're probably going to recognize your name, right? Mm-hmm. Or they know you. So right. it's fun for them to yeah. come in and play a game with someone that they know by a screen name. Or they may be regional and know who you are. They right. just don't know you. So yep. I, I think it's really, really important to come in and, and, and play some of those. We know about grudge match. 
Yes, we do, Jason. Yeah, Greg. And you know what? You're the reason I don't like grudge matches. Because I, <laughs> I beat you twice in one tournament, and you had to come back and whip me last one. That's right. Yeah, uh, Kins, there are some really good second-round matches that are uh, uh, set up, could be possibly set up to play. So we'll see what, how, how everything shakes out. So, <clears throat> but. Yeah, it, it, this is going to be a wild day. So um, talking to Fitz, Fitz, you know, had a couple shots go awry on him yesterday. And uh, he was telling me kind of how I was going throughout the tournament. And uh, so I came up and found him this morning. And I said, hey, who you got first? And he gave me this really weird look. And I'm like, <laughs> what? And he goes, oh, none other than Andy Fox. Oh, yeah. In the purple. In the purple. I mean, yeah, I guess Andy so, didn't you know, have you, a really you good make, day the, make the purple. You think you're going to cruise through. Nope. Top ten player in the world. Yeah. First round. Yeah. Purple. Yep. So yeah, I heard I heard that hats late off last to night, uh, so. <laughs> hats hats off to Fitz and let's see how we yeah. can good maneuver. luck. But I told him I said, hey, hey, anything can happen. You just never know. In the last one tournament, Fitz, you're undefeated because he beat me in Wisconsin because I had to give him two strokes. Oh, oh I thought that was me. I thought he called me. It's hard to hear the announcements. Over I know. Here. So I said, hey, you played really really well in Wisconsin. Just keep it up. Let him make a mistake. Uh, yeah, because I mean, like, obviously he didn't play well in qualifying yesterday, no. so you just never know. So I ended my night with Andy at the bar having a couple one-ouncers. And uh, <laughs> he, he was uh, – <laughs> I like that. He was not doing well. <laughs> we'll say that. Yeah. So this morning he looked a little uh, off. So we'll, we'll see. You never know. All right. That's why we play the game, right? That's it. It's not your reputation. It's and it's how like you, you said. I mean, game. unless you're, you know, Andy Haas or Stenmark or some of these guys who just go on auto mode, you just never know what can happen when you play some of these guys. Wait, did they already play? Who's that? Fitz upset Fox first round. What? Is this is this is this live? Is this right? Is this right? Someone just can posted. You, can this. you pull the bracket up? I got the pink bracket. Are they in the purple? Marco P just said Fitz upset him. But I, I haven't heard names all morning. Oh, predicting it. Okay. He's oh. predicting it. There we go. There we go. There we go. Oh. I was like, I was like I about came out of my ch- I about came out of my chair. All right. I uh, am up to go play. Right so uh, I'll be back a little bit later. And I'm actually gonna sign off here because I'm gonna go uh, touch a trackball. Yeah. Good to see you. Thanks Good for joining me. Yep. All right. We'll be back later. Talk to you a little bit, everybody.
somebody, uh, somebody else to jump in, maybe. It's jumping. We're in the middle of it. Match play. There's a buzz. Sidelines. St. Cloud, Florida. If you're not here, you're missing out. Trying to pull up uh, brackets here. Yes, sir. <laughs> I'm going to have to go back and re-listen. Yeah. I... Oh, yeah, yeah. No, I'm saying I got to uh, I gotta go re-watch my match. What's up, Dave? Missing you. Yeah, I, uh, I got nerves took over yet again. Uh oh, oh, get lucky. I'm not familiar with either one of these guys. Try to figure out where we're at on this one. Got Brad Stewart jumping in. Making it, making it. Have you played a match yet, Brad? I did, yes, I played one match. Good result? Uh, yeah, clean on Easter. He went, ended up going uh, two off on 18. He was up by one the whole match. But, yes, I did. 28-27. Uh-oh. Nice. Thank you, Luke. Yeah, I'm trying to figure out. Did that say six under? Nine through 12. Okay. So, it's a rough rough go for these guys. Good putt. The last gentleman just uh, had a little tin cup action on his chip into the water a couple times. Looks like we've got Tickner and CJ on stream, uh, Coleman, if you want to swap over to that match. I think they're just getting signed in here. Yep. All good. Yeah, yeah, no, 100%. Yeah, I'm not, I'm not sure what bracket uh, these guys are, but we got uh, Tickner and... Uh, this is a gold bracket. Young boy Wangler on the machine. We were talking about this earlier. Um, winner of this match will play the winner of David Key and Luna uh, on the bracket. Oh, they're already hole five. Okay. Tickner's negative four under right now. Four through four. Yeah, wow. You yeah, have two stroke leader. Something, yeah, something happened here. <laughs> father son match. <laughs> 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 Who's the father in that? <laughs> yeah. Pretty straightforward, this one. Um, trying to think. There's a couple, I mean, there's plenty of golf left, but CJ's going to. CJ's looking for a clean. He might have hold out. He's got 33,000 points already. He might have hold out. Oh, so then Tick would be one off potentially. Love it. Did you play your first match yet, Jay? Oh, I did, and it's on stream, and I'm dreading uh -oh. going, going back and uh -oh. re, -re watching it. it. <laughs> yeah. My, the nerves just crushed sure. her. I sure. mean, I've been, this is my eighth, ninth or so event, and uh, I still get the yips. I don't know. I just got to play more, get better. Um. Yeah, some of my pullbacks and distance is where my when I get nervous, it, mm. that just kind of yeah. The the feel, the touch is gone. Yeah, it's just gone. Uh -oh. Ooh, is it pretty? But yeah, it's all good. Got another match to to lose and call it uh, Owen Nap. Owen two. Owen Nap. O two barbecue baby. There we go. Little backspin there. Uh oh, CJ. Ooh. Oh, wow. it's stay dry. Anything he needs. Wow. <laughs> Anything he needs. What's up, Rusty Kerr in the chat? Yeah, I don't know. I know CJ and a handful of guys have been doing the click chipping technique. I guess it really wouldn't work for that elevated shot. Yeah, and on the cliff. That cliff really plays hot chipping off of that usually. Gotcha. 
Well, Tick would that's love to part. make this one. Yeah, I say that's almost a chip right there. I mean, there's a lot of fringies coming through left five. Get up! Yeah, so that's, oh. a, that's a tough putt there. There's a lot of fringe. Yeah, and it, you know, it's a feel like you're hitting it through the fringe. How much is it going to pull? And you don't want to chip it because there's water right behind yeah. you. you. You miss it. And yeah, you get too yeah. aggressive. So no blood on that, yeah. on that hole. Wow. That, that was a missed opportunity for Tickner to get one back. Yeah. Brad Baird in the chat. Let's see if I pull up the bracket here for you. Gervais, I don't, I don't think I've heard Gervais get called yet. Oh, he did? Okay. Let's see. Haas over Perez. So Haas and McCook up next. Oh, geez. Be a good one. Kinsler just sent me a, a picture. He's watching the stream drinking Malort. Have you ever had Malort? Yeah, see, I thought the, the – I, I haven't had it, but uh, – like, it's notoriously bad. It's, it's like it's horrible. They try to make it bad. Oh. And he enjoys it. Oh, my God. There's a few people that I've enjoy that. It is the worst thing I've, I've ever came in to counter with. I feel like if it's that bad, the bar would pay you to drink <laughs> yes. it almost. Chicago handshake. Uh, just a little more. So Gervais is playing uh, Nick Haynes at the moment. No update on that game. Okay. You are correct, Sandmeyer. It is the worst thing ever. You are not wrong. CJ's almost got 50K at the turn. I still like this outwind. Uh, it's only like 135. Yeah. Just safe he shot there. It, yeah, yeah. Put, it, put it in the middle of the green. Can't yep. can't get too too aggressive there with that pin location. So, and I've been on the nine. Uh, air quotes broken nine. I haven't swapped off of it. You know, it plays long. Yeah. Uh, I qualified with someone yesterday. I've never hit the nine wood. I qualified with somebody yesterday, and it was amazing how he, he went to thumb it, and I'm like, oh, that's short, and it was long. Yeah. And I'm like, oh, my goodness. Yeah, and then I don't know. I don't play a lot of the, the new PGA machines. I'm not sure if it's if it's hot on the new I'm ones not sure or not. I'm not sure either, yeah. But, yeah, I've seen a lot of, a lot of eight woods. Yeah, Jason, we were talking about Malort. Ugh. Kinsler's uh, watching, tuning in, and sipping on it. Crop Dustin, yeah, I wish you were here, brother. Vibes we, are good. Vibes we, are good. We need we needed a uh, we needed a Tennessee Nashville presence in the main bracket again. <laughs> Nine woods dead on PGA. Okay. This okay. Plays how it's supposed to be on. Yep. Mm. That looks pretty good. Oh, should work. Yeah, CJ doesn't have headphones in, which is interesting. Yeah. I feel like he is always. Always, always. Feeling it. Two off. Our other machine, the guys are still playing there. Next, the other stream machine. I don't know who they'll set up on the next one. We'll keep an eyeball on it. Yeah, so Haas was uh, top qualifier. Yeah, 139, I believe. Yep. yep. 
cut line was 129 with some kind of level of points. 112,000, something like that, yeah. Yep. I don't know, man. He's uh, he's still still ripping and running on it. Rip back. This is all straightforward golf at this point. I mean, CJ's not going to do anything too crazy aggressive. It'll look like this. You can't get too aggressive, even if you're Tickner. You got, you know, you can't can't go down four or anything like that here. Yeah, and this one, I mean, you know, there there's some risk reward. Is yeah. this one I want to be aggressive with? Exactly. That's. I mean, that's it's a Perfect. safe shot, but that's a good shot. Yeah. I mean, straight uphill putt. Money. Yeah, Dustin, the uh, qualifying looks were – I didn't think they were that difficult. No, no. Um, I think a lot of it comes into sort of the pace of play. You know, people are use, used to playing faster. I know I am. You know, mm -hmm. I usually play alone or just with one other buddy of mine. So it's – when it gets slow like that, four-man four man groupings and stuff like that, it's hard to just get a rhythm and, yeah. and keep it going. But, no, I didn't, I didn't think the, the looks were too difficult. I, I made them look difficult, but th they were not too difficult. Yeah, Nordelin had uh, like three or four, like pedestrian par three thumbs. It was like, like a very boring. Yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. And I mean, I think it was whole three. It's Nord it's just straight thumber. I mean, you don't yeah. move the tee, nothing. It just well, yeah, the slight win. I moved it a little right, buzzed the hole or something. But th this is the first one in a while where I didn't get any uh, side pot action. I, was, I, was I didn't either. I didn't have any hole outs. I was a little, little uh, upset with myself on that one. There was plenty of chances. Al Jazz, he doesn't need headphones for Tickner. <laughs> yeah, they're not calling the calling my losers bracket just yet. They're hanging out, hanging out. We've got, uh, so it's the one, 16. But, I mean, CJ will more than likely make the green. Let's try to think that's a swing hole. There's not really Absolutely. much not really much going on. Uh, no, it hasn't been uh, uber exciting. Yeah. Where we got the, the two-stroke lead, we don't even know what happened there. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. We got just too late. Missed the. And then it's been, yeah, very pedestrian and boring since. <laughs> Uh, they, Luke, they, they, they may, I don't know, they, they might. So you went golfing, you went and played ball golf, didn't you? Outdoor golf, yes, yeah, I did, Friday. In the, in yeah. the blizzard oh, sleet storm. It was miserable. <laughs> it was beautiful when we started. First two or three holes, 86 degrees. Wind, you know, blowing, sun shining. Then those bands of rain came in. It started at 80. It was either 84 or 86 when we started. When we ended, it was 51, 25-mile-an-hour winds and rain. It was it was miserable. That's insane. None of us had jackets or umbrellas. Well, the yeah, carts didn't have windshields on them. Oh, wow. Or, or uh, club covers. Like it, it was miserable. It was a hot mess. <laughs> yeah. Memorable. It was definitely. And the cart girl wasn't coming around to service any beers because it was nasty and raining. She went in, so. Yeah, I was going to say, don't you just lay up here? Uh, yeah, I think you have to, especially with a two-stroke lead. Even if he gets it, you know, you only given one back. It's not the easiest look. I mean, to hit the green, it's not terrible, but yeah. you're, you're definitely not running it at the hole. 
Tigner should be able to put this on. And I think he does have to go for it, though. Down yeah. two, it's getting late. Yeah. I mean, you sort of have to go for it. You this. don't have – there's no – hardly any opportunities left. Yeah. Maybe you get a hole out on 17 mm -hmm. and then – Driving the green on 18 may win dependent. Or sure. All right, go sit there. There you Phenomenal go. Phenomenal shot. Right. Phenomenal that's shot. Just, that's step one. <laughs> Gift card drop. I guess Coleman's throwing out uh, gift cards and prizes. Hit that like button. Hit that subscribe. Oh, oh no. He did all the oh, hard work. Yeah. To not get anything back. That's, yeah. Wow. Yeah, that's rough. <laughs> well, boring uh, some kind of. Major issue. Should could yeah, be I mean, all is, she wrote. Yeah, this is pretty. Uh, that wind and that green slope, you know, makes it pretty easy there. Yep. And I, I think if CJ's down at this point, he's he's got backspin on that, you know. Oh, but now yeah. it's just bite, you know, because we just we don't need to give anything away. Yeah, see, so and then there's backspin. That's yeah, the exactly. Backspin. Yep. Yeah, you've got to even if it. Even if you water here, at least give yourself a chance. Yep, yep. I mean, he was a little long there, but still. Yeah, we were joking about, you know, the off chance Tickner beat CJ. And, you know, he's capable of whatever. Absolutely, yeah. But he's like, well, me and Luna are playing – you know, I've I've got him in Calcutta. It's mm -hmm. Like I don't, you know, technically don't want to beat him. Sure, but that kind of made me laugh a little bit. It's sort of a safe layup there. I mean, he went for it, but didn't go for it. Yeah, the outwind. I mean, I, I normally would be. I do the same thing. Any kind of win that's not pushing back in, you run the risk of doing another click out and running it off into yeah, the water. Yeah, because all of that slants down to the right. Yeah. Yeah, that's a little half half. Gonna be wet. Yeah. All right. There's a spec. You see the spec? <laughs> <laughs> I'm not even gonna try to <laughs> re emulate that one. There's a spec here on the ball. <laughs> uh -oh. Yeah, it did look like he he wanted uh not a half and a half. He wanted the yeah the whole full. thing there. Yeah. Try to catch up on chat. Y'all are blowing it up. I yeah. Can't keep, can't keep Thanks for up. joining us here today on Championship Sunday. A lot of golf to play. A lot of golf yet. Yeah, it's 180 something, 185 184. players. 184. 184. Yeah, qualified yesterday. Yeah. It's huge. My wife just asked who I was commentating with. So this mm -hmm. is Jay Ware and Brad Stewart joining you guys. Thanks for being here. Uh, I'm sorry, and you're welcome. <laughs> <laughs> Brad Baird had a miss, miss putt, he says, and he's like, you know what, I'm going to eat the stroke and <laughs> so I don't have to go. Don't, to don't go <laughs> tell Steve. <laughs> yeah, so I don't Avoid have Avoid that at all costs. Well, yesterday we were having some internet issues, and yeah, it was they're, a little they're in, a, they're in the middle. Yeah, it was touchy. A I said touch something and go. I asked Russ. I said, "Do I need a reboot, or what would you like me to do?" Because we were trying to sign in, and I, yeah. I got the wrath, and I'm like, "I just yeah. don't know what you want me to do." S same <laughs> for me. And and I came back later, and I was like, "Hey, man, I know you guys are here to put on the best event that you can, absolutely. and that's something that's just out of your control." Yeah, but it no, yeah, it's no fault of PEGT. Yeah, absolutely. Yep. Just a, Thank just you. An issue, but it wasn't too long. Yeah. We were down for 20 minutes or so. It, w it wasn't too, too bad. Yeah, a little on and on. Uh, a little shout out to whomever back at IT for taking care of us and taking care of business. It, I, and I was actually I was standing there talking to Paige, and, you know, because it was the IT server went down. 
she was, uh, I can't remember who we were staying with. She's like, oh, can you imagine if it was like last time when it went down for a week? And I'm like, Paige, why would you say yeah, that? Yeah, don't, don't <laughs> speak don't that evil that. into existence. <laughs> Especially Paige. <laughs> why yeah. would you say that? Oh, yeah. <laughs> well, but no, it was good. 20, 20 minutes or so, and, and we were good to go. So there's a little bit of a line for the reporting scores. So we don't have a, a match on either stream machine at the moment. Yeah, they're using their new uh, new website. I think they're working some bugs out as well. I mean, but it's everything's running great. Oh yeah, as always. I mean, p p e g t tour dot com. Uh, if you haven't checked out the new website, uh, Steve and the crew, and he's give shout out to I think Mike, Mike Chestnut. Chestnut. Yeah, in Chicago. Yeah, I believe he's in Chicago. I was yes. look I was looking at the uh, the page today, and it's got I mean the format's great. It looks great on mobile. Uh, you've got the brackets and everything on there. It's it's money. Go check it out. Not everybody all at once, though. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Let's not crash it. Do it looks good too. Looking at the brackets and everything, the site looks really, really good. All right, Brewer and Justin, Justin Wilson. Wilson. <laughs> Chickens, the pet that poops breakfast. <laughs> <laughs> Brewer's always got. He does. He's a t-shirt guy. Yes. <clears throat> Days are K. There's a. There's a little line on reporting, and that's. Uh, that's the holdup. There's a lot of people here. I mean, we're running. I think the women's. They had a women's ladies only tournament. Yes. This yeah. morning it started at ten. That may still be going on. I think that is. They're getting down to it. Uh, I believe the last time I saw that bracket. That would be awesome to have uh, finals or something like that. And I'm sure we can I'm sure we can do that on the stream, yeah. Yep, lady. They, they always try to get the at least the finals matches of each um, division or bracket. <laughs> Brad, these finally two tuned athletes. <laughs> <laughs> It's Fox. Fox is, I mean, he's in purple. I he would is. assume he's going to make a deep run. Uh, yeah, I'm not I'm not happy to see that he's in the same bracket I am. Ugh. Let's see if he's played. I believe he did, or he's in the middle of a match now. When Kevin told me to come over here, I believe he was up on a machine. Marcus Cash got his first game win. Kevin Lin, uh, Kevin Lindsay. Looks like he got past there. He made. Andy Fox did play. Oh wow. Fox played Fitz. They went to extras. They both shot twenty nine on Easter, and Fox won. <laughs> Let's go! <laughs> wow, that's a purple match for you. Well, and Rhino called it earlier. In uh, Rhino called it earlier, like purple bracket Sunday Fitz is a force to be reckoned with. Apparently, There's a ton of very, very good go uh, Golden Tee players in the purple bracket. Oh, yeah. The, it, with a field this size, there's just, there has to be. Yeah, and, and that's my question is, you know, we get over 200, 250, 300. What happens? You know, yeah. Literally what happens. Yeah. Yeah, there's still, there's still a few matches that haven't been played. Like this, oh, they're on machine one now. It's definitely a long day. You win a few matches. You're gonna take some breaks. You're gonna you're gonna hang around for a while. Any given Sunday. Absolutely. Ooh, bro. All right. Nord action. Yeah, Nord action. One under did. I want to say Brewer. I, we we missed it. He might have chushed or chipped in. I feel like Brewer was a two when I just two under. Oh, oh I'll get in there. Both extremely talented players here. Yeah, Ken saying a forty-eight or sixty-four man gold bracket. I mean that that might be what yeah. has to happen with that. Well, this, CJ, we were talking about that uh, this weekend about a sixty-four man gold, and I haven't really munched it over. Thought about it, like how sure. does that play out? What does it change? 
Uh, but the game's growing. I mean, these oh, tournaments absolutely. are getting bigger and bigger. It's on an up uptrend. Brewer hold out one, yes. In fuego. <laughs> Nate will start qualifying Friday morning. Yeah. I'm more concerned, like, or thinking about venue space. Like, do you rent out uh, convention centers or, you know? Yeah, I think, I think the issue with that is, one, taking care of all of us and our drinking habits. Yeah. Two, you know, the bar, um, Sidelines has done a great job. They add 7000 or whatever, you know, a convention money. center. We're going to have to rent out, let alone get money. So, yeah, obviously more people, there is more money, but... You know, I, I think the bar setting is what has to be. But yeah, you're right. There's not a lot of bars that can hold that many people yep. and that many machines and traveling with the machines. And Oh, yeah. I don't know how full their trailer is. <laughs> you know, yeah, we've got 30 machines here. I know one went down or whatever, but 30 machines, that's a lot of machines. That's oh, a yeah. lot of, uh, I think the Muse Brothers brought down eight or so, six or eight, something like that. Yeah, prize money, that's a huge, huge Absolutely. part of it. Absolutely. Well, we could definitely squeeze in some more machines here. We get, could, get yeah. these pool tables. In my home bar in Nashville, TNT's has a, a ton of space. Um, the one in Dallas is, you know, tons of space. Sussex, yeah. like, it's, they've done they've done their, uh, they know what you need to, to put on a, a good tournament. Absolutely. And then again, you know, the machines. You get 250 people, we're going to need double the machines. Yeah. I mean, now you're asking. Hey, me, another one. Another one. Oh, wow. It's on fire. Unfazed in the zone. Love it. Here to do work, take care of business. Yeah, what do you what do you do? <laughs> two up. Hold two four, up four, four. four. Forty four. And down. you're clean. <laughs> Justin's clean and he's down by two. Oh. Yeah, throw a glass of water on Brewer. Cool him down. <laughs> yeah. See, I played. I'm playing as Nashville Hot for Hot Chicken, whatever. Mm -hmm. But then now I'm like, the meme is Nashville Cold because I ain't done. I ain't done much of nothing <laughs> so far, qualifying or my match. I got one to go. I'll maybe make a long run to the losers bracket in pink. It's double elimination for a reason. Yeah. Hit that like button if you haven't. If you're on your phone, close out a chat. Come over. What do we got? 109 likes. It's a pretty good ratio, though. How many guys watching? Uh, two, two thirty. All right, two twenty-six. That's great, and that, that, and this is the I don't want to say slow part of it, but this isn't even the championship or the semifinals, anything like that. You know, so that's great. Yep. Thanks for being here with us, guys. It does it does seem to ramp up the closer you get to finals. Absolutely, Nashville frigid. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, Nashville frigid. <laughs> Looks like, oh, we're going to have to pull up Hassim and McCook. Wow. On uh, we got two great matches going two. on here, yeah. Quad screen, maybe? We're Eugene, brother, how's it going, man? I agree. 226 people watching. We should at least have 226 <laughs> likes. On fire, he's throwing darts. Yeah. I mean, what do you, you got to hole out? Like, and at this point, you know, early this early in the match, you you got to be thinking, well, you know, I got to be chasing. You don't want to throw the match doing something super sure, aggressive, sure, but you got to go. You got, you got to, yeah. Especially on a course like this, there's not a a lot of swing holes. There's yeah, a, there's a few, but not nothing too crazy. So yeah, I mean, the ones that are there, you really got to be aggressive. Evan Gossett, hello, sir. Gossett. Meow Chapa. Gossett's not here. Daddy duty. We'll catch you at the next one, though. 100%. We got the best Gossett, so it's okay. <laughs> <laughs> the best Gossett's here. Yeah, Fool's here for a little extra distance, for sure. 
Hey, Andy. Not sure. Can you hear me, Coleman? I don't. I. We want to pull up. Uh, make sure we oh. pull up Haas and McCook too. They're getting started. Yep. Okay. Awesome. <laughs> Mr. Mom Chopper. <laughs> What's up, Cam? Crop Dustin has a, a new tiniest golden tea player. Can't be, awesome. can't be like two months, I think. Looks just like you, Dustin, too. He does. A lot of fun. No, be, 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 be careful. <laughs> I can't would, say we can tell him that. <laughs> would not recommend. <laughs> and, he, and he's typing in the group chat, too. He's yeah. not just watching. He's typing as well. <laughs> I am guilty. I mean, oh, uh, I'm guilty of it. Love the dedication. All right, McCook and Haas. Going to be a good one. Absolutely. Well, uh, we'll try to keep an eyeball on uh, Brewer match and do updates. We got a great setup here. Andy, PJ, and the guys with the stream. The production is, is awesome. Absolutely. It's been a few years since, well, I guess I've ever been to it, or since I've been to a tournament. But, yeah, I haven't commentated in a long time. Th this has came a long way. Oh, I love <laughs> it. Yeah. I remember we had we had to watch our phones for the comments. And now look at, <laughs> look yep. at us here. Got it pulled in. <laughs> yeah, absolutely. One of the two guys, they should hold this. It's pretty straightforward. Absolutely. Look, do it a little right. right. Yeah. They have, uh, I don't know the name of the videography crew, but these I other have guys. Seen them going around, yeah, absolutely. Running. It was funny. They had, uh, they had light boxes and uh, cameras and stuff on Haas, like Thursday or Friday or something. Uh -huh. I mean, full production lighting. So there's sh there's a a group here shooting some kind of golden tea documentary. Okay. Okay. You know, whenever it comes out, I'm sure it'll make the rounds on social media. Oh yeah, but absolutely. That's another another good thing for the game and for all of us. Oh, run it! Oh, right one. I have to text somebody for a drink. We, do we have any of the bartenders' phone numbers so we can text them to get service over here? <laughs> I, I do not. I hear Steve getting a little loud, so I'm, like, <laughs> nervously checking to see if my machine has been assigned. Oh, he's calling out the, the whole outs. Uh, okay. Side yeah. pot. Yeah. Okay. I don't have to worry about that. Do you? I do not. Okay, perfect. <laughs> oh, no. Where is, am I in the right? Oh, I'm purple, thank God. Looks like I don't see my name. Let's see, pink bracket, loser side, they are doing machines. All even, all square so far. Uh, do you know what Nate asked there? Are they following the tour all year for that documentary, or I don't know. I don't know. I haven't heard much about um, that. Um, I want to say the post that I saw. Yeah, the verbiage. I think it was specific to this weekend. This weekend only. Okay. I feel like that's that's correct, but that would be. Uh, oh, that'd be awesome if we had our yeah. own our own crew to follow us around. <laughs> well, there's there's the. Uh, Formula One show on Netflix, mm -hmm. and they get the behind the scenes and all that. There's a the PGA one's coming out. Yeah, that so documentary that looks awesome. I'm too. excited about yeah. that one. Well, and then the Tiger. Oh, there's a hole out. Yeah, there we go. We knew it wouldn't be too long. Uh, Tiger and Rory have this uh, TGL, the golf league thing. I okay. think it's next year, uh, but it's supposed to be a traveling uh, season 
like in stadiums and there's some kind of technical element uh, okay like technology element like maybe you shoot hit a screen maybe they set up some part three but that's another one i'm looking looking forward to seeing It looks, Tim, it looks like we, we've got it very small over here, but it looks like um, I believe Brewer is still up two. I couldn't really see it too much when they went, but I, I believe Brewer is still up by two. It, he's had honors. I've been, I can't yeah. see the score, but he, I don't think he's lost honors I think honors it's at 1816, so, yeah, I think it's still two. Yeah. It's just real hard to see. Oh, don't darts. Ship it. Yeah, the the question is who's uh, who or or is anyone going to offset uh, the run that Haas has been on? Yeah, absolutely. Maybe I can get Kevin Lindsay to grab us some drinks. What do you think? Especially if I offer to buy his. That might work. <laughs> See. It's a white claw. Bucket. No, just one. It's fine. Yeah. All right, be Kevin Lindsay coming in clutch. Ooh. Almost rolled off the uh, the lip there. Whoa, 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 whoa. It don't matter. You can open it, that's fine. Oh, a little quad screen action. Look, there we yeah. go. Oh, man, he was looking for it. Yeah, he's – and that's the thing with these guys, how good these guys are is they can be uber aggressive but still safe at the same time. I mean, just on, on, on a lot of, of things. Oh, yeah. Uh, they're aim small, miss small. Right? Yes, absolutely. Yeah, they don't hit a accidental cut shot that hooks too much or anything like that. Definitely have the reps. They put in the hard oh, work. Yeah. So by one and by two still, yeah. Brewer's still up by two, and Haas is up by one. This one, it could be another one that's running in there. Yeah. Got release. Oh. Right, for, oh. right after he hit it, he feel, feels like he was off just a little bit. All right, yeah. McCook needs to. Yeah, I can obviously see this going in, too. Send it up the hill. Little high, uh, little, little high side. Little low side, little high yeah. side. Well, and those, you know, the thought process that's helped me a little bit, you know, I know my 85 thumb is my default. Mm -hmm. And then when you, you line up the shot to that 85 straight thumb, it turns into a putt. You know, if you've, you've built the shot and whatever, sure, now sure. it's time to execute. Think about it just a straightforward putt. And yep. it, uh, I've had success with that, that swing thought, I guess. Yeah, this oh, one's a little short. I think if that if that carried the green there from a cook, that was gonna run up very very close. Just caught that front edge, and he's going backspin here. All right. Okay. What's up, Bryce? Full, yeah. Clinical. Yeah, yeah. Clinical. Thank you, sir. Appreciate it. Kevin Lindsay, the man. Thank you. Yeah, absolutely. Look, I'm, man, I don't want to take a break. I need to use the restroom real quick. Let me do that. I'll be right back. I'll keep your seat warm. Hundred and forty one watching. That like button. 
was a great putt by Justin there. Still two strokes. He's taking his time here. All right, yeah, still two strokes. Brewer is up. Yep. Running him at him, just McCook is not getting him to fall yet. The set up here uh, with Brewer on uh, 16 of Nord. That that hole can definitely be a challenge to keep it up there, that up 11 green. Just the, the right seven, when you're down at the bottom of the green, it's up 11. But that right seven with that, that wind, stouts or not, you know, that's, that is definitely not just a, a cake look. Oh, McCook just short, getting it to go. Uh, Andy Haas as well, just short. Great shot, Justin. Oh, and he holds it. What a shot. Just as I say how difficult this shot can be. Wow. Oh, Jay, you just missed one, buddy. Uh -oh. <laughs> you just missed one. Just, uh, Justin Wilson just hold out on uh, 16 of Nord with a, sort of a nasty cross win. Just hit it absolutely perfect. Nice. So it should be. And, and I, I might have missed something over here. I, I want to say we're tied now. 22. Well, if, he, if McCook has honors, something happened. Yeah, I, I want to say on the last hole that he maybe made his chip. I was trying to watch the Nordal line, and I completely missed it. So it should be tied with Haas and McCook. Yep. And uh, it's just one stroke, I believe it is, for now Brewer and Wilson. This one's pretty straightforward. Oh, oh he no. rolled over wow. the edge. Running at oh, it. Oh, right. my goodness. Oh, yeah, this little fall going after it to get it all the way down there. Oh, push. Oh, it's a, it's a long hang, so the wind's going to push it back over to the right. That's an interesting one. Huh. Full yeah. to get a little more distance. Yeah. I, I, isn't isn't there somewhere over there that is uh, that plays o out of bounds over if there you, to the right? Yeah, if you get – there's some um, – it's hard to see it, but there's, like, this group of bushes. You can mm -hmm. land in the bushes, but the bushes don't play, Okay. I believe. Yeah, it's like an invisible leaf when it yeah. gets there. Yep. And then if you go just right outside of those bushes, then it's OB. Oh, he was close there. So, Justin, I don't know if they're tied here. If he's looking, he's thinking about it. Like, if he has to hole out here. He's got backspin. Yep. He's being aggressive. Oh, oh great good, shot. Good run at it. Yeah. Oh, yeah. So he's, it looks like he's down a stretch. Just down the Justin. one, yeah, because he hold out uh, 16. But, yeah, coming in, eight, uh, coming in 18, this is not the uh, oh, um, easiest look here. And this one, I love the high backspin. You play it off the at bank. The bank. Right? Yep. It's going to mm -hmm. bounce. Yeah. I don't know if it will come far enough off. He didn't play the bank there, but it went a little long. Yeah, that one, it wouldn't, that, that bank shot, unless you get a lucky bounce, wouldn't have come that far off the wall to get back to it. There's the bank right there. Yep. Okay. Yeah, it, might, it would have been close. Though. Yeah. So looks like we got extras. Got extras, yep. 29 29. 
And is that Brewer, Paul, one of those one betters? Those were one betters. Yep, okay. yep. And Brewer needs to make this putt here to win. I don't know why. What got him off the shot there? But Haas. Close it up. Bring it home. There it is. All right. There's the winner there. That was a great match there, though. I mean, him, uh, Justin holding out 16 there with the hole in one just to get within one and put a little pressure on him. Oh, yeah. Really making a run at 18 there. I mean, yeah, that was a very good game. 30 29. You done with it? That's not mine. So, oh, okay. Yeah. And then we've got extra holes here with Haas and McCook. Sudden death. First one that makes a mistake or first one that holds out will be the winner. And early in the day for these two, you know, great, great players to be playing against each other. Yeah, and they're makes both, a, both capable of winning. Oh, like absolutely. Like absolutely. We'll see. Full there's screen a, here. Yeah, there's no extras. win. Well, a half a mile an hour win. Yeah. And they, do they line it up straight, though. I mean, get your thumb speed down properly yeah. and you're good. 481's a stretch for any kind of a chush, I would, I would think. Yeah, I don't think so. Uh, Haas lined up with the win just, but oh yeah, this, I don't know, that looks, oh, that's right. Yeah, oh. he knows it. He knows it. That immediately, that was right. I heard that through my <laughs> So did I. <laughs> I heard that through my head. <laughs> we apologize if anyone caught that. <laughs> He's going backspin here. I mean, he said he better. Yeah, oh, 103, and he it. missed right also. Yep. See, I, I don't like that. When you, I, I feel like, at least for me, when you know you go to thumb it that hard, you're, it's, gonna, it's not going to be perfect every yeah. time. Like you said, the 85, it's just it's just another shot, smooth, nice and easy. 103 on the thumbs is a lot. Yeah, it's a, it's a left pull, right pull, trying to put that. And here's another one. Yeah, I mean, wow. somebody's going to hold it here. Yeah, they this, have this to. has to end here. <laughs> or they both might. I mean. They're definitely capable. Yeah, yeah, I mean, it would not surprise me. Uh, that's right as well. Oh, McCook, what are you doing, brother? Yeah. He the caliber like, of these players, though, that, that was not a very good shot, yeah, honestly. That was a huge miss Yeah. with what he's capable of. Yeah, I don't even know if there's there's not much of a T movement here, yeah. That's oh, right as well. Oh, right. Yep. Mm, just a tad. Closer, but and, and, and he moved the T about that far. But that you know, happens to me all the absolutely. time. Absolutely. Just <laughs> sometimes <laughs> just leave it alone. I don't trust it. I don't trust it. Yeah, we almost got to. Okay. Yeah, this one, I mean, like we were saying, the qualifiers, Nord, there's plenty of opportunities every uh, every every look. Yeah, Absolutely. That looks pretty good. Uh, just a little long. It would make sense. They had the two basically autos, the first two holes, but somebody makes this. You know, that's that's obviously a little more difficult. Ooh. That's come up short. Just okay, a just short. a fringe, yeah. I got to get the forward back in my bag. It just it seems it lines up distance-wise for so much. Absolutely. I love the turbo here. I've gotten it a few times. We yeah, might, yeah. might see it. Here it comes. Hit it. Oh, oh, it didn't hit it. I think it was just a little too far right on that one. It looked like a oh, high bite. Yeah, he's not going for the turbo there. 125. Oh, I oh. oh. Little right one. Yep. It's that little bit of pinch of wind, too. You'd think uh, it would have straightened it out there on on that. Wow. He doesn't need it. <laughs> he changed the camera. I don't want to see that. Yeah. <laughs> and we go on. Another straight four. Straight left forward. With, with that wind coming at it, yeah. I love the low release, too. He's got to run. Just, yeah, just too far left. Haas is building off of it. Yeah, yeah, and, th and that's the thing, too. Going going second here could, oh, but could, he does could be to a big uh, advantage. Yeah. yeah he, 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 he obviously played a different shot, but that could be a 
a, a, a very good advantage there to be going second here. Oh, 100 percent. First, yeah. but if you go first and you hole out, you're putting all the pressure on him. You know, so there's give and take of both. Yeah, and I mean bird dogging and watching folks play. It's for me. I don't do it a lot, but it's a yeah. data point, right? If sure, you, if sure. You see Especially it. on a uh, easy par three, if you say, okay, he thumbed at 92, that's fine. But yeah. hitting cut shots or whatever, you sort of have to play your own game a little bit. 100 percent. Two seventy one viewers. Love it. Love it. These guys are gonna bring you a hole out shortly. Just Very short. short. Oh, mm. no bite, maybe? Yeah. And I, I, I do think that it is what's gonna come to the end of this. Someone's gonna hole out. I d I don't see anyone really making a mistake. I like the bite here. Eighty seven. Eighty one should be short. Yeah. Oh no, no it just got there. A tag. Yeah, it got there. Yeah. So that elevation change. This coming from the pink bracket broadcaster right here. <laughs> <laughs> we're, we're telling Haas what to do. <laughs> this one. This could be right the three. One. Oh. This, really this does look good. like a good look. Well, you, you get trapped down here. You miss the green a little left here. And yeah. you're, especially if you don't have a lob wedge or a gap wedge sometimes. But, oh, no. He's not going to be happy with that one. Yeah, no. But it's a safe shot, though. I mean, he, he's already there. It's not one that you're necessarily going to hole out a uh, hole often. So Again, advantage of going second, right? Sure, There's no sure. Pressure. You know he didn't hole out, so all right, let's just move on from this hole. Absolutely. This one looks tasty. Yeah, absolutely. That left three is going to help. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and again, I think that at least speaking on my behalf, what the difference of these players are, he just hit a cut shot there that you necessarily don't have to, right? You're giving yourself a better advantage to try to hit that cut shot. I'm more doing what Haas, or what Haas did. You know, I'm taking out another um, variable variable right, to yep. that, that, that can mess something up. You know, I'm thumbing it. If I can thumb it, it's it's most likely what's what, going to happen there. In my – when I'm building the shot – okay, here we go. Yeah. Yeah, when I'm building a shot, I look for that 85 straight thumb somewhere. Sure, right? absolutely. And then you go from there if it's, if it's not an opportunity. All right, this has got to be the one. Yep, low release. So get back all the way right. No. Oh, see, and that's the data point. Yeah, absolutely. Oh, he's running. But he's the got six a hybrid. Iron. And he got six iron. Yeah, that's gonna be right. Yep. Another high side, low side. Yeah. Got some excitement over there. Don't don't know what that was. Pins look, look like the pins a little right. I mean, these guys could hold out any any Absolutely. of the shots. It's this one looks a little. I mean, cut shot right. Cut the six in. Oh Ooh. my goodness! <laughs> so tasty. <laughs> Two hundred and eighty-six viewers. Love it. Yeah, share it with your friends, even if they don't play Golden Tee. You know, it's this is fun to watch for a lot of people. Even you know, all skill level players. Oh, three! We just jumped to three thirty. I refreshed my phone. Let's go. All right. Yeah, get your friends. Get them in the arena. Get them involved. Yeah, we've got a. We've got a little bit of uh, of time before the championship and everything, so get your get your watch parties ready. Rip it, rip up. Uh, he wanted to be a little closer there. Oh, uh, McCook's got a chip here. Little right six. Should Ooh. be straight. Uh oh. Uh -oh. I said I don't, I don't like the reset there. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> All right. Took his time. Yeah, absolutely. So we're in overtime. If you just tuned in, 
Austin McCook waiting for someone to drop a stroke or go up a stroke. Oh, great line. Yeah, absolutely. See, and I'd be fine. I'd be doing the same club, follow it, just hit it yeah. a little harder. These guys are so good, though. You know, they're just playing their own game here. 100%. Another par three. Looks like they're calling. Yeah, that was well, a purple match they just called. <coughs> Is that I the think I'm going to be up next if they're going down the line. So I'll probably have to jump off here shortly. I'm okay. going to try to keep an eye on it. People know who you are. They'll come get you. Who are you playing against in your next match? Uh, Kelly McNamara. Hmm. Yeah, I don't know Ma that man. McMahon. Mac Mac From Boston. I don't know who that is. I don't either, yeah. This, I... Okay, so this one isn't there this time. This I think this is where the, the score change came because Haas hold out early. I believe this is where the score change came here okay. last match to get us to OT. Two different approaches. I always like going up here. And I'm with you on that. It's sometimes just drivable to, um, in this area. Uh oh. Oh, roll in. Oh, no. wow. Backspin with a 10 mile hour wind here, though. I don't hate that either. Uh -oh. Up and in, and yeah, there it is. What a shot. There it is. What a shot. Titans. Well, stouts, but titans of the game. Good back and forth battle there. Sigh of relief. Take yeah. a deep breath. Got wow. through. <laughs> Got through the first match. What a game. What you know, how how fun is that to watch? Oh, oh I got CJ back. So it's do we nice. Oh, so Luna's with him. So Luna beat Key. Okay. Still yeah. no headphones for CJ. I wonder if yeah. he forgot to bring them or something. Cause he's Should I go offer him mine? <laughs> I was going to say. <laughs> Straight cash, homie. Oh, yeah, that was a great match. <laughs> mm -hmm. Come on, meow. You, you know he planned that, yeah. right? He, Just he, ask him. He wanted, <laughs> he wanted the soft rip off the fringe first. <laughs> But to his point, he was, you know, didn't hit the fringe. That was going to bite, bounce up, and probably come off. It and could back. have, absolutely, yeah. Oh, no. CJ missed the putt on two. Oh. You can't do that with Luna. Luna's got a little mini chip here, too. Ooh, a one one click. That's one the click. click chip. Yeah, that was a click. All right, we've got blood on two. Wow. This looks very very makeable as well. Mm. Little strong there. Maybe didn't need the high tee. Great opportunity for CJ to get one back. Oh. Mark the mouth. How are you, brother? Hope you're uh There's another click chip. Hope your uh your school and stuff, your exams went well. <laughs> CJ Twig. He was playing as uh, Drunken Parrot. And I said, where'd that come from? And apparently it's a bar across the street. Oh, okay. <laughs> He's like, I just saw it, love it. Man, I'd love to stay for this one, but I'm pretty sure I'm up, up shortly. I'll try to get back. You guys stay tuned in. If you're not here, get to the next one, 100%. Absolutely. Thanks for joining. Brad, yeah. we'll try to do it again in a little bit. Yeah, absolutely. Awesome. I'm, I'm sure I'll be up here soon, too. Lord. Go find me somebody.
right, Luna's still up one here. Pretty straightforward look here on number five. Yeah, you just can't change your name during the qualifier because they pull it off of uh, live wire. Oof. Get this one up there. Straight at it. Go, almost got the bounce. Sean Gervais, Chris Brewer just got announced. So CJ went with the spinny to get it up there. Luna went straight at it. Oof, we might have a lip there. Oof, wow. He really has a choice, he just sort of has to go for it. Yep, came out clean. taking his time on this chip here it's big to get another stroke I mean he's got a little bit of a lip there too just going with the five hybrid yeah I like the eight wood a little better mm. all right no blood there joining us. Hello, Tim. Uh-oh. Oof. Luna's up one here on CJ. Already? Yeah, CJ missed a putt on two. The pressure playing Paul. Should have seen the last match we just had with um, Andy Haas and Ryan McCook. Went to extras. Oh, yeah, and, and Haas won? Yeah, Haas hold out on, I think it was 11 or something like oh, that. Oh, my goodness. But, yeah. They were throwing darts. <coughs> Yeah, I qualified with Andy, as I told everybody earlier. Uh, that was fun. Yeah, I'm sure. Top qualifier. I would love to uh, do that more often. You had the top qualifier on your machine. And yeah. You weren't, like, second top qualifier? No. I, <laughs> not, not even close. Oof. Always fun to watch Paul play because... He doesn't think about a lot of it. He just hits it. Yeah. CJ using the ramp. Well. You played yet? I just played that one game against yeah. uh, Sean Kennedy. Yeah. That was oh, it. yeah. Yeah, I played a little while ago, won 24-19, and I'm sitting – probably another three hours waiting to play i guess yeah and we were talking about that with jay earlier you know just having these bigger fields we love it obviously yeah 184 people absolutely but you know it's and it's steve steve's doing a great oh, job they, they can't do a better job absolutely he's, he's getting through all the brackets he's real and i under, i see what he's doing he's trying to get rid of the, a lot of the loser brackets so we can play the winner's bracket sure, so sure. Kind of yeah, you, out. Win, you win a couple games and you're going to be sitting yeah i mean it just is so what it is i can see if if we both win the next game, then we'll probably be here for quite a while. Yeah, so. uh, I mean, and that's okay. It's been I'm uh, good with it. It's been two hours since I've played. Yeah, I mean, 
I was just talking to Brandon. He's getting ready to play uh, Aaron. Uh, he played. He was one of the first matches at 11 o'clock, and now he's just now playing his second game. Yeah. And I said, yeah, I just finished my game 20 minutes ago. So I, I waited two and a hours to play my first game. So Definitely have to pace yourself on drinks if you're drinking, yeah. you know, on, on long days like this. I, I feel like I was smart. 145, I just opened my first beer. So <laughs> I feel like we're, we're doing okay with the pace. Yeah. So I'll, I'll ask you, Brad, because I've talked to several people today, and since we were kind of watching Paul and – and CJ, what did you think about the qualifying yesterday? Because I haven't really talked about that with anybody on. I screen. think it was it was pretty straightforward. There was no looks that you know you're very confused about. Um, I had some personally just had some mental errors. I mean, very early on Nihon, I I tried to use a high tee and it was medium tee, came up short. Mm -hmm. I lost two strokes there. Then I watered two holes from then. You know, it's, you get behind the eight ball so quick in games like that, and you're you're scratching a claw, and then you get a little too aggressive, and all of a sudden you shot twenty under. You know, it's just – but the, the actual like qualifier – I wasn't here yesterday, but it seemed like Nihon, from what I heard from a lot of people, is Nihon kind of bit everybody yesterday. And I didn't think it, it was that – It seemed like it. Well, uh, it Holly wasn't that hard well. to set up. Yeah. I mean uh, – Hollywood got me, and it was just – they were just stupid mistakes. I just – I mean, Luna shot 24 in Hollywood, I heard. Yeah. I mean, you know, that's just unheard of. You know, and I don't think Boy, it was – and Ha shot 24 on Nihon. Yeah. I think Or Nordland. Sorry, Nordland. Nord, okay. Well, uh, because that was so a was pretty straightforward look, I yeah. thought. The, the Nord was. I missed a putt on 18 for you know, 26. You know, he did the same thing I did on 13. And he just he came up just a hair short, hit the top of the rock, and bounced off in the unplayable and had it, hit it again. But like it goes to show you, though, he had a so. terrible game on Nord, and he's still the top qualifier. Oh, and then he turned right around and shot 28 or 29 on uh, Hollywood. On so. Hol yeah, exactly. Yeah. Still one stroke here. Just that putt on two. Then a little, about a 30-footer right one, and he just yipped it a little bit. I, I, this is a holeable hole right here. Paul's taking a look at it. He'll like this will be really, really close if it didn't go in. Definitely not a bad look. Now oh, short. Just came Ready up short. A chance. All right. Yeah. So back to the qualifying. I I was just talking to one of the other guys earlier. It just seems like, you know, it used to be a couple of years ago, even. I would say as, as little as two years ago, that when you walked into qualifying, you didn't know. You had no idea what you were walking into. Yeah. Um, you know, the setups were all going to be hard. You knew the easy course would probably set up easy, and then from there it just got progressively harder. Yeah. Yesterday, it's like what you just said. It was, yesterday's qualifying was set up so normal. Pedestrian. Yeah. Yeah, it was just like even when I went through it Friday night with those guys, it was just like this is not going to be hard for a lot of the field tomorrow. And that's why it kind of surprised me that I heard that Nihon kind of tripped some people up and then Hollywood tripped some people up. But there wasn't any special holes anywhere that no. should have been any problems for anybody. Absolutely. So Absolutely. I just remember from a couple of years ago, it's like you said, you, know, you you walk in and on Saturday and you're like, I don't have no idea what I'm walking into because the winds would be different yeah. and the holes would be different. It's just. I think on the other side of that coin, though, how, how much better are you than a couple of years ago? You know, so oh, yeah. and you have that get is some true. more, get some more tournaments under your belt, a yeah. little less nerves. I mean, there's always some kind of little yippy nerves, but, um, yeah, absolutely. I mean. Okay. But, yeah, absolutely. The, the qualifier did seem, yeah, rather yeah. pedestrian. Like but I said, going through it with Andy and, and Kevin Friday night, I was just – I was. I wasn't disappointed, but I just I was expecting a little bit more out of some of these some of these courses. So yeah, and I think a lot of people Nihon being the second course, you know that a few people struggle on that. That's it. Oh, oh, oh. wow, great look at it. But you, you struggle on Nihon being the second course. I mean, mm -hmm. I, I, I shot thirty on Easter. I was in fourth out of everyone, and then I shot twenty three on Nihon. Yeah, and when you go from such a good game to such a bad game, yep. mentally it just doesn't. You know, it it doesn't sit well with you. Well, so then you get a little aggressive. It's kind of like yeah. you and I both bowl and then we both golf. It's like you got that you got to have that five second memory. Oh my goodness, that was closer than Luna's. Yeah, <laughs> I mean, you got to have that five second memory to where that's yes. that's gone. Yes. All right. You know. Yeah, you can't you can't go back. You can't go back and and fix a bad game. Right. Yeah, bowling, like you said, absolutely is the, is the same way. Yeah, uh, and I struggle with that too. So yeah. there you go. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> 
So Luna up and around. This isn't a bad shot. Great Good. shot. Yeah, oh boy. Yeah, cutting into that 15. You know, you got to make sure you you almost overcut it because you don't want to undercut. Right. That. And this is n definitely not a look to go through the trees. Okay. I'm up. I will. Uh, hey, see you in a there little you bit. go. Good luck. Thank you. Why did Andy qualify Friday night, Brian? I'm not really sure. I never really asked. Uh, I had to because I had to work and Lindsay for other reasons. But um, anyway, I just I knew Lindsay and I uh, were qualifying Friday night because that was set probably I don't know a month or ago, a month or so ago. Uh, because I told Steve I had knew I had to work, um, and then this week he texted me and Kevin said Andy's going to be with us. I'm like, I don't, I'm good with it, whatever. So it was a little fun. So Luna's still up here one because CJ missed a putt early, but still got a couple holes here to go. We'll see what's how 17 sets up, but it shouldn't be too bad for these guys. Anybody watching the stream, please make sure you like and share. Get those likes up. Share them with your friends. Call everybody that's not watching yet. This isn't a bad hole location for this hole, so that's not bad. Shout out to Sidelines and the crew here. Most of these guys, I was just saying earlier, most of these guys have been here for quite a while now. Robbie and Megan and obviously Chris, the owner. These guys are doing a great job for us. They pretty much shut off this whole room for us. Um, shout out to IT. These guys got a good setup here uh, for bringing everybody in. So it's a good weekend. I haven't been here a lot, but it's been been good as usual. Paul right there, not a bad. He'll have a straight up putt. Not a bad hole location where you can actually kind of be a little aggressive with it. There you go, CJ. Not bad. Oh, and Paul just runs one by. I think he's a little surprised at that. So that's going to put him back even, I believe. I must have missed something. CJ must have missed another shot somewhere that I missed out. So sorry about that, guys. So CJ pretty much has to hold this one out to get that stroke back. That's a good run at it. And Lou will move on here with uh, against CJ, so he'll take the win. See, we got on the other machine is Paul Taylor and Mark Gomez. So we'll see what's going on with those guys. See who's coming up next on uh, Luna's machine. Good day here on Sunday, as always, in St. Cloud, Florida, here at Sidelines Cafe. There we go over to, to Putts and to uh, to Mark. Haven't seen yet what they're playing, but oh, they're playing uh, Easter. Just getting started here, so they're on hole five. I 
that good look here for uh, for these guys. Mm -hmm. Mouth, good to see you. Miss you having you here. Yeah, there you go. Tell them, Jazz. Have your wife and your girlfriend and your girlfriend's girlfriend like the stream. Good look, and that's really close. Good try, Mark. Well, they're starting to find, he's starting getting into my bracket, which is good, so I'll probably be up in a little bit, but we'll see what's going on. He's just got the first two matches. If you guys need to look at the matches, they're all on the new website. Uh, the main purple and pink are all on the website, and then the ladies and copper are on the GT fan page that Steve posted last night. Good shot there by Paul. <coughs> Mark's going to take a look at this. It's probably got the same about it, same look. So they'll both move on tied. Paul shirt. You take a look at it bigger. I haven't looked, read what it says. <laughs> Fairly long look here for uh, seven. And not bad from Paul. That's it's a long look for this. As seen on T. <laughs> That's awesome. Yeah, that's good. Good putt there by Mark. Just almost slid off, but that was good. Ooh. Kid loose in the room. I think he's mad because he can't play any golden tee. I don't know what's going on with that. That was crazy. Come on, Wayne. Good. Mr. Wayne Kittle is going to join me for a little bit, kind of talk to me and see what's going on. What's up, Wayne? Oh, man. Have you played? Yeah, I've played two matches. Yeah. It's a tough tournament, man. Tough field. It is. Golly, it's a tough field. I ran into a bus on my first match, and I was one off. He was clean, and he holed out 17 for an ace, and – on what, on what course? Uh, Nord. Yeah? Yep. So he was going to one better at that point. I was two down going to 18. It was it was tough. Yeah. Purple bracket's tough. I feel like I was main match. Hey, well, that's what I was talking to Lindsay about earlier. Um, he said, had yet to play a match, and I said, look, purple's no joke anymore. Everybody wants to joke about it and say, oh, you're in the purple. Ha, ha, ha. The the purple is main two. It's oh, not, absolutely. You know, that we have a main one. Purple is now main two because – you know, all of there's a lot of great players here, and not everybody can go into the top 32. Sorry, it's just not going to happen. Well, when you got guys like Andy Fox and Chisholm, yeah, in the purple bracket, yeah. So, and these bigger tournaments, that's the thing. These bigger tournaments, man, these fields get tough now. Yeah. So, yep. Who we got here? We got Taylor. Purple's Who's no Taylor playing? Yep, he's playing Mark Gomez. They're Good. tied right now, okay. going into nine. All right. Good shot here by Good Putts. Shot. Good shot. So they're tied making the turn. Do you do you like that shot where you're going in a little high and putting bite on it? Because I typically do it like a low tee, run it back there. I usually will just run the medium. I don't I don't really do the high tee. I just I'll just run the regular medium tee at it and call it a day. 
pretty straightforward holes. Not a yeah. This is a. It's not a. This is a hole a I, I hold out quite a bit. It's fine. It's not a great win though. Yeah. This is this is a hole that's that pretty wind, easy that to hold out. Make it a little tough to hold out though. I think with it being up on the high side with that wind. Mm -mm -mm. So where'd you say you were at? I'm in the pink. I won my first match, so I'm just kind of sitting around and waiting. Yeah, I'm four or five matches down in the purple, and I'm still waiting, I think, somebody from the winner side to drop down. So. There you go. All right. Good shot here. Very good shot. Good mm -hmm. shot, Paul. Five wood. I would probably just hit the six wood naked here, but it, uh, Mark's bringing it in with a cut. Let come back. Yeah, it's a little strong on it. So who do you like this week? Who do you think? I don't know. I, I haven't, like I said, I've told most of these guys I haven't been here most of the weekend to kind of get comfortable, so I don't really, haven't really watched anybody play. I mean, I was with Andy Friday night. I know he's, he's on it like normal, so uh, I, I think he would be hard to bet against. So, I heard he went extra holes with uh, McCook. I forget who he played earlier. Yep. Was that who it was? 14. He held out on 14. Yeah. So, in sudden death, yep. I think that was probably a big match for him. But, um, yeah, I, I would probably have to go with Andy. He's pretty good. Although, <laughs> no, he, he does okay. He's pretty yeah. good. <laughs> I mean, he won this thing last year barely yeah. standing up, right? Yeah. Yeah, he was oh, on the stream crazy. with me and fell asleep on the stream. <laughs> exactly, and I saw had, the pictures of that. Yeah, I, I had like, to kind of oh, wake him up. I'm like, come on, man. And then, he, was that, uh, and then he walked right over and just buzzsaw. Who was uh, who was it buying him shots? Trying to, trying yeah. Was it, um, Tickner was. Uh, I know and Tick Key, it was David Key. Yeah, David, uh, yeah, I think it was David, too. <laughs> Good shot oh, there by great Paul. Great shot, Paul. It's a tough butt here. Way back. Stop. Trying to get back into how are you, you guys drilling a drive 400 plus yards at the goal? I was gonna say, uh, headman, if I, I will definitely uh, recommend watching word of mouth, ask that same question, and he would be grateful to answer you if he's still on here. I'm sure he'll he'll throw in there a uh, good answer, but um, word of mouth, YouTube or Facebook good one to watch absolutely by far the best stream when you're when Try you're really wanting to um, improve your game improve and, your learn game and learn some shots and, stuff and, like he, that. and he is so open about yep. taking questions and, yep. and 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 getting help so absolutely yep that's a good one he was he was one of my first guys i ever qualified with uh in fact i qualified with him in st louis and uh i learned a lot that weekend it was he's a pretty good player mind-blowing he, he he does okay too yeah you know, it's crazy with him because he hits um, – he's one of those analytical guys and literally dials in all the numbers mm -hmm. on every club and actually keeps spreadsheets and shares those as well. So, it's really good stuff. And he just hits such a great power shot. Yep. I don't have that game. I'm more of a finesse player. I I, I tend to play a little bit more by feel as well. Yeah. Um, I just don't have – I don't see those power shots. I see a 130 to 135. Right. That's and that's probably more me. I, yeah. I can hit hit the harder shots when sometimes, but it's not my game all the way around. So I, I don't really play to that. Yeah. Uh, that's why it was so fun playing with Kevin and and Andy Friday night because just to watch even the two of them. I mean, Kevin's obviously a power mm. player. Good shot there by Mark. Great shot, Gomez. Um, Kevin's a power player because he hits the ball pretty hard and and you know gets those high speeds. And a Andy looks like he's barely hitting the ball. And still hitting at high speed. So, yeah. it, it was fun to play with those guys and kind of just see some different shots. I mean, I talked about it earlier with uh, a couple of the guys. He sh he hit a shot and hold out on 17 of Hollywood. He lined up literally right behind the tree, turned left one, hit a cut in with release with a sand wedge, and rolled it right in. I was like, okay, cool. <laughs> I forgot he had a sand wedge, and I was like, hey, what was that shot you hit? He goes, I hit a sand wedge. I don't know what the shot is with that gap wedge. I'm like, oh, thanks a lot. So I just kind of threw it right of the hole and just kind of let it drift down. But the, just the way he looks at things, and even Paul does the same thing uh, to be able to do that. And Mouth is, like we talked about, let Mouth knows those numbers. He can look at something and just say, hey, you can turn left two, come back in the box a little bit and just hit this, and he can tell you why. Yeah. So He's played a lot of games, and that's what it takes. It takes yeah. just 
game after game after game and just figuring those things out. Yeah, I think he's only played about 100 games or so, so it's, it's okay. 100, what, thousand? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> That's right. Good try there by Paul. Mark's probably, he was dumbfounded that this actually stopped on the hill where it did. I was kind of surprised, too. Oh, mm. it almost holds it out. A little, little soft on those thumbs at 77. I would have thought he would have had to hit that a little harder than that. Oh, that was a good chip there by Paul. So still even here after uh, 14. I don't really see any surprises coming up on this. the rest of the holes unless 17 sets up crazy or 18 sets up crazy. Yeah, this one could. No, that's a pretty good look there. I was going to say, that's with that wind blowing like it is, look that's, there. that's not going to be too bad. I like a. Oh, he's got the like nine. a high T yep. six wood. The high nine here, just let it go down. He's going to, have to hit hard. And that should trickle down. That's Great not a bad shot, shot Mark. And a boy. He has that hard shot, and I just, I just don't see those. Marks. Yeah, I would have hit. I would have been like you. I would have hit the six wood. So yep. high six, just baby it in there. Yep. So Paul's probably good. he's got the six wood. He's got the eight wood, so he'll hit a high eight wood here. 132. Like this should roll up. No, oh, came up a little short. short 132. But oh. Still okay. Good. Ooh. Oof. Use all the hole there, uh, Paul. <laughs> so 23 23 after 15 going in into uh, 16. Not bad. That's Again, a not a there. bad look. It's a good win there. Yep. I look for one of them maybe to hold this one out. I was going to say, this isn't a bad this look is, at all, this actually. This is a whole out opportunity here. I think this is an opportunity for one of them. Go. Ugh. Ugh. Good try, Mark. He knew he just missed it, too. Oh, yeah. Paul, I, I got to – Paul will probably make this. Now, Taylor just recently switched to Stouts, didn't he? Uh, he as far as I know, he's been with Stouts for quite a while. Has he? Yeah. Well, somebody I was thinking it was – had been playing another ball and just switched to Stouts. But I was talking to a Carolina, and I was thinking it was Taylor. My goodness. Man, that thing rippled right over the edge of the hole. But that was that was the opportunity, I think, that yep. both of them were trying to capitalize on. I think they were – both thinking the same thing there. Hey, uh, Graham, the, the Cowboys are right where they need to be at home <laughs> watching everybody else. So stop all that noise. They should be used to it, right? Yeah, yeah. Hell, most of them are probably down here in Florida vacationing. Oh, oh, oh. This, there you go. Wow. I don't think he was trying to cut it that close. Yeah, I don't. This, that, uh, that little patch of grass is a little kind of hard to hit. It's kind of well, like that little patch I mean, on on Monty. But but it's such a great win though. <laughs> yeah. It's such a great yeah. win, brother. It's kind of like that little patch on Monty. <laughs> what was it, hole twelve or eleven or twelve, where you have to go to the top of that mountain? Yes. And then when the new new tees came out, I loved it because then you had an opportunity to go straight down the down the middle. Right. Yep. That was the other thing I was talking to you guys Friday night is I would like to see the random tees come back because we're kind of getting seeing the same tees over and over yeah. and over. like to see get a get a good mix. I like the uh, change up that comes with new tees. Mm -hmm. I don't like it when they kind of screw holes up mm -hmm. with new tees. It makes some holes that are really fun all of a sudden not fun. That happens from time to time, but the change is always good. It's a good shot here. Good shot there by Mark. Release. That's going to be right there beside Ooh. Mark. Good shot. So, Go. couldn't come down to 17, looks like. Or 18. I mean, 18, yep. yep and yep. 18 can be tough, depending upon the look. You know, yeah. you got some guys that, that like to go long and bring it back down. Which, depending on how the where the hole is and how the wind is, I, I try to yeah, do that. That's, I'll, that's I'll, the look here. Yep, I'll take it off that back hill and let it just kind of come off and bounce off. Yep. Out win. Let's see what Mark does here. That was almost the same look. It's almost the same look in qualifying yesterday. I almost hold it out. Yep. Get a good bounce. That's uh, not too bad. 
So it looks like, I mean, yeah, straightforward look. This is makeable. Uh, I, it's not bad. It's not really not a bad look. Paul's probably, uh, you know, he's going to take a look at this for a minute. He's such a good player. I played a lot with uh, with Taylor in Carolina. Yeah. And he's just such a good player. Good shot. Two safe, two safe shots here. So they'll take it back to one. They'll go back to one on Easter if Mark makes this. Good shot. So they'll go back to one on 18. And I mean, excuse me, one on Easter. See if it's drivable, and uh, we'll go from there. So we're in extra holes here. Again, for those of you uh, watching the stream, make sure you're hitting that like button, hit the share button, get it out there. Do we have a poll up, Andy? No? Yes? Maybe? No? He's not listening to me? <laughs> All right, cool. That's good. Watching sudden death matches are always fun. Oh when yeah, you're, when you're watching guys at these skill level. Yeah, because you skill level here, you know that so something's going to be a hole out. Yeah, and they're all looking at hole outs. So, and it's just it 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 really is fun to watch. And one's not drivable, so we'll look to see if somebody can hole it out. Yeah, that's a good win though. That's very very yeah, hole out win. Yeah, yeah. That is definitely capable of a hole out with that win because there's not anything there but what one back into you. Now, do you like hitting the full here on, on hole one, or do you just go straight forward with it? Um, or does it depend on what the wind is? It, I mean, it depends. Most of the time I'm going to try to play it straight forward just because if I'm trying to hit a full, I'll miss the ball from time to time. So just ugh, mm. taking that out of the equation. Yeah. Um, now, if it's drivable with a full, then, yeah, I'm hitting a full. It's a little long, isn't it? Yeah, but he's got the back. Oh, oh, my goodness. I say he had the backspin on it, so I knew it was going to be close. Oof. It just seemed like it stayed in the air forever. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Do these guys still got to pay for every game? Absolutely. There's no free games in Golden Tee unless you have a home edition. No, they're still running a business, and they're trying to make money. That's so. right. Not a bad look here either. I like this look. Oh, this that could was be, good. It. Oh, my goodness. Oh, Great it shot, almost came ass. back the second time. Good what, shot there by Mark. Did he medium tee or low tee that? I think he medium teed it. He just kind of thumbed it. I like this. And nope. Paul hitting it just a little bit long there. But I like that. I like that medium tee yeah. on that look. Yep. A lot of times on, on this hole. That low tee seems to come into play a lot, but I, mm -hmm. I like that on the on the top top side pins. This is not. We pay for every game. Most of the top make back more than the cost per though. Yep. So if you're in the main bracket, for those of you that are new and watching the stream, uh, if you're in the main bracket, you win money anyway. It doesn't matter where you finish, you're getting money of some sort. Obviously, the the higher you finish, the more money you make. Um, for the purple, I believe it's the top eight. Is that right? I didn't see the payouts uh, for today, this week. I, I can't remember either. I didn't see the sheets. Um, pink, it's a little less. And uh, copper, I believe, is just the top winner, maybe first and second. But um, but for the main, for these guys, for the top 32, they're all going to make something back. Uh, usually, uh, if you go 0-2, I think you're just making your money back. But um, that's where all the money is. That's why these guys play the way they do. They Get the try to get in that main bracket, and you know I, I know it's a little early in the year to be talking about little gun and uh, big gun and mm -hmm. Dallas for mm -hmm. the player of the year, um, but I thought I saw something that Sublet sent out. They're actually changing the points a little bit. Yes, and I'm very um, very happy about that. Getting more, um, giving out a little distribution to the copper bracket. Is that yeah, what I saw that, and I think he just changed bracket, yeah. changed everything all together, which I, I I'm glad to see because I've been. And I didn't take a good look at it, but I did see that the structure was changed a little bit. But for those of us that play, you know, more than one tournament a year, yeah. I mean, obviously you have to play two to get in the little gun or big gun. 
Well, and let's be honest, the fields have gotten so competitive. Yeah, and it's, bigger. It's it's you got a, a a 26 or 27 handicap. Right. And you could easily be in a pink Ooh. pink bracket <sighs> in a tournament. Um, you know, I think for the anything over two tournaments that you go to, I think you ought to also be getting extra points as well. Yeah, I agree. So, um, I, I like that idea. Anyway, shot here. So still no fireworks yet. They're both still looking for the hole out. Yep. Mark was close right there. So after 4, 18, 22, we're going to hole 23 right here. This is I like this, this right is, here. This is a really good look right here. Uh, absolutely. I would I'm come gonna to low T release that. Yeah. With a uh, little thumby action. I'm right there with you. Let that thing just roll in. I like that. Let's see what Mark ends up doing. Oh, he's just gonna leave it medium oh, wow. and just thumb oh, he's it. He's gonna backspin it. Oh, all right. Well, he's the one playing. Uh. <laughs> wow, I guess he knows what he's doing, huh? Uh, and he's like, uh, <laughs> "How many do I have to burn?" I get it, man. <laughs> That's usually how I am when I'm playing. I'm burning edges and just not going in. But that was a great look. These guys are good, though. They know what they're doing. Oh my goodness! And that and Taylor was, well, oof. I think they hit the exact same shot. So. You think Taylor was kind of watching a little oh. bit? I have to say that's what I've talked about on other streams is now that I, I'm not going to get on the stout kick, but now that most guys do play the same ball, it's interesting to see how different players play a different shot. Even though we're playing the same ball, yeah. I might hit a totally different shot than you, than, and, and you're looking at me going, why did you do that? And I'm looking at you going, why did you do that? <laughs> so it's kind of fun to see everybody play different shots, even though we're playing the same ball. Well, I know uh, I was playing with um, Squeaky Bob yesterday, and he showed me a look, and I'm not going to say what hole or what look it was because <laughs> I was sworn to secrecy, but he showed me a look on, on a certain Hollywood hole that I, perplexes me half, half the time I play it. And he's like, it's always there, it's always there. And I hit the shot, I'm like – I never. Well, you'll have never. to tell me off mic because I, now I'm interested. I will say I talked about that. I, I don't know if I mentioned this earlier, but when I was qualifying with Andy Friday night, he hit a shot on 17 on Hollywood that the the pin. So the pin was lower right for qualifying yesterday. Yeah. Uh, he hit a shot. He went kind of top right of the box, turned to hit a full in, and literally the ball stopped right beside the hole, and. I, I'm looking at him going, what the hell was that that you just hit? And so I, I walked up to the machine. I'm sitting there trying to figure out where I'm going to go. And he kind of taps me on my shoulder. He goes, I just showed you the shot. I'm like, bro, I don't have that shot. <laughs> it was so funny. But That's, that's the great thing about coming to these tournaments, though, yeah. is, is there's so many things out there. And granted, you got a lot of, a lot of guys at the top level that have the pleasure of playing a lot with, with each other. But for folks out there just at home that don't really live in a tier area where they have a guy that's 27, 28, I, 29 that's, handicap. That's where I'm at. I, I really don't have anybody else around me. I mean, I've got, I've, I can come to Orlando and play with Jason and Lee and these guys, and I don't mind doing that at all. But, excuse me, for local play, I really don't. I, it's yeah. just me. So I have a tough time. And I was Jason and I talked about this for a long time. And I get bored. I mean, if you're home by yourself. Yeah playing all the time I, I get bored playing and so um, it's kind of tough to keep interested and keep your mindset of trying to be competitive yep. when you're just by yourself and you don't have everybody standing beside you pushing you saying hey you need to be hitting this shot but and, and when you come to these tournaments with that being said you come to these tournaments you've got all these great players that are happy to give you information Love it. And, and, and just help you out and get better and I've literally gotten my first tournament was uh Carolina year before last and I went in as a 22 handicap I think when I got home within a couple of weeks I was a 24 handicap mm -hmm. and then throughout the last year it's just progressively gotten better each tournament oh absolutely and that's just it if, if, if you want to be better this is the best opportunity to do it yeah I mean these tournaments I, it doesn't really matter what skill set you have that's right at. and I, I plug uh, mouth all the time um, but the best thing is still to come in and just get that in in-person experience with these guys. Yeah. I mean, you can learn a lot by the, watching the streams and watching uh, Mouth and all those guys uh, when they do that. But to come here and to, to actually talk to these guys and say, hey, why did you actually hit that shot? I mean, 
kind of walk me yeah. through it. And the guys will do it. And as long as we're not in competition and we're just kind of playing around, they'll take the time to say, this is why and this is this is what you should do or try to do or Absolutely. that sort of thing. So. So we're still clean well, here after uh, 27. Simmer, there's a lot of really great players up in the Michigan area that can help you get better. Just absolutely, you know, get get in the boards, get in the community, um, chat information on Discord or Facebook, and and uh, there's plenty of players out there that will probably spend some time helping you out if you need some some help getting a little better. Closest tournament. I'm still listening for my name. Uh, the closest tournament to Michigan is probably going to be the Wisconsin tournament, uh, which is coming up. Yeah, I should have a match. Scott, it's, this shoulder. is uh, Tim Boyer and Wayne Kittles. I see Evan Evan Gossett on Miss Missy and him here. It's usually down here. I know. I talked to Paige, and I guess he's up there playing Mr. Mom this weekend. Yeah, I yeah, know. I get it. I was talking about the, well, we talked about this earlier that this this is a hole I can see I seem to hole out quite a bit on, depending on how it's set up. Yeah, um, I just like getting something at the front of the green and running into it. Yep, just let it run in real nice and easy. You know, and, and and I never really thought about hitting those shots on opportunities that present a hole out mm -hmm. until I was watching Mouse stream and he's like, cheat the win, low T, and, and just get it on the ground and run into it. Yeah, and my hole out. Opportunities have come become. Uh, that wasn't a, a bad lot shot right there by Mark. If he'd have hit that just a little bit harder, I think that would have been absolutely been it. Absolutely, great win for this this offset here. This is makeable. Oh, uh, Taylor, good, good run right shot. there by Paul. Um, yeah, those of you that are watching on Facebook, you can probably switch over to YouTube. Maybe a little bit easier to watch. Uh, definitely to get on the likes and shares and that sort of thing. But YouTube, the YouTube uh, page is definitely uh, a little bit better to watch. All right, Evan, you're not here. You can't <laughs> yeah. trash talk. Tell, I know, Evan. Do, do the, I, Mark's he's burned three holes already. <laughs> so I mean, he's they're getting like, great shots. They just hadn't had like found he's the one trying. yet. This could be close. This could be real close. Mm. Ah. Mm. It's exact. Uh, that's the exact same shot I would probably hit right there. Let's see if Paul, like that. how close Paul like gets right here. TTM nope, there. he's going to miss it. A little soft on it. Yeah, I think I would have went with a no spin maybe, a release. Just with that wind, it just comes off so soft. Yeah, headman, just make sure you get in the get in the Golden Tee fan page and put it out there because there's definitely guys up that way that can give you some help or uh, at least tell you who's around you can play with. Not another. <laughs> wow, Gomez is <laughs> get, literally. I was gonna say, I can see the frustration on his face, <laughs> and I know that feeling. You're just burning every single hole. And I've seen Paul do this so many times. Let's see if he gets this one right here. Oh. Yeah, they're both just coming up just, just coming up short. They're scaring the hole yep. a lot. So after thirty one holes now. Uh no, it's not there. So let's see what Mark does this time. Oh, he's gonna hit a full, I think, up here at the corner. Nope. All right. A little conservative. I think he's maybe laying a little farther back to get a better shot, a little better club selection coming in. I'll be honest with you, Wayne. I I, I will just go straight down the middle of the fairway on this hole. I really do. I'll, I'll play the eight wood in and use the back. Depending on where the hole is, I'll use that back wall as a backstop and just – I've hold it out quite a bit from doing that. See, me, I just – it's all about comfort level, I think, for, for most holes and most uh -huh. shots anyway. For me, I'm going through those trees in that gap, and I'm just going to, regardless of the look, if it's not there, I'm still going to put it up there just to give me that shot, that flat shot into the green because it's is so far downhill mm -hmm. uh, or so far uphill coming into the green on this hole. Right. I just I don't like those elevations. Yeah, see, with this wind right here, I definitely would have hit it right down the middle, let that 10 yeah, kind of play a little a bit. Win. You'd have been into it. Yeah. Straight 10. So almost 
It's almost the same location we just had. That bottom half. See, Mark hits this better, a little bit better nine wood this time. Yeah, they got to be a little soft on this with that wind. Yep, that's what I was afraid stop, of. Stop, stop, stop. All right. Yep, got to be a little I soft. I thought the on 146 it. was a little hard, so. Yeah, that's exactly what I was thinking. Yeah. I think it's probably 130. Yep. I'm like you, I'm just trying to listen for my name. I don't want to get yelled at by Steve. I've already been yelled at twice already this week. So. <laughs> if you can make it through the weekend and not get yelled at by Steve, you're doing pretty good. <laughs> no, he wasn't here. <laughs> Paul hitting the hitting the cut in. I like that. I like that a lot. And all right. Wow. Well, that did not come back near as hard as I thought it would. Make this putt here, Mark. But it's not easy. Those French putts will break. I always end up for so long. And there it is. Wow. And yep. that's going to be the match yep. right there. You underread them. You underread them. So Taylor will win in sudden death. Yeah, that's, yep. I know that's not, mistake by Gomez. that's not the way he wanted to win that. No, absolutely not. Did he just call me? No, I didn't hear your name. Yeah, I know that's not the way Paul wanted to win, and we were expecting, obviously, a hole out. Mark was burning hole, burning yeah. the edges. Yeah, Paul guys, was burning the edges. Yeah, th these guys, you you don't really expect them to miss anything on that hole because it was not a tough setup. Yeah. I think he just hit it a lot harder than he needed to. Yeah, like I said. And I, I think he probably realizes that now. So <laughs> I was surprised he hit it as hard as he did because with that back wind, you know, the wind at his back, he really yeah. didn't have to kill that too hard. <coughs> oh, he did just call me. Sorry, I do have to go. I'm on the machine 15, so... Sorry, fellas. Uh, I will be back when I can. Wayne, good talking with you. Absolutely. Buddy. See you in a bit, buddy. It's a pleasure. Oh, so I guess we're waiting on a, the next match to come up on the stream here. Moyer just had to um, go play his match, so we're gonna see if we can't get somebody to get in the uh, in the table over here and help commentate a little bit. But, yeah, I mean, it's it's a great field this week, huge field. I think we had 190-something signed up. And I haven't heard from Sobel exactly what the number ended up being, but it's a big field, very competitive field. I mean, there were some really, really good players here that did not even make the cut that are in the purple bracket. So let's see who we got coming up here. It looks like we got Eddie G. He's a good player. Let's see if I can't get Jay Ware over here. I see Jay Ware. Now, let me let me get uh, Jay Ware and Ben Vaney over here and pop in and talk to you guys for a bit. I'm going to go grab me another water and, and uh, get ready for my next match. So. I think we got a change of the guard here now. Oh, yeah. It's uh, Ben Vania, Jay Ware. Oh, yeah, Ben. Little uh, Indiana-Tennessee action now for you guys. 
Love it. I'm Audi. I'm Audi 3 million. Ooh. 0-2 pink. Wow. Didn't, didn't, oh, and two pink. Yeah, didn't practice at all. I don't. I haven't been playing as much. Yeah. I'm a little salty about it, but, you know. Yeah. I, I beat myself for sure. Didn't bring my best game, but not to diminish the guys I played. They played. They played well. Above their hand. Both of the guys played above their handicap. So. Yeah, I beat myself the first game. Here I am. How about you? You're uh, one. I'm in purple. Oh, and one. Um, one and one. Okay. I guess my said. Well, I've only played one match, but does. Uh, Second match, I uh, he didn't show up. Okay, hey, we'll take a bye on Al on Jazz Championship Sunday. Look at that, Al, Al Jazz in the house. How you doing, bud? We miss you. Yeah, wish he he says he doesn't make it down here for whatever uh, reason. Florida's beautiful. So I'm gonna pull up the brackets here. It's Jay Ware back. Maybe I'll hang out here. Uh. <laughs> Wife text. <laughs> She's like, it's okay. Encourage <laughs> <laughs> Is she here with you? No, no. Or, or she's she, at home. She's at home. You got kids? Dude, got the beautiful little Zoe. Ah, good for you, bud. 1-1. One, one. Let me see. I don't know if these guys are. They're definitely main, right? But I don't know if this is loser brackets. or I hadn't been following along yet here. Yeah. I'm not sure if Puff won, but because Eddie was playing Jade. Get in. Eddie and, J and Jade McGillen played uh, Eddie's last match. Okay. Yeah. Scott Johnson, yeah, screw that Cubs shirt. <laughs> but that shirt's got to go. <laughs> nah, we could deal with the White Sox shirt. <laughs> I'm not a baseball guy. I know. Yeah. I don't know where they're at, if the yeah. World Series is going to go Chiefs, though. <laughs> or no. Where are we at on football? I, I'm not a football fan. Yeah, so, fair enough. Hey, you're, you're not a baseball fan. I'm not a football <laughs> fan. I'm not that big of a, a football, uh, baseball fan anymore. Last thing I was a big fan of was uh, the Bulls in 98. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> fair know? enough. Fair enough. Uh, when I was 12, you know. Let's go. I want to be a professional basketball player. <laughs> Oscar, I'm trying to find Everybody these wanted rules. to be Michael Jordan, you know? Oh, yeah. Oh, we got a Baird sighting. Brad Baird, where, where are you at, bud? Exactly. I mean, we need that smile here. You know, there's, there's a few grumpy faces out here. So this is, you're right, Jade beat Eddie. Oh, wow. Uh, earlier. So this has to be yeah. on that the low bracket, low side bracket. So these guys are on their last lose. Yeah. You win, you take care of business, you get to play another match. And Hollywood's a good one. Hollywood's got some swing holes. I need to pull out my, my computer so I get the big screen on the bracket. Give you guys the most updated, accurate information possible here. These guys are clean, both solid, solid players. I was just informed I'm playing Marcus Cash next. Okay, Marcus but can play a little bit. You oh, can play a little bit yeah. too. Yeah, for, for my little bit of time playing. You know, I've only, only been playing about a year, so. Really? Yeah, I've got 1,350 games played. Hell yeah. I think I'm coming up on uh, three years in the competitive scene, and then yeah. I had oh. six years of, like, lunchtime after work, get a couple games in, you know, yeah. 16, 17 handicap stuff, before I knew how to play T proper. Right. Well, I still don't know how to play T proper. <laughs> uh, I mean, there's a select few that that are, that are really good, yeah. you know. Yeah, I play Marcus Cash next. Uh, that'll be fun. Clean, clean here, right? Clean, clean. Chain, chain. Man, I saw some looks uh, that I just, like, this is one I'm not super familiar with. But, again, I haven't been playing a lot recently. 183, IT, uh, IT7 Hybrid is a money club right there. The 7 Outwood, 7 Outwind. That's, oh, he's going to murder it. Okay, fair enough. Yeah. Plenty, IT, of, plenty yeah. of green, land it, oh, let yeah, it run. flat green. Yep. You don't have to be too close. Oh, yeah. This one's normally the, the tee box I'm familiar yeah. with is off to the right and yeah, back a little right bit. Yeah, to the right, and you got it through the, through the gap, yeah. through the chute. 
Oh, Eddie's going with a six, which, ooh, yeah, he's fine. He's fine. There's going to be no blood here. Neil, it is a good afternoon. Hey, Neil. Why aren't you here, bud? They, uh. Who's going to be in Wisconsin? Are you coming to Wisconsin, Jay? Uh, so I like to do the last minute gig. Like, Nashville yeah. is in my, it's my home bar. Right. So I'm yeah. going to be there. Um, and then St. Louis is about a four hour, four and a half hour drive. Right. So I'll, I'll be there at, the, at that one. Yeah. Um, this one, I was like a two week, right? Two weeks prior. It's like, yeah, let's just go. So Sussex, I would like to go, but it's fast approaching, right? March. Yeah, uh, yeah it's a month away. Yeah, just a month, early March. Yeah. We'll see. That's a great venue, though. This is my first time, so in three years in the competitive circuit. Um, this was the last one uh, that I hadn't been to since I started playing. Oh, gotcha. Yeah, cool. and this yeah. sidelines, it's awesome. Oh, Robbie it's and great, Megan great and all, facility. All, Scott, all the all the people behind the bar. They're they're serving up drinks as fast yeah. as they can. The barbacks, they're they've all been here all day, all weekend. Oh yeah. You know, and they're they're making some cash. Well, I yeah, everybody's so. everybody's taking so. care of them. You yeah. can tell they're like, oh, I'm at my wits end, a little tired, long yeah. days, but yeah. They're, uh, they're making it enjoyable for everybody. Al Jazz, Sussex is uh, the next state over. You better be there. Mm. Yeah, that's your local backyard. Yeah. I mean, actually, I'm probably closer to Wisconsin than Al Jazz is in Minneapolis. It's only about a two hour, yeah, two hour ride, probably two and a half at most to Milwaukee for me. Straight up the highway, through through shit, Chicago. <laughs> Two eighty viewers. You'd love to see it. Two hundred and eighty. How, how many likes we got? Uh, we need to get those likes up. One hundred nine. Well, I feel. Oh. Oh well, yeah. I'm only looking at YouTube. Yeah, we need we, more. We need more likes though. Yeah, we got two hundred eight watching. Hit that like button. Yeah, on whichever platform. Where are we? Facebook? Are we on Twitch? Facebook, Twitch, YouTube. Mixer is gone by the wayside. I don't know Twitch. Microsoft tried. Yeah. I don't know the Twitch platform. I've never used it. Like, share, subscribe. Tell your friends. Get them in the arena. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah. Well, Dr. Disrespect shout out if you know, you know. <laughs> Al, Al Jazz is already <laughs> in Sussex. <laughs> Waiting on everybody. <laughs> uh, we'll have a bush light. Better have bush lights waiting for us, Al Jazz. Back spins. Yep, safe. The uh, Fitz gave me a bush light earlier, and I'm like, yeah, I got to get a bucket. I'll give a bucket, get a bucket, and give him one back. That's how we do. Austin Day. Hell yeah. We'll see you there, bud. I think Austin Day, I think I met at Austin. I think he's a pretty good player. There's uh, Sussex, it, Sussex should be fun. I hope we get 160 for Sussex. You know, at least. They're growing. I mean, the, the trend yeah. year over year is more and more showing up. Yeah, last year was a little low because Worlds was right there, you know, like two or three weeks before. Which, going to Worlds, I went to Worlds for the mobile last chance qualifier and then played the cabinet last chance qualifier and almost made that. Oh, nice. I, I won two out of my four what in was the closest to the pin. Oh, man, I was, was one win away. Yeah, I, I think I was one or two. I was probably pretty close. Shout out to uh, Art DeVry, DeVry. He got me. On it. Oh, he he made it. Yeah, yeah. He and was he was he was he was like Jay. Like I thought, you know, I'm stumbling yeah. around at the machine, got the sway <laughs> going. He was like, oh, really? I got to. I hate to beat you like that. Yeah. You know? and, and my boy Danny Skurlock, he won the he won the whole closest to the pin contest. Oh, nice. In Vegas, and we got a Jade McGillum sighting here with a fresh fresh Corona with fresh lime in it. 
We need we you need know? like we need like five headsets and just get every <laughs> just have a whole <laughs> setup bar here. Oh jeez. <laughs> uh, <laughs> chaos is what it'd be. <laughs> We're in Chicago. There There you go. There's plenty of uh places in the Chicago area, Brad. Uh not sure I'm in northwest Indiana, so you're in Lombard, but I go on the app. That'll tell you all the locations. Uh, you got a truck wagon in Chicago. He plays in the city, I'm pretty sure. He's a he's a legend. I think most people have heard Chuck Wagon's name. But uh, oh, I love oh. it. Kinsler with the stats. K- Kinsler, there we go. There's been a handful. I, I only I only saw the. Haas, um, Haas McCook match in going OT. That was a good match. They went to 14 holes and then Haas sold out from the fairway. Wait, Kinsler, are we talking? We want to talk the the Stout angle or uh, <laughs> the level of play and how that how Stouts contribute? Nah, we don't want to go live. <laughs> we don't want to go live with that debate. We we got a we got a mouth sighting here. Hey, mouth. How you doing, bud? Wish you were here. He's a uh, mouth has the best stream to teach new players, even old players, how to play. Oh yeah, we can. Get, I think oh. we can give a shout out to Mouth's uh, stream. I think it's a word, word of mouth. Word of mouth on word YouTube. Of mouth, you, YouTube, Facebook, Twitch. Yep. Join yeah. the join the Facebook uh, Golden Tea fan. Yes. There's all kinds of information. Oh, yeah. Lots of good conversation. You know, don't be intimidated to uh, to come to one of these events. Everybody oh, will teach yeah. you what they know. But if you're at home and, and don't have anybody to play with and get better, watch Mouse Stream. He's really good at, at yeah. teaching. My my first event, I had around 300 games played. Skipper is another streamer all the time. Yeah. I'm going to plug the Discord if you guys know. No, oh, no. Sk- <laughs> uh, <laughs> I got you. <laughs> Join the Discord, though. Yeah, right? if the you're Discord's, a dis- yeah, Discord's a good thing. Yeah, if you're a thing. Discord fan, uh, goldentea.club forward slash Discord. I think we're almost up yeah. to 800 people in there. We do, we do some head-to-head stuff. You're one of the admins on there, right? Yeah, C- yeah, CJ and I, well, CJ started it, and, and but me and him have been running it for, man, it's got to be almost two years now. So oh, great, and a half. yeah. That league we had was pretty pretty fun. Yep, shout out uh, Nate Stowell running yeah. the, the online league. Yeah, Nate and uh, Jesus, what's his name that was helping him run run it? They, uh, yeah. But we had talked about trying to start it back up because Nate's busy with kids and work and stuff, you know, so. Oh, yeah. Hey, hey there's Nate. <laughs> So still, we're still clean, clean here. I know one. Come on back in. Ooh. Come on back in there. That's a tough one to get to oh. bounce right. Kramer is up a stroke. Oh. That's one thing, bitch, watching. You know, folks want to have that updated, accurate information. Pay attention to the game, you know. But it's yeah. game after game after game's coming. It's good stuff. The stream is money. Definitely when I can't make oh, it yeah. to one, uh, I really enjoy. Who's on the other game? That's uh, Mike Gray. Yep, Tennessee guy. Yeah, Michael Mike Gray, Gray, and I don't know who he's playing. But, uh, yeah, this this one's loser bracket, though. They they yeah. Neither one of these guys will lose because they'll be done and out. I don't know if Mike Gray's still on the winner's side, but he made his first main. 16 tournaments made his first main. So shout out to Mike Gray. Good job, bud. Good job making that main. And he qualified like ninth, I think. Mm. So it wasn't even like a barely made cut. Let's make sure my match isn't coming up. Come on. Reload this thing. Just to make sure. Backspin's got to be a little high side, a little short. Didn't love that shot. You play the gap wedge? 
I right. play I play the sand the super super sand super wedge sand now. that's what yeah. I do and I just got one in the bag there's no lob wedge or yeah yeah Mark you should definitely check out that word of mouth he's uh he's been around the game a while you know he has his antics it's pretty entertaining too you know at times if you want to know the absolute solid truth and state of the game and what could be and needs to be fixed. I highly recommend. <laughs> <laughs> uh, sticky sand. You know, a little bit of putting. Something's weird with the putting, supposedly. I don't know. I can't putt. I can't putt. Some turbos, putt some tiered green yeah. surface stuff. I mean, yeah, I don't you know. You play the game. Play more. Yeah, just play more, get better. Get that's, that's Todd Clark. Todd Clark's charity. Oh, I got Let's it. give a shout out to Todd Clark. I got the uh Yeah. I got the hat. On the He's bag. got the supreme play more get better. Play oh, yeah. more give back. Play, <laughs> play more, more give, give back. back. That's what it is. That's the charity. Man, I we, wish we, we try had to the, the we, website to plug them cuz that's awesome what they're doing. Like, uh yeah, get, I bring in new new players uh Yeah. Bringing new players to the yeah, game, they're, helping they're sponsoring sp players. They're giving back in Nashville. We gave ten thousand dollars to the food bank. Yep, second harvest. To the second harvest, that was awesome. You know, uh, I know a bunch of the guys. You know, went to the food bank and actually worked for like four hours and volunteered. Yep, uh, some of those guys, uh, uh, Brandon, and there was two other guys from Tennessee, just two hours north of Nashville, and they said hey it's our first tournament and they took advantage of that went to, to yeah. second harvest so yeah bacon and whoever else i think steve silk may be involved with that whoever's involved yeah. with that yeah it's yeah. it's awesome steve silk i think uh black santa that was a nice black shot santa's there. involved with it too i'm pretty sure that was a nice uh shot yeah they're all class acts yeah it's hard yeah. to it's hard to find uh Hard to find a bad soul in this community. Oh. I mean, everybody. Everybody's been awesome. awesome. It's got something to bring to the table. Yeah, it's I've been I've been here for a year now, and I'm getting welcomed with open arms from everybody. All right, so let's see what this look is, because Eddie G wants to get one. Oh, Ooh. that's not a bad. That's not a bad look. Yeah, I was gonna say you got a. This is a distance shot. You got to land it. Yeah. Land it right past the tier, and then just let it roll, trickle, just stay up near the hole. Yeah. I don't even think you want to go to the right on the big part of the tier. Uh, but, again, this is calculating distance. I want to land it here. I want to yeah. keep it in that middle middle top tier. Right. Uh, Nick Levy, let me see if I can find – Great shot, right? Put it up there, stick it. You don't need to do anything else. Eddie's looking for the same. Yeah. Wind's he's pushing left. It's up right right he, eight. He's going to try to haul this. I mean, you can't go long, though. Oh, he's got bite? I feel like that's aggressive, but I don't play the two iron. Oh. Wow. Money. All right. Yeah. Eight, 18. 18 is a tricky one too so kramer's looking to put it on the green and putt eddie is looking to hole out so we'll see what the setup looks like yeah we got jason lachavo sitting next to us right now this is a Jack, tackable. jackie's husband this he's is hanging out in the tackable. booth with us I mean, it's low risk here to, to try to yeah. get it close no, pins front Oh, yeah. Beautiful. All right, Eddie. Should we, uh, come on. I mean, you hate not, you're not rooting against anybody, really, no. right? You want everybody no. to. But this is about the holobist, holobolist look you can yeah. get on this hole. I agree. It's, it's you know, risk averse, I would say. Yeah. This, this could be interesting. Eddie's got some crazy shots. He creates some insane shots, you know. Here it is. Nothing special there. Ooh. Ooh. All right. Good game by Good those two. Yeah. Great game. But, uh, Jay, it's been great. 100%. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to pass the headset off. 
Uh, a J. Ware and La Shava. You want the headset? No, I'm good. We got Jason La Shava coming on. Ben Vaney out. It's a Here we are, I'm in. Ooh, I'm this little side camera will do some some casting and some chess at the same yeah. time. <laughs> Is this thing on? How are you doing, brother? I'm good. How are you? I am All right. done for my Sunday match play. 0 two in pink. A little sad. If you get if you get two in the pink, you gotta have a you gotta feel like you had a good day though, right? <laughs> I mean, it, what's? It's not a bad day. 0 and two. I got to play. Yeah. I got to play two matches right. today. Yeah. What's up, Nick? Josh. Hey, guys. Kins is on. Cool, man. Got some good peeps on. Oh, it's popping. Let's do the numbers check. It was. Did I just see Puff? Puff won that, right? By one? He did, yeah. That had to have been a good match. It was a good back and forth. Uh, Al Jazz. Hickey, um, he didn't have the best tournament, but I think he's having an okay time. I think he's still in, though. He's in a purplish or something and uh he's st he's still trying to make a run he wasn't happy on saturday i know austin hey bud nate i was expecting to see nate here he's on the go that's a long flight though for him kins we got a lot of people on I assume everyone's hit like on the stream, right? I don't even have to. I don't even have to ask. I'm sure everyone's done that. We could always use a couple more. And that's uh, that's Will, right? Vision saws, I think, is Will. Hey, Will, miss you guys. Jason Graham. Thanks for the the message, Jason. I appreciate that. I had a nice qualifier, and he uh, he he reached out. It was really nice. This is not where you want to be. There's ice on this? This is not where you want to be. Oh, that's definitely. Oh, no. You don't want to be there. You don't want to be there twice. I was going to say, he's going to get a second look at it. But. Yeah, get a second try. <laughs> yeah, he's going to. He got it. There it is. Lee's still, no, Lee's out. I don't see who sent the comment. It's It's gone away. But, yeah, Lee's out. Uh, Lee and I made the main 0-2. We had a little, little bet going with our group here about uh, who goes the furthest. Uh, we had a, we had a good we had a good Saturday though. Oh, you already 0-2. Oh yeah. Who'd you play? I played Squeaky Bob on Nordelin, and I was not in the zone. And then I played uh, Arrington on Nordelin, and I was not in the zone. After I hit three, I hit three hole in ones on Nord in qualifying, and somehow just gave it away. This is this is interesting. Man, twenty four is a couple a couple strokes off then going into this. Yeah, the Niners have no quarterback. Garoppolo's getting healthy, but he's gone for sure. Right? There's no way he stays. Uh, yeah, we hopefully Trey gets he healthy. We got two cool rookie contracts for quarterbacks so if they get healthy we could see what happens right oh and we're just going to follow each other yeah. on the they do know that ice is not the where you're supposed to be right that doesn't stop there i might have to get off the mic and go talk to them and let them know that that's <laughs> not you you don't follow someone when they go that way right that's not the shot what's up scotty yeah the has gone which is fine. I mean, I, I hope he has a good time somewhere. I'm really sad we're going to lose D'Amico Ryan, our defensive coordinator. But uh, NFL official NFL schedules, unfortunately, come out at the end of April. So we won't know in Sussex. But I'm happy. I'm excited to see you guys in Sussex. Jay, are you going to Sussex? Uh, TBD. I mean, it's coming up fast in a month. It is fast, you know? yeah. I mean, now, well, a couple of weeks ago is the time to book and show up. Yeah, yeah, we're booked, so we'll be in Sussex. I hope uh, people are coming out. That's a great venue. The owners of that are, are always so nice, and they, they have the buckets ready, and it's so cool. Yeah, service is there, and he normally does uh, – I'm trying to remember the guy's name that runs it, but he normally does like a big meal of some kind, like surf and turf. The surf and turf, yeah. yeah. I've done it in the past. It's fun. 
Um, sometimes I'm like just too drunk to like a- appreciate, appreciate surf yeah. and turf. But if if it's your jam, it's it's a fun thing to do. Oh, we got a little Let's CJ see. Luna here. Nah, Luna got him earlier. Oh, okay. Luna's just hanging. Yeah, they're just hanging out. I guess. Yeah, Purdy, that 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 elbow got rocked, man. Yeah, I, I know, but he's a rookie contract. Hopefully, they heal him up, uh, and he can come back, and we can see what Purdy does. I had a really fun time uh, rooting for the Niners when we got McCaffrey mid-season, and then Purdy comes in, and that was just it was a fun year. It was unfortunate the way it went down. Kins, please tell me you're coming to Sussex. I, he's probably just he's just probably using too many exclamation points for effect. But if Kins came to Sussex, I would be I would be jazzed up. I'd be Al jazzed up. All right, shout out Matt Woods Fish and Chips. Good run in the purple bracket. Your hometown crew is proud of you. <laughs> I love it. Yeah, it's it, that's what it's about. I mean, yeah, for sure. I'm Owen to and Pink, but I still hang out with the uh, call them my internet GT friends. But it's turned into family. You but know? like we met over the internet, right? Yeah, 100%. you know, Jay and I, we were chat. You know, we we go back and forth on posts and started with Facebook. Now we're in Discord, which you guys started. And you did, it's great. It's fun. And then you come here, and it already feels like we knew each other. Exactly. You just pick right up, and it's like a big hug, and it's like oh yeah. If you haven't been to one and you don't, you're worried about your ability to play. Put all that aside. Like, if you love the game and you want to to play it, and and like that's one thing everybody here has in common, and that's something you can start the conversation with. Yeah. But then you find out how good everybody is. You know, good human beings. Just yeah, it's such general. a great group. Hey Miller, what's up, dude? Oh man, Dustin, Nashville's the one I most likely won't be able to go to this year, and that makes me sad that I won't see him. It's got to be the best one. It is the best one, <laughs> but they moved it two weeks into, like, the worst time for me. There's a school uh, thing because it's right yeah, there in August where a lot of folks are getting their kids to school. What's more important, this group of Golden Sea people or seeing your kids off to school? I mean, at some point. Uh, up for debate. Oh, we got Fitz over here. I just been, got on. I've been on I just got on. But I, I'm, I'm owing two pink. I don't. So am I. <laughs> Not in the pink, though. That's terrible. Oh let's, man, let's see. I, I'll look I'm not you. saying I'm to- I'm not saying I'm a hundred percent out for Nash, but it's 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 gonna be like a two percenter kind of feeling for Nash because I love I love Nashville. I that's the one place I get COVID every year, and and if I don't go to Nashville, <laughs> I won't get COVID three years in a row. So, you know, I mean, I, I should probably go just for that. Yeah, that is that is uh, it's a meme, <laughs> but it's true. What's up, I, Jade? We lucked out, and uh, TNT's is my home bar in Nashville, so it's it's in my backyard. So we'll, I'll definitely be at that one. Wedding in June. How exciting! Congratulations. MB. Oh, we got some. We get comments. I like how everyone's like getting in on this. I love when you guys comment. That makes the the, the streaming the the best part. Yeah, MB. We wish you were here too. Oh, <laughs> we, Dustin. We talked about that like all weekend. It was so epic. Yeah, there's nothing like cheap beer on Broadway. If you know where that is, you let me know. I, man, it's if you get a six dollar beer <laughs> on Broadway, you think you're living life. Oh my god. I mean, it's a. I've said it before. It's a music festival, three, four nights a week, every week. I love, it's, man. I love that town. It's insane. And thank you to Golden Tee because I don't know how quickly I would have gotten out to Nashville. It hadn't been for Golden Tee. Yeah. Uh, and, and now it's like, man, I want to go back. Like even if Golden Tee's not there, I want to go. That's that's a cool town. Well, we we lucked out. Our vendor there, we had uh, three machines, and we're telling them about the vendor, telling the bar owner, you guys got a big space, it's a pool hall place. Yeah. And uh, you know, I think everybody made comments to the owner and uh, the bar owner there, Tim, and you know, Rusty, Mr. Pink, Dustin, you yeah, know, you got whoever. Good, you got a good group over there. Whoever brought it to Nashville, you know, it's there, and it's a, it's a great time. Oh, we got Cash. Mar- Marcus, Marcus Cash. <laughs> I haven't seen Marcus in so long. <laughs> he's, it's had to been three minutes. He's floating around. He must have hey, lost Jason. his third match. If he's I have everything good to say about Golden Tee community. I'm, I love this community. I feel like it's just extended family. So this is going to be losers bracket match. Thanks, uh, Dustin. Whoever loses here is done, done, done. So they do not want to lose this match. 
Oh my goodness. The plan. The Kins plan. Is Courtney coming? Please tell me Courtney's. I guess with your business, someone has to stick around. But if Courtney came too, that or just send Courtney. You work. You work, and we'll just we'll hang out with her too. Kins, it would be great to see you. It's been it's been a while. Nate, I I, I saw on the camera. It looked like uh, Cags was in socks. New strategy. I don't know. Shoeless Joe. I think. Cags. I can't see him from here. But. Oh yeah, he's he's socking it. <laughs> <laughs> I've checked. You can ask anyone here. I've checked all the balls I could. Anyone who would let me. <laughs> oh, fair enough. CJ's got his headphones in finally. I guess they've come. We were commenting earlier. Even he played uh, Tickner and he played Luna, and CJ didn't have his headphones in. But he's oh. always match play. Yeah, he's guy. headphone. Headphone dude. Brad Baird. Oh, dude, I will see you in St. Louis, right? You're gonna, you'll, you'll be there. I haven't seen Brad in a while either. Yeah, Nashville. Last good time shot I saw by him, Cags. I think it was a good three a three a.m. Sunday night. Last time I heard Monday morning when I saw Brad last <laughs> <laughs> this last year in Nashville. Oh, you're gonna be in Sussex. Oh, cool, man. Yes, yeah, Sussex is gonna be epic. Nice shot, guys. T putting them right in there. What's his name? I wasn't no, CJ24. He was yeah. CJ2 Orb when I played him in Dallas because we were chanting Orb. Oh, Buffalo. 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 So, <laughs> Jackie and I were on a cruise, we were in a casino, and we were playing a Buffalo machine, and we're trying to do the chant. And it's like, when it's just two of you, it makes no sense. Didn't you, work. you need like a dozen <laughs> people. <laughs> I did the same thing with my brother a couple of weeks ago in. Uh, uh, Gravy. Valleys. Evansville, Indian. We got everyone on. Oh, and you've all it. you've all liked the stream, which is cool. Gary with the thummies. What do we got going on here? This should be a good match. Gary plays some good match play golden tee. I'm both these guys are top tier players. Run! Oh baby. Mm. I might have to bust out my Gino impression if if there's like a good hole out. Oh, he yeah. Yeah, it was super awkward cruise up for sure. People, people are sort of staring. I I tried to get him in, but they they wouldn't ch chant the buffalo. All right, Jason, I'll see you in St. Louis. Um, boy, I'd love to see you in Worlds. That depends, I guess. Bigger. Please don't. My speakers can't take it. <laughs> no Worlds up. We're all right? square after three. We we don't have a world's update yet, right? There's we don't know venues. City. I got I got I got secret info. Well, I got so much secret info. I'm don't not even sharing it though. I, don't share. Not if no one's been liking the stream, I'm not gonna share my my secret world's <laughs> info. I got I got uh, Kevin Lindsay. I got I I got his uh, defenses down. Okay. So I real sly like right. Yep. I got I come in slow with yep. some simple questions. And then I just feather. You, I just start feathering you, in. You riz him. I, I I feathered him in, and then he would he would kind of give me a, a look, and a and a little head nod, and I, I just kept grilling, just grilling Lindsay. I mean he's he's medium well at this point. Okay. Yeah. Working him down. Oh man, if you guys knew what I knew, you'd be so excited. <laughs> you guys, yeah, you you guys would be so excited if you knew what I knew about worlds. Oh, some wrestling tickets? SmackDown? Okay. All right. We don't have to tell his secrets. No, it, if you hit unlike, I will, <laughs> I'm, I'm going to make him cancel worlds if you hit unlike. Uh, we're watching it. We got the metric. If you like the stream, I might. 192 uh, likes now. Okay. Let's All right. Go. Can we get to 300 likes? If we get to 300 likes, I will divulge what I have learned. You heard it here first. 271 viewers. We we they were uh, it spiked to 330, I guess. Okay. But I I would have. And then guess. I got on and <laughs> we're no. dropping like flies. <laughs> no. I would guess the the closer it gets to finals and uh, you know it all the yeah the viewer it, that's when uh, up. yeah. Yeah, we did hear. Uh, I think they have said PGA machines will be what we play on at Worlds. That I think is pretty common knowledge, right? And it yeah. should be because this is uh, their marquee event. 
It should be on PGA. Yep. And I'm agree. excited for it to be on PGA. Quite yep. honestly, I want I want this to convert to PGA. I want us to like move into the future, man. Yep. I've heard some good things with the PGA partnership. I know that IT has been at uh, they a couple weeks ago. I think they were at a PGA conference of some kind. Yeah. Uh, yeah. There's. I mean, there's great things in the works. Even if we don't know all the details and all that, the game is growing, right? Each tournament, there's more and more people Yeah, we're getting up. more people. And legacy cabinets, that's 2000 late, man. We could, we're in the future now. Harvey uh, Kramer just, uh, <laughs> just won a loser's bracket match, so he's maintaining. He's, 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 winning, he's winning games. Yeah, Jay Ware. Hey, Dylan. I haven't seen you in a while either. Yeah, Jay Ware from Nashville on the mic with Jason. Jason, Jackie's husband. Los Siavo. Los <laughs> Villavo. <laughs> Someday I'll learn how to spell my own name. That would be pretty cool. I would say from Florida, but you guys are, they're, you guys hit so many football games. I love following, yeah, following we, the dink life. We had <laughs> dink life. Was, we were on the go this year, man. We, like, ramped it up the last couple of years. It was funny. Yeah, Everyone's awesome. like. I think we've been doing this forever, but it's really just been a couple of years. We just kind of like, let's do it. Might as well. Man. Yeah. Might as well. We don't have to send any kids to college. No, I love there was a handful of guys that uh, Sam Meyer, BD, Neil, and family and friends were on vacation. Costa Rica, I think. Recently. Yeah, that looked fun. Should have went to that. And some nice shots See, here. See, Sobel, I've told him, like, some kind of destination, golden tea tournament, resort, or cruise. And he's like, well, if I'm at a resort or cruise, what am I doing golden tea Yeah, that's like, well, the thing. It's tough. Cause if, you, if you go there for that, I mean, I don't know. Pie in the sky. We can do. I think we're deuced for some hole outs here. These two guys are so good. I feel like we're going to be entering hole out city population two soon. 10-10, clean. I got uh, the privilege of casting um, Haas and McCook's first match earlier, and they went to, like, hole 13 or 14 in overtime. Right. Uh, good back and forth, you know, Battle of the Titans, Battle it, of the Stouts. 13, but. though, it's kind of annoying. Like, none of them are good enough to hole out before that. I mean, I thought this was, like, the top – echelon of golden tea and they're going to sit there and wait for 13 extras? I would say there was some spraying on yeah. some, some pedestrian looks but those guys are the pros yes international Good. waters Jay, can't wait to see you again yeah may we go to the Bermuda Triangle for the for a golden tea tournament on a cruise <laughs> yeah Dominican Republic I mean Work a deal with an all-inclusive resort. Say we got 50, 60 folks coming. We're going to ship some, some games. You got to feel like uh, a game costs like 50 cents in the DR, right? It, you don't have to pay the full $5. Yeah. It's cheap there to we play a game of Golden Tee. We might have to set up some VPN, <laughs> like, you know, <laughs> whichever. Elon Musk uh, satellite. Yeah, help, help internet, us with some internet. A couple, couple satellites. <laughs> oh, it would be a blast. Oh, CJ, not happy. Yeah, it's a little short. He wanted to get closer on that one for sure. Yeah. Who Gary we got? Machine. The other stream machine is McCook and Mike Arrington. Oh, that should be me. Oh. <laughs> I played Arrington. He, Arrington kicked me out. I wish I was on that side of the stream. Love the fools here. And, yeah, it's. Can you get up Yeah, the that's hill? what I do. Because I don't want to be way down the hill. So even if you trickle back down with hitting an A1, at least you're semi up there. You're getting your max distance. Like yeah, as far you're up getting, as you can get. You're giving yourself a, a better elevation. Because I feel like elevation is the big key to this. Oh, and it course. drops. Yeah, it drops yeah, it quickly. Yeah, way down. Gary Sheldon. Approach shot on hole 10. Oh, oh, call you grow. Oh, that's maybe that's no good. Some GT in the sky, some, some Chinese balloons tournament. <laughs> <laughs> it's one of the balloons now. What's up with that? I don't uh, know. I don't know what's going on. It's down. We took, by CJ. 
we let it fly across the United States, and then we took it down on the off the coast of uh, Carolina somewhere. Right. All good. All right. We're in good hands. All all stay. <laughs> I like Gary's intense look. Look at that. He's dialed. We only get half his face, but it's 100% intensity. <laughs> Shoes off, dialed in, calculating, crunching, execution. Give us a hole out, Gary. Thummies. Do the good work. Thummies with backspin. Rip. Bringing it back, baby. Oh, oh he brought it back old school. CJ saw what he did. He can adjust. He, CJ plays, and a lot of folks uh, do play the uh, super spin or plus spin irons. It makes sense to me if you understand the shot and the lie, what happens when it bounces, once it hits. Totally different shot. Just a little short there. You know, you, they're very, what I'm getting at is they're very maneuverable to play in those plus spin irons if you know how to harness that math and you know, take yeah. care of business. Yeah. You can do a lot. I'm, I still play hybrids, uh, five hybrid, seven hybrid, and then regular irons. But I've seen what some of these guys can do with the plus spin irons. Evan, world champion gossip. Welcome to the stream. The extreme stream. We just went extreme. 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 Extreme stream. Uh, 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 ultra stream. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we need that. <laughs> we need a soundboard. Where's, can we get, yeah, where's can we, Coleman? We Paul, can we get a soundboard going? <laughs> I need some drops. I need some drops, bro. I got some good ready. Oh, that would that would definitely make it oh, you ultra give me, stream. You give me a drop board, it, this, this goes next level. 500 mm -hmm. likes, Insta. I'm, uh, yeah, I'm on, uh. Fourth or you fifth. Out? Oh, I don't know. Todd Todd Boyer is like, he, he looked like, oh, nice shot. Oh, Gossett said he asked you about your cruise in New Jersey. <laughs> New Jersey cruise. No, in, in, uh, in Dallas, we were talking about a cruise, a Golden Tee cruise, and someone, I think it was Rachel, was like, you should go from Florida to Jersey, and I was <laughs> I was adamant that I wasn't going to take a cruise to Jersey. Uh, but, you know. Maybe I would. Who knows? To see all you guys, if you guys came, I would, I would, I would travel to Jersey to see all y'all. Wengler, uh, yeah, Wengler is legend. He's he's looking a little disheveled today, though, right? He's usually got the kicks, the shirts, the hats. He's wearing worlds. T he's probably wearing the world you're, shirt because he wanted worlds information. You're he's saying the drip is lacking a little bit. Man, I I know Wengler. <laughs> And that ain't Wengler, right? Oh, I, yeah. I'm actually kind of nervous for him because that ain't that ain't the Wengler I know. This is the Cags I know. Okay, I see what you're saying. I mean, I'm I'm a huge CJ fan. Oh, I love CJ. Don't get me love wrong. To, love to see him win. Love to see GVK win one. Hobo Wengler. <laughs> I mean, and again, CJ Hobo. <laughs> we're not we're not rooting against. It's, you can't root against. Oh, I'm not rooting. Anybody, no, 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 no. no. You know? I'm not rooting. I don't mean that. I'm just saying like <laughs> CJ's. Uh, style game today is, is is less than what I'm used to. When you set 100%. the bar so high, yes, and you bring it back down. Fair enough. You know you're. At this point, you could just put on a faded PP Pants City shirt, right? You don't need. If. <laughs> hey, you look good. You feel good. You shoot good, right? Or well. Yeah, exactly. I'm gonna come into Tux next time. I'll be looking spiffy. You know that is one I do enjoy when they do. Uh, uh, you know, show up in your your best cowboy hat or your best onesie or your sports jersey, like whatever yeah. that that con the, little side contest. Yeah, those those are fun. Well, and Brewer is big on the um, the t shirt. Taylor has always got a t shirt that's funny. Or yeah, something, you know? yeah. That was like when Adrian would come. He had uh, Wes. He always had like the the fun shirts. I guess I won't say what they are. This one. A little tricky, right? You got to get it up for the right six. I love hitting a full in here, honestly. This is like a seven bird. Well, now nah, with the look, this mountain's in the way. I'm not bad mouthing Jersey. Well, I guess I kind of am, but not the people. Like, I'm, I'm assuming you're related to Lauren Donald, and that's why you're on the stream, seeing what's going on. I love the Jersey crew that comes out. 
those those people are great, but you know, to take a cruise to Jersey just seems I don't know. There's got to be a better way. Yeah, GBK can play lights out when he wants to. GBK is due, right? I never pick him in the fantasy because he always lets me down. But I'm a horrible sports better, and I just, I just said don't, don't donate to the the pool with that fantasy stuff. Oh, Dustin throwing out the, the yeah. disses. Let me see what you're wearing. You got a golden t-shirt. You got jeans. Jean, you, got the dunks. You got some kicks on. Yeah, and, you do look like an and, eight-year-old. And this no, he's right. Oh, Dustin's, yeah. Dustin's uh, it's, it's, 100% correct. It's my style. Mismatch is my style. Colors and Evan, do that. you think GVK will ever win? That's that's the question. Like, I'm not saying this tournament, but at, at some point, do you think he will put together a full weekend? Because he can qualify like nobody's business. I've seen that. <laughs> this one looks gettable. Oh, yeah. Out to the left. Backspinning. Backspin. Dummies. Oh, come on. I feel like come on, Cags. Let's give us a, a Gino impression moment. I think these guys are just clean. We haven't seen yeah. any hole outs. Cags yet. on hole 17 trying to get one. Take like down CJ Wengler. I feel like it's going to be short. Dummies. And it's coming back too far. And it comes back, and he's just a little short. Just a bit outside. Tried the corner and missed. All right, CJ. He didn't even think about it. He's like, I know how to hold this out. Watch this. Rip plus spin. Oh, man. Mm. Hobo CJ, just a little off. <laughs> <laughs> no, I do love GBK. <laughs> I played a bunch of chess with GBK this weekend. That was fun. There are a handful of. I'm, I'm excited I'm playing. Ben Furlan, who yes. I know is a legit like 1900 player, the best, probably the best chess player in Golden Tee. I'm telling you, the chess boxing, right? They play, they time, they do boxing. Like we could work that in, play a couple holes of tea. Yeah, the chess I would love game. it. I would could love it. Fun. I know, I know my oh, impression. Oh up. no, he just. Oh, that's a huge mistake. Wow. He knows it. He hates it. So yeah, my CJ's Brandon. Pretending. Hey, Brandon. CJ's pretending like he didn't see. He's my 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 Gino is 100% Batman. CJ just going for the win here. No pressure now. I don't know that he knows that Cags missed. He it. did. He know he did exactly what he needed to do. It that's a tough way to take one down or to to lose, but a, a good win by CJ just playing solid golden tee the whole way and just waiting for his opportunity. Yeah, I mean both playing clean, both gave it a run, no hole outs, but that's how it goes. My See, Batman impression is suing my Gino impression for royalties. CJ moves on. All right. And then should we, we should switch over to the Arrington McCook match, see what we got going on here. Hopefully we got a good one. Someone's excited. You can't hear what I heard, but I heard something excited. Yep, right. sidelines, it's packed. Everybody's here. If you're not here, make it to the next one. Sidelines in St. Cloud, Florida. Pretty good weather other than uh, Friday. The other than the front. rain and the, it was really hot in February and then it yeah. was weird. And other than the weather being horrible, the weather has been pretty good this weekend. Well, yeah, and I'm in Nashville. It's, you know, to wear shorts this weekend in, in February is a treat. I yeah. wear shorts up in Sussex when it's like 20 <laughs> degrees out because we're inside all day. That's true. That's true. Get a little shot there. He I wanted it in. I didn't catch his score. They, I'm, I missed it too. I'm I'm a little too slow we'll, for we'll catch up. I don't belong on the stream. I need someone with a little more quickness. Like those thumbs, quickie thumbs. Oh, no! my goodness. He wanted it. He wanted I can't believe that didn't go in. Are you kidding me? McCook can't believe it didn't go in. I've never. That's the most expression you get out of McCook is that little head top. But he's up too, so it doesn't even during, really matter, well, right? During no? match play. But, yeah, he's up. Yeah, no, he's like just he's very stoic too. when he's playing. But he's he's up too. And Got a good look here. This one you can you can actually – do a nice attack. You can hit a full from the outside. You can cut in between the two trees. I think I like a. F I think so I you, like a you five. Can, you've got yourself a chance to to do something here. This one's almost a thumb. 
well, I don't know, Mike Thumb. Yeah, 105 is what I was thinking, Thummy. Little high side, Yeah, good, great good shot. shot at it. And he's got a putt from there if he wants to with that downhill. Well, we have 17 coming, but if you're down two, you know, he still wants to, he still 17 chasing. is exactly what you want when you're down two. You want something to be able to give you a, a, a shot to get back. Ooh. Ooh. Uh-oh. This will be interesting. He makes these. Hey, chush it? No chush. Yeah. Oh, easy. Clinical. All day. Clinical. These guys are good. <laughs> These guys are good, for sure. I have a better record at PGA PEGT tournaments against McCook than I do against Arrington. I'm one and zero against McCook and zero and one against Arrington. <laughs> I, I would take that. Go, stat. go figure. Evansville doesn't have a direct flight anywhere, does it? Even when it's a direct flight, somehow you probably have to stop somewhere for gas at Evansville. Yeah, I found out uh, Evansville is only a two-hour, two-and-a-half-hour drive uh, for us. We went up to the Bally's. We did some golf, charity golf tournament oh, with, nice. with them, Sobel and uh, Russ Layton. Kyrie to the Warriors, please. That would be cool. They need something. They have all this talent and no wins. I think I had this look earlier. <laughs> Look right, at this back smoothie. Spin, little bounce little down. Little smoothie thummies. And stop. Like he has no cares in the world. Perfect. Like he's not down two. That's crazy. That's crazy. going to try to do the same thing. Just get he it. He just wants to put this in. Yeah. Get it down the tier. Oh, and he's going to be uh -oh. stuck up maybe. Nope, nope it goes down. Love it. All right. Let's see what we got here. Yep. Back pin, which I haven't seen all weekend. I did have this look. I've, I let's see if we can get some magic here. This is great. This is a great look. Well, this is fantastic. Oh, my God. This is so good. You kidding me? You can go mid-tier with, like, some release or roll and have it roll down. You can hit it up on that top side and trickle it back. There's, there's action to be had here. Look at this. On the top side. Oh yeah, I, shot. I, similar shot for me. I went off the back wall and then just kind of I was playing it to uh, stop on the tier and have an easy uphill putt. Looks like that's what he's going for. Yeah, it just kind of yeah. nestles up right easy. there. Well, that, that little tier though, when it starts bouncing off of it, gets weird. Like you can just keep going. Oh, and turbo. Well, yeah, yeah, the 20 bounce flies off or something. Like, come on. Oh, Mike, he's got to go for it. Here. Oh, you don't. You need the hole out. You don't go for the sixty dollars. Oh, good point. Oh my goodness. Go for broke, Mike. Now he's thinking about, oh, I should have I should have gotten the hole in one money. Good look here. He's calculating. You can attack this. He's it's water. Numbers. It's inner water, right? Yeah, I mean, you I have mean, you're, to. You're going. You have to go for it. A little long. He's thing. gone. That's see ya. Yep. I do that long. all the time. That's my killer move. Thanks, Dave. I, I just called it out. Appreciate you calling that out on stream. But Cook's going to do the easier. No way. He, oh, he <laughs> oh, my goodness. Oh, right. lay up McCook. I am going to give wow. him. Wow. I'm going to chirp him for that one. Oh, I am a little sick to my stomach. Was oh. it something I ate? No, it's McCook's layup <laughs> game. Laying up on 18. <laughs> oh, I thought he was a true champ. No wonder why I'm 1-0 against him. With his mediocre layup game. That's funny. <laughs> That's really funny. He's like, I mean, what is he? He's 26, 28. He would have been clean. He's like, screw the win in the contest money. I'm still laying up. All right. McCook takes him down. McLayup. <laughs> McLayup <laughs> with the win by two, by one. No, by two, I guess, because he went in the water. I didn't yep. see what the final score was. Uh, he was probably checking. He said he uh, was going to win the contest. Ryan Another McLeod. great match. Uh, that was a loser's bracket match. So McCook moves on. Yeah, Mike loser's bracket people lay up. Winner's bracket people go for the hole, right? Hmm. <laughs> 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 
All righty. Little spinny action here. Got a fresh match for y'all. We're going match to match, no delay. Nihon will be the course here. Beatty's main bracket. Yeah, he finished. He had 134. Be Beatty was born main bracket. He's got, he's got a main bracket tattoo on his left cheek. It just says main bracket all every tournament. Do you know who Beatty's playing? I don't. Um, uh, God, I'm, 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 I'm at a loss right now. I know who he is, and I'm just. Let's check. Haynes. Haynes? Yep. Yep. That's Haynes. it for sure. Oh yeah. It's got to oh. be. So on the winner's side, I'm looking at the bracket here. We've got Andy Haas and Clint Grover on the winner's side of gold. Oh, look at the Golden Tee points winner right now. The, the month record for Golden Tee points. That guy is good. GVK and Taylor are still on the winner's side. Luna and Brewer. And then Jade and Squeaky Bob. Those are the last eight that have not lost in main bracket yet. Next level, Nick. All righty, this is a get it close, chush it in, right? I'm assuming. Maybe not with the wind. 474. We'll see. see there's it's at least get it close. Maybe an eight wood. I would like maybe eight wood chip it or something. Yeah, I don't know the longer distance. I mean, some folks are doing chushes at like 90 yards or something. When I've tried it on this one, when I'm a little further out, uh, I don't have the carry in the air, right? And I just haven't haven't messed with it enough, right? That's a that's a good good spot to be in right there. Then. Eighty nine, yeah. I I do like a little maybe like a five wood chippy or something. But he's gonna he's gonna chush it. Now he's gonna just dummy is it? Okay. Nice little shot there. And this is another no comment, John. You you don't you don't worry about it. You don't worry how I know. You don't need to know how I know about what's going on. You're saying you know that John knows that you know? He, he thinks he knows that I think I know. Oh, good try. Hopefully we don't have any layups this game, right? That would be, if we had two games in a row of layups, that would be <laughs> so sad. Fitz, I told Fitz I would let him jump in. He's kind of, he looks like he might be hawking for it. He's, he's looking for action. You want on? Yeah. Ooh. All right. All right. Thank you. Jay. Loved it, brother. Well, um, I'll see you later. We'll play oh, some yeah. chess. I'm not. I got nothing to do but hang out. All right. Until my Good flight deal. tomorrow. Thank you, guys. It's been a pleasure. All right. We're, we're over 300. We're over 300 viewers on YouTube alone now. All right. I'm Audi. We've got. Here comes Fitz. Jay subbing out. We got Adam, Fitzgerald coming in. Very exciting. This is a this is a good duo here. Not to toot our own horns, but. Well, hello. Fitz. I am it's here. good to have you back on here. You see, got, I think I might have scammed this out of Eddie G. I think he may be mad at me. I'm not going to look over there. Well, he looks angry. Does he? Oh, my goodness. Yeah, don't look over. Okay, I'll look he's this way. He's staring straight at you. No, he's not. <laughs> <laughs> oh, what's up, man? Fitz. Yeah, how we doing? We're good. We, uh. Oh, what, what? the f what? fudge just happened there? Oh, my goodness. That at the bunker. I don't. I no. wish I knew the cheat codes for whatever he just did. hit the did. bunker and just popped up there. Yeah, that we don't have 300 likes yet. I don't understand what just happened. And he saves it. Wow. And he saves it after the weird shot. So you're saying we need to tell everybody to like and subscribe this thing? So I told everyone. Okay. Ooh. So we. Nice. I was saying how I was grilling Kevin Lindsay about world's information. Oh, yeah. And I, I wore him down and I got some info. What was the info? But I'm not sharing it unless we get 300 likes. I got you. Did y'all see that last? That was weird. Yeah, what was that? Paul Luna chiming in here. Trying to, it hit the sand and popped up. It was a glitch. Glitch? That was crazy. It hit the sand and popped up. Yeah. Total scam. Yeah, Luna's over here talking Luna's about Luna's like, what the heck the just happened? Sand there? scam. 
I thought I just hopped on in the craziest time ever right there. That was weird. Wow, BD scam all the way. So 300 likes, huh? Yeah, and I would, I'll divulge some of the information. I grinded it out of him. I mean, I mean, does he know at this point? Obviously, he must, right? He's, he's got uh, some information that he he accidentally told me about. Was he drinking? No, I'm just a very good interrogator. I got you. Yeah, no, I Did said 300 likes, him? Josh. I said 300. Don't oh. don't you dare! I'll make it 307 if you keep up that ridiculousness. How many likes do we have? There's a YouTube pull up right now to see. If, if you we believe get, that we can get to 300 likes. That's a lot. Can we get 300 likes that say we can get 300? I'll 300 bet. guesses to say we get 300 likes. I'll bet if they hear that Jason and Adam are on the stream, we can probably get to 300 oh, likes. We can, we, can get, we can ramp this up. Yeah. If any luck, we can get CJ on, and we can really blow this thing up. Andy Haas and Clint Grover are about to tee off. Oh, on a stream or on undefeated? A... I believe they are on the stream. Oh, okay. Well, this is a good match, but we might have to. Maybe we go quad, quad no. screen or. No, we can't do quad. There's no quad matches. What are you talking about? We get no. Uh... There it is. See. No, hey. that's no. All we're getting is Clint's face. Well, that's a nice face. It is a beautiful face. There's like Wisconsin people all over. Oh, all right, man. we got Champ ninety nine. <laughs> There's Wisconsin people all over. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, yeah. So this is uh, a 2-0 match here. Both both guys are 2-0. Clint just throws it in the trees, hope for the best. That's probably what I would do. <laughs> okay, fair enough, fair Let's enough. Let's see what, if Andy Haas has the magic today. Andy's always got the magic with and those he's putting thumbers. It, he's putting it close. This could be a good one. Clint's oh, still not playing stouts, right? He's nope. A, he's a Titan man. He's tighten up. Yeah, he said he was going to quit Golden Tee before he played Stouts. Oh, wow. Throwing now, down the gauntlet. he had a little moment this weekend where I think he was feeling like, hey, I'm a little behind here, guys. And then I had to remind him that he was Clint freaking Grover. Clint Grover. Yep. Get, and, get, get, yeah. no. and then he remembered, hey, I'm Clint freaking Grover, and, and now he's okay again. Yeah, he's got, so. he's got the Clint look. Yep. So those of you that don't know. If Clint played the Stouts, guy can ball. he'd probably be Haas 2.0, right? Oh, look at this. He is oh. so good. With Stouts, and he would have made that. Oh, God. I don't even, That one just went right in on the fly. Altered that thing. Look at this shot. Oh. They're throwing bullets. Those of you that don't know, Andy Haas is pretty good at this game. Yeah, change, change to putter. I think putter. this is his first tournament. It looks like he's very nervous, like he yeah. doesn't know what he's doing. Paul Taylor's oversized brown shirt. Hmm. I don't. Taylor is the most interesting dressed person in every tournament <coughs> we have. It's more like every other tournament. <coughs> yeah. Every He's, other tournament. He showed up in Wisconsin a couple of years ago in like a full, I don't even know, like orange, brown, ugliest getup I've ever seen. That in my was awesome. Life. The suit, like. And he talked like four people on Thursday into playing money games. And nobody knew who he was. He was just scamming them. It was ridiculous. He couldn't even tell who he was. Uh, no purple Adam rolling through the bracket. No, Adam run into some buzz saws today. It and happens. Four points. Are they playing one to five? Probably. Probably. Andy Haas always playing one to five, even if no one else is. Yeah, he's playing with himself, probably. Well. He's got an account going, you know. How much did I lose to myself today? Right. A little ticker. Mm-hmm. For sure. How'd you do today? 0-2 oh, in the main. I was 0 2 as well. Yeah. They were not the main. I did play some main bracket quality players, though. Yeah, the purple bracket was fierce, which I'm assuming you were in. I was. Okay. Yeah, the, the purple bracket's I, uh, no joke anymore. I had the unfortunate. Look at, oh, um, you put the roll on. I thought he had release. I thought that looked like a release shot. I had the unfortunate uh, situation of drawing Andy Fox in the first round of the purple bracket. Who? Yeah. Oh. Yeah. Clint Andy Fox. Tighten up Grover with the shotties. Yeah, so uh, I was one better on Easter going to 18 against Andy, beating right. him by one. Right, and I missed right. a putt on 18 for the win. Okay. Big putt, long putt. Right. He knocked his big long putt in, and then he proceeded to beat me on all seven of extras in the purple bracket. That's the kind of match we had, 29-29. Wow, okay. Yeah. You know, when you're, you're competing with someone at that caliber, though, you can't get, like, too upset. Like, yeah, you wanted it, but you put up a good fight. I played great. So... 
he uh, asked me like whole five or six in extras if I was ever going to miss a shot. I said, probably not. <laughs> and then I did. <laughs> <laughs> oh, well. Andy actually slaps himself when he doesn't get points. I don't know about that. Maybe in his mind he slaps himself. Brian B. with tighten up. I expected nothing less, sir. Nice of him to chime in. Chime in. Yeah, if he's not going to show, he at least get on the stream. Yeah. Don't bother coming to tournaments because you can't play Titans. <laughs> Clint's the only one that mans up. Mm, All right, this me. is this is very horrible. Regardless on, of ball type. Ooh. All right, I'm gonna I'm gonna say Andy gets this one, right? I mean, this is this is an Andy Haas shot. Little I'm, little back I'm box. I'm calling it right now. here. He's gonna place it perfectly. <laughs> He's going to use his two thumbs. And he's going to throw them forward. And he's going to put his ball and in the it. cup. Called it, ladies and gentlemen. Unbelievable. What, what is up with you? Booyah. Who gets that? Straight cash, homie. Straight, Straight cash. Straight cash, homie. Gosh. Andy Fox. You give him gentlemen. 100 shots of that, he's making at least 99 of them. <laughs> I mean, that's that's auto all day. Andy if Haas we, Auto. If we gave Jason 100 shots of those, he'd make at least one of them. I would get I, I, six. Six, six okay. out of 100. And right. and four out of bounds. <laughs> <laughs> four would go deep in the bunker or something. <laughs> yeah. Wow. Corey, come on. Oh. Oh, right back at him. Let's go, Clint Grover. And Woo. Andy Smirk. No. Look at him. Look at Mark in the background. Be easy. Gomez is like, look at that. Start it up. Chainsaw. Pound Town, baby. Oh, Jason Stark, little call out there. He probably doesn't watch Golden Tee anymore. He's so mad at the world. He doesn't even Come on, play Andy. Golden right back at him. Let's go. Oh. Let's have a match. He's, Andy's flustered now. Look at that. You think so? <laughs> Look at that flustered Andy. He's like, well, in my 168,747 games, I've never had that happen before. What's up, Bryce? You'll be in Sussex, right? This is, oh, yeah, for He's sure. He's got a. This is not the final. Match or beat his last year epic run. That's hard to do. It is hard to do because he'll I'll, be in the main. He won't be able to get another purple. On, on the bright stadium. side, we called that. Though. Oh, it's so, yeah. Jason's like, I'm not mad at the world. Apparently, Jason is watching. Jason Stark, welcome to the stream. Have you liked it? I hope so, Jason. I was just kidding, but you know that. Oh, Almost disaster this, this guy is good. to a six-foot putt. Chris Knight, there's a hey, blast Chris. from the past. Hey, Chris. Yeah. Hope you and your family are doing well. Yeah, Brittany. kids are great. Watch yeah. you on Facebook. Kind of fun. Going to beat it by winning Maine. Well, that's a, that's a step, Bryce. That well, would, that's uh, a huge step. That would definitely beat it. You better I'm, – I'm not saying you can't do it, Bryce, but the you better is. check yourself before you wreck yourself. <laughs> the kid's got some game. He can, he's he can got, make Maine and he can win some games. He's got the, the shit talk game too. He finished uh, – Third in qualifying in our little painter. Uh oh, oh man! Oh, oh, look at that! I thought he was in the sand for a second. Jeez, the Titans got that's, me there. That's the, the sand. The sand scam is all over oh. the place. <laughs> These guys are throwing darts here. Let's go. What's the cheat code for the sand scam? I don't, he missed the sand. That was not the sand scam. But holy cow! Wow! All he had there was a little Titan wind. Clint is even surprised himself. <laughs> Gloves are off. We are shooting darts here, guys. They're feeling good now. Like, when you get into that mode, like, where things are, are happening, mm -hmm. it doesn't even matter what your opponent's doing. You're ready to throw. Clinch just you're like, hey, throw down. Clinch just glad he's not playing Hollywood. That's all that's matter here. Him and them Titans in Hollywood. He's not a big fan. And he's setting up for the win. I like that. Yeah. Clinch's like, I'm playing win on every hole. He's like, what's yeah, I've got wind. It's no big deal. Little, little palm action. All right, all right. Not bad. Clint Let's doesn't thumb, in case you guys don't know. This He's has got a chance here. Not a thumb. This one's got a chance. All right, I didn't finish my. Nope, never I mind. didn't finish my Bryce story. He finished third in qualifying at the Painter Gym Shootout, which was not handicapped in qualifying. So he was second to only the mouth and. Oh, man, I'm going to miss it. Can, maybe, maybe it was. He was second behind two people? Third. What? He was third to the mouth. I think maybe Gomez. I don't know. But he was right there. It was straight up. Awesome. He was actually our, our leader after two old courses of quality. Oh, okay. So Very nice. The guy can play. The kid can play. The kid can play. He's the prodigy. He is. We talked about it last year. He made us look good on Andy the street. Andy Haas, thumbs. Uh, it's going to be a little short, though. 
Yeah. One's got a little bit of a putt here. Yeah, a super hard, easy putt. Well, you know, these guys you don't know, putt from a long distance that's a lot. True. That's true. They're always just lights out. That's yeah. a good point. <laughs> Clint Taylor. just Al just says Bryce learned from Gomez. We need to be realistic about his chances. <laughs> How's Bryce's towel game is the big question. When's the last time you beat Gomez, Al Jess? Oh. God. Ooh. Ooh. Oh. Ooh. Maybe if you were here, you could beat him. Apply ointment to the burn. Mm-hmm. <laughs> uh, Al knows I love him. He's one of my favorite people. So Kins, Kins is saying he's trying to go to Sussex, which would be awesome. What do you think he would go for in the Calcutta in today's world? Kins, I would say if there was this tournament with the numbers we put in this tournament, I would say Kins would be about a $260 guy. Yeah, I was thinking about two bills. That's just my yeah thought. Yeah, for sure. He's better than most still. Still. Trust me, I've seen him play. He can still he, play. He has shots from 10 years ago still holding out right now. Like, yeah, they're going in at this moment. He's got so many shots backed up. I would imagine. He's, his YouTube probably never catches up. Kins, I would take you for $10 all day. <laughs> $10. And I would tell people I got you for 100 and allow people to buy 50% of you. <laughs> There for, is zero chance Kins is going to go for $10. Oh, Kins, they oh, bid 100 on worthless players like me. You're not going for 10 Little rough dummies. Uh-oh. Oh. We're still tied here, folks. Yeah. One better. One better, yeah. Ah, uh, yeah. Right? No one yeah. does anything. So one better. One better. A couple of one betters. It's a nice little win here. Might have a chance to attack a hole, maybe. Let's see. A little bit of a crosser. Yeah. See where the pin is. Nobody's looked. Oh, that's not bad. How was your day today? Oh, you yeah, 0-2, you said. Ah, oh, man. I'm sorry. No, don't be sorry. I'm happy I was. I, I qualified well. You did. 15th, even with some stuff that uh, was unfortunate. I just remembered that I had you in the Calcutta, though. Yeah, you had mm -hmm. half of me. Well, half. Yeah, well, so I had half of I me. I can't afford all of you. I had half of me, <laughs> but I would I'd gladly give it back for I, half of Kins and Sussex. I would gladly sell you the other half if you, <laughs> <if> you want. <laughs> well, I might have that guy in the blue shirt. So let's. I don't. I'm not saying I'm rooting for Clint here, but you know, you're you're rooting for Clint. <laughs> God, yeah. Not even close. Oh, here we go. This is one it. better. Going to sixteen on. This is going to be sixteen on this. And he is first. He's got to make the decision. He's he's going for this. Is a good yeah, look with the wind. Some sort of full here, right? No, it's just a little cutter with the wind. He's just like hold, a full. He'll hold it out there. No, no, no. Get up there. Ooh. He hit a full. Oh no, 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 no. Oh no. Oh no. Scam by the IT scam. Is somehow Andy going to go left or right? Somehow he still can't chip nope, on the green. He's not. If Andy went left or right, that would have been epic. So he has a choice. He could lay up here if he wanted, if he's any unconfident at all. But I, it's Andy Haas, man. I just don't see a layup. There's I, no reason he to. He might try to put it in the bunker and just take the cheek. No, he's, he's just going to hit it perfectly. There. That's all. Or he might just do that. He's going to hit just a, a little full. shot. Well, Clint's got no magic to pull out here. This is not a. This is just, it makes me sad. This because is not a shot. Such a can, great, it was a great match. Yep. Now we need 18 magic. I guess it's not over. No, there's 17's aceable, right? Sometimes. Let's see what it is. But 18 can get scored. 18, away. yeah. With the with the Titans, 18 could be there for Clint. Yeah. Not, okay. Not so Andy. this isn't over. No. There's, there's I, my voice sounded like it was over, but it's not over. No. There's, well, I mean. I'd like to apologize to everyone when I sounded like it was over. Well, it's it's, it's not, not over. It's always not over. Let's go, Clint. You can make this little wind help in here. A little high tea sandwich, maybe. Sandwich. Yeah, a little high tea, maybe a little bite. No, he's going to go naked. I think the bite was a shot. Yeah, I need a, need a little something to bring it back. What do I know? He's way better than I am. <laughs> All right. All right, we're going to have to see what 18 looks like. Let's hope for uh, some fireworks here. Maybe we can get a what we got? Titan set up wind helping. Ooh, maybe. This is makeable for both. Put well, <coughs> it's close. This so Andy's got a big choice to make, right? He's first. He can try to get it out there. I think he wants to at up. least have a chip. He just hit in the bunker. Yeah, he just wants the chip down. He's got a good wind. This is very makeable for Andy. 
So Clint's probably, gonna looking, put at, it, probably yeah. looking at like a bite shot here to try to keep it on the green. He's going to go for this, I guarantee it. Well, with these cheater balls, That's getting all saying. that Maybe extra wind, back he almost can just like thummy a, an eight wood or something, <laughs> right? It'll go 416. He did, he did use the backspin, which I figured he would. He's got to get it far enough right. He did not get it far enough right. Yeah, it didn't go over. A little chipping game, though. He's got a chance at that. Yeah, might be able to tie it up. But Andy here now for the, the mm. win. A, a chip in here is Yeah, this is actually win. a better, easier chip for yeah. the win on this match right here. No! Oh! just missed. All right, he's thinking, well. All right. Clint's like, Clint's I got, got a chance. Oh, that is not, not a great chip, but. But it's a chance. Might as well go after it. It's a chance. Throw it hard and see what happens. Don't even think about it. Yeah. You play your shot. Water's out of play. Uh, you're, think, you're thinking about it. No. Yeah, we don't care if you go in the water. Just just put it in the cup. One time. No roll, yeah. no release. I might yeah, release send this. Send it home. Just go your home. Oh, he's click chipping. He's click chipping. Oh! oh! And that's going to do it. Yeah, I'm smile. God. Are you, are you kidding me? Good game. Good game. Got bit by the old uh, can't chip from the green. Scam. Oh, well. Man, All right, Andy Haas moves good. on. Clint Grover's not done yet. He'll go down to loser's bracket, try to work his way back up. And, and we can switch over back to the BD match, see what we got going over I there. I can't believe that match is over. BD's at the machine. Is he? Well, Taylor's at a machine. Oh. Well, this has got to be extras, no? I, I have no idea. We were on this match when we saw I have 14? no idea what's happening here. Maybe they went for a bathroom break? <laughs> we'll see if the they score. They took a six-hole bathroom break, if ladies it, and gentlemen. If they are tied, we could assume yeah, that they're an extras. extras. Oh, that was a good match. It's got to be extras, right? They were playing before we switched, so, yeah, we're, we got to be an extras here. Yeah, they are pretty quick, but those two guys play quick. So not this. Quick. No, this is too, so they're still oh, playing. Yeah, this is. You don't even. You don't. What even happened? You don't they even must know have what, took a nap. And you don't even know what you're talking shit. about. Don't bring that extra innings. All right, garbage. Well, somebody had a two-stroke lead. BD has a two-stroke lead here. Yeah, and a nice little look here. That isn't. Oh, that wasn't a great job, but that's a. I've got a two-stroke lead. I'm gonna <laughs> just put it on the green look. Yeah, fair enough. He took the building entirely out of play with that shot. Yeah. I don't know this is why the, the building's not in the way, but the, the building he, he definitely took it out of play. Out of it. Yeah, I don't know what he was doing. He followed him over. Oh, I think you're gonna look closer, but maybe yeah. he just has like a, a really strong one thumb. Yeah. No, he doesn't. Thumbs, still, so. Billy Speedy's still laughing. He's like, ah, that building was scary. It wasn't in the way, but it was scary. And a bat. Ooh, I thought that was gonna <laughs> miss that. I have played Golden Tee with BD. Have you ever seen BD shoot zero GSPs, even through 14? No. He That's weird, shot right? a lot. Yeah. He's a heck of a heck of a player. Next level, Nick. 48,000 GSPs to just crush BD's hopes and dreams. All right, where are we going here? We're going to find ourselves a little patch. I would go to the rough on the left here. No, maybe That's not. A good maybe spot. short left here. This might not be terrible. I would hit a... Nine and a half, bite. Okay, let's hit a high T forward and see what happens. He's I not. like it. I like it. I love it. Beautiful. Look at that guy. He's played this game before. It's a beaut, Clark. That bunny head is frightening. I don't, I'm not a fan. I couldn't play with it because it would get in the way for putting. Yeah, I used to like the uh, dinosaur yeah, because I'm a big dinosaur fan. Yeah, but it was just in the way, and it wasn't that it bothered me, but people wouldn't tap in my putts because they oh, couldn't right. see it. And I'm like, I'm all right. I'll just. <laughs> so you don't look at the screen when you putt? No, I do. So that everything that's big is in my way. That's uh, gonna be in the sand. Yeah, and and not only in the sand, but on in the un upper sand. Mega ball. So yep. BD has a chance to go up by three. Yeah, with two to go. Unless he does something ridiculous here, he's gonna gain a stroke. Pretty and, good look here. And that's that's not good because 17 I is, I is always to get pretty this, easy. Yeah, Steve's going to get this pretty close. Yeah. 17's easy. 18, if he's got three strokes, there's no way he can no, lose that. You could lay up. Yeah. Nothing. Yeah, just like McCook. You weren't here for the no, McCook layup. He laid up on an 18? 
on uh, 18. And I'm breathing heavy today. Can eight, you hear me breathing? Yeah, 18 Hollywood. I'm stuffed up from this. I know. Weekend. I woke up this morning, and this Florida weather's got me. I had to take two allergy meds already yeah. today. Yeah, I have. Uh, we were out golfing, so I had to do the nasal spray, but it still it still got me. <laughs> we're sniffing because of allergies. I, I came from minus eight degrees with zero allergies. I come here and I'm dying. <laughs> Sorry, guys. Sorry about that. You get what you get, you know. Good putt. That you, was a good putt. You get what you get. Just be happy you got us, you know. Yeah, I mean, we could have had Jay Ware on here. Actually, I don't. Jay, I love Jay. Jay. How did Jay? Jay do good? Yeah, Jay was good. Jay's awesome. I like Jay. I love Jay. I like all the guys that pop in here. Um, I haven't been with uh, oh, Jade McGillum yet, but he said he did his first time yesterday. And now he's hooked. <laughs> I believe that. He yeah. likes to talk. Yeah. This is a perfect venue if you like to talk. He goes, you got to get me on there today. you got to get me on there today. I'm like, well, I'm, I'm, it's not my job, bro. <laughs> you know, yeah, you just come do. up here. If it's empty, you jump on. If it's not right. empty, you just stare people down until they get yeah. nervous and leave. And then giving, you, I was giving Jay the stare. I'm like, come on, Jay. Come on. No, they're not kidding. believing us that we have allergies. <laughs> I, I knew this was going to happen. Uh, no, it's all good. It's allergies. It is allergies. What else would it be? They think we're sniffing something else. Yeah, they yeah. think we're. They are wrong. Good shot there. Unfortunately, it's not going to help. In but. Florida. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Florida man. Yeah. Neither no, we like the bath salts down here. Neither. <laughs> of, neither of those are the uh, concerns. All moment. right, three strokes coming in eighteen. Nihon. I mean, this is <sighs> this is easy. Oh, easy me. money, right? Jeez. You just put it up there. You're not laying up, but you're not attacking no, you the hole. Get it high of the pin, somewhere above the Yeah, just the pin kick there. it up and maybe like a little bite with that wind just to kind of stop a, it. You could play a zero risk full here if you wanted. There's a lot of options here. Have you gone from right to left? Have I you have. Tried? Yeah. Not with this look, I don't think. No, no, not yeah, with this look, but it's there. Yeah, there's some backer right boxes that you can do it pretty easily. At least get close. Not this one, though. This is, uh, I don't know. We need, I don't know uh, why he's still thinking. Hopefully we got a new match start. Maybe, maybe it's GBK, I think, is coming yeah. up. On, a Taylor maybe, GBK? Maybe Steve's just thinking maybe I should just lay up here, which he probably should. I mean, what, what's it going to hurt, you know? But but if you've really, never laid up before. And just, yeah, I, you're I better just, off, aren't you yeah. better off being in the sand yeah, or just something where you, where you normally yeah, when that's you mess what he, up? And that's what he did. He you just know what I mean? Decided, like, at least yeah. you've been there before, right? We've all screwed yeah. up and been in that little area. He just he changed his mindset there. and He's like, I'm just going to get it up there somewhere close. and yeah. Take my medicine. I can two putt my way or two chip my way to victory from there, whatever the case may be. GVK and who did you say? Uh, Taylor, I believe. Oh, nice. That's a good match. That is a good match. Taylor beat. Uh, oh, the old the ooh, old yawn on gosh, stream action. Gosh, I'm sorry, man. I'm tired today. I, I'm so boring. I'm I'm losing my. Taylor Taylor beat Gomez. And, <laughs> sorry. Taylor beat Gomez in extras on like hole 16. Mark almost holed out like seven times. It was unbelievable the amount of pins they shot. And Taylor hung on. Mark missed a chip on 16 or something like that. 16 or 15. I can't remember. Yep. And you know, it's interesting uh, now that the matches are so close. There's so many that go into extras. I almost wish it would be like nine hole playoffs or something where you can come back i mean the, the excitement yeah. of the hole out is, it is great yeah, you can't but when you like miss something death. stupid it, it kind of sucks that you can't yep. you can't get it back yeah i need a blue bomb i don't know what a blue bomb is but can we find a blue bomb kevin Lindsay should probably buy us some drinks kevin Lindsay should absolutely buy us some drinks maybe i'll text him you think he'll answer he will he'll look at his phone IT he'll always, see it's I'll, you IT always he'll make answers, a face right? and he'll put it back in his pocket Bet you ten dollars. All right, I'm gonna try it. Oh, he's walking away though, so we won't be able to see. Would have been better if he was close enough where I could have seen. Yeah. All right, we're gonna move on to GBK right. versus Paul Taylor. Text him or Facebook. On I Petra, know. we're starting off on two. They must have already played hole one if they're on two already. And I'm gonna assume that it's an even game. <laughs> Taylor has his own character of himself on his shirt, which I love. <laughs> All right, well, <laughs> I'm texting Kevin Lindsay looking for a bomb. We'll worry about the rest right. of this process later. All right, here we go. Not to break down the curtain, but Andy, are you sure you 
with him yawning and on the phone, do you want him making reactions? No, I'm good now. I'm good. <laughs> phone is down. Oh, it's in the shoot? Oh. Nice. We're talking we're talking to the men behind the magic. The men right now. behind the scene. So when I couldn't get on the streamer, I told Andy he could just give me that spot. I could just run this show. Right. It looks very easy. He, he turned me down. <laughs> <laughs> Seen on T. <laughs> So we're getting challenged. Uh, I might have a chance of getting close. I bet you I could make something happen. I could, I could get us streaming. We're yeah. being told that we we can't yeah. do they, it. Andy says I can't get this going from packed up, and he's probably right. Don't get me wrong, but I could. It wouldn't be pretty, but I think we could get. I something could throw going. some stuff together. If we would probably come up with a new way to do it. I would simplify the. Out of this they thing. would be like, I know I how to work even, this. I didn't even There's know. There's got to be an audio mixer somewhere. Like. I can work that, and I would have got this down. Well, <laughs> I have never touched it, but I know how to work it. All right, we got to stop talking to Andy because no one else can hear that he's sorry, talking. guys. We're, Andy's we're talking to the man in the head. Here comes Kevin. I wonder did if you, you got text, text. Yeah, yes. I did. Did you nope. look at your phone recently? <laughs> <laughs> I told you. All right, let's. Oh, walk. now he's. Let's, now he's checking it out. He came over here without looking at his phone. That makes mm. This is. He suspense. doesn't even know. He doesn't suspense. know his own code. Do, 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 well, do, do, he says, "You can't ignore us. We will not be ignored." Kevin can't even work his phone, so I know he can't put this equipment together and run a stream without <laughs> these guys. That's oh gosh, for no. Sure. No, I have a way better chance of getting this going than Kevin does. Kevin can't even lift the. The boxes to get him in the car. <laughs> <laughs> Kevin couldn't get him on an airplane. He'd be like, "How do I get this stuff on the airplane?" Do you have the Super Two here? I do. This? You? I'm still hitting my Three Bird because it's like a normal club. Super Two is money. I I know it's money, but I love using my Three Bird, and I don't want to give it up just for this one shot where I could still Fair get enough. my Three and Bird. And I'll tell you there. the reason that I don't care about that is because I don't normally carry a Three Bird. Three so. Bird is a gold club, baby. Yeah, so gold club. Not an issue for me. You know what I mean? It it should be a priority club in your bag. I like the nine nine wood. I'm a fan of the broken nine wood. If if you guys like the three bird, come and make a comment. Look at this oh. guy. Woo. Taylor. Do you guys, not on this hole, but in general, how do you feel about the three bird? <laughs> three hybrid. Tell me that you love it. The two iron super spin. I'm, a, I'm, in, that, I'm in that group. So here we are. What is this? a 3-0 and o match, I believe. It is a 3-0 and o match. 3-0 and o versus 3-0. and o. It's got to be to go to the king of the hill match, I would believe. And, uh, no, I think it is. I think the winner goes to the King of the Hill match. I could be wrong. If only there was. If only there was a way we could an, find this out. An internet thing. Uh, I'm just going to stick with my guns and say the winner goes to the King of the Hill match. And am I right? I'm not getting any positive reinforcement. I mean, right or wrong. It's fine. Anyway, 2023 Florida Open. Jason Los. Winner goes to the Oh, there it is. Oh, Paul Taylor with the dunker. The one Taylor hopper. down Look low. Look at him. He's so excited. All I can see is his shirt. That's amazing. His hat doesn't match his shirt. He failed on that. Minnesota guy's back. A little me one up. hopper. That was nice. What's that? Minnesota guy's backing me up on the three bird. I appreciate it. Yeah, Ken's, Ken's had my back, but it's all good. This might get me kicked off the official PEGT Golden Tee stream. Why? That but, is not. But there are other tournaments there. out there that people should do. Smaller tournaments. There tournaments are a lot out of them. west. Biddy's tournament. Biddy's birthday tournament. I is wanted coming to out go. Man, the flights on were great February twenty fifth. Out in Linwood, Washington, twenty minutes north of Seattle. Yep. Flights into Seattle are cheap too. You should check it out. Yeah, it actually wasn't bad. So, Are you going? Uh, I, I can't make it, but I love Biddy. I, I one of these days I would go. love to make it out there. So if you guys are out in that area or got nothing to do the weekend of February 25th, come check out the, the Biddy birthday the bash. Biddy Open or Biddy, yeah. Biddy something. I think Biddy Open. I don't remember. I haven't seen Pete in a, oh my God, in a while. Excuse but me. But getting back to PGT, we've got another one coming up very quickly. We do. The what? Sussex Wisconsin Open. The Oh, my gosh. I'm going to mess this up. The weekend 15th. of March 9th through the 12th. It's at least the 15th annual, but it's not 15 on the PGT. It's about 
six, but it's the 15th annual or 16th annual Wisconsin Open. Just so you know. Wow, that it's, it's the like longest sweet, running tournament. Sweet 16. It's the longest running tournament other than that. This more than this one actually. One more year than the Florida Open. That's exciting, it and is. I'm going to be there. You are going to be there. You're always. And you're going to be there. And oh, you know what? It's always I there. Will definitely are be there. Pre-made buckets of bush latte, iced up and ready to go for about what, like seven bucks? Or oh, something. it's like legit. The coolest way yeah. to get a bucket of beers is at big the, boys too. Tall boys. The tall boys, full bucket, ready to go, on ice. I'll tell you what. This this that's place the coolest here, part of Sussex. Is that this place here has got it down? They do a great they job. They do a great job here. But if the Sussex, they do it with like four employees. You never have to wait for anything. The tables are. It's unbelievable. They got it figured out, man. It's it's unbelievable. They're great, and they've. They've done electrical work so that you could plug in all the machines. I mean, it's <laughs> oh, really it's unbelievable. cool the, what they've yeah, done. The My favorite part of it, and I don't get why every tournament doesn't do this, and they can throw me under the bus, whatever they want, but how expensive can it possibly be for a little buzzer that gives you and tells you when your food is done? And just can't. It's a golden teacher when people are all over the place. You give you the buzzer, you're number 16, that thing buzzes to go get your food. It saves like three employees. The fact that every tournament doesn't have that it makes no sense to me. Uh, you know, I live and learn, I guess. I, I think they do a good enough job here. I, it's hard to – I don't want to complain about it. I'm not saying it's they, complain. they find you, job, but it, like, wastes an employee. Yeah, because there's – inevitably someone is, like, out back yeah. or yeah. something. Then and it's not your problem. You know, like, know what I mean? Like, Bill? Bill? <laughs> Bill? And I'm like, who's Bill? And he's like, oh, I only like, know him by his hey, player, hey, player You know name Bill, uh, Bill Smith? I'm like, oh, yeah, yeah. No, I've never heard no, of that guy. Sorry. Sorry, you guys are on your own. Yeah. Okay. That's Is fine. it a trade? Kyrie to Kyrie the Mavericks? To Kyrie to the Mavericks. Mavericks. You're hearing it her- here first. On we are breaking the start. Break, dun, dun, breaking dun. news right now. Dun, dun, dun. Kyrie Irving has been traded to the Dallas Mavericks. For wow. $20 million and then two cases of Bush lattes. <laughs> <laughs> oh, this is makeable. In fact, the GDK. Nets are like, please take off him. Right. We no longer want him. Get him off our team. Just take him. We will pay his salary for the rest of the year. You know what would be really cool, Adam? You yeah. know, you've got Kevin Lindsay over here yeah. who won't get us beverages. Yeah, what the heck, He Kev? won't buy us beverages. Put it on my tab. I don't it, even care. It would be cool if he at least went over to where Jackie is and to see if there's two lattes in a bucket near her that he could just grab and bring to Maybe us. Maybe you could mention him that he could put those bombs on, our, on my tab. What did he say? He said he would go get him if you got him a shot. Jay Ware. We want a girly bomb. Some bomb that's that's a girly because we're girlies. And we just want some and energy two, drink. Two lattes? And two lattes. Yeah. And yeah. yeah, I got a tab. Run the BME. And I'll give you I'll give you cash. No, no cash. Just run the tab. No, I'm uh, just to well, you can grab some lattes for me. Yeah, I don't know why they're worrying so much about this. Just go put some drinks on the table. You've got and walk the away. you've got the A team here, and and they're not going to yeah. support us. You got Fitz and Jason. This is legit, guys. A, you got Quad Stream. You got Jason and Fitz, and you're going to sit there off to the side and not make sure we have the the quality beverages that we desire. They should to stay hydrated. Get us a catheter after this. I mean, let's go. Next stream, Sus- Sussex somewhere in a diaper. That I don't have to get up at all. <laughs> oh, I'm bringing I'm some adult moving. diapers. I'm not moving. Yeah, we'll I'm going to go 0-2 as quickly we, as possible. Yeah, 0-2, sit put, down. Plop the diaper on, and, and I'm here for hours. I'm my pants for the rest of the day. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I don't even know where we're at now. What I happened? Get, I get lost so easy. <laughs> Let's see what the scores are. Hey, I'll tell got, you what. You guys, can watch, you guys can watch the Golden Luna tea. up one. We will do our best. We got Luna up one on Machine 23. We got Taylor... Tied back up. I missed it against UBK. I I didn't even see what happened because we were we were begging for some reason. Yeah, weird. We were, we were begging. So you, I don't know if anybody else can see that, but you see Stenmark down in the they corner celebrating. They don't see that. It, <laughs> do you remember that? I do. Were you there? I was there. That was so much fun. I participated in that world on Saturday, not Sunday. You also the only thing not fun about that was Clint Grover got third and cost me ten grand because he didn't win first. Oh. But Jesus, did we have a good time with the third place money? Oh yeah, you guys had a, a little. Yeah, I bought him the Calcutta for three hundred thirty bucks, and he won eight grand. Oh my goodness! <laughs> oh my goodness! Oh, Miss Pudge GBK. Oh, we got ourselves a game. We're, Let's go. We've got one stroke game. Well, Taylor should make this. This is this is easy money. Yeah, he's got that. Oh, oh what? that came off terrible. What was that? Did he have like a nine iron there or something? Going on. Why didn't he just stuff that in? Are you kidding me? 
I don't understand that. It's still a tie game because they both are giving up strokes. That's like a match that I play. What happened there? He, I mean, I'm a terrible chipper, and I think I could have made that. Maybe, what did you say, 99 Miss, out of 100 times? Missing shots like that would not make me chipper at all. It would make me angry. <laughs> it would not make me chipper. Luna still up one. I see one. what you did there. Thank you. Luna up one going into nine. I like this look. I don't like when it's the straight look. It's you so don't? confusing that it's just like you, <laughs> you don't just know how hard to hit it. Yeah. I come up just a little <laughs> short every time and have to hook it in every time. Yeah. When it, that look you're it's talking about. It's so ridiculous. About. Just give me this offset where I could just <laughs> just let me hit, hit a three little wood cutter in there. I or like something. the B one, place it over there. Brewers like I'm gonna where hit. are we at? I'm gonna get on. Uh, so I'm table on the is this, this is a well. semifinal, right? The winner goes to semifinal, and I believe the other match is undefeated as well. So these both go to semifinals. I don't know if the winners play each other or who else is undefeated. Oh, yeah. oh! my wife Taylor oh, running it right at the Jason's cup. wife all oh. day. You can't rely on Kevin Lindsay. What you can rely on. Oh, it was? Full delivery. Okay. Oh, hey, Kevin came through kind of. She said Kevin told him and she delivered. Did you ask him anything about Worlds? <laughs> oh, oh, hey, speaking of Worlds. How are you like on the likes? How many likes we got? 264? I was about to look. We need 300 likes and we will release some Worlds info for all of you that need to know. We're at 157 likes. And I'm one of those likes. I already no, no. We were at like 240 earlier, weren't we? Oh, are we 239? 239. 239. Oh, okay. We're getting there. This is two days in a row where you are not wearing pajama pants. I don't even know how to call you. What, what's happening here? Swabs today? He's royalty. Purple royalty. Don't mind us. We're just talking to the, the men behind the scenes. Oh, they do everything great here. Chris Thanks, IT. With a for, full. Ooh, what a shot. Very nice full. Thanks, IT, for putting everything on, giving Jason and I the chance to entertain you guys. We'll do our absolute best. 243 currently, I heard. Okay. We're, All right, we need we're, 300, we're guys. There. Hey, like, subscribe, tell your friends to get on here and like this stream, and we will give you some exclusive. We'll give you some exclusive world information. 2023 information. And while you're at it, you might as well subscribe. Yeah, we've to got Golden a couple. Tea. We got 2,400 viewers, I think I saw on there too. At some point, you know, Ooh. individual viewers. So we've got the viewers over time. We do. You got to get up. Get them up there and they. They don't like what we're doing. If they liked oh. what we were doing, they would have liked oh, the stream. Come on. Though. Well, you come think on. to show your appreciation. Brad Baird says, yay, the fits. All right. Mr. Baird. Brewer baby. here has got a good chance of making this. Oh, he hit it short, though. Ooh, he had the right nice. line. And now he's got to make a chip. Short. A little five bird stuffer, I assume, on a brewer. He can, he can chush this. He a will. Baby chush. No, he's he won't, a, but it could. No, he's a Have you done guy. the baby chush? Are you talking like a click chip? No, I'm talking right. about like when it's just a, a, no, a sh I don't. really short chush. I don't. It's chush. really weird because it, you're using like a wedge and it, it pops up and it looks like it's doing nothing, but it'll still. Oh my goodness! He stuffed the nine iron. Great bombies. They are not. They are Vegas not bombs. purple bombs. Oh, they're. We got those. Jackie, my my Jay, my wife. Jay Ware, nice. Jay Ware coming through with some bombs here. He's now just realizing you're commentating. That's all good. <laughs> all right, let's uh, let's do these bombs. Oh, well, hold on. We got ourselves some pinball action going oh on. Oh, my GVK. Goodness. Hey, guys, to a great weekend. <laughs> I'm happy to, I'm happy right, to hang hey. with you guys. Cheers, we guys. Got, we got Jay. We got Wayne Kittles here. Jay, thanks for giving up Chris your seat. Jason, thank you. That was terrible. Oh, That was huge. That was awesome. Oh, there was a lot, of, a lot of Red Bull in there. I couldn't get it all in my mouth. <laughs> oh, I fit it in there. I, can, it, I had to. Oh, I had Ooh, to. Do, I, had to was, it, I had to go at it twice. Let me tell you, that is a up. riveting stream oh, right there. Double eagle. Oh, I was watching the other match. Brewer? This darn quad box. Does that tie it back up? Let's wow, see. that's on us. We were we missed yeah. the action for our own enjoyment. Oh, we missed a chance. I would like to apologize to everyone watching. That's Daddy, on us. You guys make your own cheers. We're good. Luna here, a chance to come right back at it because this is a beautiful. I setup. love this hole. This, this is, is a great hole. This is a beautiful. This is always a great hole. He's to go to the at. right though. No, he missed one. But it, you can skip it. You can do, you can do so many things to that hole. You got such forgiveness. You can go at that hole. It is tied up. That's awesome. What a shot by Brewer there. That shot was horrible. The, not the oh, shot yeah. we just saw, oh, no. the one we, we consumed. The golden tee shot was good. The wow, bomb was, that was awful. That was bad. That's the last time we sent Jay Ware for shots. Jay, Jay Ware let us down. <laughs> Jay Ware helped us and let us down at the same time. 
on the bright side, I haven't yawned yet. So yeah, now you're you're Bonus. awake. You're All right, let's go. Between the double eagles and the hugely horrible shots, you're Man, ready. The only thing I'm missing is that diaper. <laughs> Good shot there. I can't. Right, let's get some more viewers, guys. Can you guys share this on Facebook? Maybe, you know, just put it on your own page. Let's go. There's got to be people that in your life that might like Golden Tea or want to see what you do for fun. Luna. Like and subscribe to Golden Tea, and let's close. go get it. Come on, 300 likes, and we'll reveal, we'll reveal a and what amazing is world of is going off the rails. He is. What's happening here? He's, he's um, unfortunately, he, he that starts so strong, and then He tried to cut it in there and, and just missed brutally. It looked like something I would it's do. It's the GVK playbook, right? Kim Tournament? said, Fitch, did you just dry heave on the air? <laughs> it, was a, uh, it was a joke, but, yes, it was not a good shot. But we're tied up now on the Brewer-Luna match, which is great. GBK applauding. I think we're two strokes, three strokes now in that match. We yeah, could probably. No, it's one. How is it one? Oh, it is one. What did we. What did, What happened? What the what? What Any are you up, hitting here? This is like a low. Any update low eight? on the McGillum Washburn match? Uh, I don't see them. That's probably over. 251 likes. Hey, we're going, buddy. We're cruising. We're, we're getting there. We're going to get there. I think we're going to get and there. And I do Whether have, we're on I air is have, another story. I do have some information. Like, it's legit info. It's not It's not going to be. You probably won't be totally pleased with it, but it'll be. <laughs> it's going to narrow things down a bit, and it's it's going to be helpful. The last world's info I got was Quaffin was going to start mid-January. That's not the info it's I have. It's February 5th. It is February 5th. Yeah, we, we failed on that. Obviously, my info is garbage. Do you think Andy is talking to Kevin, asking him what he told me? And Kevin has no idea because <laughs> I was so good at, like, squeezing tiny I've done this with Kevin and before. Putting, and I've got some info, and he doesn't even realize that I got the info from him. That's, That's how good best. I am. If I do get up from the stream, I will go try to squeeze every little bit out on it. Yeah. I can as well, and maybe we can combine it to make like some actual. You should ask info. if if I will get in trouble for revealing what I know. No, what? we're not asking. We're not asking words. Hell no. Okay. Three hundred likes. We're just throwing it out there. It's their problem. It's going. Man. Yeah. It's out on the once it's out on the internet. Yeah. It's a good thing you guys are watching <laughs> this live because they're probably going to pull the replay. Ah, <laughs> you get one it's chance gonna get, at this. It's going to get censored. We're going to say it. We're going to say it one, one time, time and one time only at one 300 and, likes. One and done. Am like I Paul hear? Luna with that shot. Yeah, he's not terrible at Golden Tee. If he's, you guys didn't know he's that, so good. I mean, I beat him at the Top Gun to <laughs> knock him out, but but. <laughs> so you take what you will for that. <laughs> it gets, it can Top be Gun, done, obviously. Let's talk about how great my Top Gun record is. It's legit fire in two years. So you, in a winner-take-all bracket, Jason is the man. After people have been playing Gold Tee for 167 yeah. so hours, I'm ready to go. Essentially, he's saying he's a better drinker than 75% of the Golden Tee players, which is probably accurate. I'm gonna be honest with you. I think so. I mean, you're not. Gonna I can be have Andy a good Haas time, but not David Key or myself. But most of the people you can. Well, I don't get to play you because you're always in the purple bracket. Oh pink. God! <laughs> Jeez, that I mean, not always true, but sometimes. True. <laughs> no, they're both close. We're we got we got two good. Both matches games are really here. close here. One's tied and one's a one-stroke difference. GVK went to that left side. I wish you he needs you guys should just make whatever you say to us. They should just be able to hear Go it. live. Yeah, it'd just be so much easier because then, like, we talk to them and we're They're like. They're so secretive. We're dumb, you know. IT we, people are so secretive. We're not secretive. supposed to talk back to the people that I talk know, to we us, break we the, do we all break the time. third it's wall terrible. or whatever you call it, right? You know, Fourth just, wall or if Andy, how many If you guys could just hear Andy, have? that would be so much easier. Then we could be like, ah, you know. Uh, he's not bad either. He's got some good comments on occasion. All right. Luna's still up one, going into 15. What's? It's not a drivable. No, look. it's definitely not drivable. He's gonna go down to that little area, though. Oh, he's gonna no, go he's on the fairway. Okay. He's staying up top. I like when it's this look. I like going to the to the, the right the in rough the down sand there, or the sand or whatever. And give it is. myself like a three bird at it. So I believe these guys both went to the left on 18 on Petra over here. Jason, I I appreciate that you would say that, but I mean I don't think anyone can really out drink Sandmeyer, but I think <laughs> what I'm good at is is. Having drinks, having a good time, controlling myself. Oh, no. Playing good golden tea. Oh. 
and and not making too much of a fool of myself. Just I, a little fool of myself. That was <sighs> That's ugly, right? You just cannot come up short there. I I don't I get it. Like nobody wants the long putt on this hole. It's so hard. Man. And he's gonna bring it back and okay. That's Yikes. Gonna, that's give it a chance to tie. Oh, this uh, yeah, is a this big is a putt, putt for though. the tie, right? I mean Wow, look at this putt. It is it's putt for the tie. GVK auto. Oh he made it left. Oh wow. Un- that's such a hard putt though. So Gosh. that gives Taylor the win by one, and he's going to move on to the and next he, round. All Taylor had to do was put it on the green there, you know? Jeez. And Brewer with off the rock, he's still alive. Oh, he's got now. himself a bomb putt. And let's see what – is Luna going to hit a full here? I wouldn't doubt it. So uh, Paul Taylor moves on. Can't wait to see him in, in Sussex, Jason. Uh, I'm, I'm ready. I wish it, – it's so close to happening, and it's I'm still a excited. a month and, like, four days I'm, away. I'm already going to gear up. I'm gearing up. I'm going to gear up. So, if in case you're wondering what we're talking about, the next one of these tournaments is in Wisconsin uh, near Milwaukee. Another missed putt. Have the you weekend seen of March? pros miss so many putts? They're not used to making those putts, right, you know? The weekend of March 10th, I believe, is that weekend, and uh, Jason and I will be there, and we will both buy you a beer if you've never been to an event before. Luna up by two. I just made that. I hope you're okay with it. I would gladly buy yeah. Come someone see who us. comes in, a new player. Come and introduce yourself. We'll play a game. I'll buy you a beer. In I'm fact, not going to buy one of those shots, I, though. That was I gross. threw out a thing last night on Facebook to some guys that were thinking about coming that I would pay their entire Friday night bar tab. Wow. Yeah. So if wow. you're interested, hit me up. That That's like Facebook. winning the Golden Tea Lottery. Yeah. If it's your first event and you come to Sussex, by the way, Sussex might not sound, you know, Wisconsin went in March, whatever. Doesn't sound the greatest thing ever, but I think it's the best golden tea venue we have. Like, obviously, you're in Orlando, Nashville. There's so much to do, and a lot of guys. Yeah, you're not biased. A lot of guys jet out. No, but like, you, there's not a lot to do there. You're sitting there, you're playing golden tea. There's so many good players there. It's just fun. It's if you want to experience the golden tea experience, come to Sussex. If you want the Fitz experience of 0 and 2 in the purple, mm-hmm. there's a bowling alley there. Mm-hmm. You can go bowling mm-hmm. afterwards. Mm-hmm. I uh, I was in the main last year and beat the number one seed in the main, just so you know. That's nice. That was Puff, I right? hope he's not listening. Was the that number Puff? one seed in the main, I beat uh, Evan Gossett. Oh, Evan Gossett. I thought Puff was number one that No. Year. Where was he number one? Oh, Mike Johnson was number one somewhere. And Puff. They were like one and two. Where was that? Puff was like on fire yeah, last year. Yeah, just unbelievable. Where like was Like five that? better after three was or something? Here? No. It's hey, you're right, though. He was unbelievable. I it was Wisconsin. And Mike Johnson was on fire, too. That Both of them were. Yeah, yeah, MJ. Because MJ ended up taking it. That's what it was. Where was that? Was that Wisconsin two years ago, maybe? Maybe it was Wisconsin two Could years ago. Could have been two ago. years ago. Okay. You're right, though. Puff had an unbelievable qualifier. He won, like, three courses. And he didn't win, the, and MJ yeah. took it? Yes, that that's what happened. So he won three that courses. That was so sick. He won three courses, and Johnson ended up winning the qualifier. It was unbelievable. Yeah. Yeah, I think that might have been two years ago in Wisconsin. This hole, everyone hates Hollywood 17. I hate this hole. You do? We lost track of where we no, are. No, no. Evan. Uh, there was Luna's putts. Yeah, Luna's up two or Luna's three up two, here, right? So. Two. He missed a putt there. It was up one. It should be two okay. strokes. Yeah. This is a tough hole. Yeah, Puff was two. And yeah, oh, it hit the pin. Yeah, Wisconsin last year. Because it I hit played, something. Did you see I that played, ricochet there? I played Puff in Wisconsin last year, and he was the number two. That was terrible camera work by Brewer there. That hit something. He's such back. a not professional live stream player. I, I mean, know, but give it, the give the people. The it was goods. coming straight back and yeah. shot straight right. Give people the goods, right? Yeah. Oh, he's gonna chush this. We one. had a chance at we're gonna we get had a, a chance at seeing. We're gonna get some there. Brewer chush. First, hide your shot meter because that's an automatic loss, and then just drill this in. There it is. Easy. <laughs> he is so good at that. So easy. I should probably learn. And how so to we're do still that. two shot. Petra eighteen. This should be a Luna, but I guess it could get squirrely, right? But he's just going to <laughs> Josh goes, I lost 100 to King when when Fitz beat Evan. King comes up to me after that. He goes, I bet three guys $100 you're going to beat Evan, and you did. That's, he goes, I won $100 from all of them. That's awesome. I go, like, were you, was I getting strokes? He goes, no, straight up. I just knew you'd beat him. Wow. I go, are you kidding that's me? King confidence. He is unbelievable, man. King confidence. The guy's unbelievable. I'm like, that's amazing, man. I don't know why you did that, but I appreciate <laughs> it. It was awesome. Evan's a great guy. I love Evan. He just was, he was in a bit of a bad funk at the moment. And I don't know if he can be in the bad funk and be a number one qualifier, but he was. If I'm number one qualifier, I would not be in a funk. I that's what be, I would think. I would be very cocky, like drunk cocky. 
That's my move, like, when I start playing well. Yeah. Is I, I get this weird cockiness about me. And then all of a sudden somebody just trounces you. Yeah, yeah. and then it brings me right back to reality. <laughs> <laughs> so we had one go to the left here, and uh, Luna's playing it safe. This is pretty Luna's, much a guaranteed putt. Luna's got putt. the win unless there's something weird Yeah, but happens guaranteed here. putt, and he's up two, Or right? I'll just put it in. Oh, oh he, hits, he hits release. I mean, Backspin. if if he's in a match and goes that way, he's probably hitting a release or roll there. It was a good uh, angle at it. Yeah, uh, yeah you might have made that, yeah. but... In this situation, he's up two. He just wants oh, it on I, the Oh, I don't blame him. I don't yeah. blame him. All right. All right, so we got. All right, so we got Andy Haas and Paul Taylor. The winner of that goes to King of the Hill. And then Luna plays uh, the winner of McGillum and who? And Robert Washburn. Big Bob. Squeaky. And then the winner of that will go on to King of the Hill. So we're getting down there. We got maybe about. Mm, ten guys left, roughly. Okay, so Evan was third seed and you were thirty seed because no, one hundred percent wrong. I was thirty two and he was one. Look it up. You you don't even know. You think you know, but you have no idea. I'm pretty sure. You can look it up. I I might be wrong. I'm gonna use the internet and I'm gonna oh, find this out. You mean that we can look that up? Yeah, I just got to. Let's look it up. Uh, I got T-Mobile, though, so I have to, like, put my phone oh, up in you the air and hope a, that I get some Did you want to use a real phone? No, I, it'll get there eventually. Oh, okay. Cool. I got a Samsung anyway. These are garbage, right? Everything's garbage. So he's saying MJ was one, Puff was two. It's possible we had that, so it's possible. And so you, that was three. That could be last year. It sounds it sounds 100% yeah. right. Yeah. Josh has probably drank less than me today, so it's possible. I don't know. Oh, this new site I got to get used to, right? It's all good, man. If no, that, the new if that site was is... last year, yeah, I remember that Puff was unbelievably won three courses. I've never seen anybody win three courses in a qualifier. I don't know if you know if it's been done. That was absolutely amazing. <laughs> You're dead wrong. Look at you. I was dead wrong. Wow. Evan Gossett. What other crazy. stories do you tell that are 100% God, it seems so, it was so much better when he was the one seed. Tell us about when you saw Bigfoot. And right. well, it was the last Loch Ness night. monster at the it same time. It was last time. night. I was I was I was crawling home. From How the big bar. was that fish you caught? I don't. I haven't fished in twenty <laughs> years. Oh, 50 likes from the goal of three hundred on the stream. Come on, guys! I I'm dying to give you this information. <laughs> I'm dying to still be here when you give me the information. Because if I'm not here, I'm never going to hear it. No, nope. Andy said he's going to change uh, it to 500. We've got. We've I will got, find. I will find my own information to get it to 300. We will tell you the there's, world. There's IT scam and coming on my yeah. on my desire to give you world. Just so you guys know, we don't care what they say. We're going to tell you. I'm just hanging out. Yeah. Hey, Jay. Jay. Jay, do you want to play chess while I commentate? Could I do both? How that would be tough. You have right? a chessboard. He's got. He brought one. I forgot to bring mine, but I play a little chess. Oh. My God. See, oh. Everybody Ever, we're gonna play some live commentary. One, five through twenty-five chess. Yeah. <laughs> we got another going on. We can put it on camera. Right? I haven't played camera. chess in fifteen years, but I bet you I can still maybe hang. It's right there in the back oh man, we're gonna do a little chess match. Oh, it's so right heavy. Yeah, I know. I got so Ooh, Jesus God! Oh, oh, easy, easy, fellas. Look at Gomez looking all sexy there. <laughs> Hold on, <laughs> I'm dehydrated. There we go. That sound better? Third it's, time? It, yeah, it was okay. Yeah. Do you know how to do the thing where you put the fingers in the... Don't do it, though. <laughs> I, I, that would be... Oh, no. my goodness. If I you know how to do it, someone needs to teach me. I don't know how to do that. But don't do it on the stream. I Can I stick that Supreme sticker on my hat? <laughs> can I stick that Supreme sticker? I'll tell you where to stick it. Hey, can it. you remind me how to play chess? I'm just kidding. <laughs> It's like one of those I'll, games you I'll, forget. I'll right? remind you how to lose it, Jess. Oh, I don't know. I'm never going to beat him. He obviously is good. He knows what he's doing. Jay Ware? I'll help you guys. I know where the moves are. I know how to make the moves. I got I got moves like Magnus. I'm going to open the Queen's Gambit against your ass. Ooh. Just kidding. That's just a TV show. I just I have no idea. Did you watch it? That's a great show. It's a show. great show. I've watched it twice. I'm a chess guy, so I, I enjoyed it. But Jackie's not a chess person, and she still enjoyed the aspect of the show. That was a good show. What is this? Oh, <laughs> yeah, they're, it's magnets. I'm like, what's happening? How the here? how the heck do they work? Just remember, your queen goes on the same color that it is. So your white queen goes on the white piece, and then you can just match what I'm doing. Wait, 
Like, I don't know where my pieces go, you're saying? You, if that's where you're putting your queen, you definitely don't know where they that's go. That's a queen? That's, that's a bishop, a, ain't it? No, the bishop. This is the bishop with the little slot What on. is happening here? <laughs> oh, then we're on screen. Cool. We got oh. a chest. Once, we, once Fitz learns how to set up the board, we'll get a... I thought that was a queen. You can't fault me on that. Look at that thing. Oh, we got it on the wrong... Shoot, we got it on the wrong setup. <laughs> it's my bad. I didn't look at the... <laughs> We gotta, we gotta go this way. All right, hold on. I'll do it again. Oh, it's okay. It's okay. It's okay. Jeez. Okay, 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 riveting, okay. riveting okay, stream okay, okay, situation okay, okay, here. Okay. It's all good. That's a king, right? I've been. It's a knight. It's a knight. This is. We're gonna go back queen. to. There's no matches on the live stream right this now. That's why bishop. we're messing around. This is a pawn. So you're gonna have to pawn. Forgive us. Rooks go in the <laughs> corner. This is a bishop. He knows what they're this called. Pawn, pawn. Can you fix my things or not right? This is the knights in the, yeah, I'm, yeah I think I'm good. I got it. Look at that. You, you guys said it. I didn't know what I was doing. High five. All right, and you're white, so I, you can go first. Here we go. I think this is the first best moving chest right there. Queen, all right, I'm going. Indian game. All right, I'm out. <laughs> I don't know what happens now. We don't have a clock, but we'll just play. We'll play quick, so we'll we'll do the best we can. Play it quick. Oh Christ! And we got uh, Jade and Squeaky logging in, so we'll probably you probably are not going to get to see the end of this chess match, unfortunately. But that's okay. We're going to have some good golden tea though, and we'll, we'll we might still play this while they're going. It's it's hard to say, right? Am I in checkmate yet? I don't Here. know what I'm doing. What? We're not there yet. Okay. I like to drag it out a bit, right? Okay. I got you. Let's see what happens. I'm gonna, I'm gonna be aggressive. He's probably, him. he's probably like a savant, and he, it's, I'm gonna get crushed, right? That's what's gonna happen. We'll see. Let's see what happens. Let's start mm -hmm. taking pieces and, and see what goes. I mean, you want to switch all those for something? We can just get some pieces out of the way here. Yeah, of course. All right, and we'll do uh, some shenanigans moves, right? Oh, all right, Let's make I like it fun. That. I like you. I like you changing that up a little bit there. Oh, see, you think you could tell me what you what's going to happen? I don't think so. Let's see how. Let's get creative, right? This might be a bad idea, but I'm gonna I'm gonna get I'm gonna get. I'm gonna make it happen. Okay, I like it. I like yeah. it. I like it. I like it. Bringing the queen out. I don't know if you guys could tell. <laughs> it's but eight. I'll bring in the queen is, out. Is okay, the they're gonna go. Is the moving chest to unprotect your king and your queen? <laughs> we got. We got. A match now that you guys probably care more about. We got Jade. You just castled or something. And I castled Squeaky Bob, Jade, Miguel. Two good players. All right. Fitz moved his rook, in case you were wondering. <laughs> <laughs> I, I took his oh, knight come on. with my bishop. Why would you do that? He took my bishop. With his pawn, pawn And then to I rook took forward. the pawn. I'm now up one pawn. Yeah, chess sponsored by Bushlight. <laughs> Man. I'm now up one pawn. I don't know what to do. Fitz is confused. What is this thing? A queen? That's a queen. That's a queen. Huh? Yeah. That's where it gets me. That's a little, that thing's weird. Would you trade queen for queen? Yeah, you, know, you lose, then you can't do that. What if I just. I know the scholars, mate. Oh, is that what it is? I'm up one I feel one like I'm point. in retreat mode here. I've got fits on the rails now. No, I don't think you do. He doesn't think I do, but I do. Oh, moves his knight. Gets fancy. I don't know what that's supposed to do, right? I mean, there's probably a book about that, but I certainly don't know it. A book of book on chess. All right, so I'm we can pretty sure we're in good, good condition here. I got you. Locked condition. I think I'm like one thing away from checkmate. I think you're getting close, right? You're getting close. You might <laughs> checkmate me. No. It'll be interesting. I don't think I am. I was just kidding. All right. I attacked his knight with my <sighs> pawn. He did. He did. And Squeaky Bob is going for the hole. I'm doing two things at once. Look how good I Come am. Come on. Look at that. I was calling. I looked up and saw he was hitting a shot. I'm so good. All righty. This might be my new... This is a new My thing? new business, my new YouTube is going to be going. Oh, oh, he hit the rock and scooted there. Going crazy. Come on, Jade, let's go. Let's go, Jade. All right, I am going to move my rook. That 
Rook from the castling position to eight out e. to the king's square. That was boring. That was boring. I believe Ben Furlan is the best Golden Tee chess player. I, I, oh, he's, he's around 1,900 from what I understand. What? I don't think anyone's better than him. I'm like 16, 1,700, so he's got me quite beat. There's ratings for this shit? Yes. <laughs> I'm a two. Is there you know, a two? Do you know the Golden Tee the, the golden tea rating, the yeah. one that makes no sense? Yeah, the one that nobody listens to? It's based off of chess ratings, oh. chess competitions. But the chess one is a one-on-one -on -one matchup. This is a 50-man matchup, and it, that's oh, why I it's so sc screwy. But it was based off of a chess rating system. I got you. Well, that's why it's dumb. Oh, we got 264 likes. We're getting there. Oh, come We're on. so close. Get to 300. 287 watching. That's only... We're missing out on 23 free likes here. Let's go. Like, subscribe Speaking right now. Speaking of Chess We will Master, give you some world's info for 2023. Chess Master Ben is now up. We're going to have to see who he's playing That's, against. That's uh, Nick. Uh, we Nick. Got, we got quad screen and a chess match. This is cool, guys. This is you baller guys, You're welcome. You're, you're welcome. All right. I have both my bishops out in the middle of nowhere. I've got my queen in the middle of nowhere. I know. <laughs> I can't do anything with it. Um, I, I don't know I, what's happening Maybe. Here. It could be. Yes. <laughs> All right, so maybe we have a... Uh, they got to be purple bracket. Purple bracket? Did, did ben no, make Ben's, the in the, Ben's in the main. Maybe it's a cat. Did we get a... Oh, man. Did we get a money game on the stream here? Or what's happening? Oh, okay. I had a text from Ashley Scanlon. I wish the Scanlons were here. She's like, what is going on? <laughs> so we've got people watching the stream. <laughs> they did not make main, so. They're I wish I knew what I was doing. Anybody good at Golden or at uh, Chess that could log in and help me beat Jason here? Oh, that would be interesting. A live stream, tell Fitz what's to do. But someone would cheat. Someone would get on a. I'm in. Someone I'm would moved. get on some sort of. Big Bob. Big Bob in his Kansas City Chiefs jersey. Patty Mahomes. Super Bowl next weekend. I got the Chiefs. I'll take them for some money if you guys are interested. I'll take that. All right. Well, we got a live bet on here now. Yeah. Are you changing pieces with me? I'm exchanging pieces. All right. Well, what do I want to take it with? Good question. That's a great question. I could take it with my pawn. I could take it with my horsey thingy. That's a horsey thingy, right? Yeah, the horsey thingy. That's that's the the stouts of chess. It's right, a cheater. It it's with a the, cheater. I'm gonna take it with a pawn to make myself feel better. Takes the pawn, allows me to take one of his pawns for check, free of charge. Check. Wow, you good at this game or what? I think you're cheating me somehow. I know it's scam. Total scam. Hmm. I've now I'm now up two pawns. Would you trade queens if we did it? Or? I love trading queens. Oh, so you will. Oh do that. my god, it's I live for it. I got you. Well, I don't I don't know how to play to begin with, much less trading queens. <laughs> Seems like a terrible idea. I got you. I got you, buddy. Then he's, in, then he's gonna take my bishop, and I can't protect that. I got myself. All right, I'm gonna see what we're we're tied up on the Furlan match. I got myself kind of a bind here. The Nick McGillum with some points. His name is Point Whore, which bind. makes sense. But he just got some shotties there, little cheap shotties. All right, moves his king out of check. I only think like four turns ahead. I have trouble going past. That. Right, I hear you. Yeah. All right. I am gonna. I feel like I'm getting a little loose m with my queen, Lucy Magoo. So I'm gonna. I'm gonna bring him back. Yeah, it was getting a little crazy there. Yeah, it was. He's too up you, there. You, I wish you would have taken one of my pieces there, because it would have been great. That would have been awesome. For me, uh, Fitz has no idea because he hasn't played chess in a while. I'm usually There's my online rating. Blitz is around 1600. Uh, the daily rating is like 1700. So I used to play chess. I have not played in. He quite definitely a few knows years. what he's doing. Yeah, I know how to play. He's right? just a little yeah. rusty. Oh, I'm oh, I'm definitely rusty. And a good shot there. Definitely Big rusty. Meek. No is it Meek or Meech? That. Is that Meek or Meech? I never know how he princes it. 
It's both. It, yeah. What do I do here, huh? So many choices. So many choices. All right. Moves his bishop, attacks my rook like he's like he owns the place. <laughs> Coming out firing, I would <laughs> say. <laughs> you, you're going to come at me with that weak sauce? <laughs> I'm blocking the attack on my rook. You are. Of his bishop with my bishop. You are. And Squeaky Bob is going for the green and hits a nice little shot there just to the right. Dun, 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 and dun, Justin dun, with a dun, shot dun, of his dun, own. Dun. He's on the green. These guys playing good golden tee while we're playing good chess. Adam takes my bishop. We're not playing good chess. You're playing good chess. I'm just winging. I take back his bishop with my queen. I'm still up two pawns. At least you put your queen out there. And we got a little chip. What's Jade, happening? Jade What's chip happening here? to keep it tied. Misses his chip. So did we confirm the Ben Ferland match is purple? I think so. Pink. pink. Oh, pink. Wow. Okay. A tied up match in the pink. Not pink. Main. And Squeaky Bob. What? I and don't main know how, bracket. Why did he say he couldn't find him? Obviously, Andy's. Has Andy been drinking over there? Andy's been doing those great bombs. Thank or God PJ came. He, way to go, buddy. Way to come through for us. Squeaky Bob already up three this early. Mm. Wow. That's going to be We may to have to switch off the quad screen here and go to the Ben Furlan match. Yeah. Okay. Loser so side, main. Seely Furlan, main bracket, loser side. So Ben Furlan uh, finished third here last year. Made a heck of a run. Did. It was amazing. It was awesome. If he didn't run into absolutely blitz toss, oh my God. he would have had a good chance. Hots comes over and just starts drilling stuff. Hammered. Can't even yeah. see. That's when you know you're a true champion. Yeah. Unbelievable. Is it my turn? I it is my so. turn. It yeah, is my I turn. took I'm, your bishop. I'm sorry. Distracted by by pretty much everything. <laughs> <laughs> I think I like him getting my butt kicked. That's okay, though. I don't That's mind. That's all right. No problem. No sweat, my pet. Oh, my goodness. Oh, my goodness. What's happening? I'm just, I got excited. I saw a move I want to make, and I got, I got oh, excited. Oh, no. Oh, yeah. Oh, no. Oh, I'm setting something up. I'm setting up something fierce, oh, baby. He just let out the cat out of the bag. Man. I don't even need 300 likes to tell you that I'm excited. Speaking of that, are we getting close? Oh, Squeaky Bob with a great shot there. Bum, 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 Maintaining bum, the lead. Bum, 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 bum. My brain is thinking out loud. That's what that was. The bum bum bombs yeah. is the brain. I had no idea That's what was happening. That's the hamster wheel. Yep. yep. I was just going, hoping for the best. Hmm. I'm going to try something a little. Oh, you getting? A little unorthodox here. I'm going to go right here. Okay. He attacks my queen with his knight. I don't I know like if that it. was unorthodox. I think it's a pretty good move, actually. It's, it's orthodox. Yeah. <laughs> I think that might have slowed It's a you protected down a knight. Bit. It's a great spot for the knight. He's, he's protected. I'm going to have to move my queen. Well, unless you want to lose your queen. That is, that is a true statement. All right. He's, he's putting the kibosh. On your, right. on your move you wanted to make. On the move I wanted to make. <laughs> I had delayed one move. All right. I can't trade a pawn for a knight. That's a terrible situation. So, so. we've got a tied match in the loser's bracket of the main on machine 23. <laughs> Should we just go to the one screen for that since Squeaky Bob's up three? And we can just kind of keep an eye on that. If yeah, it's, it's a little easier for us while we're trying to beat each other at chess over here. So we'll go to the one that's tied. There. Look at this. Ask and y'all shall receive. That is a frightening costume. And his player is scary, too. <laughs> <laughs> oh, the oh, ace wow. coming out. Oh, fight. man. There we go. Here we go. Harsh. Harsh. Oof. All right. All right. Back to, the, back to this riveting golden tee slash chess game. I am going to go. Man. man he's Let's go at, here and see what oh, happens. Oh, he's going to push the pawn. All right. I don't know. I'm going to. I'm going to get my night out and about All since right. you like having your night out and about. Solid move there. Yeah.
Nice little look here. Yeah. Downhill, down slope, thummy all way. Let it go, let it happen. Puts nothing on it, and he's okay. I'm on my rook. Oh, okay. Tax my queen. Ah, mm. it's good bush light, man. I'm about out though. That was quick. Yeah, well, I pro level. Not my first, not my first time, you might say. I'm gonna. I'm queen's under attack. Move him out of the way. Her. Her. Or whatever she wants to be designated as. Ooh, okay. Number 10, not gettable. So I like to stay up on that top tier there when it's not gettable. I don't like going way down. I don't like going way down that slope. Mm, excuse me. I don't know, Jason. I feel like I'm I'm in an okay position here. I know not, it feels that way. I know how being it, good at chess. I get that it feels that way. But I'm not. And I'm say. happy for you that you're happy. <laughs> Oh, it's okay. I don't really know what I'm doing anyway, and I'm okay with that. But you're you're holding your own. Game's still going. Yeah, I haven't lost in like ten turns yet. Yeah, we got a bunch of moves then. No, I went up to Steve Hi, and Paige. he yelled at me when I went to get paid. What'd you get paid for? Hole in one? No, the zero and two in the main. Oh, yeah. You got yelled at for that? Well, I get yelled at when I don't come up and collect, and then I get yelled at when I do go up to collect. Oh, man. What I'm are we just doing? just changing pieces here, I bro. just, I'm. Um, what do you want to do? You want to lose that one or that one? No, one. I just, it, it almost, it almost, it's fine. It's a scam. It's okay. I'm going to, I'm going to take his rook with my queen. Thank you. Oh, nice. Why didn't you just take it with your knight? I don't know. I'm no, crazy. I, so I lost. You lost your queen. You could have just took it with a knight. Right. I could have taken it with my knight, but now I'm gonna put me do in check. check and get your queen with my knight instead. So now mm. I'm, I basically got a rook for a knight. Is what I went after there. Okay. You see? Yeah, I got you, brother. I gotta. I gotta think about oh, it while I watch some nice golden shot, tea. I'm gonna watch some golden tea. Yeah. <laughs> Horsies. Elephants. Horsies are my favorite. 15 15. We're tied all, after 11. We're all, all square. Tied up. That's a closer match than our chess match. You're saying I'm losing? I'm saying you ain't winning. That's rude. I know. I'm getting cocky. Pretty freaking rude, honestly. I don't know, man. I don't know what's happening here. I don't even know what to do. This I'm is a main bracket match. I'm going to move this right here. This is a tied main bracket match. It is. It's all important. The other one, Bob, Squeaky's up three, so uh, we just figured we'd do a, a one that's tied up. All right, I guess main we're gonna, bracket, loser side, tied up. We're going to see how Jason's end game is here in chess. Yeah. Get your, get your cameras ready. My end game is... Terrible, so I'm sure you're okay. I'm, I'm all right. You're okay? Decent. Decent. Well, well then, let's do Billy all Chadwell. the things that you want to do. Yeah, for unqualified second, we we called it purple for a while, but he's, he's like the second <laughs> Sorry, highest guys. qualifier. So bad. Oh, we're, terrible. we're the worst commentators ever. Yeah. We were distracted. It's it's understandable. Things happen. I'm gonna look focus on gold tea and give me a chess game a second to let my mind let ponder. it marinate. Let it marinate a bit. I love hammer and medium tea here, but he is going all out with a high tea. I don't know. High what, three. I just don't like it, man. Just can't get close. Like a hammer a medium nine and a half or something there, and you're good. Yeah, but my match today, I came up short. That's a miss. And I lost. Yeah. Okay. So there's one right there. I saw it as soon as he hit it. That's a miss putt as well. Double miss putt. You guys might think I'm ahead on the stream, but I am not. They're just miss putts. You can tell when they hit them. I know. I know you when, know I when hit, you hit it when too. I you hit can it, tell. It's instant. Yeah, you know right instant away. Instant regret. Well, that, there, there's no, no way uh, to take it no back. No damage done there. No damage done there. Oh, man. What do we do here? What do we do here? I feel like I should retreat and protect some stuff, but. Sure, don't know. 
Papa Top again. I hope, that, I hope that made it on stream. That was cool. That was loud. It made it on my thing, so I'm guessing it made it on yours. That was cool beans. Good news is your moves, your guys all move straight now. I don't know what that means. You lost all your bishops and knights. <laughs> oh, I see what you're saying. <laughs> well, it's a little easier to uh, see what's happening, uh, you know? Great, great chess mind. <laughs> All your pieces move straight now. Oh, my goodness. There it is. Uh, I did say I hadn't played in a while. <laughs> oh, Billy did hear the ch the bush open. Good. Oh. oh, that's funny. That was great. Hey, Billy, I got your hot sauce at the lounge. I drank two of them already, though. You Sorry. drank his yeah. hot sauce? They, could, they weren't that hot. Oh. I don't need, like, super hot hot sauce. I just like flavorful. Yeah, like, that's what my favorite is, too. Yeah, like, like vinegary. Kins, Greg Kinsler is, is the man. He's, he's, I bought some off of him, and it's just, I don't know, I love his hot sauces he's got down there. Mm, he always scamming me. I'm pushing pawns and pushing pawns and chugging beers. I, oh, I can't move that one Yeah, there. that's not it's, how that works. It's illegal, ain't it? All right. You you don't have pieces that just go straight. Go right. <laughs> Mine go on angles. You're saying? Yeah. Mm, let's try this one. All right. Moves his rook. I'm gonna take. Oh, excuse me. He took another pawn, but he's gonna be able to get it back. Yeah, but that's. I mean, we can trade a rook for a knight, I suppose. Rook for a rook. Or a rook for a rook. Yeah. yeah. Theory. These things right. magnet. These magnet pieces yeah. get me. How the heck do they work? I don't know. All right. So we've got. We got a good chess match. We got a good Nord tied up score. A good look here on 16. I'm going to pause from the chess because no, I want to no see problem. what these areas are going to do. I would hit a high five here with a little I would, cutty. I would hit a high little five with no cutty, and I would let this funnel right in. I would do a small cutty. And I wouldn't. I would go straight at this. He hit the straight at it shot like I would have. And he's and he forgot to push it a little right. Right. Huh. Uh, what are you going to do? He also didn't hit that very well. Ben. On the other hand, is you're thinking isn't it the cutty? Oh, want to yeah. call it like five dollar bet that he's going to put a cutty on it? I think it? he's going to hit it straight. I'm going to guess what. No, I'm not. I, no, you're out. All right. No, because he's going to hit Excuse it straight. Me. He's going to thumb it straight. All right. What Sam Meyer Berry? Sam Meyer buried something we missed. Is is Sam Meyer Ace 300 S? Oh, look at this! Oh, but he did hit a just a thumber. Wow. I, I would have won. That was huge. I should have taken a tie the $20. game. He almost took that down. That would have been a big putt here, but huge. he knocks it in. Because 17, 18 are, are pretty straightforward. Autos, yep. right? Yep. A stroke there would have been awesome. Jason says pawns are the bald men of chess. <laughs> That's not Sam Meyer. I don't oh, know. Oh, bronzy. Is. Nice. I well, this is a good look. Look at this. I don't know if we're gonna, we Billy, might have fireworks. If Billy here. thought that was Sam Meyer or what, but definitely not. Nice thummy action. Goes right at it. Eight wood. Sets up. Looks good. Oh, oh going for the ultra. <laughs> going for the ult. The he ultra almost Jason walk off. Start that. The ultra walk off would be epic. Jason Stark has more ultras this year ben, than I have home. Ben runs. saw the almost ultra, and he might adjust to Maybe get the ultra. Maybe just a slight bit shorter. He is hitting a two-iron super spin. He's going low okay. T. All right, I like this better. Low T. Dummy. Look at those good thumbs. Going at it. With the Boom. Wow. All right, like you said, auto He's 17, no fireworks there. They were trying to light some fireworks. The, if the, the lighter was not, the Zippo needs new fuel. But they were trying to light those fireworks. <laughs> <laughs> oh, here we go. All tied up going to 18. Oh, this is a. Come on, give us something here. Let's go. This is one of those looks where. Oh, this is. You got to think about yeah, it, right? Yeah, this is not an we, easy. We might not be going to extras. Uh, this is tough. It's a small landing spot. I would just hit a high. Yeah, yeah he wants release. To play it I was safe. thinking. I was thinking nothing on this, but there's nothing wrong with this shot either. Yeah. Yeah. Puts it back in. That's Ben's a long court. putt. I would. Yeah. I, there's no reason if you're gonna hit that shot not to go right at the pin here. There's plenty of room to land this. And he gave he gave Ben a little action there. Yeah, to see for sure. Exactly can, what it's gonna do if you go hit right, that shot. He can go right at this with. He a could high thummy it a half. little, little extra thummy. Even a, even a medium eight and a half. Yeah, I was saying even a medium eight and a half would bite. You could thumb this. 
Good thumbs. That's good. That's a good shot. Oh, that was Ooh. that was close to coming back. He caught a little fringe there. Big putt here. Big putt. That's Doesn't the game even right think here. about he it. Just that's the he game. just lost the game on that putt. That up seven oh, turns that right that. seven into a right nine ben, all day. Ben's feeling for him, but Ben will take it. And that Ben's is the take W the right there. That is a killer way to lose. I, I know that feeling. Yeah. Man. What a great game that saved yeah. us OT. Win by and, Ben there. And there's no other match going on on the ben stream. Ben is going to move on. and uh, Paul Taylor is Squeaky on the Squeaky got the next. win on that one. And yeah, we got nothing. Let's finish this chess match. Though. All right. If we wanna, we're going to go back to the chess here. I guess. Look I, at this. Oh, we got I the Niners I am in the end too. game. I'm in, we're in a bit right. of an end game going on here, yeah. Jason. Cheers. Jason definitely has a small advantage. I wouldn't call it small. I'm it's up the exchange. It's a huge advantage, but a lot of pawns. And some pawns. And you took that pawn, right, with the knight? So now it's, I did, yes. Okay, so it's up to me now? Okay. It's definitely, I'm definitely running here. All right, you're on the run. Fitz on the and run. My, my end game is not what you would call probably Fitz good. on the run. Yeah, whatever he says, fine. Counting pawns. I don't know how to play. Can you tell me how to play Checking chess court? kings. Chess for everyone. <laughs> right. What he said. I'm I know I'm no Luna singer, but. I'm going to retreat a little bit here. <laughs> I'm definitely no Luna singer. All righty. How do I? I just want to finish. Oh, he's looking back at the putt. We were looking at our chess. I've oh. been there. That's that's a feeling that I've had many times. Yeah. Where you look back at the trackball and you say, Why? Some people say, why trackball did you do this to me? Why? And other people say, why me did I do this to me? Why did I miss that putt that I made a thousand times? That was a, I'm just going to hit it quick without thinking. And a, and a right seven with no up is different than an up seven right seven. And he got I, uh, he got up up seven up the, up the right seven. I missed a similar putt today, and I won't talk about it either. I did too. Okay. And I, I missed it to beat Mr. Andy Fox. And you get that look just to... I was up one on 18 or 90 Fox and missed that. Get missed the putt. When Very you miss similar that. To that. It's tough. But I was you, up. You go back time. and you think, and you're just like, all I, all I had to do. All, yeah, just, all I had to just do. Just make that putt I've made every time. It's so easy. And then you're just. All right. Can you hit move sad. so we can win this thing? Oh, you move the knight? Okay. I'm sorry. All it's right. Okay. All right, All right. I'm going. I'm going in. Full oh, why are you attacking? Now. Who's after me? Oh, I got Jay Ware rubbing my, rubbing my dome. Why are you attacking? Oh, because that's all. Attack all day, son. My, my, my. Can everyone see the board? Oh, chicka bow wow. Look at all these pieces here. These, look at all these. I just took those. All right. Moves the king. You shouldn't be able to sneak up on me with the I pieces guess I you should. have left. I I can we actually lose this, you think? Is there a way to you beat me here? I'm definitely going to win this. Okay. I, it, it's a matter of time. It's like how slowly do I want to do it or how quickly, but it's, it's going to happen. I guarantee it. You think so? Yeah. I don't even really have to pay attention at this point. It's it's over. Wow. Yeah. That's how much confidence I that have. Is some, that is some extreme confidence. Yeah. Well, I, I, there's probably a quicker way to do it than I'm going to do it, but I'm going to. Well, there's probably. I don't know. I, something. I, I don't know no what I'm idea doing. what I'm doing. So. Yeah, I know. I should I should be getting my king into the game, but I'm going to not necessarily do that. No, no. I'm going to give up. It's okay. It's going to be a little. I'm playing it quick for okay. the folks at home. You're playing this quick? Well, I'm going to yeah. play it Just I'm gonna play confirmed. it fairly aggressive because I really don't know what I'm go doing. Go for it. I want to see it. I know what no. you're going to do. So. do oh, I thought you were going to play aggressive. All no, right. I, I don't Be know what I'm doing. aggressive. B-E aggressive. I hope this is a, like mildly entertaining for people at home. I don't know. Maybe it's not. You know what? I'm just gonna make it like really fun. Let's just do this. Actually, we're gonna we're gonna go at it now. <laughs> oh, it's going balls in, to the wall. In, I'm not even. I'm going exchange we're sacrifice. Trouble. <laughs> we're in trouble here. I don't think I need that rook to win. I'm you don't pretty, think so? I'm pretty positive I'm okay without that rook. I don't think you can win. I think it's going to take forever. No, it's going to be pretty quick now. <laughs> if anyone has seen chess before. Is it? Yeah. Uh, I'm going to get out of here so I don't get myself in a bind. Yeah. What happens when you get that to here? Do you I get, like, convert it or to something? a queen. I can convert it to any piece other than a pawn. I'm going to turn it into a queen. That's actually a rule? Yes. It's one, called two, promotion. Three, four, you're one, outside two, of the square three, of the four, pawn. Three. Yeah. You do know that, though. I like that you're, you know, being inside the square of the pawn. 
That sucks. We have no matches going on. We're let's, about to, though. Let's race over there. Let's see so what happens. We've got a match coming up. We're racing. We're going to. Oh, I'm actually short. I thought I was closer. <laughs> That's okay. I, I have. It really doesn't matter. Oh, man. I let's just you, get this out of the way. I saw you counting it, and I I thought I was good. And I you wasn't. were. That's okay. I'm still going to win, but it's all good. How do we want to do this? How should we proceed? How many here? queens should I bring into this game, folks, on the stream? Would you prefer. One queen. You only have Would one you prefer, queen. prefer no, but I can an upside down rook it can count as a queen and a jam. So we'll see. How many queens do you guys want? All right. Okay. So we got a match coming up. So we can go away from this, right? This is over, Gervais. Yeah. The, this 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 match is done. It's so over. He took that outside pawn, but I have so many pawns to, to work with. Yeah, no more matches until 300 likes. <laughs> that would be so mean. Just to hold the whole thing hostage, right? All right, I just promoted one of my pawns to a queen, in case everyone was wondering. You can't move these things backwards, right? They can't go backwards, no. Yeah, you're, you're good. All right, check. <laughs> Got one queen it is. I let him take the pawn. I will... This is You don't get down to this few pieces very often. You do all the time, actually. <laughs> <laughs> oh. He took my last pawn, so it's just king, queen versus king. And so we're going to try to remember how to play it. <laughs> I'm going to run into a corner. Let's, let's pick a corner, huh? I guess this one's as good as any. Right. And I'm going to do the queen, a knight's move away to, to track you down. <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's just go. All right, <laughs> good game. All right, now we're gonna get back to golden tea. Game All over. Right, let's go. I gotta, I gotta take a leak. Now. Jason won. Fit zero. Hey, congrats. That was awesome. Good job. Good, good game. Good game. Uh, three pieces to two. Jay wants his just board back. Yeah, of course I want. He he resigned, but I was gonna win anyway. So mm -hmm. Good luck, guys. I thought that was the Chesley thing to do. I resigned when I knew I was toast. Right. Well, then that should have been a while ago. <laughs> <laughs> it was more fun seeing if no, you could do it. No, it was good. It was good. If I could have just picked off one more of your pawns, you didn't get that queen, we'd have been good. Oh, it would have been so close, right? All right. Well, Jay, does, does Jay want to sit in here? I'm going to go take a leak if you want to sit in. Do you want to jump on the stream? He would love to. Okay. Well, then he's in. All right. Hey, All right, guys. It's been fun. If Fitz, I, guys are done, then I'll jump in. I can come back. If not... Whatever. Fitz, Fitz did not bring his diaper, so he's going to go take care not. of business. We're going to get Jay Ware back in here. Maybe one of us can jump out at some point, and I'll try to get back in, but whatever. But Jason's Jason. bladder is solid, so he's sticking around. <laughs> Let's go, Thanks, guys. Fitz. Yeah, Enjoy it. One. All righty. We got Jay Ware coming back. Back live full in effect. Jay Ware coming in. It's not getting good because I'm starting to sing like weird songs. That's exactly why I wanted to jump in. <laughs> I'm feeling a little that's warmed when, up. That's when you know I'm loose. This is when I can play my best golden tee now that I'm out. Ooh, nice little drive there on one. Good start. There's a strategy with the uh, strategy with your buzz, right? If you play buzz, get yeah. back to that to play your regular golden. Well, tea they here. say that's like studying in college. If you study drunk, you have to take the test drunk, right? So that the knowledge comes out in the same way it went in. Fun, fun fact. Fun fact. Oh, I, almost oh. an ultra. Fun fact. I tried uh, college three times, made it half a semester every time. Okay. <laughs> Dude, can you add those up into like a full... As you got like one and a half credits, right? As long as you don't put some in the letters into the math, I'm good. <laughs> Welcome back, folks. Catching up. Ryan McCook here. He's on the loser's bracket, right? I'm trying to look at where we're at. Do, do, do. Using the new app. I'm not used to the new PEGT website yet. I'm so happy for the update, but I need. Oh, it's awesome. No, it's cool. I'm just not used to it yet, right? 100%. So, all right. So we've got on the loser side, Ryan McCook and Mike Gray. Mike Gray, Tennessee guy. Right. Playing well. I'm looking back at some of his scores. I don't know. Is Gervais on the loser side? I'm looking where we're at here on that one. 
And yeah, that's got to be a loser match, right? I don't mean a loser match, but loser bracket side. A TBDs. TBDs. There it is. Okay, loser side. John Totora, Sean Gervais. Yeah. So we're doing, we're trying to weed through the loser side of the main bracket. So. Because we got people waiting. I mean, there's there's Wangler waiting. We got yep. GBK waiting. No, I'm good. Thanks, Wayne. Appreciate it. Wayne I'll Kittle's taking care of us. Yeah, any kind. I'll do it with you. Whatever. Anything. Anything. I'll drink it all. I'll drink it all. What Jay Ware whispering sweet nothings to Wayne Kittles. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not a big shot guy. I did that one with Fitz because it sounded like fun. And you, obviously, and Wayne. Yeah. And thank you for getting those. 100%. I'm here for you. I'm usually not a big shot guy because then I really start singing. I get loud and I sing. I'm like Will Ferrell in Elf. Oh yeah, I'm at I a might, Golden Tee event. Might and try I'm to singing. warm. You might try to. <laughs> you might try to keep you warmed up. Then <laughs> would love to see that. Oh, it gets it gets bad. I tied left and right side. We're all tied up. Oh, t oh, all right. Oh, I'm gonna just see? start singing. Oh <laughs> all no. All tied. <laughs> all tied. All tied up. All right. <laughs> A Tickner versus Gomez update. I don't even know. I don't think I have the technology to even know what, how to do that. Tickner's still playing? Let's look. Tickner, Tickner Gomez, yeah. So they're on 19, which is on the other side of the room, unfortunately. We need, like, a, a live stream wireless camera. There is... Some technology. Being well, how cool would it be if you and I had wireless mics with a wireless camera and we could just walk Travel? through the room? Yes. Oh. Coleman? Oh, he's not here. PJ's here, though. Put that on the to-do list. He's not listening to us, but oh. how sweet if we could go mobile. So. Live reporting, like a, uh, like a weather, you know, like the yes. weather people. Yes. Live reporting on, live live on from scene. from Machine 19. Just <laughs> talking behind the players. Yes. They're like all square through 16. And they're just giving a report behind them. Well, I was going to say, Chad Hart has been working on a project. And I feel like it's already out there in the open. But that uh, the thing he's been working on could provide that real-time updates uh, for machines on the across the floor. That's if, great. Yeah. I, love, I love the ingenuity of that. And it's bettering the game, technology, making... Uh, Making it better for everybody. All right, so yeah, I'm I'm looking at the app too, guys. I apologize. Somehow Jade McGill came back and beat Sque Squeaky Bob was up three strokes. We went away from the game. See, I was just talking to Wayne about that. So Jade holds something out on 18. Wow. And then uh, I'm really sorry, guys. That's that's our fault. We were shenanigans, playing chess, and and we we let you down. And I I would like to humbly apologize for that. And that was a. Uh, no, that was a winner's side back. So that was Squeaky Bob's first loss. Then. That's a winner's side. Luna now playing Jade. Wow. That's that's on us. That's huge. our fault. Yeah. All right. I'm going to get. All right. This is what I'm going to do. I'm going to get serious now. All right. You ready? Because Ultra I was stream. I was playing this laid back and I let I let the fans down. 100 percent. And that's and I've been the guy away from the tournament. I want the update i want the best production i want you to I want, we're, it's our job to bring them into the tournament you know what i mean well i think our number one job is to entertain fair enough right yeah. we have we have the pegt website people could see what the scores are we've got games up on there that we can show yeah let's plug that but if all we're doing is analyzing every shot i don't i think we're doing a disservice to I'm the with fans. You, 100%. So I'm with you. if you want a play by play i mean let us know in the chat if you prefer a play by play I'll get into play-by-play -play mode, but I think having stories, anecdotes, the occasional chess, chess game man. breaking out. I think, but that I was a first, though. The chess that was a first. That's a first. <laughs> I think that stuff is is a little more fun than just commentating shot for shot. But if you guys prefer shot for shot, you let me know, and we'll we'll take care of you. Oh, oh, that's Michael Gray. Yeah, a little yeah. short coming up short there. And that look, we've all had that look, right? Yep. Are you kidding me? 
what are you doing to yourself? Yeah, Will, uh, the Chad Hart thing is awesome. Uh, you want the most up-to-date scores, you go to pegttour.com, uh, find the Florida tournament. Uh, I believe Steve's updating that real time with the brackets. Uh, so the latest information, yeah, Andy, pegttour.com. And you gotta, yeah, you gotta be careful how you search that. I've accidentally typed it in wrong, and it's it's not Golden Tee. <laughs> <laughs> So, um, when they when people call it the Pegget Tour, you really got to be careful. What that Peg T? It just rolls off the tongue, but it's yeah, not. it's P E G T, P -E -G -T Tour. Not, Power Events not Golden T. Two syllables, four syllables. Yeah, right. there it is. So I'm a cooks up two here. Uh, I don't know how Gervais and, and I hate this straight look now. It's it's too it's off putting that it's not offset. Uh, yeah, I was doing a full well, – I commented on that earlier, and I haven't been playing a, a ton recently, but some of the new looks were completely foreign to me in my uh, yeah. qualifying and in my two matches. I've seen some pin placements, too, that I haven't seen. Yep. And I play a good amount of Golden Tee that I'm surprised that I'm not seeing some of these looks. I mean, it was refreshing. It's good to see those new looks. I play but a I lot of invites. I wonder if it's like I don't get them because if it's it's an invite, maybe. I don't know. I'm almost exclusively invite when I'm not at an event. At a PEGTtour.com event, I'm usually playing invites. Love it. Looks like Gervais is 19 under here. This looks like a pretty good look at it. Juicy. Come back. Juicy. Oh, mm, little right. Man, that was and freshly. I, okay, so I think Gervais up a stroke right now. Okay. It's hard to tell. It's a little small there. That nonchalant hit. I like that. I like that. Relaxed. John's a Chicago guy, isn't he? Detura. I believe so, by the fact that he's wearing white socks, but. Is that White Sox? No, it's not. Never mind. I thought it was a White Sox jersey. I don't know. I think you're right, but I'm not positive. If you want accurate information, the last person you should ask is Jackie's husband. Oh, you can go to the fairway. I've thought about it, and then I, I always end up going to the same place. See, Nate's got the info. The invites that I'm always losing, like a third of them are generally to Nate. He just <laughs> wallops me. I get confident. I'm like, oh, I could beat Nate now. And I accept, like, four Nate invites. And if I get one win, I'm just ecstatic. Okay, chess yep. story is way less fun than play-by-play. Play-by-play, more fun. So we're going we're gonna to play-by-play. He goes down into that little area, and I, don't, I never go down there for, for reasons like that. I'm either way back for, like, an eight wood, or I'm here. I don't know if that was intentional or not, because that was dangerous playing. Maybe he went for the green, and I didn't see it, and that's where he ended up. But he that chip-up was, was nasty. Straight win, though. He got lucky that it stuck there on the hill. Big chip here. That was a quick oh, shot. Yeah, I think you're trying to hold that out, right? Yeah, and that take shot time a was not bit. a try-to-hold-it-out situation, like a, a type there. So Gervais should be up two now. Yep, up yeah, two. He's up two. Oh, no. Oh no. Oh no. Yes. We're going lemon drop. Yes, oh. We are. I don't know how to do that. Wayne these. Kittles with a few. Does a bear poop in my backyard? Yes, he does. <laughs> right, right after. Cheers. Thanks, Thank you, Wayne. Love you, ma'am. That went down smooth. Thank you, sir. Those are good. Actually, I could do. Lemon drops all day are just tasty. And citrus is good so you don't get scurvy. That That's important. When you go to a Golden Tee tournament, you never want to get scurvy. So you need shots with citrus in it. That one got me a little bit. Pucker. Puckering up. Yeah. Mike D, we'd rather the announcers right. go shot for shot. John the off ball. the fringe here, and he's going to chip it in. Good deal, good deal. Still a two-stroke game, going into 16. 
Gervais should have a pretty good command on, on winning this, unless something gets squirrely. I was going to say, there's not much. Because even like 17, you can play a safer shot if you need to. Yeah. 18, if you're up two, you can go to the fairway and give up one if you need to. Yeah, I mean, John's going to be, he's chasing. He's got to be aggressive at this point. Yeah, for sure. And then Gervais with another good shot. Same, same for uh, Michael Gray. Uh, two down. Or maybe at least two down to McCook. McCook, uh, we were casting McCook and Haas earlier. That's McCook's only loss, I guess. I wasn't here for that. No, I was. Yeah. Never mind. Yeah. Someone was here. The other the other Jason. The other Jason. Was the the, the sober Jason <laughs> was here. <laughs> well, I'm so, okay. So I'm, I'm learning something new here. People do want the shot for shot. I think it's a little split, but the people the people who want shot for shot are adamant they want shot for shot. Gervais going down to the down bottom tier. There's good wind for it. Pork, pork chop coming through. We love it. PC. Even when they're two stroke games. Although we missed the Jade, so that's that's sad that we did miss that. Well, both those guys, you know, they're clean players and the three down, you, you kind of say, well, what do you do from here? Yeah. Uh, I did see Jade hold out on 18, uh, and I guess that was the winner, but there had to have been another hole prior to yeah, that. Yeah, because he was down three, and we just went to single screen. McCook going at it. Well, just a little off to the side. When you're up two, you don't have to think hole out, right? I mean, you want to hole out. You'd rather, you want to be up three if you can. Well, in that one, but you're not like focused on it like it means the match, right? Yeah, you're not chasing by any in means. In the easiest look on this hole, I mean, this is this, yeah. straight at Can it. it get it's, easier it's, a, this. it's a beaut. If you're up, this is exactly what you want. If you're down, you want a tight a tight look so you can possibly get some squirrely action. I like I like this uh, the hole McCook's hitting when the pins to the right. Uh, only because I've hit two fulls um, in both times in qualifying and hold out, and I got some side pop. And this is the it. tougher look on 18. Yep. That he doesn't really, he's up two. He doesn't have to go at it. He is. He's going on. The and he went between the statues, but obviously if he mishit that in some way, he would give John a chance to get back. He yeah. didn't there. Yeah. But when you're up two, you could go to the fairway, and you're you're pretty much guaranteeing a win, right? Yep, John's got a hole out here, and then yeah, Gervais and would miss the putt. Yeah, I mean, so I, I would have, I would have gone to the fairway. Gervais is obviously a champion; he didn't need to. And oh. Just like that, he takes down another match. Whoa! Well, they call it the high side's the pro side. Yeah, oh for sure. And a yeah. miss putt there, yeah. All right, so I think uh, that one's over. We could go full screen on handshakes McCook and hugs. And Gray here, right? We could do that. We could go to just the one match. If we had the button, we would go to the. We, we need that stream deck. We need the stream deck over here, and we need to add some uh, some soundboard ad lib. I want, yeah, I want drops. Womp, womp, I'm, womp, womp. I'm dying for a drop board. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Ooh, back spin rip. Well, it's got oh, the high, high tee. Ah. Gonna, but high tee is the safe way because you're going to snap there. And I know he's down too, but I don't think trying to snap back on this hole is the way to try to get the stroke back, you know. Were they 14? It's it's a two-stroke game. Saying, 13. Yeah, thir 13, 14. Eh, I might have been a little aggressive on that. I mean. Uh, I don't know. I think there's other chances. This, you can. You know, you've got a chance to this hold out. This one's not horrible either. Low T. This is beautiful. I like this. Yeah. I think this is the look I had. I. Oh, we, it was a warm-up. It wasn't a real game. Yeah, low T, let it ride. 78. 85. Oh, okay. beautiful shot. If I'm down two and I need a hole-in-one, I'm going for the hole-in-win, right? <laughs> if I'm going to get a hole-in-one anyway. That happened, yeah, it happened earlier. Like, you might as well just put the 50 cents on it. Uh, I'll tell you, one of my Sussex, I think, was my first PEGT. And I was just playing random casual game with Al Jazz. 
and there was a $98 hole in win, and I did it, and I made it. And Al Jazz picked me up and put me up through the ceiling, like the false ceiling, <laughs> after I made it. It was awesome. Gravy Beast, missing you and your better half. Hopefully you guys come to uh, Nashville. Anybody just tuning in, we're in Sidelines. Sidelines Sports Bar? Sidelines. In St. Cloud. S sports and Billiards. Sports, sports Bar, Bar and, and Grill. grill. Sidelines Sports Bar and Grill in St. Cloud, Florida. Today is match play day. We're getting down. Match play, championship, however you want to call it. This is the place to be. If you've been on the fence about showing up to one of the events, uh, show up, come. Oh, McCook almost. McCook is on fire. Nice layup. McLayup is his new nickname, right? <laughs> Mc <laughs> After the Yeah, uh, McLayup. <laughs> The next one is coming up uh, early March, March 3rd in no, Sussex. No, week out later, 9th through 13th. March 9th, 13th. Yeah, we should put out the right, in correct information. Sussex is a great one. Uh, this is the first stop of six uh, national stops. So we've got... Shotties all around. We've got Sussex coming up, and then probably another one, St. Louis. St. Louis is the end of April. So St. Louis is end of April. Then Clash. No, Nashville is now moved to mid-August. Okay, Nashville. Clash is October. And then we finish Dallas. up Player of the Year Dallas yep. in uh, December, right after Thanksgiving. It's a blast. It's, it's a lot of fun. Hi, Tim. Hi, Tim Glenn. We wish everybody was here. We've got uh, 313 viewers on just YouTube, YouTube, Twitch, Facebook. If you're a Facebook, Facebooker, jump on Golden Tee Fan. Always uh, a lot of chatter, a lot of shots of the week, uh, some technical discussions. It's all good stuff. Pluck. We are getting so close to 300 Whoa. likes. 16 yeah. away. So oh, you my promised. goodness. You promised. You know, when I said it, I never thought we'd get there. <laughs> but if we get there. And, and what was the promise was some insider information. Some insider info that I squeezed out of Kevin Lindsay. Some hearsay about maybe. worlds. But, you know, I'm not in control of my mic, so. Wait a minute. Coleman's got a corn dog. I need a picture of this. <laughs> Yeah, I think I might get dumped. It, <laughs> so, it, you know, even if I try, say, <laughs> worlds, the, what's going to? Yeah, wait. Oh, oh that's going to be awesome. Yeah, isn't going to be great? I, like, can, I just can't wait. I can't wait for that. <laughs> I can't wait. <laughs> 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 can uh. they hear this or no? Oh. I like the switch up. Knows the John Ding is a little bit. So now he's trying to switch it up a little bit. Oh, 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 oh. Ultra strength. 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 Ultra the hottest golden tee, all you can handle. I like the jabs, fireball to build the distance. I'm good at the moment. Tackle. <laughs> ch 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 championship Sunday, Sunday, Here Sunday. Here we are, another one going now. Sunday, Sunday, Sunday. Saint Cloud. You want it? We're gonna bring it. Coming at you. Amazing. PJ and Andy Coleman, big big ups, big huge, shout out. Huge ups. The problem is when I get into doing that, I forget exactly what's happening in Golden Tee. I'm assuming uh, McCook still has the two struggling, but I'm not even sure. Yeah, I'm with honest. you. I'm with you there. So I need the people who are watching for real <laughs> to tell me. Help us. 
LP. Everyone's like, please do play by play, and then we do a three minute kind of well, a little monster ho- truck strip club promo. <laughs> oh no, that was huge. What just that was happened? Great. What I love just that. Happened? That was that's huge. Good. But I want to say, you're an OG caster. This is uh, my second or third time. Um, oh, you sound like a seasoned pro. Going O2, and I get some time on the mic. I love it. The I best part of going O2 is you get to jump on. Yes. Uh, and give the people what they, give the people what they want on Sunday. Sunday, on Sunday. Sunday, Sunday. Sunday. action <laughs> all night long. John Cena. <laughs> <laughs> no, I love it. <laughs> oh my goodness where are the rails we went off them somewhere we can we get back on another uh, miss putt that's tough when you hate down, it for him clap it out for him golf clap golf clap for him 100 percent. big hug way to go mccook and again haas and mccook uh, mccook's only loss was to our reigning champion six in a row or five in a row that Haas has won. So, I mean. Ma- no, no, he lost to Gossett in Dallas. Bro. Do you even golden tea, bro? Do you, do you even I, golden tea? I wish, I hope they could hear you on that. I didn't know, I didn't realize that. It wasn't the Top Gun thing. It was the proper. Gossett won the main bracket, and then Haas came back and won. He won the player of the year because I never got to play him. I took out all the other people, so it was easy for him. Somebody had a T-shirt with uh, Gossett's avatar saying, who's got two thumbs and hasn't won a tournament since 2018? (laughs) But I guess he fixed it. I remember now. (laughs) Meow Chopper, I hope you're still listening, brother. Miss you. Play some golf soon, man. Soon, soon. All right, we got Sean Tickner versus Steve Beatty. This this could be a yes. good one. Yes. This could be good. They probably have, like, a grand on this game, right? They're doing well, a lot of side bet action. That's what I was going to say. I don't know if you get into it, if you're a gambler or not, but I've uh, if I had to take a pick, I'm picking Beatty. I'm taking uh, – yeah, if I'm, if I'm you, you straight up, it? I'm taking Beatty. I'll give you this then. I'll give uh, – I can't do two strikes on both great guys. I'm staying with Beatty this weekend and uh, on the couch. It's too short for me, for my tall ass. Uh, Does your couch pull out? No. <laughs> no <neither. laughs> yeah. So uh, Beatty came over 6 a.m. He's like, man, you look cold. You need a blanket? And I was like, I would love one. <laughs> <laughs> your, 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 your Airbnb gets cold. They've Ooh. got a, a remotely controlled thermostat in our Airbnb. It's stuck at 78. And That's it's the worst. Mean. We've got windows. Uh, we're, we're trying our best. I mean, it's. Uh, can you give zero stars to an Airbnb? I mean, it's brutal. Yeah, to lock it down like that. Oh yeah, I get it as the owner. Well, and that's the thing. Some Airbnb, some Airbnbs. Who knows? We're having a great time. I know, but the fans are not. We're getting, we're getting pooped on. What they want? They want Jackie. They. Everyone wants Jackie. I want Jackie, quite honestly. I thought we were doing okay. I know it was a little funny, silly. Is it that bad that we're just having fun with it? I don't know. <laughs> Everyone. Hey, Danny boy. Out of nowhere, Danny boy coming Danny in. Danny boy. Right? And and the bleeping was not us. That was PJ. We have no control over the sound effects as much as we want to. Are we blaming PJ or are we blaming a- Andy? I think PJ's smirking. <laughs> I think it might have been a little team effort. All right, BD, Tickner, loser's bracket. I'm chushing this, man. I'm doing chush seven city. bird. Oh, God. Seven chush bird chush. city. Nope. He's doing the Tickner chip, which is not. No. As soon as you miss that chip, you're like, I should have chushed it. Beatty's not missing this. Beatty for the chip and take a one-stroke lead after one. Oh, he does miss it. He's not happy about that. He's not going to like that result. Thanks, Brad. We need some help. We need, we need to keep. <laughs> we need some defenders because we're getting attacked. I've never been this attacked on a live stream. I miss In person, I've been this attacked, but not on a live stream. I miss some. 
No, everybody loves us. They love you us. You think this is easy? You think what we do is easy? You doing a little cutty here or are you hitting a full? What are you doing on this one? Um, two in. I didn't see the initial look here. Let's see. Ugh. Yeah, I don't like the mountain. I'm doing a cut. And I'm playing it a little long. No, I know you're not going to You're either doing a cut or you're doing a full. I'm asking. Oh, no. You wouldn't not, hit a full here. Not a full, no. Oh, I it's, like, it's a juicy full. I like the full when there's. It's uh, juicy. I like the full when there's more wind fighting against the full, I guess. So you're hitting it. It's coming back into the wind. Yeah. But this is a zero sum. Here's the full. See, and that, little that, off, well, little that, off. That was my fear. But, but a nice bounce yeah, back, though. Worked, so. well, and that whole, you got the whole backboard. It's a bowl. You just get it up in there, and it'll just end up around the hole. Danny Boy, do you even play Golden Tee anymore? How can you possibly comment that you could tell us better than, than us can tell us how to hit that shot straight over? Yeah, last time I saw Danny Boy was uh, St. Louis two years. Danny Boy's been out of the game so long, he doesn't even know what stouts are. Can you even spell GT? <laughs> <laughs> Jay would do the lose two strokes job. Oh, that both it. of us, both of us would do. I'm good at that. I'm good at the going down two right away. The I, uh, the immediate two down. Well, I'm O2 pink, right? They chirp because, yeah, you, they chirp. See, see, I knew it was coming. <laughs> they chirp because they care. Oh. All right, BD, BD's got a chance to make this. He's always pulls back. He never thumbs it. Really? Yeah, he always. You'll never see him just thumb. And he's got a chance to make this. This is pretty naked. Straight, straight I love forward. it. Get it in. Beady, right one. Just a little, little shotties. Mm. All right, Taylor and Haas coming up. They're still on the winner's side. We're going. Uh, we're going quad screen. These man, are two great matches. I was gonna say we're coming up on King of the Hill. I think. Maybe the, after the winner. Uh, I gotta go back. Look, I gotta yeah. go back to the to the internets. I don't even know how to get to my internets. Yeah, Haas Taylor, and then who do we have? We've got Luna and Jade. So those are the four that oh, haven't lost yet. So they get they'll. So this gets you to the King of the Hill match. Match, and then the winner and of that next one will be King. That's of the gonna Hill. be. We've got some good matches coming up. Oh, Luna made a comment in jest. What was it? I I'm I am going to win this weekend, or he he called it. But yeah, Luna Haas, you kidding me? You can't beat it. I might I might. Do you want to do this? I think I might hand this off. Yeah. I was on this stream so much. I was waiting for 300 likes. I haven't gotten it. Oh, right. net, wait, hang on. What, let's get so the count before you leave. I might be giving this over. We to, need the drop to right Skittles. before you leave. How many do we have? Let me refresh here. 300 was the was the play, right? Yeah, and we just we never got it. 294. 294, and I have to go to use the restroom. We need seven likes ASAP before Lashawa wow. jumps I'm up. Wow, I'm about to get off. Uh, and I'm about to get off the stream, too. It's up to you. You got the secret sauce. I'm not <laughs> <laughs> You going to share it? Oh, here? no. Oh, man, you guys. Smash that like button real quick. We might get it it's before. It's 296. You. 295 now. Oh, man, it's so close. Andy Haas with the Emmy. Andy Haas thumbs. Are they playing the same setup? I didn't really look at what they were doing. Uh, was that a two mile an hour? This is the same yeah, setup. So we got the setup. same setup here. So we know that this is makeable. 297? I'm so... Uh, I'm, I might have to... Taylor. Did we hit Taylor? Taylor? Got oh, it. Taylor. Let's go. Nate's saying we hit it. These people are saying we hit 300 likes. Did we officially hit 300 likes? Wow. Look, hey, Haas, Haas just saw it. He's got to make this. We got full confirmation. We've hit 300 likes today. That's a record, I boing, think. Boing, 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 boing. Champion. <laughs> All right. So. Haas is up. Roll I'm going to tell you guys what I've heard from Kevin Lindsay, which – 
He did not say it was off the record when I spoke to him. And if you don't say it's off the record, it's officially on the record, right? I'm with you. I never said I wouldn't tell anyone. I, I heard from Kevin Lindsay. We were all worried. <laughs> oh. <laughs> <laughs> we're getting the dump button. <laughs> I mean, we've all been worried, right? I mean, they haven't said anything. Is it happening this year? We can, were worried we that it was going to be 2024. Right. So is right? that the beans? That's our biggest fear. I've heard from Kevin Lindsay that it will not be 2024. Love it. That's awesome. But will it be 2023? Oh, yeah. <laughs> That's the big question. Well, Shava he, is a professional on the mic. No, I'm just saying, like, for sure he said no 2024. And then I asked, so what does that mean? What did you guys say? You need, you need me to go where? What? Oh, no, um, I'm staying. All right. I heard it will be 2023. We will have a world in 2023. We that's, most likely will have a world in 2023. Uh, that's huge, though. I mean, everybody wants it. They're they're actively, actively working on a 2023 world. They are the, close. Oh, the people want it. To IT pulling this wants together. It, and they're going to make sure it's the right venue. Everything's set up. It's going to be solid. If they're, they're going to do it, it's going to be they're solid. They're working on that. June to July time frame for Worlds. <laughs> PJ's looking at like, why is no one here? To, can I stop this? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> this is I what I, I got this straight from Kevin Lindsay. <laughs> I, I told people at 300 I was going to tell you. And you're not bleeping me and you haven't cut me off yet. Because Andy's not here. He's a little, a little angsty, I can tell. Now, they haven't finalized, right. so ah. it's, not, it's not definite. But... The word on the street. Sorry, Kevin. I oh, I just got cut. Yeah. <laughs> I just got cut. Am I on now or am I back off? No, I can hear. Oh man. Well, Sorry, Kevin. What'd you do? You said you said he's coming up. He texted him. No, it's just. Oh, funny. he's going over there. You said it is happening in June, July. You didn't overshare. That's all right. You're good. Well, we were all thinking June. That I, they're looking June, July. Thank you, PJ. We're still cut. We're oh, yeah. Fair enough. Yeah, fair enough. Hey, this is all nothing finalized, right? <laughs> so I'm just telling what <laughs> speculation. <laughs> I'm so happy I'm here for this in this moment right now. <laughs> location. <laughs> location. It's happening in Dominican Republic. <laughs> it's happening on the cruise, international waters. <laughs> I've heard that <laughs> No, I don't have the actual location. I've heard that he keeps cutting me out. I, well, I feel like we're still dumped. Are we live? No, we're good. Okay. I thought he just cut us off like just blank. No, stop production. That's awesome. PJ's so he's sweating. I've heard that there's locations still on the table. That it's it's not necessarily what everyone thinks it is. I guess I shouldn't keep going because Kevin will probably really get angry. Worlds at Wanglers. Love it. But these guys are actively working on it. I know everyone's afraid that it was going to get pushed to 24, and it's we're still looking at summer 23. So Whoa, where did hang in there, guys. Where did Taylor just go? He went... Oh, he might be on the left side. Oh, nice kick. Nice kick. Professional. A little bit. We were getting dumped, though. Yeah, he, he dumped me when I was started to tell the location. When I said the location was going to be. <laughs> he cut me off every time, but at least this time, at least this time I was able to get it out when I was going to say that the location. So now they officially know that the location is going to be. So there it is, ladies and gentlemen, just for you guys. That's going to be a great location. Uh, yeah, I, everybody I, I'm so excited to go to. And it's going to be really fun. I mean, I'm, oh, it's going to be good. That's actually massive. There's so many people that they wouldn't have never guessed that, but it's going to be huge. Yeah. 
All right, we're back tied up. 14 on Tickner and uh, Gervais. And if we get flights that come in at the same time, to then we're gonna we're gonna have a good time. Because oh. I mean, when you fly in, to, yeah, then it's you know you're gonna have a good time. Well, and the best part is it's right down the road from the. You know, you go and you yeah, do that. and then and oh. everybody will be there. Everyone's gonna yeah. be there. I mean, it's gonna it's gonna be it's gonna be awesome. Wow. Oh man. That, that three thank you guys for uh, the 300 likes. That yeah. was definitely worth the worth the likes with the dump. <laughs> Which are <laughs> Oh, we just got a new news or in the third so one it's we were told oh. it's three locations. It's either going to be, or it's, or it's going to be, or it's going to be. Other. So as much as we would love to go to, we may have to wait to find out if it's officially going to be. I think Haas just hold. Or me. if it's going to be. Or. Or. Yeah. So yeah. we'll find out. Haas just hold one out. We missed it. Uh, so they're back even on the. Or did he, I don't know if he hold one now. He had to have hold one now. We missed one there. All right, I've officially pissed off the streamers and Andy and PJ, so I guess this is when I should take a break. Love I, it, as much I guys, I really tried to tell you that we were going to but they keep cutting me out, so I I don't know I don't know if it ever made it out. So I, I really I I gave you as much information as I could until they cut out when I was about to say we were going. To. So I'm going to I'm gonna go now because I, I think I've lost all viewers. You, uh, Jay Ware, Love I'm going to leave buddy. you. I'm going to give you Wayne Kittles. 100%. You guys have fun. And then just make sure you tell them what we're going to. Saying that we dropped another one here. So Taylor missed one. I guess Haas missed one. Now Taylor's up a stroke here. What's Wait, up, Kittles, chilling, doing, brother. We've been hanging out, man. Hanging out. What we got going it. on? Uh, we got uh, on the losers bracket side. It's a uh, Tickner, Tickner and Beatty. Beatty, okay. Let's see. Six. Winterside, Taylor, Haas, okay. 16-16. So they're tied up on Tickner. Oh my! BD. Haas just hold out. Oh Haas my goodness! Just hold Haas out just again. hold out. Hey, you know what? He he seems to do that from time to time. You know that? I've seen him. I've seen him hold out a couple <laughs> dude, of dude's times. Dude's pretty good, man. Dude's dude's pretty good. So this is a great back and forth here. I this know, and, and and Taylor will hold out earlier, right? Yep. Let's see. Yeah, this wind was nasty for Halo or for Taylor for Haas. I'm sorry to hit this one out. I'm trying to say if Taylor some work to do with this, it's not a, a straightforward thumb at all. Love the release. Uh, I mean, I don't Play know. The release, maybe I, I don't know. I'm hitting at no spin typically. A so little th harder. I'm hitting that typically a little harder with no spin, but that's that's good. It's good stuff. Yeah. So back and forth, hole out, missed. That's why he's up there. He's a lot better than I am. So. Back in. Tie ball game then. Ooh, I like a little high tee. Uh, wow, a thumb? High release wow. there. We saw this I just, earlier. I, I don't see a thumb there. Though. That's McC crazy. McCook, uh, I think, was playing on this one, just the same setup. Was he? Taylor with. Yep, new, new tour or new uh, YouTube uh, poll. Three hundred, I feel like was a record. Uh, oh, not even close. All right, five hundred likes on a live broadcast is the current, current goal, current record. Not for worlds. Fair enough. Not for worlds. I'm going yes. We can do this. I mean, I mean. We need some people out there to smash some likes, right? They have been. They've been doing work. That's awesome. 
That's well, good stuff. Yeah, they did it to figure out that the tour location, the new uh, Worlds location, is going to be it. So that's, I, that was I haven't huge. heard anything about Worlds, so I don't know. Me neither. <clears throat> so these are hmm. top four here. Uh, I like that On look. the main bracket side, we've Luna is still in here. Let me see. I just had it pulled up. These guys are playing to go to see who's king of the hill. So the winner of this will go to that that who's going to be king of the hill match. Oh, winner of this is uh, king of the hill, huh? No, not king of the hill. To play in the match or, or, or to determine this? who's king of the hill, and then uh, Luna and Jade uh, okay. are are the other. So those okay. are those are okay. our. Well, hold out. What's so a, I what's just sat down. Out? Nobody's holding out. Nobody's holding out anything except for the location of Worlds, which is at. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my goodness. <laughs> Mango, come to an event, brother. You'll have a blast. Absolutely. As much fun as this is. It's so much fun. You'll have more, you'll have more fun <laughs> at the event. <laughs> Gravy B said, it's j -Ware, dude. It's J-Ware. We just are having mm, a good time. I like a full here. I really like that full. Oh. It's oh. Almost full. Good shot. It was That's a great a run really, at it. Really yeah. good shot. Great run I just don't it. see those shots, man. I really don't. Fools. I mean, this one, you've got elevation to deal with. But that's what I was telling Jason earlier. I, I like a full with a heavy wind uh, back into the full. I just feel like my math and how I've hit those shots yep. are uh, – me, I'm gonna, I'm gonna go to the back of the tee box, low tee a nine iron or something, and just pop yep, it in he's there. He's playing right the side. win. Oh no, release might have been right in there. Both great shots, though. Absolutely. I'm not sure where we are. Tick, uh, Tickner and Beatty are in the other stream machine in the same setup. Can't tell where they're at. They were tied. It looks like Tickner maybe down. A stroke or two. We'll see. This wind sets up. Ooh. I'm going left That's, on the fairway, oh yeah, right? Absolutely. It's a one click left for me there. And I'm not going to do anything stupid here. I'm just going to put it out there. Uh, senior Baldy, if someone misses another putt, um, it does happen. These guys don't miss those putts, they don't take them if it's questionable. Uh, but they reconcile that and they understand. You know. Yeah, they're basically if you if you miss somebody's putt, the putt's in. Yeah, he made it. Yeah, and then you got to make the walk of shame to Steve Sobel and tell him you missed somebody's putt. And that's not really a good idea. I like this release straight at it. Ooh, I like that a lot. Right eight. That's good. Oh my. Needing a little run. Uh, Ninety one. Is that what he's at? Ninety one. Yep. Yeah, I think if it hits a hundred there, it goes in. So what do we got? Sixteen. 18, you can go go to the left at the look. Oof. I don't know. I like this look. I I don't like the look. When I play this this look, I, I, don't, I do not like it. Those slight slights. It's a, it's a half-half, right? It's not a straight yeah. thumb. No, it, it is. You it is a half-half. Know your cut, know your, know your game there, but, yeah, 100%. You can get way left or way high. Left is horrible in this because there's not much green to work with. He's going to put it on the green. I like that. I, I like this shot a lot, actually. I like that a lot. The guy's pretty good. <laughs> I saw Taylor one, one of these weekends. He had the uh, chipper. It's like a C chipper or something club. I've never yeah. seen anybody play with it. Well, Taylor and I played. Sea wedge, uh, maybe. Taylor and I played a lot of games in uh, Carolina. Okay. Um, we got in some one to five games, and we were playing there, and just how he see how he sees shots is just amazing to me. Hundred percent. Yep. Tied up. They are. Right, yeah, Taylor, um, Taylor definitely so, has – he's creative, and he's not afraid to take those more creative shots. Right? I like a one-click right here, front left tee, low tee with release, dummy. 
Well, like release, even if it runs out, it's not going to run out as much, which may be counterintuitive. We just got a live report update. Uh, Wangler and Gervais in the loser's bracket. Wow. Uh, we have CJ24 continuing continuing wow. his fight through wow. the lower bracket. That's crazy. And CJ and GVK are up next in the loser's bracket. Yeah, so That's here's the look I was looking at. I didn't see where the pin was at, but they're both going to the left here uh, to have a chance to hole out. I mean... Do, do you like oh. the look? <laughs> no, that's fine. Do you, do you like there. the look? Do, do you like it over there? Seriously? No. no. I don't either. Even with the, I mean, the pin, the, the problem here is with the end win, uh, some of the, the lies, oh, so this sets up well for a roll, right? You're going to go through the uh, through the canyon or whatever. You're going to uh, do roll. You know, me personally, I always do roll. Because um, unless the pin's up top, and then I may do a bite, but I'm going to have to hit it really hard going to the green. So it's either no spin or roll for me every yeah. time. Well, Here, it's a roll all day. Yeah, and, and the reason that you go to the left is you've got more control over the shot. So right now, Taylor would have lucked out on getting a hole up, right? Yep. Haas has full control over the shot here. So Haas needs a stroke. He's looking for a hole out. Maybe he wasn't there. Maybe he said, let's just play. We'll go to OT. Could have been the play there. Yeah, I mean, it's, it's just one of those holes that you Get in. You, you're not thinking about holding out. You're Get never. In. You're never thinking about holding out. Here we go. Unless you have just the, the perfect look. For me, this is one of those holes. You just don't think about that. Yeah, it's OT time. Love it. So, yeah, man. Jayware, man, so good, to, so good to see Going you, Going into OT. I, I, know, I know we haven't we haven't hung out and, and seen each other since It's been a hot minute, yep. Nashville last year. That was the last time we, we hung out. It's been a good time. Every weekend. That's that's what I keep telling folks. If you haven't come out to uh, if you haven't come out to a tournament, make some friends, make some new family. Uh, everybody and, and, here is and, 100%. And, and look, at, at the end of the day, it doesn't matter what your handicap is, what your skill set is, because – they have the different brackets, right? Like this weekend, we have four different brackets. If you're a 15 handicap, 10 handicap, it doesn't matter. You can still play a Golden Tee Golf weekend, yep. be competitive, yep, and and learn some information. Because let's be honest, every time we come away from a tournament, we get better 100%. because we learn so much information from people that we're playing with here. <laughs> Yes, Jay Ware from Nashville, Wayne Skittles Kittles, Georgia, Florida. So, I moved to Florida 14 months ago. I did. I got uh, tired of the cold weather up in Georgia. And uh, I moved to the beach, man. I did. My wife and I, we, we decided it was time. Moved to the beach. Now, I don't get to play commercially because the nearest commercial machine is 50-something miles away from the house. Yeah. But you got the home edition. I still bang games out. I live in a fishing town. So it's in Carabelle, Florida, right there on, on the panhandle. Man, that's all it is is fishing. I like this look. We're waiting for uh, Taylor to come back from the restroom or something, I believe. Oh, it's there. But it's it's there, Jay. 388. It's there. It's yeah. there. Absolutely. And this is OT, winner's this, side. This, this could be uh, interesting here coming up. 100%. This could be extremely interesting here coming up. Chad Trump, appreciate the call out. I love it. If you guys are enjoying it, I really enjoy doing this. This is maybe third or fourth time that uh, Andy and PJ let me on the mic. Um, but I really enjoy it. As long as you guys are having fun, just now I'm having a blast. Lodell, wish you were here, brother. <laughs> Taylo, uh, I think I was there in St. Louis a while back. He loaded up five machines wide and maxed out the, the tees and balls, and then it reconciled all together so he could skyrocket, you know, 5,000 uh, or whatever it was. Jay, where do you need a uh, beverage? I could do another white claw, yeah. Zombie. 
Oh, another white claw, if you don't mind. Yeah, thank you. Doesn't matter. Yeah, uh, drivable here. And oh, it's definitely there. We're definitely looking for there. the hole outs. This one, I mean, Luna posted. It's, uh, a, golden one click, it's a one click right full roll. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, Luna posted uh, recently a hole out on here, and I think a week no, or two I, I saw ago. That. I saw that. Yeah. Tagline, PGA tagline, these guys are good. These guys are good. Now, and I was picking at him, too. I'm like, how did that not hit the mountain? There's a mountain right there. These guys, they're, they're, they're really good. They are. Kick off it. Oh, my goodness. That's, see, that's and, puttable, baby. Well, and that's huge cause, Maybe. because Taylor got to see that. And if I'm Taylor, Taylor. I'm, I'm playing off of what, what we just saw. I would not be surprised if this goes in. Oh, mm. oh he did not get the kick. Oh, my goodness, it's stuck. That's crazy. That is crazy. Love it. Still looking for the hole out here. Let's go putts, right? We're not we're not rooting against anybody. So we're we're in sudden death here, right? Hundred percent. Sudden, sudden death. death. First hole out calls First it. First hole out wins. Okay. Um, wow. It's gonna come soon if I had to if I had to bet. Well, and, and this is one of those courses that man, the Petra, I struggle with Petra, but there's a lot of whole lot opportunities here. Yeah. There's a lot of really good cut shots that are just. A little right. That you really kind of set into, you know what I mean? We've got uh, Luna and Jade are signing in. We'll bring, bring you that action shortly. This is a great look here. I mean, I, he's got to get close here, if not in. Oh, he pushed it. Just a little he right. He pushed it. it was, you can see. Nope, it was just a, it was can, a, it was a yeah. smidge right. We can he did, tell. he pushed it. We can tell. That's one tick off yeah, of the, uh, absolutely. the thumb. I mean, that's a half a damn that gun click right there. And it just. Uh, I just noticed Taylor's shirt, too. Come on, Taylor. He's, he's a tick to the right as well. Oh, he a bite. He did not backspin it. That was a backspin shot, Taylo. Sudden death. First hole out wins it. That's that's not a bad look there at all. They are going to be pin hunting. No, this is this is going to be one of those. They're going to be have. They're going to look for the straight up win, or just a little off of it. Yep. And with a front pin, they're going to take it up high and just snap it back with the help of win. Yeah. The the layup shot, or not the layup, the approach shot is uh, it's pretty straightforward. So that's, Taylor's going to have a little. Mm, I like that. Oh, uh, that's. <laughs> I'm I doing mean, that 125. Pardon my French, but that's pretty sexy. 142. Oh, I would have uh, been, been short. That's why I'm in the pink bag. <laughs> well, I would have I clubbed up with backspin. And yeah, I like I like this. When you had the help and win, oh my goodness, such a great ooh, shot. Ooh, ooh, ooh. That guy's good, man. God, he's good. When I grew up, I want to be like Andy Haas. Just saying. <laughs> when I <laughs> I'm not grown yet. Give me time. <laughs> I love the two iron here. I'm still rocking the three bird shot. I carry a one bird for this. Yeah, you got to have something low like yeah, that. Yeah, my buddy Miller, man. He, Cowboy One Bird, old Miller. Oh, yeah. He's very play, active. Play games the, with him and a good player. Such a great player. We have a lot of fun when we played. This one might go. Oh, my goodness. Oh, he had the line there. It was, it was tracking. Wow. How good are these guys, man? I guess that's why we're sitting here at the table the, and, the and they're best. still playing, right? Exactly, the best. It's a tough field this week, though. Oh my goodness. I like a high T. No. Oh, it's low side. Just a low. Okay. Just a little left. Interesting. This is another one. It's you just gotta adjust for that little bit of wind. Oh, Taylor's got the gap wedge, though. He's got the gap wedge. I think Taylor's gonna hit that with a little. 
Um, no spins. Oh, this could Pop be in. This, that may be it. Boom! There it is. Taylor. Boom. Got it. First loss there. Wow. Haas is not done by Paul any Taylor. mean, but. Oh, my goodness. Paul Taylor. Look at it. You how, can see how, him how cool is that? You know what? He, he is one of the best dudes, man. I love Taylor. As seen on T. Well, yeah. <laughs> as, 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 he's got his face on his shirt. Oh, yeah. I mean. He came to play. And, and he knew. He knew that you put your face right there, you're going to be on TV. Love because it. he's that good. Oh, my goodness. He just beat Haas. And Haas, I mean, again, I, I watched earlier McCook and Haas were going back and forth. And uh, some of those slight wins, slight adjustments, and, you know, they aim small, miss small. And, and he said multiple times, ah, or, you know, you could tell he was upset that he didn't make it. Well, That's one he wished look, he, he would have had back. And I was, I was talking to uh, Taylor outside. Um, went to the little boy's room, and I was hanging out with him and chatting for a minute. And he's like, I feel good. And yep. I told him, I said, I like you this week. I really yeah. do. Oh, I, yeah. I, I feel like he's due. You know what I mean? It's been a while. He's got, I think, two uh, uh, two wins several years ago, but I don't think he has a, he's had a win in a while. Taylor? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, 100%. He's due. And I told him, I, I, I feel like you're due. Well, right. same for GBK. I mean, you, you want everybody to, to have the best run, play the best. Maybe. Well, I mean, let's be honest. GVK is obviously the best player that is does not have a win, obviously. And I don't think anybody's going to argue that point. I'm a big CJ fan, but George has definitely been in it a little bit longer than CJ has. A lot longer. A lot longer. Fair enough. Uh, but same, yeah. I would. I'd love to see GVK get one. I'd love to see CJ get one. Oh, oh. go in! Oh my goodness! Who oh, we got? Luda. Lay it Luda up. Look McGillum? at Jade. <laughs> Did you see his eyes? Luda he's McGillum. like, him. Oh my goodness! He's like, come on, man. We just got started. Wow! Wow, that's a great shot. <laughs> Hey, they're playing golden tea. Let's talk about some golden tea. How you want? Exactly. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Good answer. Look at Good it. Try. That's one more rotation. Luna would wow. Watch. What is it? Inches. Six inches. Six inches. I didn't think that was possible on golden tea. I guess the rules four. I think four is the four as close as you can get. Yeah. They they measure from the middle wow. of the the pin. Wow. You know, radius from the pin to the hole. Wow. I guess. That's awesome. It's two really good players right here, though. It's two really good players. That's a straightforward look right there. This might, this might hold out. Taylor Ooh. is Haas's kryptonite. Could be. Paul's the third best player in the room. Al Jazz, I'm going to need the follow up. Who's the top two? Paul, Paul's my first best because he's my buddy. Need to get a Fox update. Is he still bulldozing purple? Well, I kind of, I was kind of disappointed that I didn't get to play him. I went well, out too early. <laughs> yeah, there you go. But I mean, I lost both my both my both my matches were lost on clean rounds, so I can't be upset about that. I made mistakes and they didn't. So, ooh. To me, I like that look left a lot more because of that wind. I don't mind a longer shot. I'm with you on that. The closer shot's going to be a little more. I, I like loft. that left look. So you got right plenty, here, of, plenty of green to work with. Right here, I can hammer uh, an eight wood with no spin. It's going to be right. Yep. I, I don't like the release there. I don't. That's a no spin shot for me. This should be real good. Um, oof, it was almost really, really good. Really, really good. <laughs> I mean, the guy's kind of pretty good. How I many? Uh, um, no, he's our current current, he, world, he's champion. current world champion. Yeah, isn't he? yeah, current world champion. I mean, yeah, exactly. All right, so they're both gonna hit an easy little bump down there then and try to give them a good angle to the pin with the right spin they want. Looks like the pin's back left. It's, uh, it's a little tight. I mean, it's a distance shot. I like, uh, oh, he's going across. 
Okay. Okay. Well, he is all in. So. The only thing there <laughs> is you get a more lofted club. You're not going to get the same spin out of the rough, but because it's lofted, you can drop That's, it in and it'll trickle down. This here is eight and a half bite. Would that win? Uh, yeah, I'm running nine and a half and a ten and a half. I like to smash the ten and a half, and with bite, it's gonna grip. Well, a bit but, harder. but with that with that pin bottom left though, it's if with that ten and a half, it bites so hard it comes back. I'm not trying to make it in the hole at this point. Like I want to get on the green, get my putt. Oh, I'm always trying to make it. I'm always trying to make it. Though. Fair Good enough. Shot there. He knows the shot. Good shot. The lofted six, drop down. About to bite the, it's going to trickle down. Really? Points on points wow. on points. I feel like he's got a couple of these GSPs already. What's up, Orlando? I feel like he's uh, <laughs> the world champion. The current standing, right? Oh, yeah. He's pretty good. Okay. We, I think Andy Fox is coming up on the other stream machine. Oh, that'd be fun to watch. That, that'd be fun to watch. I, I like the idea of that. I really do. Do we know what? If we can make that happen, I like the idea of that. Do we know where uh, Fox is at? I'm going to look on the bracket here. Um, Find, find the winner side. Yeah, yeah. Oh, 100%. <laughs> find the winner side and, and look at the top and see. Go from there. So we got Gerard is still alive in purple. Dan Gillard. Yeah, a little long home. All right, so we're going into hole number oh, nine. Oh, it's Jamie Arrington. Yeah, versus Andy Fox. Holy smokes. Okay. Don't threaten me with a good time, brother. Don't what? threaten me with a good time. Jamie Arrington's playing Andy Fox. Looks like we're down to. Oh, my goodness. Yeah, we're doing six. We got six alive on the winner side of purple. So, yeah, we'll bring uh, Andy Fox and Jamie Herring Harrington. Oh, that's, that'd, be, that'd be fun. Uh, that would be fun to watch. Two really good, really, really good players. Kyle Heasley is playing, uh, I don't know, John Luko Luoski. I don't know this guy. Kyle, we know, in purple, is still alive. All right, so and we got a. Yeah, so quite good. Gillum. Look at him's going to do a five bird with bike fan. I, I like it. I like it a lot. Up oh my, and close. Oh, my goodness. I like that a lot. Such a great shot. Wow. Wow. Tell you where. I thought that was going in. It was, it was very close. I thought that was going in, brother. And, I mean, we say Luna wakes up one better. So, Jade knows. He's, even though they're tied, he's not relaxed by any means, right? No. No, I would not want to be in his shoes right now, I promise you. I would not want to be there. I drew uh, Luna first round of close to the pin Thursday night. Yeah, it didn't go well. And I could have beat him if I hadn't messed up one shot. But it's just the intimidation factor of, of, of playing with Luna. Oh, right? yeah, 100%. Oh, my God. Scott, I was trying, man. <laughs> I was trying. I don't know the guy. All right, so now we got the Fox and Jamie Arrington. Um, Arrington. Um, let's see how this goes. Pretty straightforward look there. Jamie's good. Represent. Wait, Man, does that Jay. say Nashville? She's got the Nashville, Tennessee hoodie on. Let's go, Jamie. That's the hometown she, she's, bar. <laughs> she's. Ooh. Look, where she lives, it, it rains and it's cold all year. <laughs> she's in Seattle, right? Oh, so. yeah. They, uh, she came down uh, a couple weeks ago. We, we got to hang out and roll some games. Her and her husband, Mike, are just absolutely phenomenal people. Love yep. them to death. And she is such a great player. Oh, she I mean, her name's she won the women's. Oh, she um, did? Oh. No, I, I don't know about this year. I mean, last year, she got a world's pass in the women's. Mm -hmm. And she's just and – and I see her name a lot through our leagues and through Discord. Um, and if you're not familiar with the Discord, reach out to Jay Ware or myself. 
Um, Goldenteaclub forward slash Discord. If you want to join, check it out. Huge Discord group. Huge Discord group. There's there's information about tournaments, um, information about um, just whatever. Right. It's we just, did that live head to head play. It's a good. It's a, if you yeah, love Golden absolutely. Tea, it's absolutely. a great way to stay in touch. Absolutely. And play some games. Hundred percent. No, Jamie. I mean, it's Fox, but she's good. Jamie wants to win. She's good. You know. She, she, you know what? Can I go out on a limb here and and say that I like Jamie here? I wanted to. I, I, I I'm going to do that. I'm, I'm to be honest with you. I'm I'm going to do that. I'm going to go out on a limb here and I and I like Jamie. All right. I really like Jamie here. I'm I not, do. We're not rooting against Fox, but you know what I mean. We're we're we want no, everybody yeah, I am, to win. Yeah, I picked Jamie. Oh, uh, okay. All right. Yeah. I mean, I love Fox to death. Dollar, but. shot. Um, Let's do a shot. You can. I'm right. gonna shot on. Right. Absolutely. All right. Absolutely. All day, every day. Love it. All day, every day. We're still tied up, Luna and uh, Jade. Well, they're in sudden death. Yep, Sparks, we want everybody to be here. It's, it's uh, every two months, give or take a little bit. Get to come out, come and hang out with everybody. Have so a few drinks, go to dinner, 17. play some okay. golden tea. It, you can't beat it. Man, I tell you, it's – it's. my first tournament was life-changing for me in the golden tea community. I've been playing golden tea for a little over two years. And it's just crazy how addicting the game is. And how much more addicting the people are in the atmosphere of these tournaments. And I became hooked. Yeah. Absolutely flipping hooked. Well, that's me. I mean, I get to jump on here and do this with, with everybody and, you know, O2 and Pink. But, it, yes, I play a little T, but it's more important. Like, I look forward to hanging out and spending time with everybody but here. What's really crazy is, is the people that you meet, like, these weekends are people that you would never even have a conversation with on the street. Right. Yeah. My wife and I was talking about that earlier. It's just you, you would never even have a conversation with people on the streets. Well, it's like Golden Team Moy. Yeah. Golden Team Moy is one of the most genuine, solid people you would ever meet in your life. And I would never know Golden Team Moy if it wasn't for this community and these tournaments, right? No, yeah. Uh, oh, nice, nice chip, Jade. Oh, my goodness. That was a great team. And, you know, it takes a certain type of person to really love this game. You got to like video games. You got to like golf. You got to love math, right? You got to be competitive. So, from all the different walks of life, that's and, one thing that everybody here has in common. And that, that's your base. That's where you start. And, 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 and loving the gambling aspect is, it helps too. Well, yeah. 100%. <laughs> Man, I was playing some 1 through 5 games. It was just. The squeaky ball is pretty good. <laughs> Meow Chopper. Pretty awesome that Jamie Arrington made the main against uh, main bracket against Fox. Uh, um, Fox is not in main. So, Fox is in purple bracket. That's the main. And, uh, which was really kind of crazy because when you see Andy Fox, you're like, yeah, that's not a purple bracket guy. And I – and I don't know what happened in qualifying. I have no idea. Yeah, he was but. disappointed. I mean, he knows, and everybody knows, right? But he's going to play his game. He's not – he's going to play his game. He's going to bulldoze. Like, that's his goal. Bulldoze, purple. Get and, and as a purple bracket player today, I'm sitting there every match. I'm like, well, even if I go all to the end, I'm still going to play Andy Fox. <laughs> yeah. This is an interesting little look on uh, Luna – Luna and Jade's game. I like the full here, though. But you got to know it and trust it. He's going half-half around. No, I like that. I like that. I, that's a lot safer shot. He's, he's not trying to lose it, right? That's that's the biggest thing. He's not trying to lose that match. Fair enough. Hit the green, middle of the green. Get your putt. Exactly. Get out of there. Let, let him mess up first on a look like that, right? It's just one of those, one of those deals. You don't want to be that guy. Fox, real close again. They've both, uh, both of the Jamie. Oh, Luna. In the water. Luna just watered? He did. Holy smokes. I feel like it wow. was a half-half shot. I, I didn't see it. It's on the, the quad screen. Wow. There. But Jade, you know, he's going to take a sigh of relief. Are they on the winner's side? And he misses or the putt. Or side over here. 
uh, immediately gives one back. So Luna just hit hit into the water. Jade just missed his putt. Um, so instead of going up two, Jade is now up one. Wow. Over Fox. Luna. That's crazy. Fox and Jamie are uh, both trying to hole out here. GSP. Luna's got to be favored in that, right? I would assume so, but you know Jade's up a stroke right now, so I mean, I what crazy. better could you ask for there? I I, I would. Oh, yeah. Oh, absolutely. Absolutely. 100%. Yeah, my money would definitely be on Luna in this match starting it out. And for him to be one down right now is just wild. That's I did not see that coming. But. You know, I guess he just overcooked it. I, I missed. I couldn't see the shot. If yeah, he did a he three did. bird he bite, he just, just overcooked it a little bit. And look, let's be oh, honest. We've no. all done the same thing. Oh, look! He took his deep breath right there. Good. Oh, bless it. He's he's not liking things right now. He's well. This is still winner's side, right? Yeah. So uh, yeah, yeah. I mean, even if he loses this, he can still play his way back uh, yeah. back through the loser side. Yeah, he's not done. Absolutely. I mean, it's it's thirty two guys. I mean. To hit the loser side here, he might have to play three matches maybe to get back. But and without looking at the bracket, just 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 assuming. So yeah. So Haas, yeah. So Haas dropped. It was uh, Haas and Taylor. Taylor moved on. So the next one will be. Uh, yep, hundred percent. Uh. Yeah, so Taylor is in the match to determine who's the king of the hill. Yeah. And then, you know, as it stands, Jade is uh, going to be playing Taylor to determine who's the king of the hill in our main bracket. Okay. Haas is not done. He gonna Maybe we'll have a Haas Luna down in the lower bracket coming up. It is true. They're both on the loser side now. So, um, what do we got on the Fox Aaron match over here? I'm not sure what the status of that match is. <laughs> Switch hitter, good point. Who has Jade in Calcutta? Get in. Oh, my goodness. Oh, oh she is so good. She is so good. Well, that's how she got her name. Pay the girl. She is so good. It's like eight. Wow. Eight under. And eight under. Yeah, so they're still, okay. we're so all, still, still all square. So that match is all square. Uh, 10 under through 7. So, well, let's see what the look is here. We've got a uh, – ooh, that's not a bad look at all. Yeah, I like this. That's that's a whole out opportunity all the way. A high tee thumb. And, and to be honest with you, I like Jamie's opportunity here. I like it. We do have a little skrilla, a little shot skrilla on this one. She She's is not good. going high tee, though. She is good, though. No, it's no high tee. It's hard, hard with bite. A little harder. Nope. That's why I'm in pink. Go in. Did I Let's not, go, did I not tell you? You did. I'm telling you. You know dude, something. She is flipping good, dude. Pay the she girl. She is good. That's the reason why her name is Pay the Girl. It's Jamie Arrington. Look at look at Fox. He's it's like, Jamie Arrington. He's like, come on. It's Jamie Arrington. Dude. <laughs> it's Jamie Arrington. Come on. He loves it for, but he's and you know, also. And, and, and I was talking to her husband, Mike, and, and Mike's like, I'm okay with being the guy that's that's I'm okay with that under the radar. Because her husband's fractionally better well, than low. she is. I bet they have some good games. They've got home machines. again. And, they, and, and we do. We, we stream on Discord. Yeah. There, there's a huge Discord group, folks. I, I, I'm telling you. Huge Discord group. We all stream together and get in group lobbies and with our machines. And we, we play games and we have a good time. It's, it's And Mike and Jamie are in there twice a week. Uh, yeah, I mean, Al Jazz. they're always in there. Al Jazz, absolutely. But I bet I bet Jamie and Mike have some good head-to-head. -head. Like, I could see them, all right, for the dishes. Well, that's what happens when your wife and, <laughs> and you, you and your wife have a have a machine side by side, right? Let's play an invite to see who does the dishes. <laughs> that's awesome. But she's up one right now. Great spot to be. I like this. I like this. Ah. I All like right. reading those thumbs. Jade, Jade takes Luna. Wow. Pushing Luna to the lower bracket. Wow. So we'll have Jade wow. and Taylor 
to determine who is the king of the hill. And we're still, so this is a purple bracket winner's side. Neither of uh, Jamie yes. nor Fox has lost correct. yet, right? That is correct. That is correct. And Jamie's up one. Wow. Tim Glenn, if you, uh, if you want to get on the Discord, you can uh, open up a web browser. Go to goldentea.club forward slash Discord, and that will be an invite page. Uh, you get in, folks will tell you how to get set up. It's, it's a great thing. If you love the game, you love the, the people here, it's a, it's a great hang. All right, so I could <laughs> Yordi. I could beat Mike once in a while, but I couldn't beat Jamie. <laughs> I like this, a hard butter cut. I think that's what she's gonna do. I like that. There's plenty oh, of yes. Perfect. Yep. Perfect. Oh, yep. she is dialed in. She is. And you know, Fox is like, holy smokes! I, 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 I mean, can't lose. It's to, Nord to, to a girl. You know, it's in his head. It's got to. Well, be. She, Jamie plays it's clean, right? And she's got the, the benefit of, of getting a hole out here. So she's sitting pretty. Uh, Fox has, you know, he knows he's got work to do. He's got to do more than just play clean. Well, I mean, I'm used to getting beat by her because I play a lot with her. Um, but I just don't know that he's used to getting beat by girls. Fair enough. Fair <laughs> I'm enough. just saying. <laughs> she's very good. Just saying. I love, again, I love she's got the Nashville <laughs> hoodie on. Represent Absolutely. my hometown. Nashville is a fun town, man. That's always a fun tournament, man. And, and, and it is. Nashville is, is – Nashville and Orlando are my favorite tournaments. This one is um, – On, the, on the, the side of size and the adventure. Yeah. Carolina is my most favorite tournament of all. Yeah, clashes. The uh, Muse Brothers are here. They run that over there. At, uh, yes, they do. Yes, they Cala, do. And Gino, Callaway. man. Gino. And, 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 if you, and, and if you have not listened to Gino's podcast, look for Gino's podcast. Such great information, especially around tournament time. And those guys share a lot of great information. It, oh, it's yeah. It's a lot of fun. That, and that's, again, that's what we were talking about earlier. You, you don't have to uh, – you come in with a with a ten handicap or even a, a plus handicap. It's not about that. It's if you're interested in the game, you want to know more. It doesn't matter how well you shoot. Come meet folks. You will get better. Absolutely. You, you will leave. Absolutely. You'll leave a better golden tee player, and you're going to leave with some friends. Like I, I've I've literally and 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 I and I've said I've said it before, but in the past a uh, little over two years that I've been playing this game, I've learned at least one shot or better on my handicap every time. Oh, After yeah, you tournament. improve, improve. I've my got, first time, I've I went worse. from a 22 to a 24 within two weeks after the tournament. Just <laughs> <I've> because <laughs> of things that I learned throughout <laughs> yeah. the tournament, yeah, right, yeah. From, from playing with just great people. Well, it's, you know, it's the uh, different clubs, it's the different balls, it's uh, cuts, fulls, thumb putts, chick, uh, click chipping, mm -hmm. I mean, you can – anything you want to learn, even the top guys, Luna will, will sit down. You ask him about a mechanic or a shot, and he'll sit there and be like, here's what I know, here's how I can coach you. Absolutely. Every, everybody Absolutely. is like that. So, Jamie's thumbing it. Oh, little – oh, she – I think she uh, was trying to throw a little out left. I think she hit it straight. So, we got McCook. And uh, Squeaky Bob, man. Squeaky Bob, he, he took some money from me this weekend. McCook has been battling through the lower bracket since his first match with Haas that he lost. And it, they went into overtime 13 holes or something. So yeah, McCook, Robert's going to have a tough shot. He, he's going to have a, a streaky little, a tough little chip coming back into it. Um, it looks good. No, it looks really good. Mm. And, yeah, Bob's going to have a little – Little, little challenge here. Yep. And I'm wondering if that is that Bush in play. I, I don't, don't think so. Okay. He's not doing the click chipping, and it's in. Oh my goodness, Squeaky it's Bob. In. Little butt pat. Good job, Robert. That's awesome. He's a good player. Really oh, good yeah. player. Oh yeah. He taught me a shot this weekend that I'd never thought about on Hollywood, and and I was sworn to secrecy, so I can't tell you. But 
Tell me off air. Hey, hey. <laughs> After I buy you a shot. <laughs> you, you, you can put that on a cracker. That's money, dude. I promise you. Put that on a cracker, you dude. You put that on a cracker. I promise you. That's money, dude. Love it. Yeah, in case y'all can't tell, Jay Ware and I are pretty, pretty country. Oh, yeah. We're southern. We're a little southeast guys. He's in Nashville. I grew up in West Georgia. I've been Recently in Nashville moved to Florida. 30 years. 30 years. What do you yeah. like, 38? 37. 37? Yeah. yeah. Still a young buck, man. Man, I love Nashville. It's You're a young buck. Great shots. It's awesome. Goodness. You guys are good, man. They are. They're good. Jamie still is playing clean, protecting the one-stroke lead. How cool is that to see her just being competitive against Andy Flippin' Fox, man? Him and his calf muscles and all. How cool is that? <laughs> well, that's the real. It's, <laughs> you know it, what I'm saying? The world's location is not the secret sauce. The secret sauce is what is Andy Fox's calf look, workout Look, look I promise you, if I'm playing that match <laughs> against him, I am not as calm, cool, and collected as she is. I promise you. I promise you. My nerves be all over the bad gun play. Yeah. Well, because <laughs> he's got he's in a position to chase. Go in. Oh, oh shit, backspin. Jamie. That was a little conservative play on her part. Fox even was That was game. extremely conservative on her part. But yeah, I, 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 did I not still think that. I still think Fox is chasing. And I think Jamie might be a little concerned about the putt. It's a little it's on the longer side. Oh, medium I would, be, long, I would right? be concerned about the putt. I mean it's Come on. It, oh. is, it is not an easy putt. That is not an easy putt. What, is she left three? Looks like left five. Left I think. five? Yeah. Um, Very makeable. Come on. No, I mean, it's not a tough putt. Boom. Center cup. I mean, it's, I, Jamie, I, I, I it's Jamie Aaron. This. It's yeah. Jamie Aaron. I stress this. It's Jamie Aaron. She, she's a special kind of lady. I promise you. I would, a, not, I would not gamble with her. Let's take a jump in our, on our current poll. We're a little bit split. Uh, the current poll is, can we break a tour broadcast record and hit 500 likes for the live stream? It's a, it's 58% say yes right now. To do, yeah. do the haters a favor, close out, hit the like button, share it, subscribe. Uh, I mean, I'm not going to beg for anything, but you know what I'm saying? I'd, I'd love it. Well, you get, I'd love it. You get uh, with the likes and the shares and stuff, it'll show up in some of the other feeds where people are just scrolling. And oh, that's, absolutely. That's I get the it. benefit. Grab the game, it. share no, it. No, absolutely. I get it. Get some new folks in. Could you I get it. Could you imagine somebody that doesn't, they're a golf guy or something, and they come across a Golden Tee stream and jump in, and that's how they figured out about the community? And then learn how to play Golden Tee. And, and then, then they show up. And then show up for exactly. tournaments. Exactly. And that's, then win tournaments. That's what it's about. Well, kind of, win, well, win I mean, tournaments could be. I don't know. It could be. I, I'm still hoping. That's kind of how I found my way into the game. So, <laughs> All right. Three holes to go. Jamie's up a stroke. I'm trying to think. Let's see. This this could be. It's not a bad look no, here. No, that, that is not a bad look. I, I'm liking one club less. Nope. The, you want to spin with that win, so I like that. I like this backspin. I like that with backspin. Absolutely. Yeah. A little, a little slight, straightforward, a little baby cut. Yep. I like that. And you don't have to get too aggressive. I mean, you want to stick it somewhere up there near the cursor. No, absolutely, sure. absolutely. And I've been keeping a one eyeball. McCook. Cookie almost hold say. out there. Oh my goodness. Ooh, I like that. Go in. Ooh, a couple more rows. Jamie, ja Jamie, safe. And and you know she walked away from that shot. She's like. Whew. Yeah, <laughs> yep. Did, you know she did. Did my job. Because that is, that is not an easy hole. I mean, I don't, I don't care what luck you have. Fox can get a little aggressive, but you don't want to get too cute with this because you can lose a lot of strokes here. And he doesn't, he doesn't no, have he's, to. He's good. Yeah, he's he good. doesn't have to press uh, yeah. so much here. I mean, there's, he does have to make, make one. I, I mean, Jamie's going to play clean on the way out. So, Fox has two more opportunities <laughs> and, and to catch up. And it's crazy because uh, Jamie Harrington. As much uh, golden tea as I've played with her, being a, that we're on opposite opposite ends of the coast, the worst I've ever seen her uh, in, in competitive play is a four-off. That's the worst I've ever seen her in competitive play. That makes sense. I wouldn't doubt that. And, and, and that's crazy. 
Well, hell, I shot 18 earlier on stream <laughs> first game Did on, you? Ho on Hollywood. I'm sorry, Jay. Yeah, that was a 10 off. Great, I'm sorry. great shot. I'm there. sorry. I still, man, I've been to a bunch of these, uh, eight, nine, ten of them, and I still get the yips. Like it's still, uh, I don't know. I got to figure that out so I can play my game. I still don't come in and be comfortable, and you know what I mean. You know, you know, this weekend I, I took a completely different approach. Um, I stayed a lot more reserved, um, a lot tamer than what typically you do, if that makes sense. Yeah, 100%. I got you. And I played a lot better goal on team this weekend. I really oh, did. Oh, look at this look. I really did. This look. I mean, Fox. Oh, my goodness. No, that's a high 10 and a half. It's, it's not terrible, but it's, it's a, a good. It's a high 10 and a half with a bite and hammer it. Good look to run at for Fox, too, right? Because he's going to be running this could it at be, the hole. This could be a swing right here. It could well, be a swing. If she holds this out, it's over, right? Yeah. But I don't. I don't like trying to chance that too much. It's a good look to bit somewhat aggressive at. Well, it's, it's up ten. I mean, she's got. She's got to jam this, and I mean, I, I can't disagree with the look. I mean, it's there, right? She knows what she's doing. I mean, look, she's the world's qualifier, dude. Oh yeah. She, she knows what she's doing. She looks very calm, cool, collected, executed. Oh. <laughs> No bite, and that was in. I, and, and that was my question there was the bite. That was my question. But, you know, she didn't want to but, get too wide. She's putting the onus look, on Fox. It's, up, it's Fox's it, turn. If to, she doesn't bite there, she's in the snow. Yeah, she's could be. I get it. Yeah. I get it. I understand. She it's puts, fine. She put it on Fox. Fox is looking whole out here. I mean, you got to go aggressive. If he doesn't make it, it's going to go long. But he, he, he has to hole out. Jamie might have three world's passes by the end of the day. <laughs> it's possible. It's possible, Jazzy. Oh, my goodness. Nope. Oh. That's going to miss left. It's going to miss left. Yeah. Wow. Wow. Well, so. let me know what shot you want, brother. I mean, wow. She's going to make this putt. I love it. You called it on hole one. I like Jamie here. Dude, I told you. There it is. Look at it. Everybody, I told you, man, I, I told you. Everybody, I would have. I, I was, I was willing to bet money with anybody on that. I love Jamie there. I did. Everybody's Absolutely. cheering, clapping, hugging. Absolutely. That's huge. That's money. That, that's hey, that's money, dude. That's money, dude. You put that on a cracker, baby. Yeah. That's money, dude. She's just such a great player, dude. She's so solid. And that's consistent. what it's. That's what it's about. She just does not make a lot of mistakes. And that, I mean, that was, a, that was that's a key. one better, you that's know? Key. Yeah, exactly. she, she got the hole out, took care of business. Jamie's just. Oh, and McCook. McCook just shorted one. What happened? What, what did McCook just I don't do? know if he hit the top of the tree. No, no. What did he do? What did he do? So, I mean, this. I don't know if he clubbed down on accident there. He, he hit the treetops and it went short, but he's. Wow. Oh my goodness! Oh my goodness! Damn it, Cookie! Oh no! And this is a uh, on the lower bracket side. Does that put? Oh, so wash. Yeah. So, um, I guess. You and I need to. Yeah, we're gonna step we're gonna here. pass it off. Thank we're you. Pass it to off to Kevin's Andy Lynn, and uh, PJ for letting us do this thing. We got uh, Rachel and uh, Kevin Lindsay jumping in. Hate to see that from McCook. You guys stick around. We're getting close to the finals. King Absolutely. of the Hill matches. A lot of golf left to be played. Stick around and hit that like button.
All right, everybody. Uh, thanks to those guys for, for keeping the stream going, commentating for a while. Kevin Lindsay here along the eventual Mrs. Uh, Rachel Anthony Luna. Yes, I will be changing the full name. I'll just keep Rachel, and I'll go with Anthony Luna. Hey, I appreciate so much the invite. I heard that this was Andy Fox's retirement party. Oh, wow. <laughs> that was a joke. I'm so sorry. <laughs> <laughs> That was, I, yeah, I have, uh, you know, I'm like Dan and Shay, I'm speechless right now, <laughs> Jesus. I love, listen, I have to say, I love Andy Fox a lot. He's, not that anyone has ever not been nice or not been welcoming, right? Um, it does help that I am on the arm of one of the most liked people I feel like in the game. Um, but today, Andy Fox paid me a compliment on my personal style, and I, I've never felt better in my life. <laughs> so you you showed him the respect back by just just cutting him down <laughs> right on the live stream. Yes, one hundred percent. No, but congrats to to Jamie. That was an amazing victory. Uh, you know, Andy Fox will be the first to tell you you don't plan on getting in the purple bracket, but when there's such a massive field of talent, it happens, and there's upsets that happen just Absolutely. like that. Absolutely. Oh. All right, so uh, Danny Boy, uh, the Minnesota crew, Mr. Uh, Pete, Pete, Pete Biddy, they're all they're all happy to, to hear you they, and me, but more you. <laughs> I waited to get back in the booth. I was like, I'm not doing it until she's ready. No, I, I had heard, fun you know, yesterday doing it, so I'm happy to be back. It's a good time. So what do we have? Obviously, it's Ryan McCook and Squeaky Bob playing, but where this is the loser side of the bracket. Well, we're minus 15. Okay, so Squeaky Bob's up one after 12. Yeah, so as we were kind of getting ready to transition uh, announced teams, I saw that McCook had a, had a pretty rough uh, rough go on one of the holes here on uh, Champ 99. Okay. So, but it is Champ 99. Hole 16 can be pretty tough. Um, that drivable par four. Hole 18 is a potential drivable. But this is a, I mean, for Washburn, this is a great uh, position for him to be in. Again, another player who is who is good, goes to the tournaments, and plays well. But um, I would say even for him, he's playing against Ryan McCook on the stream machine 100%. at 6.30 in the afternoon is, in the evening. It has been such you know. a long day. I am impressed by everyone's stamina for these matches because it is, there's a lot of people here playing a lot of golf and... Uh, a lot of drinks flowing as a well. A lot of drinks flowing but, as well. You know, and I, I was talking to Paige Gossett earlier. Uh, you know, kudos, shout out to, to Steve, Russ, and Paige from Power Events. You know, running five different tournaments. You've got the women's only tournament, the gold main bracket, the purple bracket, the pink bracket, the copper bracket, and you've got 30 machines and 186 people. So you're trying to field people in between all these tournaments. 100%. Um, and, and keep the flow going. And, of course, you have games that go over time. You have, uh, you know, just just games that... I've seen multiple of Andy Haas's games go extra, and those are stream machines, right? So it backs up the stream machines. Everything kind of trickles down. You understand the, the logistics of it. It's hard not to, you know, get a little upset when you, you might feel like you've been sitting on the back burner, but, you know, kudos to everyone for trying to keep their mind in the game and, and keep playing. I know not everyone has the cojones of Andy Haas to sneak on machines. Um, and <laughs> risk the wrath of the Steve Sobel shout out, you know, for <laughs> taking up a machine. But, uh, you know, everyone is, for the most part, you can see the crowd is thinning out and people are playing their games. I'm getting left by my uh, co host here for a second. Yeah, so with, if Jamie, if Jamie wins purple, and women's does does she just get a lifetime pass to worlds like is that what happens because she already I has mean, a pass I, for 2023 i think we'll just figure she that out the as 2024. it happens are you just do you give her a 2025 or do you just say you know what ma'am you as long as you want to be here we want you here that's what i would do wow really <laughs> uh, coming from the guy who's working yeah right <laughs> all right so uh right now Looking at the main bracket, and if you want to follow along, pegtour.com. 
launched their new website a couple days ago. Click on the Florida tournament and the main bracket. Uh, Steve Beatty looks like he's going to be playing against Chris Brewer here in a little bit. Ryan McCook and Robert Washburn going on right now. So the winner of this match will play the winner of Steve Beatty and Chris Brewer. Yes. But you are on the loser side of the bracket, so uh, one of these gentlemen is going to have the end of their tournament, uh, you know, happening at the end of this game. Robert Washburn. I don't want playing. it to happen to either one of I know. them. <laughs> Nate Stoll says maybe she can give one of the passes to – to I, Mike. I'm sure he yeah, would appreciate I, it. I don't think that's uh, that's how that works, but <laughs> we'll uh, we, you know we'll cross that bridge when we get to it. Now I am going to take this time on the mic to ask a somewhat selfish question: Does the uh, world champ of last year get a pass to Worlds of this year? Absolutely not. Well, isn't that ridiculous? No, you got to earn it. Now, didn't. Didn't that happen last year? No. Mark Stenmark <laughs> came and how did Mark Stenmark qualify for Worlds last year? In Vegas last year? Yeah, he, he went out and qualified. He, we don't, we've never that, given that, out. That was my question. Oh, I yeah, asked no, no, you no, no, that. No, no, no. Oh, no, no, no. I said, I, well, no, I said, did, did what did Mark? No, no, no. You asked about. Your, your hubby. And I did. No, I, I selfishly yeah. asked if Paul got a pass, but I said, is that not how Mark went to Vegas? No, no Mark no, no, went no. out to Vegas and qualified in Vegas? No, no, no. He qualified before Vegas. He qualified for in Worlds. In, like, the weekly tournaments yeah, that you yeah, guys yeah. do? Okay, I, I just wasn't aware because I, I don't follow Mark's golden tee shenanigans as no, closely no, no. as I follow Paul's. No, no. We, uh, we've we been very selfish, and we never give out World Championship passes to the winners. I, I don't know. It's just been a thing. We just okay. don't. It's, it's All right. you know, Name they got to gotta, they gotta earn it. <laughs> we'll talk. We'll talk <laughs> after. We'll talk after. Yeah, I'll, uh, I bank at uh, the bank of Sean Tigner and David Key. So just let oh, me know. Oh, good. And, and actually, I'll thank send that money <laughs> along. Oh, thank you, Stu Fox. By the way, um, I take that back. He did not qualify in the weekly events like everyone else. He won T the Tournament of Champions 2019 right before the pandemic. So he won the World Championship pass from that tournament. Okay. And do you because all still of do Tournament of Champions? Because I'm not familiar with no, that. No, so so Tournament of Champions Ooh, was club. We had a, did we just have back-to-back -back waters? Yeah, yeah. And he missed a putt to bogey, too. That is uh whew, that's uh I don't know what what tree did he hit though. Unless he but did, oh, but, but did McCook water too? No, he no, well McCook watered sixteen because okay. I think he had. I, I saw water and then we got talking and I saw water. No, again. no, it's all right. Uh, no, it's uh, wow that that uh, you see McCook going to the right of that tree just to avoid any chance of hitting the branches. That oh, that is not good for uh, <laughs> Mr. But Washburn. I mean, so what? But he's at. He's at minus 22. McCook was at what, 18 or 19? But the double water will hit him hard. Yeah. Mm. Okay, so Nate's saying that uh, Mr. Washburn missed. Oh, oh, okay. Oh. So if so, he missed McCook's putt, then so add their all, even. So we're all tied. Wow, this is uh, uh, impressive. Now, this is the whole, I was talking about 18. This is somewhat drivable. I mean, for, <laughs> I just got a, I'm so sorry. No, you're good. <laughs> I just got a Facebook message. It's uh, someone that thought my comment about my bank was funny. That's good. That's good. That's, that's part of the fun, the excitement of being on the live stream is, is saying things and. Uh, yeah, I'm a loose cannon. You don't know what's going to come out, right? No, not at all. <laughs> I'm going I'm to just keep my mouth shut. Anyway, so Golden Tee. Yes. So McCook, uh, both these guys in the sand, but this is a tough pin. Uh, this is not something that you really want to go hard at and try to chip with like a five or six iron. The higher over the club, you know, the better chance Risk you got to roll it in, in the, the water. water. Yeah. Yeah. Even with backspin or bite, down eight is still. You see McCook. He's trying to. He's trying to balance his shot here. Oh. Uh. That's exactly, yeah. Now he's just gonna. <laughs> oh God. Who's Pete uh. Biddy? That's funny. Jamie's raffling off world's passes later. 
Peter Butler, Mr. Peter Butler out of uh, out of Washington. Now that is, oh man, that's tough. I, I'm pretty sure that. Yeah. Yeah, that's. I mean, you have to do that if. I'm, you know, and now McCook's going to be kicking himself because he hit that that C, like that full shot on 16 and went in the water because he thought at that point he had to get on there. He didn't yeah. have a lot of chances, and uh, and Mr. Washburn just. I mean, a couple of bad shots. Um, but we saw this in the qualifier on Saturday with a lot of players. It's, you know, people had good rounds on, on champ and then 16 and 17. Absolutely. They're tough. They're tough looks. That is, um, you can see McCook there. Uh, yeah, that is uh, that is a extremely tough loss for him. Um, not, not much you can really say other than that. All right, so as you probably hear uh, Mr. Steve Sobel in the background uh, calling off matches here as we get ready to uh, All right, let's see. So Al Jazz, by the way, I saw he had said, yeah, he did, uh, he did, he did low tee that and still caught the the tree, which is why McCook went to the right there on that. But but that that's a tough one. All right, so while uh, while we're waiting for matches being called, if you're interested in getting a Golden Tee PGA Tour Home Edition, store.itsgames.com. Use the the coupon code PEGT Tour to save $250 off of a game. Um, if you already have a home edition, I uh, highly recommend you get the arcade collection, mini golf, bowling, uh, lawn darts, and bags all in one, and then you get a PGA Tour, buy a PGA Tour with it. But that coupon code is good until the end of Monday. So wake up tomorrow, grab your wife's credit card, and just get a game ordered. Yeah, you guys, if you need my routing info for that bank I was talking about earlier, just yeah. let me know. Just shoot her. Just hit her up a message on, uh, on the old Facebook. So, I don't remember where we heard this, what tournament it was at, but uh, Worlds is going to be played on the PGA machines. Yes. Correct? Correct. All right. So, I was uh, briefly on this uh, stream commentary the other day with uh, Woody Warren, um, and he said that when he heard that, he switched his strategy 100%. At his home bar, he only plays the PGA machines, which, like, I know, like, Paul, for instance, uh, plays in Cypress, Texas at the Vector Room. So if anyone is ever in Houston, please hit up Sean Tickner, GVK, Sean Bay, Paul Luna, any of those guys that play there full time um, or, you know, are affiliated with the Vector Room. But <laughs> uh, let, let them know, and they've got a, a great setup. I mean, They've got a setup there. It's nice. Enough. Uh, but let's be honest. More importantly, yes, you can go play Golden Tee and learn from the pros. But you may even find Rachel there. Occasionally I do like to show up uh, around, like, the, the big events where it's like, hey, crawfish boil at the Vector Room. Hey, uh, steak night at the Vector Room. <laughs> ba basically anything with food. If there's You're food in? there, I'm I, in. I love that. I'm in I, every time. I appreciate that oh so much. Yeah, just, you know, something to make it a little bit more hospitable than just a bunch of dudes playing video golf, which is what I've spent my entire weekend doing. <laughs> yes, but there's clearly, very clearly a reason why you uh, why you do it. That's all right, though. It is. Oh, here, we have a question here. Sorry. Any word on the number of players that will play at Worlds this year? 96, over, under, what are we thinking? Uh, it's going to be, it'll be 96, at least Is it 96. always 96? No, it, it's very, I don't even know if the last one was 96. It's been so long, I'm not good at math and numbers. But I will say uh, we will at least have 96, if not maybe more. Um, mm -hmm. But more on that, mm -hmm. you know. Oh, wait, yeah, of course. And to follow up more on that, Gravy Beast, uh, I can confirm that Worlds will be at the Vector Room. There's six machines. It's going to take 72 days. Yes. <laughs> I also can confirm that's a rumor I just made up. <laughs> I can confirm that Worlds is happening in 2023. That, that is my conversation about Worlds, and that's all you're getting from it. So it's not at the Vector Room they lied to me? 
No, they did lie to you. Dang it. I was told there was going to be free food, so honestly, I was in. Yeah, I think, see, you gave out you gave out your strategy, and they're like, well, we just got to tell there was food. Exactly, and now that I'm just going to show up, and it's just going to be GVK and Paul on a machine and Sean Gervais watching Glee, and, like, that's my weekend. Yep, and there's going to be no food. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> All right, so we've got Chris Brewer taking on Mr. Uh, Steve Beatty, who, um, I mean, he's had a, a really good run you know, he's got a home edition game. He is a really good player. but and I Chris Brewer or Steve Beattie? I'm so sorry. Uh, Steve Beattie. Okay, thank you. Uh, you know, because Chris Brewer is Chris Brewer. He's a, he's a top player. He's, you know, he's won tournaments before. He's been in this, you know, he's used to being towards the top um, as he hits a really, really nice shot on Easter 1 trying to get that eagle. But for Steve, he's you know, plays in Michigan. Uh, you know, he's made some runs in the gold bracket before. And I, I don't have it in front of me, but he's probably been in this position before. But um, it's always just fun to see him playing against, you know, these top guys that play probably two to three times as many games yeah. he does in a month. And he's competing on such a level against them. And I feel like a broken record saying this, but like. Look at that shot. Point I mean. out a nicer guy to me. Like, he's just so kind. Sorry, oh, you were pointing at yourself. Kevin no, Lindsay No, no, I wasn't. Is, I wasn't let pointing. the record show Kevin <laughs> Lindsay is no. pointing at himself. I wasn't pointing at me. I was just, like, <laughs> asking you, like, oh, so are we not including me in this conversation no, or what? No, that's, you know? again, just a testament to everyone here. It's, it's hard to come here and meet someone new and get a bad first impression. And I think that that's really wonderful. It's made me feel incredibly welcome and... It's another reason I keep coming back. Yeah. That not, and the drinks. <clears throat> right. And also, you know, Paul Anthony Luna. Well, yeah, I guess. It's like a vacation. You get to you spend, like, some time with him, and if he's not doing well, you just go and do something fun elsewhere. Oh, I went to Disney World. Oh, it is see, a vacation. See, exactly. <laughs> <clears throat> you know what? Can't even be mad at it. Hey, Dave Sandmeyer, thank you so much for getting Steve drunk in Costa Rica for, for seven, seven days. days. And I think Steve wants to thank you as well. Yeah, that, that has prepped him for today's uh, long running of the gold bracket here at the 2023 Florida Open. Yeah, and I know that, you know, not to say he's not going hard on the drinks, but he's bought me at least a shot so far. So, you know, he's enjoying himself, but still. I think you'll be able to tell uh, by hole nine how it may be affecting him. But he looks, he looks really good, and believe me, I, I've seen Steve Beatty at a tournament uh, where he's the opposite and he is not feeling so hot. <laughs> this, you know, you can tell it in his eyes, honestly, and, like, the way he's, like, looking at the track ball <clears throat> and hitting his shots, that he, he's on something today. Like, he, he's on a really good roll. I always enjoy the laser focus of uh, Chris Brewer when he's playing. For the most part, he is silent and just dead on – dialed in you know uh Haas and I were talking yesterday morning during qualifying um Chris Brewer interesting guy maybe one of the only people I've ever seen that travels with like multiple pairs of flip-flops to switch out during gameplay uh has his own little personal hand fan and not just like I was a little, gonna say the hand not fan. even just like a little USB fan but like a massive like you clip Clips it on this the chair. Old, I've used it before yeah. in a tournament it was actually it saved me one time I mean, it's a great, it's a great and idea. Just, he's got it's just that, not, uh, the shoulder massager. That's right. I forgot about he's the shoulder massager, too. He's got that little, like, uh, you, you know, you see it on, like, the... 4 a.m. TV the ads. The home shopping network. As seen on TV. Yeah, yeah. the little muscle relaxer gun thing. Uh, yes, that's, you know what? That's a good point. I honestly forgot about that. Yeah. <clears throat> so he, he does. He he thinks of all the possible scenarios. What is the conditions of the bar going to be? Am I going right. to be hot? You're in Florida. It's 60, 70, 80 degree weather. Yeah. I'm, you got to be prepared. 100%. And he stays prepared. And I appreciate that. All right, well, on the machine, uh, well, sorry, Steve was calling some matches. We're trying to hear what's going on here. Oh, it looks um, like GVK. GVK is in front of the other stream machine. Um, I'm pretty sure George is out. No, I don't think he is. Mm. Is he going to play Washburn? Nope. No, Clint Grover, well, let's see. Oh, no, I, I take that back. 
Chris Wrangler is uh, playing against George. I, I did know that. I did so know that. I, I apologize. When I saw George a cut like an hour or two outside, it's he was talking about how he lost, and I must have misunderstood him. I thought he had lost his second match, but it no, was only his No, he had just first. lost his first match, yeah. So he's playing <coughs> CJ, who Paul knocked CJ down into the loser side. Oh, wait. Uh, we also lied because the bracket didn't update. It is Clint Grover versus George. So Clint has, must have beat uh, CJ. No, I think George beat CJ. George and CJ were playing each other, uh, I think. I'm not going to In Golden fully. Team? I am correct. Good, Excellent. Good, good. Because I did, I told George, I said, hey, good luck. And then I looked at CJ and said, I didn't mean that. <laughs> ah, the old uh, playing both sides, <laughs> huh? Um, I, listen, <laughs> Paul's already on the loser side of the bracket, which means he's, he's a probably, loser? yeah, it means he's a loser. <laughs> so I'm probably going to break up with him soon. So if there's anyone single here, let me know. <laughs> Kidding. Um, no, he's probably going to end up playing Andy Haas. Uh, In the finals? <laughs> He'll In probably, the loser's finals. Yeah, like Paul. Yeah, Paul Paul will play. No, will he? Because he? they. That was amazing, by the way. He did it, and neither did Paul. They went down in the same round. They. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Sorry to interrupt, guys. He, yes, yes, I'm picturing it wrong. Yes, you are. Yes, everything you're saying is correct. Uh, so, in my mind, I've already mentally prepared to see Paul play against Andy Haas, and I think it you're could just go, used to it. I, I mean, think it could go either way. Obviously, I want Paul to win because. Do you really though? Yeah. No, see I hope so. I just need that. Like, I'm not over there to make sure that no one is buying him more shots. So I hope that no one is buying him more shots. Ooh. I hope so. <laughs> I know he was really kicking himself after his uh, Nihon course against Jade. Uh, so. <laughs> so I think that we'll just, let's see. Comments, comments, comments. Hey, Kevin. Hey, Jason Graham. How's it going? That's the only comment. Well, we're just going to ignore that comment. I don't have my glasses on. That's all I can. Mm. That's all I'm seeing. Yeah, just seeing the bottom. <laughs> yeah, got it. Got it. Understood. <laughs> That's amazing. Oh, good times here on the stream. I'm glad you're you were able to join us. Appreciate having you here. Honestly, I uh, this is the first tournament I've ever streamed at. Uh, been on the, like the stream, and it's been fun. I really enjoy it. It's nice to have someone who is um, more familiar with the courses, so that they can kind of talk about what's happening, and I can add. My little you can quips just bury of humor people and on the stream. Barry Andy Fox. <laughs> I don't. Somebody should go check on that man. <laughs> oh man. I, I, I hope he's not mad. I, I thought it was really funny. I wow. And I would have honestly, I would have said it about anyone else. It, like if something it about been, it being Fox. But just if makes it had it been, that much if it had been CJ, if it had been Andy Haas, if it had been Paul, I would have, I would have said it about Paul. I would have. Mike, thank you so much. That's honestly very kind of you. Ooh, oh, wow. wow. I don't even know what to say about that. That was. Uh, I cannot could, believe that stuck up there. You, I mean, you could see that in Brewer's face. He was like, <laughs> I wish we would have had the Zoom it replay was, yeah, of his face. Yeah, we were the it audio was, for his face. <laughs> I mean, yeah, that he's going to he's going to just take a step back and, and get some breath in because that was uh, that was truly impressive. All right, so you've got GVK and uh, is that Mr. Mr. Grover here on Machine Twenty Four? So this is the this is fun for me. This is a battle of stouts versus not stouts on Machine Twenty Four, which we kind of got into uh, talking about. I was talking with Mark Gomez, and because I'm not familiar with like players that don't play stouts, I know that obviously the majority of players do, um, and all of that. But he was. We were just talking about Clint, and, and he was just commending him for his stubbornness and sticking with not stouts, you yeah. know. Um, but it's, I watched him play. I don't remember who I watched him play, but it was – he's just a great player. It's just – it's great to watch this level of play of the game. I mean, it, it really is. And, yeah, Clint, I, I said it like, – 
there's like four people, myself included, I think, that don't use stouts. At you don't this use point. stouts? No, I do not. I, I use, did not know that. No, I'm, I'm stubborn. I'm, well, it's not stubborn. It's just I've done it a couple times in the in the Golden Tea Lounge. Like, people have requested it. And I yeah. just, I've played so much not using stouts that it would take me hundreds yeah. of games to get used to it. You so know what I mean? Is If anybody knows, uh, I'm looking for a new. We're looking for a new buried. director of esports. Um, uh, everyone's just getting buried here, I guess. <laughs> we need more <laughs> shovels. Um, so, does Clint play Titans? Do you play Titans? I use grabbers, um, grabbers. But, but he uses Titans. Okay. Titans get a bit more bounce. Um, other than that, I think they're they're pretty similar in that regards. But a lot of people prefer the Titans. And there's just something about Clint. Like he he won. I believe it was the Wisconsin Open, mm -hmm. um, and he was not a stout player. It was, like, yeah. uh, the big deal yeah. at the time, uh, and it still is. Like, he he has really, really good runs. Oh, look at that. Chris Brewer on Machine 23, little uh, par 3 ace. Can you talk to me about the uh, attributes of Titans? Like, I, like compare them to uh, – So so the biggest the, – honestly, the biggest thing is with, with stouts – you're you cutting the, the wind in half. Decrease in wind, yeah. Um, with Titans, you're getting um, more more bounce when the ball hits the green. So okay. if you have a shot with backspin and it's coming in hot and fast, you're going to get a bigger hop with it. Okay. Um, which could be good or it could be bad. Um, I mean, obviously, people like uh, Brian Bernhardt and Clint, and I think Matt Van Hoosier is the other one that yeah. uses Titans that mm -hmm. hasn't switched over. Yeah, that was the other you, one that you, you play those – you know, you play enough games with those golf balls and you get accustomed to how the ball reacts. Yeah. The biggest thing for stout is, stouts is the, just the, the distance, or excuse me, the wind being cut yeah. in half. Um, you know, they, they, they go a decent amount, and that's, I think, part of what people's concern or issue with them is that um, for a ball that cuts such a significant importance to the game like the wind, they shouldn't go as far. Yeah. But... It's something we've talked we've talked about for years, and but you see a lot of these players that are in uh, higher positions in a tournament, and they're using stouts. Like, would they be there without it? Yeah. Like, it's helped bring more people, I think, into the game to a little bit, which is tough. Oh, oh, Chris! Oh my almost, God, I thought that was almost in. getting another uh, hole out there. <clears throat> All right, so hole ten on Norlin with GVK and Clint is drivable. It's one of those uh, new tee boxes that isn't always the drivable look. It's kind of, it's not as fun if you're having, it's a par four and you just shoot it in the fairway and hit it on the green. Especially in match play like this, it really does make a difference. This is not a tough look. Yeah. Um, but it, but it, the more opportunities you have for driving it, the more opportunity, I think, for either hole outs or just somebody making a mistake. Yeah. We've seen it, you know, we, we've seen it happen all day. So Chris Brewer, I believe, is up at least one because of the hole out there. Oh, oh. wow, that was a beautiful shot by George. Um, especially for a nine mile an hour wind blowing to the right. Again, he's using stouts, so uh, you know. But it's just fun. It's fun to watch him play a top tier player play against you know a top tier player not using stouts. I get it. He's gonna have a longer putt here, but it's it's just. It's entertaining to me. I'm just gonna full stop there. Oh, see, we talked about him. I and didn't. It's... I really didn't think that was gonna jinx. I didn't think. Thought for a few. Yeah, it's a good point, Josh. I want to say it was uh, when Adam Harris was either close to the finals or in the finals, 2018 or 2019. Um, Paul Taylor has been a stout user f ever since they probably came out, yeah. and nobody ever really paid attention until he started doing really, really good. And then a culmination yeah. of things, and, and all of a sudden, you know. Now, I will say a lot of people are like, oh, you know, stout's this, stout's that. I, I get it. But the number, like the percent of players using it is not that great. Yeah. Like, I don't know. I can't remember what the number is off the top of my head, but the last time we looked because of a conversation that came up at a tournament, they're not. Um, well, I don't think that your average. I don't think your average bar player plays stouts. I don't think they know about them in the same way that people that go to tournaments and see people 
play as successfully as they do at tournaments. You know, I mean, like, it is a little bit of an equalizer. And that's okay. I'm not advocating it either way. I'm just saying it, it does kind of level the playing field and it makes it oh, good job, I a little bit more even, you know, regardless no. of how many games you have under your belt or what your skill set is. Right. No, you're you're absolutely right in that regards. And it's funny, Mr. Uh, Mr. Bernhardt missed him this weekend, says barf stouts. Um, and, and Kurt, yeah, I don't know if it was eight to ten years before everyone got in the stout bandwagon, but it was like, it was definitely, um, it was the definitely Godfather at least six or stouts. seven years. <laughs> Taylor's Taylor the, the Godfather. Godfather of stouts. Can we get that put on a shirt for him? I feel like he needs that on a shirt. I mean, he already has a shirt with his face on it. He does have it. a shirt with his face on it, but I don't need his face on it. It just needs to say the Godfather of stouts. Or I'm picturing like his silhouette with the beard and a hat. Godfather of Stout, something like I'm. Listen, I'll get in Photoshop. I'll work something out. All right, I'm in. I, I would love to see this. <laughs> All right, so real quick, Chris Brewer up one on hole 12 on Easter. His tee shot did not make it. He's chipping out of the rough. Again, this is not that difficult of a chip, but again, you're getting farther and farther in the bracket. Mm -hmm. This this match is make or break. Um, and Chris is one of those guys. I feel like you see it all the time. He he goes to make a chip or hit a shot, and he thinks about it and he redoes it a couple times. Um, not as much as like others we've seen where they, you know, go to pull back and they like hit the button. Okay. They go and reset. But, mm -hmm. but Chris knows that this is a, is a significant, uh, opportunity for him. And he just doesn't, he just doesn't like the way he, it looks. I don't know who he's knocking for on the cabinet. Getting but, a little um, reset there and making sure everything's at equilibrium. Well, I'm glad we can figure that out. Oh, he made that, but it was—it barely grabbed the the left side of that cup there. All right, so after 12 on Easter, Chris Brewer going to be up one on Steve Beatty, GVK, and Clint Grover going into 16 here of Nordlin. Oh, Clint. Okay, wow. Now, this is a significant chip here for Clint. Oh, he makes wow. it with ease. <laughs> I mean, <laughs> look at Mark Gomez in the background there. Um, this, is a, this is a big game for both these guys. George still up one. 17's not usually too bad of a par three. This is a nice setup. Um, the ice, the water is frozen, so you don't have to worry too much. Oz George almost makes it. I like this setup for, for Clint, though, using the full nine mile an hour mm -hmm. of the wind. Um, and he's, he's going to pin seek because he's running out of holes. 18 is not usually a, a, break, a break hole, if that makes sense. All right. Wow. Oh, come on, Clint. And he, he is so stoic. Like, you look at his face, and he just doesn't show emotion. Yeah. Which is, is a good quality to have in poker and in golden tee tournaments. Oh boy. Um. Yeah, F1. All right, so Clint fun. has to make this, but honestly, this is a really gorgeous setup. Pin at the top. He's got a chance to run it in with maybe, probably release. That win behind him, yeah. Oh. Oh, oh wow. Okay. That hit the frozen and then bounced into it. Back onto the green, yeah. yeah. All right, that's a tough loss for uh, for Mr. Clint Grover, uh, part of Team Wisconsin, even though he lives in Illinois. But we, we let it slide. Okay, yeah. Um, that's we kind we of like you. we like him enough. <laughs> um, man, that that's a tough victory. Good. Uh, congrats to George. It sounds like George is going to go on to play Paul Anthony Luna the 14th. And uh, we looking back at Chris Brewer up one on Steve Beatty. Hole 14, uh, this is the sometimes drivable, absolutely drivable with this look. You're going to watch these guys hit it underneath the tree and ride the rough. And, oh, he wow. did get it up there. All right. Let's see if BD follows. <laughs> Eric liked the, the video on both accounts. I, we, we appreciate that. Got to get them numbers up. All right. Now, you can to go high T here, but I'm wondering what, what Steve is going to do. Oh. He's going he's gonna to try to ride it 
on the right-hand side. Do you right run the risk side. of the trees? You do, but uh, but I th it's actually like I think it'll be okay. Okay. But I don't normally go to the right of the trees. Oh, so he went right to left. That okay. Wow. That might have been just that looked like he was going to get stuck. And now he's got a tough putt. Um but he's going to drain oh it. Oh my gosh. Now, Chris, luckily for him, he's got an up ch an up putt, so it's not going to be as difficult, yeah. but it's still not a gimme. Ugh. All right, so both these guys at the top of uh, the 50-man leaderboard on the game they're playing, getting into hole 15. So you have a drivable par four, you have a short par three that can be tough, uh, hole 17 is a long par five that can be tough, and then hole 18 can be tough. So the next couple of holes really are potential swing holes, yeah. depending on the pins and the it's winds. It's not a given. No, not at all. It never is, though. That's Even true. Even when you think it is. That's kind of where people make mistakes, is they think <clears throat> they think they've got it, yeah. and they don't. Now, so many things I can say, but I'm going to be <laughs> responsible. Um, so, uh, Luna, GVK coming up here soon as we uh, get towards the end of Brewer and Beatty. Now, the six wood is not a fun club to try to cut around. So kudos to, to Steve for, for hitting a great shot there. Pretty easy putt. But he knows, you can tell he had that kind of look and up. He knows he's running out of time. He's yeah. running out of holes. He's running out of opportunities to get it in. Um, and all right, 16 mile an hour wind. Uh, eight mile an hour wind for these guys with stouts. but but still not a gimme shot by any means. It's an excellent shot wow. by Mr. Brewer. <clears throat> now Mike D saying, you know, BD gonna hold it out. I know he was talking about um, a little while ago, but this is absolutely a great setup for him to have that opportunity. opportunity. He's only got, you know, if he only had one shot, one opportunity, would he seize it? <laughs> oh, he pushed it left. Now he'll be fine. He can make this putt. Um, but this is where, this is where if a Chris Brewer or a McCook or a Luna were in these situations, I don't think there'd be as many nerves. Yeah. And I'm not saying that's the case for Steve, but he's not necessarily in these um, situations as much as these guys, so he's not used to it. He's not having, not used to having to play the, um, you know, the poker face and just not showing any emotion. And yeah. Just ignore what Chris's shots are and focus on his own. It, that's tough to do at these tournaments, even for the top guys. So what is your normal plan of attack on this hole? Do you well, do the same thing, drop in that little grassy spot? Do you try to go further? There's not a lot of options when the wind's in your face. Um, so I would probably lay up exactly where these guys are going. If the wind's blowing out at all, you can do a big A1 or a C3 and, and get some extra distance and hit it off the wall. But mm -hmm. it's just not worth it here because you've got a massive thing of water. Um, you know, oh, he's going to... Oh. Okay, I stand corrected. I now, granted, the wind is only six and a half, or excuse me, five and a half for him. You could just, but the problem with bouncing it off so short is you just never know. That's an excellent shot, oh, but wow. oh no, no, oh, no, 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 no! That's exactly what I was worried about. So it looks like uh, Champ99, uh, these guys on hole one, uh, GVK and Luna. So as soon as we wrap up here, we'll see if uh, Steve Beatty can come back on uh, on 17 here, and then we'll uh, we'll switch things over. You know, we, we also could, if you guys want to, we could do the, the, the four screen real quick, show the last couple of holes of Easter, and then, uh, and then switch over to GVK and Luna.
Oh, Paul almost oh holding out. Oh, my gosh. Now it's tough. You know, Steve's kind of in a stuck position. Uh, again, you've got the, the Maui or uh, whatever you call them around hole 18. But until we pull it up here and see what the look is, it's going to be tough to figure out what these guys may do. Now, this is interesting. Yeah, BD's down two, yeah? Yeah, so okay. he, he was down one before, um, you know, from earlier in the day or early in the round. Oh, very nice by Paul. Have you met him before? No, but I kind of want to talk to him later. Yeah? We'll see what we can arrange. Okay, thank you. I got your back. <laughs> All right, so hole 18, this is a tough one. A pin uh, bottom left of the green. You don't normally see it, and you've got a wind blowing um, in, you know, or excuse me, towards the green. So you guys, these guys are going to hit a high tee regardless. You just want to get it up there. You don't want it to, you don't really want it to stick there, but Brewer has the advantage of having two strokes over Beatty. Yeah. So he can afford to make a birdie and still be okay. Um, it's tough for Steve because he, I don't say he, I don't know if it's, yeah, yeah, it's do or die, and I don't know. It's so tough to try to funnel your shot in between uh, the Maui there, um, you know, the, the big stones. It's just uh, – as GVK almost holding out there on Luna on hole four of uh, Champ 99, it's – Steve. It, I don't know. Even for a good player like Steve, um, it's tough. He, he, You know, he's probably going to go for it, and – I mean, you have to if you're if you're him and you're down by two. Yeah, there's not even with like I was saying earlier. Even if Chris misses his chip, he's probably going to put it close, and he has a birdie putt. Yeah. Guess what? Steve still loses. Um, there's just not a good strategy of trying to aim in between those tiny little spaces. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> now, I had a match earlier where my opponent had a bad cut and he should have lost and uh, and hit one of those, but instead he actually got it through unintentionally. But see, that's the risk you run, oh, you know. Yeah. There's nothing else he could have done there, honestly. Mm -hmm. Still a, a hell of a run for Steve Beatty there. Not, not too much you can do. Yeah, and, and where Chris was at, he didn't even need a chip. He just... He just had a, a putt, obviously missed it, but plenty of strokes to, to work with, so. <clears throat> so in terms of when the finals will be, we've still got, obviously, the King of the Hill match needs to happen for the main Our, bracket. King no, of no, Hill. We, we had King of the Hill. Who won? Was it not Haas? For no, Haas lost. Haas will, Haas, ha Haas will now play GBK, not GBK. Haas will play. Um, yeah. Okay, so I. Okay, so Taylor McGillum and the King of the Hill. So my problem is that this bracket's not refreshing, so I'll have you to. You have to auto refresh I'll, it. I'll make sure to refresh it. I thought Taylor won King of the Hill when Sorry, he beat Haas. Sorry, yeah, no, you have to you have to refresh the new bracket on the new uh, PEGT site, which Got I also it. have made that mistake today. So yeah, Jade beat Paul, Taylor beat Haas. Those two guys go King of the Hill. Paul's playing GVK. Haas will play the winner of what he'll play Brewer. And the winner of those two matches, the Luna GBK, Haas Brewer. Now that's interesting because um, Jade McGillum out of Indiana, good player, another one of those, I don't think he's ever been in the position he is like playing for King of the Hill. I don't think so either. He, he made a point to tell me how many times Paul has beaten him. So I know he is relishing beating Paul today. Hey, you know what? When you're a, a caliber talent like Paul Anthony Luna, anytime you can get a victory over him, you got to you, you got to enjoy it. All right, so in terms of uh, when the when the finals are going to be, yeah, we're we're still quite ways away again. We've got like 3 or 4 matches that have to happen before the finals. Yeah, again when you have uh, 186 players, it's uh, in five different tournaments you're running. Got a good question here. So from Twitch, has anyone ever missed a putt for an opponent in an attorney? What happens? Oh, George with the hole out. I'm not going to react. <laughs> no react. Just you, you just say nothing. Just say nothing. And no um, comment. 
<laughs> yes. Um, so, so typically during match play, it's rare for an opponent to putt in uh, or for somebody to putt in for their opponent. I if find it, that like the guys will putt in if they're comfortable playing with each other or they feel like they're on the same skill set. Yeah, if it's like if it's short and they know the person's not going to miss it, they'll yeah. go for it. You see it more in qualifying where people will make each other's yeah. putts versus match play. But regardless, um, it doesn't count against you. Correct. But it's also there's Steve Sobel who's running the tournament and who's always stressed and busy. So the less you have to go talk to Steve, the better. Yeah. Um, just let him kind of do his thing and, and run the tournament and it goes smoothly. So. Yeah, you're not going to see it too often um, after a certain distance. Um, but, again, for like people like George and Paul, who they play with each other all the time, yeah. and then they, they, they play Golden Tee as well. But um, <laughs> these guys, like, they're, they're comfortable with each other. They'll do it for each, each other. other. Yes. They're comfortable with each other. They'll do it for each other. They'll lend a hand. They'll make the putt. <laughs> and, and it's all fair in love and Golden Tee. Yes. Yeah. But you get the stroke back. So it did. It, yeah. And I thought it happened recently. So in the Washburn and Cook match, uh, I don't know which one missed I, whose I, putt. I think it was uh, Washburn missed McCook's putt. That was so when. So he gets the stroke back. Right. That was where, yeah. So, again, but that's something very, very rare for that kind of, uh, that level for that uh, to happen. So GVK is what, just up one? At this oh. point? Oh. <laughs> you can see that he did not. All right. Is he up one or are they he's even? No, I believe he's up one. I know one. he'll hold out. Yeah. Yeah, hopefully Paul doesn't wait until later to hold out because he's only got seven holes left. Honestly, it stresses match. me out so much. I specifically told him last night, I was like, I'm not commenting when you're playing. It makes me too nervous. No, that's the best time to be commentating. What's he listening to right now? Oh, death metal for sure. He doesn't have like audio clips of you saying like, oh, I love you so much. No, honey. God, no. That'd probably make him throw up. Um, <laughs> no, he he loves his Mashuga. Oh. And uh, you're like honestly asking me to name more than like Mashuga is what you get. I don't know what else I can name for you. But just think along that line. Just hardcore rock. Makes sense. Stuff. Mashuga, 100%. Thank you, Corey. Chug a bloody and hole one out. It's a, it's, it is 7.15. It's a little late for a Bloody Mary. <laughs> you know, when... Uh, When you're in tournament play, I think anything goes. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> All right, so hole 13, par 5. 10 mile an hour win in the face, but it's only 6.09 to the pin, so not a difficult sell setup for these guys. They're just going to blast it past the sand and the water. But this is, a, this is frankly, a good whole lot opportunity for both these guys, but especially for Paul because he... He needs it, but you can't you can't get too cute with it. Oh wow, uh, you can't get too cute with it because that water is right behind yeah. the pin. Also, I'm so sorry that that he didn't <laughs> hit the tree. I was so I was talking to Tickner about this earlier. So we saw um, GVK drove first, and then Paul and Paul managed to get it just a little bit further than GVK. That ensured GVK had to shoot next, right? Because he was further away, and so Paul did that. Uh, playing Nihon against Jade and I even asked Tickner I was like hey he did that on purpose right like to make Jade have to go and this was when it was earlier in the match and they were still even um, Paul did miss a shot and I think he was kind of mad at himself about that they were even um, but he had the opportunity to hole out and he didn't uh, so I think he was just trying to put the pressure on Jade you know like make Jade have to shoot first make him have to make the tough shots um, because I think that is his mentality when he goes into tournament play. I don't know how well that goes against GVK who plays just I mean they they know exactly how there's no mind games here I feel like right. in this game because they're so familiar with each other. Now in the vector room down in Texas when they're playing are they do they always play with them with each other? Do they play by themselves um, or is it kind of depend it on It just depends. <laughs> 
Um, no, I know they've so got a few games in the vector room. They, so. they do. They have a they have a handful of machines. Um, they've got one PGA, and then I think five or six Legacy. I don't know the full number, honestly. I don't remember. Um, but Paul doesn't really keep like a specific daily schedule. Um, we're fortunate enough that you know, with him playing Golden Tee full time. <laughs> With him playing Golden Tee full time, he can truly make his own schedule. So he kind of, if I'm working nights, he'll play later on in the day. Or um, I know him and Sean Gervais went to, um, oh, what was that wrestling thing? The, the Royal, Royal Rumble. Rumble. Yeah. They uh, went to that. So he, like, he, he'll, you know, adjust accordingly. I think he, pl I, I think Paul and Sean spend more time overlapping. Okay. In the, ver in the vector room um, versus GVK because I think that, um, well, I say that, and now I'm thinking about it. I'm like, Sean so Gervais you're saying, gets a later start. So you're saying, like, sometimes Gervais, Luna, and GVK play with Yeah, so sometimes it's like a three-player a three player thing, Got if it. you will. Well, and those are tough, too, because those take so much more time. Um, now, real quick, this is an important shot for Paul, for pal, my old pal, as I like to call him. Oh, that is – oh, it's got to slow down, though. Oh, my God. I, I almost dropped an F-bomb, but I know right. that's really frowned upon. That's all right. Uh, so, uh, Casey, unfortunately, this is the Florida tournament. You are a week behind, my friend. Um, so, unfortunately, we missed you uh, this weekend. But we'll be again, be here again sometime around the same frame uh, next year. But plenty of other Power Events Golden Tee Tour uh, events. All right, oh, now, wow. Now, Paul made the birdie. That was important. That was very important, and we love to see it. Yes, we love to see it. But he's running out of holes. Okay, but he's okay. He's got two holes left. He can do it. This we is have gettable. faith. We have now, faith. We, we have seen people low tee and hit the tree. That was kind of a ballsy shot by George, but. Uh, yep. Now, this is, he has the super spin though. And so for some of our newer players, that ball is going to hit the green and just kick back. Mm -hmm. So he knows he's running out of time, but that's why he did bite instead of backspin because. Yeah, getting oh a whole out, gosh. getting a whole out's great, but honestly, it's not worth the risk of getting the water because 18 is not a gimme shot. A whole out would have been great, though, Kevin. A whole out would have been great. I know. I'm so sorry, <laughs> but that's all right. This is this. You could easily Paul can easily tie it up here on the 18. Easily. Yeah. Yep. Case in point. All right. Rachel is, uh, as, uh, as somebody Pins said. Pins and needles. Somebody said R-A-L because uh, she is, uh, it's Rachel Anthony Luna, uh, Luna's Bay. Yeah, when we get married, I will not drop just my last name. I will only keep Rachel, and I'll take the rest of his. All right, now this is um, similar. It's, I think this may be the same set of the McCook and uh, the McCook Paul, was in. I don't want to jinx it, but the amount of times I've seen Paul execute well from landing in that sand i'm still nervous <laughs> oh he already took the head he, he took the headphones out oh though. my god now he's got this is make ah, or break ah, you, here grab. Ah. <laughs> down eight can he make the chip oh no he hit it low oh. he hit it right oh paul Oh, Paul. Yeah, that's tough. That's a tough break for Paul. But we honestly, hate to see it. if he's going to lose to somebody, you know what? Why not have it be a good friend a and good somebody friend. plays yeah. Golden Tea with in uh, in Texas? Um, took a time. Honestly, Florida is a really good time because there's four different brackets. Um, Wisconsin is a really good tournament coming up in about a month. But yeah, really, like, like Charney said, you could get, go to any of them and have a good time. 100%. Especially if Rachel Anthony Luna is there. <laughs> yeah, if she's there, it's always a good time. All right, so Brewer and Washburn, um, Nordland number six. Lots of Nordland, lots of snow and ice, even though we're in warm, sunny Florida. Man, we I just got the notification just like a moment too short, so... Paul's mom is watching our cat this weekend. And all weekend, she's been sending, like, little photos of, like, oh, here she is sitting on the window. 
here she is doing this and it's really sweet and we love we love 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 Paul's mom for not only watching Josie but for keeping us updated but she just sent a picture of Josie watching the stream when uh, he was playing that's adorable too soon though I know just or too late uh, I guess I know it kills me <laughs> That's okay. We've been talking nonstop. Every time we get like home to the Airbnb, it's like, ah, how many more sleeps until we go home to Josie? <laughs> oh my God! Yes. All right, a nice, uh, nice C three shot there by Mr. Brewer, putting himself in a good position on hole seven. Probably left himself like two fifty five there. Uh, Je Al Jez, that's an interesting point. I didn't catch it because I was looking at the game that we switched to, but uh, oh, <laughs> almost a hole out there for Mr. Washburn. Yeah, that that's interesting. Maybe uh, once we're done uh, pulling up the cat picture, we can uh, we can discuss with uh, Sent. with Ral. Sent. So uh, some of the community had noticed that that Paul had walked away after and didn't like embrace George and like you know typical Paul stuff is I, th I think he's I mean I'll be super honest like I don't think he was pleased I he was not pleased with that well you going, said he, going into the weekend he had a very high expectation for himself um, he really has been playing a lot um, to the point that other players not even local players had had noticed his presence on the leaderboards um, and I think it was actually Chris Brewer that made the joke he said he <laughs> you know what did you get like you got some hospital bills like what's going on what are what, why are you playing so much seeing him on the leaderboard yeah all the time. um and he, and he really had he had been playing a, a lot and had been really really dedicated um and i don't think that this you know tournament outcome will change that i think that he he had a really really great 2022 tournament run what he won four of five or four of six pegt tournaments and he took second in I don't know. Did, I don't know if he won that many, but he won worlds, and he, he won was worlds. Like he won worlds, and he took second in Wisconsin, and he won Florida, and he he didn't win Dallas. But I uh, I thought Andy won Florida last year. Uh, no, Andy won Florida last year. Oh, so 2021. I'm so oh, sorry. Oh yes, I was I'm okay. So no, no, it's all right. But but, um, we, but he capped it off with the 2022 World Championship victory. 100. percent And then he just ha he didn't win a 2022 tournament. And so I think he kind of was going into this year of, I'm I'm turning it around. So James <laughs> Mulkey says Luna took his headphones off because GVK snuck in a John Mayer song into his playlist. Uh, Al Jazz. I mean, honestly, like Paul walked the, when he walked away after his loss on uh, the night course, the Japan course. What's it uh, called? Neon. Yeah, like I mean, he he was mad. And, and he kept his headphones in after – I hope he's not going to be upset at me for putting him on blast. I don't think I'm really putting I him mean, on blast. I mean, you already put enough people he, on blast. He out. kept his headphones in because he just didn't want people talking to him because he was mad about his first loss that dropped him into the loser's side. I think he really is just being a little hard on himself and disappointed. Yeah. And, and I understand to be he was tournaments. unbeatable for a year, and it's totally Andy's year to shine last year. And I think Paul was ready to kind of – even though we haven't had Worlds yet, Paul was ready to – start the double dip to, yeah. to get it back on the momentum on his side and so i think this just hasn't had the outcome of a tournament that he wanted but that's okay it's not the only tournament there are other tournaments and he can't win everything even though i want him to <laughs> yeah uh, and let's be honest Paul, Paul won your heart, so, you know. So he's that's already the winning. only prize we need, babe. <laughs> Although, I don't know, that tournament money could have put, been put towards a nice piece of jewelry. Oh, wow. <laughs> Should we just put the coffins on the stream? She's just not <laughs> Oh, please, somebody clip that. That'll be good. He's at the bar now. I'm going to see if he can bring me a drink. Have you ever had the, the real fruit strawberry slushie? 
with uh, vodka. So is, I, I mean, I feel like I had something like that last year, but I thought that, that last year was like a frozen sangria or something. I don't know. I don't know. You just take the slushy and you haven't put vodka in it. It's, oh, you brought it, like a Sonic slushy up here and you were like, no, hey, no, give me no, they, they, they sell slushies oh, okay. here. <laughs> I thought you were no. like. I wanted my, I haven't had my fruit for the weekend, so I was like real fruit strawberry smoothie. And then you that's just perfect. put a little. If you have them at strawberry vodka, you get a double serving oh, of fruit. Oh, see, that's interesting. I didn't think about that. I failed. Let's see if he's bringing me a drink. He, uh, that's you know, a, that looks like a shot, and that does not look like something I want. And he's trying to figure out how to get here. <laughs> All right, so hole 11. This is actually a nice setup. Um, I'm surprised that Washburn didn't go backspin on that um, because he's got a little bit of room to work with. Would you uh, would you like to have a shot with me? Sure. Okay, excellent. Uh, Paul's gonna be just, bringing just us. Just that fireball. No, I'm not an animal. I just love one. <laughs> I have nothing. To, I I can't. There's nothing to say there. It's a that's a great response. No, Al Jez, I don't have a fruit schedule, but I'm sure if there was a doctor here, they would say you're supposed to get you know some fruit every once in a while in your body. All right, I gotta say, uh, Chris Brewer. Getting dialed in here, I think this is an ace. Oh. All right, Jade McGillan, Paul Taylor, our King of the Hill match coming up here very shortly. Uh, again, we shout out to, to Team Indy. Uh, they're another group just like Wisconsin. Um, not a big presence here at this tournament, but they normally uh, you know, they normally roll deep, and those guys love to have a great time. There's a f handful of uh, locations they all play at, and they have a good time. And for Jade to kind of get into this spot, again, a lot of us are good players, but being able to take your game to the next level at a tournament with 186 people really separates you as a, as a, as a Golden Tee player. So shout out to him, and uh, this, is, uh, this is a big opportunity for Jade because whoever wins the King of the Hill – they're going to be in the finals. Yeah. The one downside to King of the Hill is you're going to have, especially at a tournament like this, you're going to have some time away from the game. Going to and have to try to find an empty machine to stay warmed up if right. you can. And that's kind of like you see Haas and, Haas and others do that because mm -hmm. you don't want to break out of that rhythm. Yeah. You know, just because you're King of the Hill doesn't mean you're a guaranteed win. So you got to keep those, you know, palms and fingers moving and uh, – Got to keep it going. Now this is a this is a tough look here on on hole 13. Even with even with stouts. Now you've got ice at the back of the green there, so a nice high tee driver should be all right. He stayed on the the fringe there, so he should be okay. And again, and the same thing for Washburn, great player. Um, but to be in this position playing against Chris Brewer, uh, you know, and playing against multiple guys on the stream here, uh, you know, big shout out to him as well. All right, so now I can ask you an honest question. Yeah. With all due respect to Paul's loss. Yeah. Who, you look at who's left. Yeah. Who do you got? Um, so I, these two guys playing right here, I really <laughs> lean this way. Um, no shade to the guys going into the King of the Hill match. Um, love Andy Haas. Like, I, I do, I love everyone that's still playing. Um, Paul and I had a really good time hanging out recently with Squeaky Bomb. Uh, he came to Houston with his son for a uh, football game. Okay. And they tailgated with us, and we had a great time. And I've always seen him at tournaments and stuff. But that was probably the first time I've, like, spent some quality one-on-one -on -one time with him. And uh, just an all-around great guy. And I I don't want to have to pick a favorite, but I would lean towards him just because it would – at this point I want chaos, right? Right. Because – I know Haas is still in it, but he's on the loser's side. But then you look at who's still in it, and it's, you know, I want chaos. I want, I want an unexpected person. Um, what Jade described himself as a dark horse in the uh, 
or sleeper. I don't know who what he said to Tickner because Tickner had him in the Calcutta. Oh, oh, oh that was um, a beautiful shot. But you know, someone that that an unexpected champion would be nice. Yeah, no, I, I don't disagree with you there. Real quick, I, so Chronic Cover Burn on YouTube. Um, now you live in St. Louis. Have you ever gone? Oh, Chris, both these guys throwing darts at the pin there. Uh, have you ever been to the Powercade in uh, St. Peter's? Because those guys, Evan Gossett, uh, you know, a lot of top players play there. It's a good place to go and learn. As we're kicking things off here on Petra, hole one, king of the hill. So the winner of Paul Taylor, Jade McGillum, will be undefeated going into the grand finals. See both these guys hitting big C3s trying to get on the green. Oh, I don't know. It's not a good spot for either of these guys. It is chippable for uh, for Jade, but Paul's in the sand. So not a bad start to this game for these guys. So where in South Carolina is that tournament at? It's Columbia, West Columbia? Yes. There's like kind of sister cities, yeah? Yeah, West Columbia. I'm not a... I don't know the, the geography yeah. of South Carolina well. I just say uh, I see this. Someone commented and said that they only visit Hilton Head. I uh, got stuck there on a terrible layover one time. It's the worst airport ever. Really? It's okay. just tiny. It was tiny. Yeah. And it was at very late. And it was a sleep on the floor at an airport kind of night. I've you know? never experienced that. It's not. No. I don't recommend it. I do Knock not recommend wood it. Knock somewhere here. Um, <laughs> all right. So. Here's the thing, if you've never been to a tournament and you're joining us here on the stream, we appreciate it. Oh, Squeaky Bob almost getting it, uh, getting the shot in there on hole 16 of Nordling. But PEGTTour.com, <clears throat> take a look at the list of tournaments, one coming up uh, in March, about a month from now. Um, but plenty of opportunities across the U.S. in the, you know, there's Wisconsin, there's St. Louis, there's Nashville, there's Columbia, there's Dallas. Um, somehow we're already in February. I don't know. I feel like we were just in Dallas seeing everybody for the final tournament it's of the year. crazy. I was like, oh, I haven't been to a tournament since uh, Nashville. That was my last tournament. It's been a long time. Oh, Nashville. Oh, Nashville. That is such a fun tournament, though, because I feel like the plus ones really show out. And there's Broadway, and there's so much to see and do and drink, and there's good live music. I feel like Nashville 2021 was the first year I met you. I think that was your first tournament, wasn't it? Nashville 2021 was, that was my first you tournament. And, you and the, I brought an group? entourage because I was so, like, nervous. And so I brought uh, a squad of girlfriends. And now I just show up to these by myself, and my girlfriends are already here. So it's 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 nice to, to be fully immersed. Yeah, you're, you're definitely part of the fam. And it's hard not to be when, uh, you know, when your, your boyfriend is Paul Anthony Luna. Yeah, he's okay, I guess. <laughs> well, didn't you say earlier if he doesn't win that you're going <laughs> to break up with him? <laughs> oh, gosh, I guess I have to have an awkward conversation with <laughs> him now. <laughs> you're looking for somebody single. I'll, we'll see. We'll, we'll do gra – somebody grab the mic and see what, what – Well, if I break up with him, he's single, right? So maybe we true. can rekindle. That's true. That's a good point. I'm going to put my eggs in that basket. <laughs> there you go. There you go. <laughs> You guys couldn't see, but uh, I don't know if uh, <laughs> I, I just uh, – oh, no, I don't think he's mad. I think he's okay. <laughs> uh, yeah, I thought I was going to have to move. Uh, I, I buried Andy Fox earlier, and I thought, he was, I thought he was coming back from the dead for me. Well, there are a bunch of pool sticks right next to us, so I was like, uh, do I need to get away Yeah, get I, don't, away I didn't know table? what was going to happen. All right, so we got Nordling on the left, Chris Brewer, Robert Washburn, Machine Wright, King of the Hill, Petra. We're seeing Jade McGillum off, uh, from Indiana teeing off on, I believe, hole four, the par five, taking on Paul Taylor, the godfather of the stouts, as, we're, as we were told. The stout father. The stout father, as we're told from the, uh, the chat here. Al Jazz, you're going to get banned from commenting. <laughs> I don't even know who Gregory Smith is, but I love that comment. <laughs> I, I, okay, but again, like, I would have said that 
about anybody here, including Paul Anthony Luna, if if they had been in that situation, I would have. And so, again, shout out to her for winning. That's phenomenal. Oh yeah, absolutely, absolutely. All right, Paul Taylor up one, going into hole five. Now, that's tough. So, Chris Brewer winning there. Uh, Robert missed his putt for Eagle. And so he loses 27 26 to Chris Brewer. Oh, Jay with the sharp shot there. But that's all right. I texted you two white tees and one bunch of soda. Oh. Ah, Greg, Paul, and Marks. Ah, very nice. I okay. Now, also on machine twenty-three, looks like Andy Haas is getting ready to either bang out money shot. Oh yeah, Andy Haas, gonna play some money shot to get uh, get those thumbs uh, <laughs> a going as he waits uh, his the, next match. The rumors surrounding that man's thumbs—it's quite astonishing. It is a million dollars or something. I'm that's sure. what I heard. I, that's been the rumor for years and years. Yeah. That uh, I heard a rumor that doctors are performing surgery to try to replicate them animatronically so that you too could have thumbs of Andy Haas. But I don't know if that's true or not. It's just too expensive. They had to they had to give it up. Yeah, it was because very nobody, expensive. Because nobody could touch the thumbs of Andy Haas as Jade. Oh. oh. Now it's tough. Jade's in a tough position. You can see that that. Um, Part of the part of the problem with for Jade is that he's down two now after five holes, uh, just finishing up hole six there. But you could tell that the mental game is not mm -hmm. there because he's not used to being in this kind of position, and it's tough. You make mistakes, you hit a bad shot, you miss a putt, you miss a chip. I mean, I was the same way when I was when I was playing in purple earlier. It's it's very hard. A lot of these guys get that way. The Even the ladies of too. An angel. <laughs> I just can't Jonathan. help but like sing that in my head <laughs> to the tune of the Seether song. Oh boy. You know, and there's a difference. A lot of players will get frustrated. You make a mistake, you do something stupid, you get mad, but it's, but it's controlling that anger. And Absolutely. That, you know, it's uh, honestly, I've been playing this game for more years than I probably been able to stand. And like I, it took me a long, long time going to these tournaments to process. Okay. Just because you screwed up doesn't mean your opponent can't do over, the same. It's not over, yeah. Exactly. Unless it's totally teen, then you can get then, mad. Then, okay, yeah, you <laughs> that's can, fair. You, know, <laughs> you, you can walk away, do whatever. But, but, um, but yeah, I mean, Jade's got plenty of golden tea left to play. He's got to, you know, get himself out of this hole. That's a beautiful shot. Oh. A little to the right. Does Paul Taylor always wear this hat with this shirt combo? I feel like I, I only ever see, he's got some other hats, but I feel like this shirt, it, it almost requires this hat. Yeah, you can't, wear, you can't wear this shirt without that hat. Yeah, it's a set. All right. All right, this is not a bad look here for hole eight. Oh. Let's go quad. Throwing up the fours for the four horsemen. Yeah, I'm looking for Ric Flair, Arne Anderson, the whole gang. All right, so you're looking on the left, Chris Brewer, Andy Haas, winner of this game, moving on, mm -hmm. loser is gonna probably be sulking in a corner somewhere. Let's be honest, it's it's getting down to those tough spots. Uh, Andy Haas won this tournament last year. A lot uh, riding for him. These guys playing Champ 99. We just saw, you know, Champ course. There's a lot of swing holes when it comes to that. Oh, absolutely. Petra on the right-hand side, King of the Hill, Paul Taylor, Jane McGillum. Now here's the thing, if Jade loses, 
Again, he's down two going into hole nine. Not the end of the world, even though it's against Paul Taylor. Yeah. But he's still in the tournament. Why did I spin Petro one time? <laughs> <laughs> we do have a off, off mic. We do have Paul Anthony Luna here, uh, who is kind enough to bring your two favorite commentators a couple of shots. Um, And he said, uh, he said, uh, why couldn't I spin Petra? I'm, it's all right. You still had a good run, Paul. Plenty of golden tee to play this year. Here's to Kevin Lindsay. Thank you, Paul. I appreciate it. Thank you. Hey. Yeah, Greg is, de that's not a rumor. Greg is definitely playing music at our wedding. I thought you were single now. I thought you. Oh, so <laughs> off camera, um, off mic, you guys. Uh, post shots, we broke up. We were able to meet back up. Okay. Rekindle. So we're good. It was a bit of a rough patch, but we're good. It's all right. You know, like you said, you can't win them all. You can't win them all. But lucky for Paul, he did with me. Exactly. So, that's all he needs. Yeah. What else does he need? He's got his golden tea family, and he's got Raul. <laughs> it me. <laughs> Rachel and Anthony Luna. <laughs> Al Jazz. Luna. Al Jazz, it's not Washington Apples tonight. He is a psychopath. Oh, Paul Taylor. And he's having straight-up Grand Marnier, just oh. shots of Grand Marnier. So wish me luck because we've got an early flight. Good luck. How, what is your flight? <laughs> what time is your flight Our on? flight is at 930, so oh, we probably have to get picked up at like 6. No. 7 a.m. is an early flight, all right? Feel for me. Yeah, we, last year. Seven. Last year we had a, a 7 a.m. flight, and it was brutal. I appreciate it. Uh, <laughs> Mr. Peter Butler saying, uh, watch Golden Tee for 12 hours, and then your, uh, your partner will say, maybe you should go to one. Yeah, um, it's been a while since we've seen you, my friend. Rachel remembered Paul will be at Garrick again in just a few hours, yep. Yeah. I'm going to have earplugs in in a few hours. <laughs> I thought we were going somewhere else. Oh, Andy Haas shipping it straight to the bottom of the cup, holding out there. That is what Andy Haas is known for. That is when Andy Haas gets dangerous. Um, and we haven't seen that in he's, a while. He's so fun. Like, when he's hot, though, He's fun to watch. He is. He really Unless is. he's playing against someone that, you know. You know. He's also hot to you. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I was going to say who you had in the Calcutta or something. You know? Oh, know. okay, okay. <laughs> not me. I'm not a big Calcutta girl. But, you know, for those of you Calcutta people out there, you never want to see your horse against Andy. Cause Unless your horse is Andy, then you have to make sure he doesn't fight himself. Yeah. In the mental game because <laughs> Andy's one of the best. But when he makes – a mistake in the rare chance he does. He is in his head as Jade oh. Gillen. Oh, come on. That's tough. That is a beautiful look. And and I got to be honest, with how close he got there, I think Paul Taylor, with how dangerous his thumbs also can be, Yeah. he's not going to be that much far off. Al Jazz Haas is so hot. Not single, though. Yeah, shout out to Ann, his Beautiful, lovely wife. I know. I was bummed. I was hoping that she would uh, make an appearance. Her, I got to meet their son. They brought their son to Nashville. Nashville. Yeah, yeah. It was fun just to watch them play. <laughs> and I, they brought the chess board, so I was hoping to see a rematch. Uh, he played Jason Lashivo in chess, and I honestly do not know who won. So regardless, I wanted to see a rematch. You know, what's funny is that Andy. We were talking about the PJ Tour Home Edition code. Yeah. And he's like, you know what? Every time. We're at home. He's like, Dad, can we get a game? And he is talking about how he's never had a home game. And, yeah. And his son just wants to play Golden Tee. And he's like, I might I might have to do it, you know? Oh, might my God. Might have to do it. They could be like um, LeBron James and his son. Oh. <laughs> no. <laughs> it's a beautiful <laughs> shot by Chris Brewer on hole six. I mean, look at just look at the way Andy Haas is oh! work. Another hole out by Andy Haas as his T-shirt says. Straight cash, homie. <laughs> just, 
Oh, man. And Chris, let's be honest, Chris is a wonderful man. He has been in this position so many times against Andy Haas. Um, he's just like, okay, yep, used to it. Yeah. Is he going to go back to back? Oh! oh! Sorry for your ears, but my God, back to back <laughs> rollouts from Andy freaking Haas. And he's just so calm, cool, collective. Him, uh, is he drinking White Claws? Uh, he does. No, he high does. Noons. He likes. Well, he likes the high noons. I know the bar has been in and out of them because the demand is high. Um. <laughs> Sorry, guys. I mean, let's be honest. If you're listening to this stream with headphones, you're. I don't know. You're in the wrong yeah. game. Yeah. <laughs> Turn like the to, volume down. I don't know. <laughs> subtitles. I don't know what to we tell like you. We like to get loud on this commentary. Oh. OMG. Wow. <laughs> oh, disgusting. Okay. Well, get out of here, Jonathan. He was talking about Andy's shot. Oh, not I us. thought he meant the high noon. Not us screaming. I just saw high noon disgusting. Oh, no, no, no. I think he was talking about how disgustingly great Andy Haas is. Yeah, it was sick. Yeah, Jeremy Olsen, we, we had that on the stream earlier, the stream team. Haas with all them A's. That was unreal. Now, Andy's got to make sure he doesn't use all of his holeouts in this game. Yeah, he will want to hold on to them because no matter – I mean – if he keeps this little streak going and he makes it all the way to the champion on the loser on the winner side, he'll have to double dip them. So he'll definitely want to keep some holeouts in the bank for that. Yeah, you can't use all your whole your holeouts in one. Uh, guys, high noon is actually a canned vodka soda. So back up off me. All right, now by the way, Paul Taylor just missed a massive putt. Uh, Jade is only down one in this King of the Hill match. Hole 14 of Petra, not, uh, you know, a couple holes left to go. Could be anybody's game at this point. Good shot there by Chris. Tough when you got that wind blowing to the right, you're trying to avoid those trees on, on hole nine. Andy Haas, putting it in, shipping it. It's a big putt for Chris here. It's not that hard, but I mean, you're already down three yeah. against Andy Haas. Oh my gosh. Going into the back nine of Champ 99. I mean, at this point, it's really hard to not see Andy Haas just dominating his way through the bracket the rest of his his journey just because he I mean I obviously he did not want to drop down to the loser side no one does right you want to win it out but he clearly has stayed warm it's all those money shot games while all the, the money are shot up. games all right I like this look here now, on the right-hand side, you see Jade. He's taken a long time. He's thinking a shot out here again. He doesn't have a lot of room left to go. Can you change the camera angle? Because I can't see what's going what on, I know, Jade. Jade. <laughs> Woo. But, uh, all right. That's all right, though. I get why I get why players do that. I But I prefer to be able to see it. Like, I want to know what's happening. That Yeah. That's, yep, never mind. Thank you so much. <laughs> All right, let's see what Paul Taylor can do. Oh, both these guys, beautiful shot. A few feet away. <laughs> the chat is going. I feel like we're at a stadium here, and they're just trying to, you got the, what's that, that loud meter where you're trying to, to make the crowd get excited. All right, that's actually an interesting shot by Chris Brewer on hole 11, going into the sand. Um, oh, is Andy Haas? All right, not a bad shot. Al Jazz is banging drums. I always find the... Uh creative design choices behind avatars very interesting as well 
are you someone that like switches up your avatar? Do you pretty much keep it pretty baseline? Like I know for as long as I've seen Andy Haas play, he's had this whole baby blue get up. Like Paul, Paul for instance, he's got an Astros kind of motif going, but he has, um, he's changed it up before. He's done kind of a Marvel character before. Um, he's, he's done a Christmas like elf situation. That's not surprising at all. No, yeah, no one is surprised by Paul doing that because he's so goofy. <laughs> Nate Joel says, can we do one of those wave things? Let's do the <laughs> wave. Woo! Nobody's even watching us. It's okay. We're not even on screen. Hey, we just did the wave just so you all yeah, know. Yeah, you guys got to keep it going. <laughs> Sorry, Gravy. Sorry get, about the headphones get, and your eardrums. Get new speakers. Uh, it's an interesting shot by Chris Brewer. I don't know why he did that. Oh. I got to be honest. He went in hot. He watered it on 12. He still has some room, though. That's yeah, the problem. So uh, to answer your question, I, I change up my outfit every once in a while, but let's be honest, I feel like I change it more when new outfits come out for people to get you know, yeah. on the Golden Tee games. Mm -hmm. But even before that, I was very like, don't change it. I, yeah. I don't know why. You, yeah. just, you just get used to an outfit, you know, and you just roll with it. Yeah, I mean, Paul's pretty regular with them. Like, he's been Astros since... Day one. Since no, not since day one. Since uh, his his Astros character has been well. So his Marvel character was kind of a Loki esque character when the Loki show came out, um, which I know was like while we were dating. But please don't ask me when that was because I don't I don't have like a. How long have you guys, how long have you guys been together? We've now? been together for two and a half years. Wow, so um, sorry. Yeah, me too. <laughs> me too. Oh, see now you just became <laughs> single. <laughs> <laughs> Paul and his whatever the hell you said he was drinking are about to text you like, <laughs> girl. All right, so I appreciate the chat. Let's make sure, uh, I know a lot of you guys have, but make sure you guys are like button. smashing the like button. Uh, I did that in my Uber on the way here. I, I like, pulled it up, that. volume down, and I'm like, like. Appreciate it. <clears throat> yeah, it is since at least, uh, I was going to say it was last baseball season he switched over to the Astros. He kept it through the postseason for the Astros and has been remaining on that little kick. And then I think before that, he had the Loki get up. And before that, it was a Christmas pajama-esque elf situation. And I don't know what it was. And, and I was like, I cannot not be a part of this fun. So <laughs> let's get in there. It is. It is a good time. Well, and it's nice to have something else to do because it is. It's such a long day if you're not playing in the tournament, which I... Loud noises are happening, and I don't I'm, know why. Something is going on, and I really want to know what it is. I got to think it's got to be like a Jamie Arrington win somewhere. It sounds very Jamie Arrington win it, it's, just, it's a lot of you know, girl power cheers, and I'm here for it. I just want to know what's happening. Who knows? I can't wait for someone to give us an update because I want to know what that's all about. But no, it's the stream is fun for me. It's nice oh, to have something to do. Okay, so in both King Hill matches and purple and ladies. Yeah. All that's, right, here we go. Double world's pass oh, for Jamie. Shit. Yeah. So all right, so uh, Jamie is King of the Hill in uh, in both King of the Hill matches for purple and ladies. But let's be honest, uh, we will get <coughs> excited about that shortly. What we need to talk about is Andy Haas being being up being up two and going for hole sixteen and watering it. Andy Haas just watered it on 16? How did I, oh, I mean, I was, I know how I missed it. I was paying attention to and the And so did Chris elements. Brewer, oh, so I think, okay, all right. I think Equ these guys are gonna be okay. Equal. Oh, oh. oh, all right, so Chris, uh, well, he at least was going to get a par here. He didn't put it in the water, and he's going to, uh, you know, Andy, knowing that he's got only a few holes left, he's got to be Absolutely. careful. Absolutely. Up by and five, I, and, and up by five. Andy. Oh, yes. Because, I didn't yeah, realize yeah, yeah. he was up by five. Now, let's be honest, also, Andy knew that Chris had to go for it. Yeah. So if oh, you water it, you know, you're going to get. Uh... 
Oh, I, that's tough for. Uh, Sorry, going in before he was up just two, but now he is up five, yep. Um, and then you get this whole, uh, you know, whole 18. Wind blown to the right, just gonna throw it in the sand and have that chip. Where's Skipper with the 20 bounce rule? Again, Chris is one of the, um, you know, if you don't, you have to, he can seem not warm and welcoming. Like, he's just one of those guys who's super focused. But once you get to know him, like, he's a real warm character in, in this community. And he takes losses in stride almost better than anybody else. You see him embracing with Andy before that chip. Um, Paul Taylor, king of the hill, going to be sitting for quite some time. Probably going to do the Andy Haas thing of playing some money oh, shot. Oh, yeah. He already was earlier. Yeah. But that's how these guys uh, <clears throat> that's how these guys keep it going here. Tough loss for Jade, but again, as I said earlier, he is not he's not out. Yeah. So does Jay drop down and play Brewer? Or Brewer and GVK play? Winner plays Jade? I better reload my bracket so I don't. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, so we are, we're getting down to the wire here. All right. So Haas, yeah, Haas will play GVK. That winner plays Jade, that winner plays Talo once or twice, depending on outcome. It's exciting, we're getting down to the wire. I don't know who Clive Bixby is, but I'm your biggest fan. I got nothing to say. <laughs> it's all right. No, this is so much fun. I really am. I'm having a great time. Good. I'm. Yeah, yeah. it's me. I'm Clive Bixby. Hey, look, it's Andy <laughs> Fox. Somebody must have unburied him from after Rachel <laughs> just assassinated him earlier via verbal. <laughs> oh, I don't man. think he knows, guys. I don't think he knows what I said. No, he does. He gave you that look <laughs> earlier. He knows. Polly, uh, there is not a day for worlds other than 2023. Um, but we got a couple irons in the fire and uh, working on finalizing things now. So you'll, you'll know sooner rather than later. Guys, I think it honestly, my commenting helps. I know as someone who listens to the stream a lot, is that the later it goes on, the more you just kind of have to like grab people. And it's been a long day and a lot of people have been knocked out and a lot of people, people have been consuming a lot of drinks. And your girl really hasn't. So I think I'm on my like third drink of the day, That's or impressive. my fourth. So I'm still like coherent her, enough. Her third to or fourth of the afternoon yeah. round, <laughs> and now she's hitting the evening round. Yeah, I'm I'm starting my <laughs> evening drinks, but no, I've, I've I've really kind of maintained. So I've been able to to hold a conversation, <laughs> and I know Paul has been on here before where he just giggles. <laughs> yeah, we which love I him. I do that as well. But yeah, at least but you, I... you did it in a much more <laughs> enjoyable fashion. All right, so you see George Von K stretching like he's going to run a marathon, but I can guarantee you he does not do that. I don't uh, think I've ever seen him run. With all due respect to George, love him. Him and Andy Haas, not a, I mean, you've seen this matchup before, but not something you see very often. I feel like somehow these guys uh, <laughs> avoid each other. Uh, we are going to have to get a David Key update. I'm not sure. He is upright. Uh, I can actually see him. He's playing oh, on good. a machine. He's probably playing just money over games. there. I, I do have to say, I'm going to need some advice from the crowd. I was offered a proposition from David Key of allowing Paul to, now I will say Paul is his own person. He can make his own decisions. But David Key came to me and said, hey, I want to play money games with Paul tonight and I'll give whatever he wins to you. And I think I have to say yes. 
Yeah. Right? Yeah. Like. Yeah, I don't know how you don't. Yeah, right? Like, I would be, like, even if he gets drunk and he loses, you're not going to come to collect the, you're not going to come collect from me, so. Thank you, sir. Shout out to Mr. Sean Ringel for running around like crazy. Um, and shout out to you guys for, for watching and sharing the stream. You know, we've been doing these gift card giveaways every, yeah. every once in a while. And obviously, as we as we ramp <laughs> stuff up. Absolutely. You say yes. Thank you so much. <laughs> thank you, Sean. All right. So we got Haas versus GVK on Petra. Mm -hmm. We just saw Petra in the King of the Hill match. Um, oh, this is not this is I, a drivable look, but it's not. Uh, this may be a different setup. Finally, I feel like this is one of the courses that I am more familiar with. And these the courses this year, I'm not as familiar with as last year, um, just because I'm not watching Paul play as many games daily as I used to. Um, the real question is, when are you going to get into the women's tournament? Golly. Sorry to put you on the I, spot. I, listen, I'm just hitting my stride as a commentator. I think that we should just, like, let's start there. Oh, wow. That, ooh. Oh. Andy Haas with the eight and a half degree driver high, almost just running it through the hole there. Um, but George got a 30-yard chip, not unmakeable. Um Good oh. chip there by George. He had to make that. He knows putt is uh, uh, Paul. Ugh. Andy Haas is not missing that putt from Absolutely such a short not. distance. Absolutely not. But not only was that not unmakeable, <laughs> it apparently was incredibly <laughs> makeable for him. Like, for me, it would have been unmakeable. <laughs> McClellan uh, says, George's shirt should say straight credit, homie, because he still <laughs> owes me $15. Hey, uh, <laughs> then I'll let you know where he banks. It's all. It's the, the bank of Tickner. Yes, yeah. the bank of, of what, somebody said it earlier, the bank of uh, Tick and Key. Um, <clears throat> all right. Rachel Mainstay on commentary. I mean, they clearly want you to be here forever. So like, we, may, listen. we may have to just pay you to stay here and commentate because you're so, you're Honestly, so wonderful. Honestly, if we want to work out a deal between Golden Tea and Rachel, like, we can, we'll talk, we'll talk we'll numbers. Talk. We'll talk, we'll talk, we'll talk off air. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, we'll talk off air. All right. Andy Haas, George Von K tied four under after two holes. Again, thanks for being here. We appreciate you. Happy to be here. But I still can't get over what Jeff said. It's honestly hilarious. But, all right, so you saw Andy Haas with three hole outs last game on Champ 99. Knocked Chris Brewer out. But GBK, he's on a roll. Yeah. You know, he did beat, you know, that one guy that you kind of know. I'm so sorry. But. <sighs> Allegedly. This is a this is a good run for George. Yeah. I am. And honestly, like, even coming into the weekend, George is someone that. George backs himself. And you love to see that. <coughs> like, he, I, I yeah. think that most players do back themselves. But George audibly backs himself. He, he is confident. He got. Well, and that's the thing. When you get in a tournament, whether it's a 50-person tournament, 100, 150, or 186 like yeah. they have this weekend, you've got to be confident in yourself yeah. because if you're confident in yourself, you see it in Andy Haas's face. You see it in Luna's face. 100%. Like, if you're not confident, your game is not going to show that. And so shout-out to George as he almost holds out there. But he knows if Andy Haas holds out, he's got to make a, a shot before Haas does. If he Absolutely. holds out and Haas comes back, no big deal. But if he doesn't get one before Andy, that's when I think it it gets in his head. This is the this is the kind of game where it's you're not going to see. Neither one of these guys are following each other around the course. Both of these guys are <coughs> aggressive and going for the shots to get the advantage and get that momentum and just keep it going for the rest of the match. And, and they have different club sets too. And I'm just ready for a hole out. Honestly, I, I want to I to wanna, ruin the headphones. I want to break of some eardrums. <laughs> Yeah, <laughs> honestly, I feel like I'm going to get a, a tab from a bunch of people saying, like, my, here's my doctor's bill because you guys literally screamed so hard in my, like, ear. Exactly. But I'm sorry. You got it. You know, you get excited. Like, now this is a perfect example. Get your vocal cords ready. Turn your headphones down. This is a good opportunity for a hole out here. And George oh! does it! George with the hole in one. Just said, if George doesn't hole out before Andy... It's over. He's going to throw it off. Yeah, and you see George, calm, oh. cool, collected. <laughs> All right. Uh, yeah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> no. George still what? has <laughs> wired headphones. Uh, well, Evan, we were talking about he does owe a lot of money to a lot of oh. people. Oh. So. 
Now, we've seen this before. If anybody's to go back to back in a, you know, in a game, it's Andy Haas. Like, oh, 100%. He, got, he, was, he was close. But I kind of think in a weird way, Andy Haas likes the fact that George has honors. Yeah. He can wait for George to potentially make yeah. a mistake. He can just get, you know, get going with, with his own game. <laughs> George still has wired headphones. I love that. <laughs> but this is, a, you know, we, this is the stuff. We miss all you guys and gals who couldn't be there. Um, <laughs> Andy, back-to-back all outs made me turn my, we, yeah. We are sorry. It it's was right. exciting. You cannot tell me it was not exciting. Exactly. We're, like, this is such a great team. They may have to pay me to do this because I, yeah. it's just, like, such high-quality content. Tucked in shirt, too. <laughs> Right, no, you can never you can never count Haas out. I'll agree. This is not the look Haas wanted. But you can never count him out. Exactly. He's been he might not be in these situations a lot, but he But he has the thumbs to get himself out. Wait, George just missed his putt. <laughs> I'm, I'm not laugh like I'm I'm just trying to catch my breath because we literally just talked about this like George has a hole out. Yeah. Andy almost falls over oh the same God, hole. Oh, my God. Even at seven. And now it's even again. This is crazy. Oh. Now, did George have his shirt tucked in earlier? I must have missed it. Um, I don't know if George is someone. Is George someone that tucks his shirt in? I don't like, know. Like, I don't, I don't know what the – I don't know. It was, it was just a funny comment. I don't know what the joke is there. Um – but I we got all right so uh, two people that we love to see at tournaments but we're missing this Cost weekend for 1k oh my god Evan Gossett <laughs> uh, former world champion Mark the Malcolm Klevich another uh, top player hate to miss you guys at these tournaments but I also kind of appreciate uh, I appreciate the engagement yeah. on, the, on the chat it's very nice but oh. would I have loved to see them yes 100% exactly all right so Andy made a mistake. George, George, he's got a decent shot here. George has a very of uh, okay. <laughs> now here's the thing, like Andy, Haas like doing that, that's, Haas that, that's nothing. Like it's it's <laughs> it's baby stuff. You know I, mean, what I mean, that's it's it's similar to when I feel like Paul would have a chip or something like that. Yeah. Where it's just like, oh, I'm not you, like when Paul was playing on Nihon and he laid it in the sand at one point, I was like, he does this all the time. I'm not even concerned. And <laughs> you're then, like, and I'm then he, so used and to then, this. And then it didn't go well, and I really just and ate, you're like, ate my words. I was like, uh, I'll be outside. All right. So, George, uh, I'm not sure if he's going to tuck his shirt in or what he's doing, but he has disappeared. He's psyching Andy Ass out. Maybe he is. You know, Andy Haas did that to David Key last year. When it was accidental. When it was the Battle of the Vodka? It, it, was, the, uh, it was the King of the Hill match, and he, he went to the bathroom and then just meandered his way on back to the machine. So we don't know where GVK is. Oh, here he is. He's back. He was just getting a drink. All. That's all right. Hey, when you're a player of that caliber, you you can you can take a little take a little break, Absolutely. get some juice, get some apple juice, some orange juice. Absolutely. Some vodka juice. Tequila juice. I don't know what he drinks, so I can't really speculate on that. That's all right. Can I get a here for a minute? We got we got a We have a we, really good thing going. I'm not going to lie. Really just you come. I'll come back. We got yeah. We got we got some time. <coughs> Make I, some noise I in the chat for Kevin and Rachel. Am I right? Hit the rubber to miss a chip to lose that round. Is that what I, I didn't? You caught the bumper. Oh. Yes. So we're talking with uh, Mr. Mr. Uh, Jade McGillum. So he was just saying he hit the the rubber bumper on one of those chips he had uh, chips he had earlier, but. Tough loss, still in a good position, still not out of the tournament. Gotta play one of these guys, right? I think, yeah. Yep. <clears throat> All right, now Andy is interesting. I can't, uh, his face right now, I, I, I 
can't tell if it's just because he's been here all day. I can't tell if it's the high noons. I can't tell if it's him just ignoring I, or a combination. But uh, let's be honest, last year Andy Haas won this tournament and he like barely stood up. Let's be honest. I can say it because he's that damn good. He was on it was unreal. It was unreal his performance that he put up in the King of the Hill match and then the finals. I uh, he won the King of the Hill match and I congratulated him. I went up to him and I said, "Hey, King of the Hill, congrats." And he said, "Who?" <laughs> And I said, <coughs> you? You? <laughs> That's beautiful. By the way, I think it was uh, John Munn saying uh, Kevin and Rachel call uh, commentators at Worlds. I'll absolutely do it. I'm in right now. Just let me know what hotel you guys want to put me up in. Yeah. Oh, we'll take care and of And I'm there. But Paul can't stay with you. you no, I'm caught. <laughs> Gross. <laughs> don't make me throw up into my mic. Yeah, please don't. Um. They're not cheap. They're <laughs> no, but okay. So oh, no. Oh wow! That was a beautiful little skip. Oh, that wow. was a l and he I can you tell could you even he, uh, he, he was didn't surprised. Plan that. He was surprised. Now th what I was gonna say is like this is a really tough look. You've got a seven mile an hour wind blowing straight. There's no help from the left to right or anything, and you're pretty far right. You're you gotta hit that way out to the A, but you don't want to crush it. Now that's why George saw what Andy did. He's like, I'll have a tougher putt. Not a big deal. But I don't want to worry about the little, what do you even call that? I'm like the little box thingy. Uh, it's kind of like a sand pit. It is a sand pit, but it's a weird sand pit. Concrete this around sand? This is why sand? I'm like, why do you guys I, I think I'm know. a good commentator? I'm like, oh, don't hit the box thingy. Just because you have me to careful, be like uh, Careful concrete. of the steps over there. Don't hit those. That's all right. Now, <laughs> this hole looks familiar. I'm pretty sure this was the, the setup that, that Jade and... Uh, did they have this one? Um, Taylor played this one because they, they Jade did the same thing. He was in between clubs. He was thinking about it. I remember the 12 mile win. I, I'm not 100% sure, but I, I'm pretty close. I feel good about it. And that's a beautiful uh, shot from Andy. One of the and things... It, it probably is the same setup. Not to say that he needed to see their mistake or whatever, but like no, I don't even it, think it's got to be time wise. It's got to be the same setup because yeah. their matches are too close together in terms of start time. But like, oh, nice. Oh man, this is. Uh, I don't know if I've like taken a breath in a while, so I'm just gonna. I know. Whew. My watch is gonna be like, have you had a breath in like 13 hours? Because you're just. I mean, this is exciting. This it's, is fun. It's, this is fun, and I, I'm really enjoying it. I do just want to say, um, not that I'm cheering for or against any of these people, but I, like Andy Haas was probably one of the most spectacular people for me to meet in terms of player introductions. Um, I met Andy Haas, and this is just like a fun little story, and feel free to interrupt me oh, of course. for course commentary as needed, but I'm just here for the color commentary bits. Um, I met Andy Haas in Nashville at my first tournament back in 2021. Um, I remember and that. that was the longest day of qualifying. It was so long to where I didn't go to the bar for qualifying. And I was back at the hotel, like waiting for, we had a dinner reservation with Andy Haas, Chris Brewer. There was like eight of us, 10 of us that went to dinner and Paul like texted me and was like, "Hey, like we're finally done. Uh, I'm getting a you know a ride to dinner or whatever." Um, and I was like, "Well, you don't have time to come pick me up and get to dinner. So like, should I just go to this restaurant even though I don't know any of these people and I've never met them because it's my and the ass with the hole in one. I'm sorry to interrupt your story. No, but no, damn. no. I told you specifically to do that. that sorry, was and I didn't have enough time to like give them the headphone warning." But you saw the look in his face the moment that that two iron hit the green and he was just spun back. You knew oh, he knew it was man. in. Oh man! And that's not a look you get very often. R.I.P. Headphone users. We're sorry about that, y'all. We'll throw an extra gift card in the chat for you guys. And George, you know, George really can't say much about it. Like, yeah, I mean, he, he, that was no, that just, was phenomenal. <laughs> no, there's still there's still two holes to go. Oh man, this. I feel bad for George because this is a beautiful look here on 17. It's not really – I could shoot a good shot in that, yeah. and I'm nowhere near these guys. This may be a back-to-back holeout -back situation. Oh, no. Oh, okay. I lied. They, I no, Paul him. did that earlier. He'll just be, like, just on the edge. It, um, I, jinxed, I jinxed him. Although, George – oh, I think George did the same thing. 
Oh, oh <laughs> say, he what did. If, what if <laughs> what if George hold out after you said Andy was going to? <laughs> oh man, this is big for George though. <laughs> oh no! Oh, the moment he? he hit, the moment he hit it, he said, "Yep." We need to get what we need to get Jamie's matches on the stream. Okay. <gasps> yeah. The, oh, then I didn't mean the bride. I just mean like her. I know she's in King of the Hill. Excellent. All right. So Andy has up up to and going George going to eighteen. Okay, so this was, I'm going to go back to my story now, so sorry. Um, Real quick, Andy, it's Machine23 is the our, our open stream right now. All right, cool. Pulling some strings here, getting the uh, getting some more action. Get some on action these, on the stream machines. On these, uh, on these machines. Um, so I. Wow. Did you think that was going in or going no, back? No, I didn't think that was, was going, going back. In. Yeah, it was. <laughs> All right, nothing you can do there. Andy mm -hmm, Haas doing Andy mm -hmm, mm, Haas, Haas things. things. Is Paul crying? Look at his. <laughs> <laughs> so sad. Can we just zoom in on that? John was a, that was a fake cry, but that I was know. very funny. <laughs> <laughs> Paul is so. <laughs> Paul's so mad he oh lost to so George, and George lost to Andy. He and Paul is honestly like. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know if he was joking. He I don't think, like I don't like, no, I think there might be. Honestly, uh, we'll talk about uh, it in therapy. <laughs> um, me, Paul, and George. George, and our thruple therapist. <laughs> Kidding. If my mom or Paul's mom is listening, we don't have a thruple therapist because we don't have a thruple. Well, I was going to say, maybe we should get to the more important <laughs> part, not the couples therapy part. <laughs> Anyway, so let me finish telling you about the time I yes, met Andy Yes, now Haas. we got some time. <laughs> so I show up at this dinner at this steakhouse and never met any of these people before in my life. And Andy Haas immediately was like, Rachel, oh, my God, like, hug, bring it in, sit next to me. So good to see you. So good to meet you. And was just, like, so warm and so welcoming and like we have this ongoing joke forever now at all tournaments that I go to where every time before they're about to play each other Paul and Andy I'll do you guys also go to thruple we yeah well it's, it's a it's a, a multi-couple therapy I uh, got it do you um, get the the golden tea discount yeah, yeah yeah exactly um and it's Paige actually is our therapist oh good, so, good yeah. yeah she's, she's and she's wonderful, wonderful. She's very wonderful. I recommend her. Um, and so <laughs> Andy was just so kind and so wonderful. And our joke now is um, when I'll see him is, like, I, I always tell him. And I do. Like, I do always root for him. Like, if I'm not rooting for Paul, I'm rooting for Andy to Let's, win. Okay. Like, that is. Hot seat question. Is, have you ever rooted for Andy against Paul? No. Was he never. Ever? No, no. No. Never. No. Never? God, okay. no. Okay. All right. How could I ever? <laughs> I've ne No, I've never said that. But I have actually, I have congratulated Andy after beating Paul. And I've told Andy, I'm like, thank God someone had to. <laughs> yeah. I hope Paige is listening and taking notes. Excellent. Chaos. All right, so Andy Haas, Jade McGillum, loser goes home. Winner plays Paul Taylor once or twice. Now, Andy's got his uh, – I'm trying to remember what he was talking about yesterday, what he listens to. <laughs> <laughs> Paul crying. Yeah, we'll get a more serious commentary when it is now that they're they're not even playing yet. Yeah, it's all right. All right, so uh, Mike Johnston, another indie, an indie favorite. Miss you, buddy. It's his boy right there, Jade, going against one of the greatest of all time, two-time world champion, Andy Haas. These guys are playing on Nordelin. That's a really fun course. We've seen it a handful of times throughout the stream. Um, 
But, what's, but again, what's it, your it, favorite? What's your favorite course of these courses? It's tough. I, New Orleans, so new, um, and it's got a couple of swing holes. I really like that one, or Nihon Yoro, the the Japan course, the night course, the yeah. What purple? In purple, I know that Jamie's in King of the Hill. I don't know who she's in King of the Hill with. Yeah, well, you can go to pegttour.com to follow, but we're going to pull that up here as well as these guys uh, are getting uh, getting, getting teed off here on hole one of, uh, of New Orleans. All right, getting some update on the, the rest of the uh, tournaments going on right now. The ladies tournament, purple, pink, copper, and of course the third place gold uh, right here. All right, and you guys probably hear lots, a lot of noise in the it's background. Getting, Not, well, a lot of people are done playing, so a lot of people are getting more rambunctious. Yeah, getting rambunctious. <laughs> they're they're getting ready to play. Oh, are Jade's. we going to be able to get? Are they going to get the Purple King of the Hill on a stream? I think Andy's got. They're going to talk talk to him now. Excellent. I, I texted Paige, but uh, but again, here's the thing: it is 8:30 Eastern time. Mm -hmm. A lot of people have been here for eight. Paul's More been here hours. for 11. Some people got here at like 9, 9.30. But, but part of the thing is like these guys get here when the bar opens at 9 to play mm -hmm. their games and warm up and all that. But you, when you get down to these last couple of matches, you you got to wait some time. And, and you will see some effects on people. Um, oh, Jay oh. with a good shot there. He went with bite, which was a smart option. But, man, he's probably thinking, I wish I had backspin right now. But, 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 you know, stamina is one thing, but when you're playing in all these different matches and you're on the winner's side and then you go to the loser's side, all that stuff, it, it definitely will affect you yeah. as you get down the line. All right, Haas with the uh, great shot points there. Let's you're pulling up the purple one, yeah? Pulling up the purple. Let's see. Oh, because I always forget purple is twice as big as the main in yes. terms of player Yeah, Yes, so 32 <laughs> in the top uh, main bracket, 64 in purple, and then it goes uh, and then it goes on from there. All right, sorry, we're getting, uh, seeing what we could get here on the, the stream after this guy's match here. Lots of yeses. There's a, there's, yeah, there's, there's a lot of excitement. There's some action going on as Andy Haas looks so disappointed because he only got GSPs and the ball did not <laughs> and drop. And he didn't hole out. <laughs> in the cup. I mean, all right, let's see. Let me refresh this bracket. It's not playing nicely with my iPhone here. So, honestly, it's a great question about the way the brackets play out. That would be a question for Stephen Page of Power Events. Um, I, you know, it, it's tough. I, all these these brackets take a long time. Yeah, especially when and they, you have they have a they have a like a picture of a payout, a bracket payout. Uh, it's definitely on the event page on Facebook um, where they break it down. Thanks, Dazer T. Two. Yeah, the first one couldn't survive. <laughs> and that's why we had to go to the second one. Not sure what Jade's doing, but it sounds like he's uh, chit-chatting. And somebody had said so something to him. I, I do didn't have a it. question on this hole, personally, and for the people listening at home. Can you skip on this water? I know you can skip on some water, but being that this water is frozen, is that even a viable option? So this water right now is actually not frozen. Okay. So probably not the best bet. There's... You could, but you can skip you on can, some water you can. in different holes. You can, but th there's just not a real setup here that you would need to. Okay. 
on like, this like, course at, or on this hole? Do you uh, mean? On that hole, but in this general um, in general course, there's not a lot of opportunity to take advantage of that. I would so think. So the, the frozen water is that lighter blue, like yes. you see on the yep. waterfalls and stuff. Okay. Yep. Yeah, but there's other courses in the past where you could actually get some extra distance, like Summit Lakes, from way back in the day. Uh, there were some holes that you could actually get more distance with. Oh Whoa. no, Jay! Oh wow! I think it All stayed, right. right? It did stay. It <laughs> it did stay. What up, O? All right, so Andy's gonna put bite on this. That is super lucky for uh, for Jade there. Andy with more GSPs that he's not gonna be happy with, understandably so. It's not what he um, wants. <laughs> he wants the hole out. Ah, uh, that's so. You're telling me he's standing on this water that's not frozen. Correct. I know. I believe you. It's a video game. I yes. get it. Yes. Yes. Thank you. Thanks, Jeff. Appreciate it, of course. Appreciate Rachel being here, um, you know. Having a great time. That's good. Having I, a great time. Oh, <gasps> he just he just hit it. Now I the, thought that went in, The too. problem is he, he had to hit it that hard because if you hit it any shorter or any softer, you run the risk of hitting the pin, and then it just becomes a big mess. But, again, it's only hole seven. There's still some time. And I got to say... Uh, Paul Taylor, Andy Haas, um, you know, those guys have some history. Um, I know Jade in the past has played against Taylor, and I think he, he, he may have a victory. I'd have to look at, at Power's website. Um, oh, no, what? <gasps> uh, I don't, oh, wow. I don't, he didn't change the. Did he not high tee it? I was looking. I, at the I don't bracket. know. I don't know. No, I just meant he didn't change the the view, so we didn't get to see like exactly what happened. It looked like it landed and bounced back, but I'm not really entirely sure. So um, I don't know if he can get here. I don't. Okay. So Richard said thank you. Oh no, um, we spelled Andy Haas's name wrong. There's one more. Can a. we get one more A in Andy Haas's All right, name? Th thanks. So he hit. He did hit the medium. He did not hit the high tee. Uh, I don't know if he can get there, but let's hope. Okay, he can. Oh, he's going to do it. He can. That That is a good and recovery. Yeah. So right now it's uh, Gerard Montigny, I think is his – I can never pronounce his name, but he is playing against Jamie in the King of the Hill. Okay, and that's happening right now. No. Uh, <laughs> I'm so sorry. Yes, I saw that earlier. You didn't catch it. No, I did catch it earlier, but it's just it keeps happening. So they do have them on Machine 24, but I think they're waiting for this match to finish. So I we hope will that see. that means they're working on a GIF of that. Oh, like, I mean, we'll we'll make it. I need it. Like, they'll send it. Send it. Send the GIF to me. <laughs> we will make this happen. Yes, both of them, but the tears is more uh, giffy friendly, as you will. It's you know, it's more family friendly. Yeah, I know, but the Ooh, 90s. Oh, Haas just clipped the edge of the pin there and missed nope. out. No. Nope. All right, this is a good opportunity for Jade. He's got bite, though. All right, so Haas up one, going in here, hole nine. Rounding off the front nine. It's a beautiful setup for this par three. As Mouth said, Taylor has been on the wrong end of some great shots to lose matches. You are not wrong there. Um, James Mulkey, Haas's hole in one against Taylor off the bunker at TOC to win was insane. Yeah, I think we'll have to find the video of that. I mean, there is some, there's been some amazing matches um, over the years that have finished with some ridiculous hole outs uh, and that's what I think makes some of this so fun is what you it's kind of hard to get real mad at somebody who beats you with such an amazing tee shot yes <clears throat> all right so let's see if we can make Andy happy and maybe he can drop a hole out because uh, he's not happy with all the GSPs I mean to be fair they don't do much for him in this situation right no, they don't. All right, the non-drivable look here uh, on 10. Oh, 
Jay lands in the rough. I don't know where, where did Andy la land? Uh, he's in the fairway. That's all right, though. The rough's not bad here. I do apologize if that was the wrong. That That's me doing my best Paul Luna impersonation. I do apologize. What would you do? Uh, no, Paul just says that when he's drunk. I do apologize, but um, so it's fringe rough, right? I did label yeah, that correctly? Yes, yes. Okay. Whew, I got nervous after I said it. After I said it, I was like, oh. This is an Andy Haas whole lot opportunity. Oh, let's see. Is he going to do it? Is he going to do it? Oh, just a little bit to the right. But this is a good opportunity for Jade. He's got to take the Andy Haas focus off of his mind. As Mike said, he's, he feels like his boy's gonna he's gonna hold out soon. This is a good opportunity. He can do the G Rudge low, he can do some backspin if he wants. It's a good opportunity here. He's gonna go with bite. Interesting choice, but not a bad one. This is a 80, you know, 79, 80 yard shot. Oh, come on, is it gonna go back? Oh, just a little bit to the left. Jay to the left, Andy to the right. And these guys keep on uh, trucking along here. All right, another par three opportunity on hole 12. Andy turning left and right for a flat green. I'm sure somebody smarter than me can tell me why. But Andy is going for that laser focus. He wants the hole out. He wants to get to Paul Taylor. And again, not gonna be happy with GSPs because they do not they do them well. They don't do a damn thing. Can I, say, can I say that? You can. Okay. I've been Who really, listen, I, I am a big fan of dropping f bombs, and I have been incredibly conscious to I not do that. that while on the stream. I think I did because, and I don't want that to happen to me because I need the people to hear me. I, I can't remember when, but Andy could probably tell me. I think I did it one time, just like nonchalantly, didn't even realize it. And I was I, just so excited. Yeah, no, I I try really hard to like. I'm just like, no, it's all right. I pretend like my mom is listening, even though at this point I know she's definitely not because Paul's not playing anymore. <laughs> Um, Was the cat still watching at least? So I, d I doubt Josie's still watching. That's disappointing. Oh my God. <laughs> so, uh, Andy Fox's wife thought oh. that. Oh. All right, Andy's on the ice. That's on not, the that's ice. Not that's not bad. So that was frozen water. That what? Yes, last time I checked, ice is <laughs> frozen water. As opposed to the last hole that didn't have frozen water. Right. There's obviously big things happening in that King of the Hill match over there. I'm pretty sure they're supposed to be on the stream machine. No, I think it's already, ha I think it's happening. I think it's live. Yeah. No, 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 the King of the Hill purple. Or is the King of the Hill? I, I reloaded my bracket though. I, I, so who's I mean the King of the Hill purple, Jamie? And then is the King of the Hill ladies is what we're hearing all the cheering for? Is that Brittany and Jamie again? I say again because it was them last year. Not because I think that they're playing for a second time. Oh, Jade, get up there. Okay, got it. All right. That is a beautiful shot. I think it's still going. It says Machine they 24. Say all right, Andy Haas with the chip in. Yeah, the co the comments are saying the comments are saying it's going on right now. Brittany is king of the hill for the so Brittany beat Jamie. Oh, Andy Haas thumbing it a little bit to the right, Ooh. but that's all right. Okay, they just called. They just called the uh, King of the Hill for purple. Yeah. Jamie Arrington versus Gerard. Okay. And that's on 24? That is on the machine next to it. Okay, perfect. So we'll get to see that on the stream. Jade, oh, has got the shot. Almost had it. Uh. 
we will be getting, the, it hasn't started yet, the King of the Hill for the purple bracket, which is Gerard and Jamie, but we will get on the split screen, guys. I promise. Well, and honestly, with how fast these guys are the playing. The ladies we, King we, of the Hill is not on stream, and we do apologize for that. We do apologize for that. Uh. <laughs> okay. So, <laughs> <yeah>. <laughs> I wasn't apologizing for y'all. It was more of like a royal we. Um, I'm gonna go keep it. We we. A we we. All right, so GoFin says, I'm good at this game, but not 30. Haven't pulled all the really big cut, cut shots yet. Honestly, I'm not just saying it because we want you here, but we do want you here. You're going to get from a 19, 20 to 22, 23, 24 under if you come to a Golden Tee tournament and event. All right, Andy House with the high T five birds. Safe shot here. He doesn't need to go and get too aggressive. He needs to leave that to Jade. That is his opportunity because he is the one that is down and he needs to get rolling there. Oh, that's a good shot. Oh, Jade got fringed. Oh, that was tough. That was tough. He could have had that hole in one. Thank you, thank you. No, she saw that earlier. Close nose cigar, that's, I mean, I love hearing that. You go from 21 to 24, you see shots that you would never see before. And, uh, ooh, this is an interesting look here on 17, down eight, right six. Andy high T, medium, smart, safe play here. Of course, Haas doing Haas things. This is a tough hole for Jade to just go at it. It's all right though. He's got an opportunity, but also 18 is not really a gimme. It can play very easily, um, but he's got to get aggressive here. It's a good shot. He high teed it though, so he's not gonna get anything back. Now you got Oh, and Jade missed his putt off the fringe. That's tough. All right, so Jamie Arrington, Gerard Montigny, King of the Hill for the purple bracket on Machine 24. Jamie Arrington kicking ass and taking names this weekend. I believe I, I believe I saw Brittany Casper is the King of the Hill for the women's bracket. Prodigy, thank you. Uh, I got to give a shout out. Oh my God. <laughs> Jeez, Louise. Andy Haas almost sealing the deal. Not that he needed it. He, I can't believe. I got to be honest. I don't know who makes this game. I cannot believe that did not drop. That, that was beautiful. <laughs> that was beautiful. I mean, again, shout out to Jade, man. He has played a wonderful game. Third place in this tournament. Andy Haas is going to go on to take on Paul Taylor. It's going to be a hell of a match. But shout out, big, big shout out to Jade. Amazing, amazing, amazing run for him. And uh, you know, that, that, is, that is beautiful. I love seeing that. So Jonathan, I don't disagree with you, but you have to understand it's Power Events who is kind of running things and they have to, they, yeah. Yeah, you, the Power Events has to fit games in where machines are open, unfortunately, because we started at 10 a.m. with the women's stream um, and then went to purple and pink and copper and then the gold bracket, all playing at the same time. So um, it is not, you know, it is not easy task for those guys to uh, to get games on the stream whenever, you know, they try to do their best, but it's tough. They're, they're running a show, we're running a show, and uh, we try to do our best, but... We'll see what we can do here. 
my uh, new official tag team partner, Rachel Anthony Luna, is back. It's me. Now the pressure's on her because she's going to run solo for a few oh, minutes here. Yikes. So good luck. Last time, good luck. Last time I was in the situation, I had them just like kill my mic so I didn't have to be here by myself. But you guys are stuck with me. I've been promoted. All right, so I'm just settling back in. Let's see, we're on hole three. Oh, wow, beautiful thumb shot from Jamie. And we're going into four even. Uh, the bracket link is on, it's pegttour.com. Is that the web address? Let me look it up. Hmm. You know, there has been a lot of matches today, so it is hard to fit everything onto the two stream machines. Um, you know, we had to work the way through, how many brackets did we have? Five today? Um, so just trying to, to get all of these games going, not everything was necessarily on the stream, and I know that there was a lot of, a lot of stuff going on, so glad to finally have the King of the Hill purple match on this stream. Guys, please send invites to mouth. PEGT Tour. I see that. Thank you, Andy Carpenter. Uh, PEGTTour.com. And then it'll have, you'll see all the tournaments there. You can click on the Florida one. And then from there, you'll be able to see the brackets. And they do not update um, live. So every time you open them, you will want to re refresh. So we're even after five. Diet GT Cola. All right, well, thank you, ma'am, for holding the fort down here. I believe we're uh, even going into hole six here. It's not nearly as fun when you're doing this by yourself, for the record. Um, and I did just That's hear. That's I feel about a lot of things. <laughs> Commentary <laughs> is one of them. I did just hear uh, the angelic voice of Steve Sobel tell us that Andy Haas is about to start his next match against uh, Paul Taylor. This is the first of one, if not two. Correct. For the main bracket on Machine 23. So if we could go quad. Sexy. <clears throat> 100%. Sounds good. Try to give the uh, headphone warning. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so <laughs> it seems to be the evening of uh, Nordaline. 
It really has. It's been a lot of, um, as I like to call it, the frozen course. I, I'm just waiting for Elsa and Anna Olaf to show up. Yeah, we couldn't get, you know, the rights. It's just too expensive. I can work on some really crappy drawings, if you need me, of generic snowmen that may or may not reflect a likeness, but not enough to cause any conflict. Just let me know. Again, I have, we'll talk my rates off mic. Yeah, I don't want to discuss, you know, can't discuss business too much. Yeah, of course, absolutely. <laughs> So at this point, no tournaments are on PGA. We know Worlds will switch over to PGA. Um, I understand these tournaments. I'm not looking necessarily to you for an answer for this year. But do you expect maybe in the coming years to switch? Do you think maybe there would be a, a transition for these tournaments to switch to PGA? Yeah. So realistically, we're, you know, the best case scenario is uh, Gerard hitting a, a beautiful shot there. I would hope by this time next year that Power Events is running PGA Tour games. But it's not as easy as, hey, uh, IT, give uh, uh, you know, PGA uh, games or vice versa. What people don't really necessarily think about, and I don't expect them to, but until you come to one of these, is that Russ uh, Layton from Power Events drives a trailer. That yeah. trailer they just bought I've not seen long the trailer, ago. Yeah. It is a big trailer, but it can only fit a certain amount of games How in it. How many so, games fit on there? Like 12, 15? <clears throat> no, they were at like 25, Holy around 25 cow. right now. That's phenomenal packing, honestly. Yes. But part of it is the TV stand, the 55-inch TV. Mm -hmm. um, even if you don't go 55-inch TV, you still have to have 4K TVs. And the, and the TVs they're running right now for their current Golden Tee Live games are not 4K. So it's also a significant investment for power events yeah. to have to buy that many TVs with how big these tournaments are getting. Understandable. That's a, yeah. I just want to put it on the record. I'm open to doing any further commentaries. Um, but for those of you who haven't heard, Kevin and I will talk rates off, off mic. Um, but I'm very into a world's broadcast. We'll talk. Yeah. I'll as long talk. as my schedule allows it. I'm not that busy, y'all. It's going to allow it. <laughs> I'm, I'm saving my vacation for whenever they announce Worlds. <laughs> there you go. All right. So, shockingly enough, Andy Haas, Paul Taylor, um, they're playing on Norlin. <laughs> Another snow frozen course, as Rachel calls it. Frozen Baja, why don't people score way better on it? I think Frozen Baja is just like the nickname because I think people think it's just uh, be by a girl. <laughs> Got buried by a girl is what he meant to say. Yeah. <laughs> all right, so Paul Taylor on hole two ended up in the rough. Not a long shot here at all. Simple chip for him. Now, again, Paul Taylor, king of the hill in this tournament. So if Andy Haas wants to win and gotta start beat off him twice. right, yeah, he's got to beat he's Paul gotta Taylor You've got to do the twice. double dip. Now, I will say, if if they, if Paul, if they Andy Haas wins and they play again, they're not allowed to spin New Orleans again. Is that a, is that a rule? No, that's we're just going to make it a rule. <laughs> I didn't know if that was a thing. Like, if you, if you do play the back-to-back -back because you're – because it's the, of the King of the Hill situation. No, well, most players, if it happens, they'll probably respin just because they don't want to play the same course. Well, and I know back. that sometimes people will. Um, I know what happened to Paul previously, and I, guys, I apologize for keeping bringing him up. Ugh, gross. But Paul Anthony Luna, he will sometimes, even in tournament play, like if he, depending on who he's playing, if they spin a course, like if he, if he were to play early in the bracket, Andy Haas two years ago and they land on oh Bob. jamie almost getting the hole out there sorry to no no, no you're cut you off. do not even apologize but if they were to land on baja i could absolutely seeing see andy haas and paul both being like we don't want to play baja like let's play like yeah. something out you know what i mean like I, I know that if both players agree to skip whatever course is landed on it's it's permitted allowed you know whatever no it's not that's not a there's no, you know, written rule at yeah. all when it comes to that stuff. Paul Taylor! Oh! The double eagle. Andy Haas, you, 
<laughs> we do you, apologize you, to your eardrum. No, it's all right. You see that smirk, and he's like, you know what? I can't even. Uh, I can't even be mad there. Is he gonna follow up? I think he will. Oh. oh. <laughs> All right, so going in hole 12, both Jamie and Gerard tied on Norlin on Machine 24 on the right-hand side of your screen. So this this hole is very interesting to me. I am familiar with, like, the multi-tiered green when it has, like, kind of been, like, more of a waterfall down situation. Uh, well, this is a waterfall. That was stupid. I know what you're um, saying. But, like, a smaller one that trickles down to a next level, that trickles down to a next level. Versus the stair step, if you will, of this one. Mm -hmm. um, so I just, I, I have, again, I haven't really, like, seen as much of these courses as I have of the previous year's courses. So this, this tournament has also been really fun for me to just. Oh, Andy Haas with the line, just not enough backspin. See a lot more You get to, you get to dive it. in. You get to dive one in a lot more. One, it's been fun to be here to watch course after course after course. Normally, I just follow Paul around and watch his courses, and then I, you know. When he's done, you're done. Exactly. But guess what? But, but I've been watching. I've been, been watching a lot of. Uh, I've been, been watching a lot of video calls. You've lasted longer than Paul. I Luna. have lasted longer than Paul Luna this weekend. But it's not the first Sounds time. Talk to your <laughs> therapist. <laughs> All right, Paul Taylor just shooting darts now. Andy Haas. 495 people are viewing. They are. I have to think it's got to be this duo of commentators. It, it really is, <laughs> honestly. We're going to have to we're gonna have to get agents together and discuss. I will have my people call your people. All right, perfect. My people <laughs> is actually me. Excellent. I, I, represent I have me to and find people. people. <laughs> perfect. How about I represent you and you represent me? Excellent. And we'll just chat. Oh, that was a tough putt. That was a... Mr. Diet GT Cola almost missed that putt. That he he did not show on his face, but that was a he almost gave it away there. So I recognize Gerard's name from Golden Tea Fan. Where mm -hmm. is he from? Well, like what, what area of the country is he from? That's a great question. I feel like I should know this, but I do not remember. The comments will tell us. Yes. Guys, I need some help. I need to know where Gerard's from, please. Jonathan Munn <laughs> has a really good point. If Haas loses. Michigan, thanks, Ace. The rest of 2023 will be bad. This man will be out for blood. Okay, I thought it was somewhere up there, but I, I was not 100% sure. Oh, wow, and I just missed it. Paul Taylor with another double eagle. Wow. Was looking at the comments in Gerard's game here with Jamie as Jamie almost gets GSPs. Oh, oh my God. That, that hurts so bad when that happens. And it just, like, sits on the edge. Yeah, that's too. Yeah, that, yeah. That's tough. And the craziest part about it is we are still in the front nine of the Haas Taylor match. Yeah. And we're we're still tied on Jamie Gerard, right? Yep, those guys are still in. All right, we got 600 people watching right now across the uh, different streams here as we are hitting 9 o'clock p.m. Eastern time. And we need you guys to continue to smash that like button. Like, like it for, for Rachel. Like it for I'm, both I'm of us. I'm going right now, and I'm sharing it on my personal Facebook, which I never share stuff on. You better, on. better do it right now, but make sure you're sharing it. Subscribe. I have five friends. I only have five friends. Those five friends, if they share it. If those five friends share it, everyone share shares it. Oh, Gerard got lucky there. He almost got stuck. We got gift card giveaways coming soon. Sean uh, Rangel, one of our marketing team members, been rocking that all weekend long, giving away gift cards. Appreciate you guys joining us. Uh, Andy Kuhlman, our director of esports, and, and PJ Tiffany, his uh, one of his highly sought after production guys, rocking uh, for multi double digit. Uh, days this weekend as always appreciate those guys as we're uh, double banging Norlin here on the, the stream machines hole 10 Paul Taylor Andy Haas 
Andy Haas has to beat Paul Taylor twice if he is to become the 2023 Florida Open champion. But Paul Taylor has already holed out twice before the front nine was finished. Um, Gerard and Jamie, King of the Hill of the purple bracket, and, and they are both neck and neck. All course long, beautiful chip there by Jamie. She has been rocking both in the women's tournament and in the purple here. And she's an exceptional player, and uh, you, you just love seeing it. 24-24 going into hole 17. Andy Haas going. He's got, you know, uh, he's got some holes left to go as Gerard oh. and GSPs. I want to see Jamie hit this so bad. This is not a... Easy look. I know he just got so close that it immediately I was just like, okay, if he can do that, then Jamie can get it for sure. Yeah. Daniel, that's a great question. I don't know. There'll be a little bit of a learning curve because you go from four buttons on the right-hand side to three. I think that's what really will throw people off for quite some time when, when competition goes to PGA Tour. Oh, Paul Taylor almost holding out again. And this is honestly, Paul Taylor is excellent in his own right, but this is normally the script that Andy Haas follows because he is such a machine. But Paul Taylor is, is just as similar when it comes to that competitive mindset. Thanks, Luke. Yeah, it, it, it's definitely uh, the graphics are getting better as we're trying to dwindle down support for the really older games um, as uh, Jamie and uh, Diet GT Cola going for potentially... Uh, either a round ending hole 18 or going into sudden Extras, death. Extras, yeah. Which we have not had a ton of on the stream in the last couple hours that we've It been has been a at. while. We had some, well, we had some very early on in the day. I don't know if they were stream or not, but I I know Andy Haas had multiple matches. I think he had two. I say multiple, which. Two's two is technically two multiple. Two is technically multiple, but when I say multiple. Oh, does, Andy. Oh man, he is. You can see how mad he is because he's just he's getting he so close. Wear, he wears it on his face. He lets when, you know when he is not um, when he is not performing exceptionally well. He definitely wears it on his yeah. face. When he's doing great, you, outside of a couple smirks and mm -hmm, some smiles, mm -hmm. like he is very stoic. In the face, I you, you know, he gets the he gets a little bit of body flair going. All right, homemaker stout father, one hundred percent. Yeah. All right, so we're going into OT, so that means the first one to gain a stroke on Norlin will be the winner in the king of the hill of the purple bracket. Andy Haas, Paul Taylor, the 2023 Florida Open main bracket championship. Paul Taylor up two with two amazing double eagles going into hole 14. Wild. It is, uh, it is still anybody's game, but Paul Taylor is looking pretty pretty sharp right now. He just has to uh, Maintain, keep it rolling. Just keep it going. And you, you see a visibly distraught Haas. Eugene McAllister, <clears throat> I love you. See what uh, Paul says about that. <laughs> <laughs> are they was their previous match on the same and if you already said this I do apologize look at me doing it again um, were they on the same setup do you know I wasn't there's been there. a lot of there, there's been yes. a lot of this course so it could go either way I don't think they were but I'm not 100% yeah. sure yeah Now, uh, what I was saying earlier is, like, you see a visibly distraught Haas, which is a rarity at a tournament. Um, oh. But he's down, he's down two. That's the problem. Yeah. If Haas was down one, okay, you'd start to see it now. Yeah. But you're seeing it a lot because he had two hole outs. Paul Taylor had two double eagle hole outs before the front nine was over. Yeah. Now, this is a tough look. These guys are great, and they are, are – Two of the best at what they do. But still not an easy look on hole 16, the design of hole. 
What is a what is a design a hole? So the design a hole is for the last uh, I want to say 15 years we've had a contest where players can design their own holes. Okay. So they draw it on like uh, Photoshop or in 3D Studio Max or even on like a napkin or a yeah. diorama and and you know the IT team selects a winner and they make they get their hole featured in the. I saw gold the T4s. the recent thing um, and it wasn't just like a design a hole because it was repeatedly you guys did like or is that what it was? So that that's what it was. So we, we chose one you, one winner and they'll have their hole featured their golden tee hole featured in the next year of golden tee courses. And that's this hole. Right. So so this year's uh, well, this is technically last year's winner. Okay. Um, and then when the 2023 courses come out later this year, we will have uh, the previous like the if new. If you need winner. some input input on like course design themes, I'm also available. We again we'll, we'll talk. talk. <laughs> Yep. Sounds good. All right. All right, so you know it's getting a little quieter here as we're mm -hmm. getting down to the down to the wire. Mm -hmm. Paul Taylor hitting a safe but good shot, nine and a half degree driver. If Andy Haas, there's a lot that has to happen for Andy Haas to go into OT. That you can tell he just threw it out there. He knows his his evening is oh, done, unfortunately. Yeah. All right, now Andy Haas gonna step away. Paul Taylor. The 2023 Florida Open champion knocking out Andy Haas. Andy Haas having an excellent run, coming back from the loser's bracket. You can see the disappointment in his face, but man, he had a wonderful run in 2022. Paul Taylor picking up a victory he has had. It's been a while since he's had one. And uh, very well deserved, very well earned by Paul Taylor, the stout father. The guy the who was stout using stouts father. before stouts were even a thing for Golden Tee. He's the reason we're all here today, I think. Using stouts, As, yes. Yeah. And now we go back to the purple King of the Hill uh, match. Jamie Arrington, Gerard Montigny. These folks are in OT on Norlin. So we're just looking for a hole out. We're, we're looking, looking for, for someone to do something amazing. You always want to see it, a hole out end it and not a missed putt or something like that. Oh, oh wow. That, that is tough. All right, I'm being summoned by Absolutely the vice principal of yep. Power Events. So uh, <laughs> Rachel's got this for a few moments as we uh, we keep keep going here in the uh, 2023 Florida Open. All right, so. Exactly. Let's see. Looks like Jamie will still be up next. Oh, wow. And she has gotten very nice position for her next shot. Let's see what happens. Ooh, longer putt, not too bad of an angle, easy shot. I apologize to the listeners. Um, I'm not as familiar with these holes, so I really don't know what to necessarily expect in terms of what shots these guys are going to hit or what the looks will be like comparatively speaking but I have to be honest y'all I think majority of the audience well I like to think majority of the audience 
we're obviously pulling for Jamie. How cool would it be to see a woman win the purple bracket? A holdout right here would be so cool. Okay, fine. We'll go for points. We'll go for points. But a holdout would have been great, honestly. Uh, Jamie did take Fox down in the purple bracket mouth. I'm sorry you missed it. Um, just in terms of commentary speaking, I, I heard that the commentary whenever Jamie eliminated Fox was funny, but I cannot really recall. So I got to watch the video on the internet. No, what to say? Uh, yeah. I don't know what to say either, to be honest. <laughs> I think I've already said all I have to say. I just don't know. My question is, now who's going to bring me a drink? Now I'm actually out of a drink. And, uh... Where's the hubby? I'm going to have to phone a friend, yeah. Well, uh... Yep, I got you. Appreciate it. Oh... Boys, <coughs> Boise Cowboy, Boise Cowboy, Boys Cowboy. How, Just how call him you, Cowboy. Hey, Cowboy. Um, I don't think I was there when Cuba Gooding Jr. was there. I'll be super honest. No, he's saying, sorry, he's talking about he met Paul Luna's other girlfriend, Rachel. Not oh, you. okay, different girlfriend, Rachel. My bad, my bad. Because I did, like, I was there, obviously, when Paul won World. We went and had dinner, like, at that casino at a restaurant there. But me and my sister left because we had a very early flight. And that oh. was not fun. I not do not rec idea. I do not recommend that. I have a seven o'clock flight tomorrow, and that's not even that bad. And seven a.m. Yeah. Ooh. Yeah. It's what you do for love, right? Yeah, I have a I have a nine a.m. flight, which means what time are you? What time are you leaving for the airport? Probably like four thirty. Yeah. Well, effing fabulous. Let's talk about the match. Yes. <laughs> All right, Jamie going for the, the three-wood thumb killer, as I'm going to call it, as she drains this. Oh, she had no, She went naked on it, no spin. Little bite could have been good there. But this is, you know, what we were talking about before, you know, it's just tough. You want to see a hole out to end it. It's just so... It's, it's Satisfying. It's, yeah, and it's, it's tough when somebody misses a putt or misses a chip or mishits the ball. It's just not... It's not fun, you know what I mean? It's just tough. But these are some good looks here. All right, I like this look here on hole nine. Nice little uh, eight, eight mile an hour wind. Oh, could you do it? Oh! All right, 13 under at the turn on Norland, but if you are just tuning in, this is the king of the hill for the purple bracket, but this is overtime. This is not the first match that these two have played. You got a beautiful drivable setup on 10. Great shot by Montigny. Got Michigan versus Washington here. Now is Jamie going to hit the the ten and a half. 
See, she's thinking about it. I kind of like the 10 and a half. She's going to go naked on it, no spin. Nice solid hit there. Oh, that is a beautiful shot. She's not happy with it because she wants the hole out. She wants the win. All right, hole 11, this par three, another, another <clears throat> really, really good par three look. Another, another good shot. Now, part of the reason why we're being quiet is because we're watching, observing, and no, well, let's just, let's give the let's give the people the truth. I stepped off the mic for a moment to try to phone a friend to get a drink. Well, no, yes, but I'm also <laughs> saying like this happens sometimes when you get down to the finals because like you're just watching in amazement the shots they're hitting and this isn't even the finals oh. this is just king of the hill to get us closer to yeah the finals but 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 jamie is not only playing in the purple king of the hill but she's also playing in the ladies tournament so she has been rocking since 10 a.m almost uh it's, 12 hours ago the stamina is phenomenal and i it's something i could not do so good for her yeah and uh -oh. like like more than just good for her like all hail Pay the girl. Thirteen inches away from the King of the Hill victory. All right, now this may be a make or break. This is 346, 10 mile an hour win in your face. Five if you're playing stouts, but you gotta, you gotta you gotta be careful with this because you, it's a smart move. It may be a long putt, but he's still on the green. Because this has turned the tables on a lot of people when it comes to competitive golden tee. All right, is Jamie gonna go eight and a half or is she gonna go 10? All right, she's gonna go eight and a half. Feels a little dangerous. But she just did it. She's got a beautiful shot. Oh, my God. Again, more GSPs, great shot points just adding up. This is a massive 67-foot putt for Montigny, and he missed it. Oh. Jamie Arrington, king of the king hill. King of the hill. Of the purple bracket. Queen of the hill. Queen of the hill. I'm sorry, we're watching so many <laughs> great things going on right now. David Key, <laughs> one of the Louisiana boys, uh, embracing Jamie. Um, and there's some just, we're watching. It's a bird, you know, people watching. It's, it's phenomenal people watching. It's phenomenal. Well, while we're in between matches... All right, so we're getting ready. Uh, they're they're gonna get some more matches called here. We're gonna we're just gonna take a break from the commentary to go refresh. Refresh, and then uh, we'll be right back. We will be right back. Yeah, we got a little excited with that, you know, a little bit of adrenaline. Yeah, and he knows. And your Dallas just Open champion is Evan Gossett, the guy that did not lose today. I mean, it's unbelievable. Evan Gossett was able to stop Andy Haas's reign of terror, but 
Could he go back to back and win player of the year? Here we are on the uh, first hole and Andy's got a very makeable chip as he puts it in there. So here's a, here's a very makeable hole out. Just like I called it. A pretty easy look. That was a great chip there by Evan. I think he just got one back. Go back and look at, at him in Florida. It could be. Oh, oh my gosh. See? He's really going after this, this one. one. <laughs> Green sloping with the wind. He's going, he's going naked on it. Let's see if that. Oh, oh it's watered. Yeah. Oh, is that. That wow. might cost him. He actually hit the machine. Five hundred dollar fine. All right. So what's Andy do here now? He's up two. Uh, he'll just. Or he's up. It. He's up more than two, probably. Right. Yeah. He'll just put it right in the middle, and then that's it. Then he will be the player of the year. Andy Haas wins Top Gun for the second time. With a bounce back win in December to take the title of player of the year, 2022 was dominated by Andy Haas. But a new year is upon us and so is the start of the 2023 National Golden Tee Tour. The first stop is coming up in Orlando, Florida. Who will start this year off with a bang? Will Gossett or Haas take another W or will somebody else step up to the plate? It's anybody's game. City Showdown is back. Golden T Mobile hits the road and comes calling on Addison, Illinois Pyramid Sports Bar. Rumley will hit first, it looks like. That line is great. Yes. That line is great. The Windy City Showdown 2 is run by the players for the players and has a bracket for all skill levels. Come test your medal against competitors from across the globe. Tony was built for shots like this, situations like this. That line is great. And he punches it. Double aces from two of the very best. Just have to find your line. And it is. Oh! Clutch shot from Walter Flores. Money. What an assassin. Tilt oh, two tilt, iron. Tilt's going tilt in. two oh, iron. Love it. I, oh, I hate, actually hate it, but. <laughs> Does he have it. that shot? That's left. Oh, it almost down. hit that dude. Oh! <laughs> what an effort. I'll tell you when I see this shot where it's going to end up. Oh, he played more for it this time. And the match is over. The Windy City Showdown champion, Lance Harris, holds out with an over. Incredible shot. I had a great time. I did too. I'm sure you did. I, you know, this event. Great event. Player run, the first of its kind, with the help of IT. Who will lay their claim as being the best live Golden T Mobile player in the world who will rise who will fall it's the windy city showdown to the players championship you do not want to miss this
Amy Arrington, Aaron Nelson, or in the words of Steve Sobel, Aaron Baxter, Aaron Nelson, Nelson. Swiping in, checking in. Is this women's bracket? This Queen of the is. Hill? So this is women's bracket. I do not, I'm trying to check the bracket. I don't believe it's, uh, I believe we're past the King of the Hill here. So this is the loser. Ah, so the winner of this okay. plays Brittany Casper. So we are getting down to the wire here. This will be good. Uh, you know what's funny is I have to give Erin such a hard time because she was not feeling confident going into this tournament. And, uh, well, guess what? She's, she's playing in the losers' finals. At worst, she's going to take third place. It's a solid run. That's amazing. I mean, these ladies, they come to play and they know what they're doing. Neil, purple is still going on. Uh, Jamie Arrington of Washington um, just took queen of the hill yes. in the purple bracket. Yes. Uh, so that match, I believe there's another match going on right now, um, you know, because uh, our team's been here for quite some time. Right? We've 30, just got- In 31 holes, mind you. Yes, 31 holes, OT on Nordland. Um, <laughs> But these ladies are playing. Uh, other purple matches are being called, um, but we are down to just one stream machine here. We want to focus on the ladies, uh, the ladies bracket right now. But we'll bounce around as matches get called. You know, it is uh, 9:25 Eastern time. These uh, the ladies tournament started at 10. They took a little bit of a break um, because you had gold, purple, pink, and copper. Five different tournaments that. Uh, Power Vents was running all throughout today. Uh, so huge kudos to them. Uh, Chris, the owner of Sidelines, his staff, uh, Megan, Robbie, the managers. I believe it's Robbie's birthday. Um, those two have been it? rocking like 14 hour days the last three, four days straight. So amazing kudos to those guys as well. Um, just taking care of 186 plus people. Over 200 people if you include the husbands and the wives for sure. It's been a weekend. It has been. A little five wood chush. No, no chush. No chush. And no blood on the first hole. <laughs> that little, uh, that yes, Luna graphics, pretty good. It's so hard to not just stand there and just laugh at it. It is pretty dang funny. Um, my previous tag team partner and co-host, uh, Rachel Anthony Luna, as we're effectively calling her now, <laughs> uh, she unfortunately had to step away and was unable to sign off, um, taking care of PAL, Paul Anthony Luna, as uh, as he was making his way out of the building. Uh, you know, uh, a couple, uh, couple of losing... Uh, Losing effort, drinks, uh, you know. It's a long weekend, like we were, like John and I were saying. Uh, Mr. Totora out of Bolingbrook, long, uh, long time friend. Wonderful bar, by the way. Yeah. Someday we're gonna have to cram a Golden Tee tournament in there. Oh, we shall see. <laughs> oh, maybe Worlds. Hey, you know <laughs> what? Maybe. Bolingbrook, Illinois, baby. It's either, actually not a bad spot, let's be honest. Like, you're not far, too far from the airports. Either that or in the WeatherTech. Uh, yeah, um, we'll see if I, if David McNeil let us run out some uh, WeatherTech warehouses. God knows we have so many of them. All right, so we are square, square, going in uh, hole three here. Now, I'll be honest, I'm just happy to see Petra there were so many Nordling games. It's so, oh man, so, so much going on. Uh, it was just Nord after Nord after Nord after Nord. Well, and lots of swing holes on this course. That's true. Yes. Oh, I like that. Look. Oh. Almost. Oh, Aaron just inches away from a hole out, a hole in one. And Jamie has been on fire. 
today. She's you, not any, missing. Any advantage you can get, any hole outs, any strokes you can get on her, oh man, you need it. Brandon Robinson, Al Jazz, Nate, Cowboy, Van Hoosier, thank you guys for uh, joining us. Of course, uh, a few of the many that have joined us throughout the afternoon, throughout the weekend. Appreciate the support as always. It's been a long weekend, a long day of golden tea streaming, but let's be honest, it has been very well worth it. Absolutely. So, um, Jamie qualified on the machine next to me, and she was in the A flight, I was in the B flight, but we kind of were playing a little faster than they were, and so we essentially qualified like the last three or four, <coughs> the last three courses in a row, tandem, and she was running into issues on 18 of every course so she's pretty much corrected that <laughs> yeah you can tell she she has not hit uh, a lot of bad shots today hi brandon robinson and rachel and rachel <clears throat> can't leave her out of the equation We wish you guys were here this weekend. Of course. 186 total players in this very first tournament, the 2023 Florida Open. Still a lot of golden tee to play. Hey, look, uh, one of the guys who uh, beat me in purple still playing. That That's good to see. You know what? Hey. Who's that? Um, Dan G? No, no. Um, the other, the, who's Dan? Dan's playing. Gerard? No. I don't see who's playing. I will look. Uh, Dag Nasty. Oh, Dag Nasty. I know, as soon as I, I know his name, I just was talking to him. I can't. So tough. I know people's golden tea names. I know half of them by their real name. All right, so Aaron's got to make this to get her eagle. She doesn't have a bad look at it. Oh, oh, for having a tough tee shot where she hit the rock, man. She is, she's coming, she's coming at it. That's one of the reasons I play a nine and a half driver on this course, but. Yeah. I mean, I'll be honest, I play a nine and a half driver across the board because I just am too lazy to change my bag. Got to refresh because it's saying Dan G against somebody else. Yeah, P-E-G-T tour. Dot com. Air with the low two hybrid through the gap on hole five here. So Jason, Aaron's name is displayed as Baxley because that's what Power Events has. Um, and so that's what the stream team is pulling off of. Her maiden she, name. Yeah, she was actually joking about it earlier. Like, so we'll, they had it right last oh, year. Oh, Damian Sullivan. Yes, thank you. And for some reason, uh, Sobel's system got changed and it said Baxley. So that is why it says Baxley. But at this point, I'm going to have them have I'm going to have them change it to say Aaron Baxley Nelson Nelson. Um, you know, just to give her a hard time. Oh. All right, low two iron super spin. She's going to hit the rock first, but she is going to get a little grab there because she's. Rocking the super spin low iron there. You typically get a little bit of spin. Like, I get a little bit of spin with the three bird, and I try to play it where I hit it, you know, I play low T backspin, and that's not exclusive just to the spinny two bird. No, it definitely, it definitely helps, though. Certainly. There were a couple little uh, snafus as far as with the with the new website where it changed a, everything from uh, Florida Open 2022 to show different different courses. Like I randomly was looking through matches that I played that said that I was playing them on 2022 courses, this year's courses. Yeah, so I did notice that when they were putting the scores in, I think they have to adjust their website because they have 20, they have it up by a year. So like they had, they were choosing 2023 on their website. So we just yeah. have to have Mr. Chestnut uh, 
um, you know, change that for these guys. Yeah. All right, so it looks like on the uh, the purple bracket side, Dan Gillard versus Damian Sullivan, the winner of that plays Gerard, and the winner of that match plays the, the queen buzzsaw. of the hair. The queen of the hill. Oh, and it's a beautiful shot by Aaron. But the queen of the hill, Jamie Arrington. She's going on a heater. The heater. Somehow we turn the lights off over here and it's gotten hotter. Oh, they're all doing shots. Did Andy buy the shots and he's not even over there? Oh, no, it was Paul Taylor. Oops. Too soon. Sorry. Yeah. I'm just so used to it. John Tatura <clears throat> is here with me. I didn't introduce myself formally. That's all right. I didn't either. Yeah, Jeff, it's definitely been a long day for the players, a long day for everybody. Um, but, you know, as we get to uh, as we get to these tournaments that are bigger and bigger fields, you know, it, it's tough to get these tournaments done quickly. Well, everything was everything ran very smoothly, actually, today. I mean, I had a ridiculous break, but everybody did, so... Everything was pretty smooth. No, again, that's a and that's a kudos to Paige and Russ and Steve and the hard work they go through all weekend long, and uh, it it shows very well. Now this is a tough spot for Mrs. Arrington to be in. Um, she's got an 11 mile hour wind, which may help her out. She's got a she's probably going to hit the 10 and a half or the three wood with some backspin or bite. That's the play. And that wall on the right is going to be her friend if it cuts around enough. Perfect. Didn't even come into play. Yeah. <clears throat> yeah, I think that's the one thing you people don't think about, and it's not a readily used tool, is you can always go in there pretty damn hot and bounce it off that wall. And that was Certainly. a tough putt for Aaron. A tough, tough putt. Yeah, whenever the head's blocking the hole, that uh, it plays into plays into how you pot. Beautiful putt by Jamie there. So that's a two-stroke advantage. Yep, going into uh, hole eight there. <clears throat> This is a fun set. I was just, <clears throat> just going to say uh, offset. We'll talk. Um, you, you usually see the pin on the left and not the right. I like this. Yeah, you see the pin on the <coughs> left. You see the <coughs> like if it's if it's on the right side, it's closer to the front. Oh, oh boy, no, that's all right. She might be in the sand, I think. She's gonna have to sand her rough. She's gonna have to chip it, but she's up too. She's got some time. You're absolutely right, Nate. Yeah, it's fun to see these women over the last couple of years really uh, start to take the game in their own and they're learning more. They're playing more. As that's a beautiful shot. She's Crap. got the eight and a half. So it grabbed that. It grabbed that green real quick. Sure did. <clears throat> Eighty-three nation. Tom Putty. Yeah, Putty's been around with us for a while here on the stream. Twins are taking the division this year. Deal with oh, it. Oh boy. I believe the Twins are the third or fourth money line favorite. I oh, don't, I don't know. that was a beautiful chip there by, by Jamie. Just didn't get it all. <clears throat> so Aaron, oh, she's cut that uh, deficit down by one. So she is down one, going into hole nine. But also, now she takes the lead as we're getting ready to the turn. And I now like she this. gets to follow. 
I like this this look. It's just like almost like a left one, just push it. Yeah, you're right. But you that let that all the way over. Let that wind roll. Gap in. wedge release. Kent, this is at Sideline Sports Grill in St. Cloud, Florida, not far from Orlando. Oh, it's a good shot from Aaron. I believe she told me yesterday she bought AirPods specifically for this tournament because so many people were listening to music. Can't blame her. I just used the Kevin Costner clear the mechanism. You should be worried more about Cleveland and the White Sox. See, now Jamie must be listening to this live stream because I like that shot a lot. Oh, nice. Yeah, it's one thing. It's not always the person with the most points that is closest to making the shot because sometimes you just blow right by the hole. Oh, yeah, we've seen that a ton in all the stream like, matches here today. Like playing a guy like GVK, GVK almost holds out just about everything and doesn't necessarily get rewarded with the points he deserves. That's a really good point, honestly. All right, so <clears throat> hole 10 here, the par five, only 455. I had a look on this earlier today in a match with Art DeVries where it was a nine iron high tee, like seven iron, seven, hybrid, seven iron was way too long with a high tee. Shortest look I've ever seen on it. Yeah, that, that's an interesting one. Good shot there, three wood with bite. Um, Kent, yeah, no, the, it, it's been a wonderful week, and if you haven't had a chance to catch all the stream, I highly recommend you to go through it. Um, there are so many good matches in so many different brackets today, and, uh, you know, goldentee.com slash locations, find a game near you. If, you've, if you're not playing, if you're not playing enough, um, absolutely get out there, make it to one of these tournaments. There's 106, uh, excuse me, 186 people here for a reason. Not all of them are the Andy Haases and the Paul Talos. A lot more than you think are the, you know, the purple, pink, copper bracket players because that's how you get better. I saw a lot of 22 through 25 handicaps here today. And, you know, Travis Parnell is one guy that I'd like to talk about as far as 2020 showed up for his first tournament. And that dude is a player. And, like, Great pink bracket today, but or purple bracket today, but solid, solid player. It went from didn't necessarily know a whole lot to great player, and that's kind of what happens by showing up to these tournaments. <laughs> yeah, you learn so much more than you ever legitimately think you can or is possible. And, uh, yeah, yeah, so uh, <laughs> Al <Jack. laughs> yeah, Richard, uh, Cowboy, yeah, so, so my – and shout out to Rachel, uh, Paul Luna's girlfriend, her his better half, uh, as Jamie's getting some GSP action there. Um, she came in and did some commentary yesterday. Everyone ranted and raved about it. It was excellent. I had the opportunity to call the last couple hours of the matches with her, and my God, she may be one of my favorite commentary partners of all time. And that says a lot because I've had a lot, and a lot are, are excellent. But, yeah, she is um, – she was unfortunately sad. She went to go get a, a drink and do a, a restroom break, and unfortunately, uh, pal got palled. <laughs> uh, I didn't get to listen to her comment. I will watch the stream a little You'll bit later. You'll have to take it out uh, or, or you know, take some time to watch it. Um, we're asking about B-Man. Are we talking about uh, B-Man the B-Man B? Because he was not here this weekend. Definitely not here this weekend. Probably lawyering in Springfield, Illinois. Yes. Also, Kent, so the tournaments aren't necessarily listed in the caddy per se, uh, but we are working on something like that. But we do share them a lot on Golden Tee social media and through news articles that you can get to on the caddy. Um, but there is six national Golden Tee tournament events. 
kicking off here in Florida, Wisconsin next month. You can check out their schedule at PEGTTOUR.com. And then our world championship, more uh, to come there as we get closer to the summertime. But it is absolutely happening in 2023 uh, before more people ask. Um, and, uh, and of course, there's a ton of local small, when I say small, like 10 to 15 people to regionals that have 100, uh, you know, 75, 100 people. So uh, make sure you're following us on social media, but also going and joining the Golden Sea Fan Facebook group because you're going to get a lot of information from that as well. Connor, we <coughs> missed you and Craig this weekend, by the way. Tough, tough shot there for, uh, for Aaron. The 14-mile-an-hour uh, win got it. Got to her. But that's all right. This is set up for a full. Oh, Ooh. caught in the sand there. <clears throat> All right, so she's got a, <clears throat> a little bit of a chip there. Oh, just a little to the little to the right. 75 inches of entertainment, lull. <laughs> Brandon Robinson, we missed you. That's one of the reasons why you try to chip with uh, lower iron. Just try to keep it on line a little, little longer. That is why I am a huge proponent of the five hybrid, for better or for worse. This is a good hole right here. It's tucked a little further back, so you can't do like just the one turn. I'm sorry, the two turns, like she just did, and she's looking at. Maybe she's going to prove me wrong. Yeah, this is a tough look. Move, move that tee to the left. Tell me what's going on here. Click one right. Click one right. Tell me. She won't. That's okay. <laughs> Played it way too far out. Yeah. Good shot, though. Well, I mean, it could be worse on that setup, honestly. And if you don't hit it hard enough, you end up in the sand, up against the wall. It can get ugly. No, you're absolutely right about the distance optical illusion. Um, as far as distance, when you are two clicks left. Yep. And that's just, I think that's just a part of course knowledge that you have to have. <laughs> yeah, where she just clicked right and left there. It just jumped. It's just a part of course knowledge I think you really have to have. Oh. 
Yeah, so apparently she needed to either move the tee further left or that shot wasn't there. But either way, that made it so Aaron's shot was really no blood. Got Aaron, no, you're absolutely right. It did make her play the wrong club. I think I just kind of know in my head, like preset, that it's going to be a three wood, four wood, and don't really even pay attention to the distance. I pay attention more to where the uh, pay attention more to where the pin is at. Uh oh, we have a new visitor. Introduce yourself, new visitor. Kevin who? Oh, <laughs> Jackie's husband's back. Good, I missed to, you. To rile up the troops a bit again. How's everyone doing? Did you miss me? I missed you. <laughs> oh, we still got we got some good people still online. Oh, absolutely. Yeah, Miller, Al Jazz, Al -Jazz Mark, Mouth, Mouth, Nate, Jason Graham. I hope you're having a good evening, Jason Graham. Where are we at here? Uh, we are on hole 14 of Petra, and we have Aaron Nelson down one with honors. Okay. Down one with honors. Ooh. That's not the spot you want to be. <laughs> no, when you have honors, you want to at least be in the lead yeah, at exactly. worst time. <laughs> exactly. Well, we'll see what we can do with this. Steve Bigger. What's up, Squirrel? Oh, it's moving so fast now. Well, she plays quick shot. No, no, I'm talking about the, the oh, YouTube the comments. I pay way more attention to the comments than I do the matches. But this is to go and play the finals, right? This is on the loser side. Yes, this is, this is on the 2 3 side. Right, and the winner will play the queen of the hill, Brittany. Brittany Casper. So we've, this is it. And this was the top three last year. Yeah, sure was. This was the top three, and it went this exact way, right? Brittany was queen of the hell. Yep. These two played to play her, and Jamie won and then did the old double dip. Yeah, Brittany had a rough run on Anzi Cocos, on Anzi Cocos 17 against Jamie. Okay. I vaguely remember that. Yeah, there's a little slur in there. I'm not going to lie. <laughs> man. Oh, yeah, thanks, man. Uh I, I had a great, I felt really good qualifying, and then I didn't feel the same today. So I, I went 0-2 in the main, but, you know, I got those main points. So that's, sure did. You know, I'm, the whole, my whole thing is gearing up for Top Gun, because Top Gun is my jam. So as long as I can get a Top Gun, it's going to be it's gonna be a good How'd you do in that Dallas. Top Gun last year? You put on a little run. Yeah, so the two Top Guns ago, I finished 9-12. I beat uh, a couple people. I beat. Sean Gervais, you may have heard of him. I lost to him today. I didn't, I've heard of him. I beat Ryan McCook after he won the Dallas Open. Never heard of him. And I'm 1-0 I'm and against McCook. And I was really excited. I lost to Luna and finished 9-12. And then this year, the one we just had, I finished 7-8. And I beat CJ Wangler. I beat Christopher. Mouth, who's on the stream because he missed a couple putts. I'll admit it. And then I beat Paul Anthony Luna. To finish him in 912, what what he did to me the year before, and I finished seven eight. Hey, that's not too shabby. Oh, that's good. Anyway, that's old news. That's so old school. I was telling everyone I was the seventh best player in the world since since the Dallas Open. <laughs> You're not wrong. No, it's hey. You know that's a really good cumulative uh, cumulative ranking. This month's a month thing, and only taking five courses, leaving out the champ 99. Mick layup. <laughs> well, we should for what's that? Wisconsin. We're gonna have the Eagles Eagles Peak. Or what oh yeah, it? the Eagles Peak. So we'll have a new course for that. That's gonna be exciting. You know, Brewer actually made a pretty good point earlier today, and. They First time of, ever. <laughs> I agree, but they left off <coughs> when they uh, took Petra out and they left in Nordland. Right. Whatever. That caused a whole bleep load of hole-in-ones in the tournament. 
I had three hole in ones on Nord. Did you? <laughs> yeah. Oh, new tees too. That'll be fun. I mean, I'll play horribly because I always need. I have a. I need an adjustment period. I'm not gonna lie. But if we got new tees, it'll be exciting though. I I like the challenge. Samesies. Yeah. When is Eagles Peak releasing? Good question. Soon. Hashtag soon. Right. And who won the men's? That would be Paul Taylor. It's not men's. It's just the general open. Yeah. That's Paul Taylor won the Florida. The open. women competed and qualified, and they just there was no women in the main. But it, it's not a men's event. Correct. Old tees for Nord Allen. Nord Aljaz. I don't I don't get what's going on with the Nord tees, but I don't know. I'm not an expert. February 20-ish, Eagles Peak, hashtag soon. That's, so we'll have that's like coming up in two, two weeks. We'll have a couple weeks to, to practice leading up. Hey Bryce, you're still in there. We have a women's tournament because we want to grow the sport. And you want to, the same reason why we have a handicap tournament, you want everyone to feel inclusive and have a chance to be involved. I think it's a good idea to have the women's tournament. I have no problem with that. Jamie, like Jamie was almost in the gold last year. I want to yeah, say she was she's, bubble gal. She's close. I would say Jamie or Brittany, it's going to be close to see who first makes the main. Jamie's playing really well. Am I? Do I sound that drunk? I didn't, I didn't feel like I was no. that. I know I'm. I know I'm had a beverage or two, but it must come across as. No, I'm, you're drinking I'm more up. root beer than normal. Yeah. Or the oh, same amount as normal. That's not good. You don't want to do that. This is Thumbing a, a left eight, left nine is is ballsy because that's tough to get the thumbs out there. You know. Well, it's the. It's the way mouth would always talk about the trackball how there are the different the different rollers and different positions yeah and thumbing an extreme right is not easy oh the other jason gotcha oh go for it oh this is this will be a tough one i like this mm-hmm it's a little bit weird on this whole like as far as how Roll and release have really complete backspin tendencies. Oh, it's – I actually don't like this whole – because it's kind of BS that you're – you're going to end up in some junk a lot of time. It's hard because you got all that wind and it's just downhill and you're, and you're hitting a wedge a lot of times or a yep. nine iron. It makes you a chipper. Um, the score, I lost track. Jamie's Is up Jamie's two. up two, right? Yeah, Jamie's up two. So we're going to, we're it, unless something changes, we're going to have a rematch of of last year. Hickey, I'm, I'm the most humble person you've ever met. I'm so humble. It's unbelievable. If anyone can prove that they're more humble than me, I don't, I don't think it's possible. Oh. Jason and I were both telling each other how uh, we'd have to go both go on uh, big ooh, runs to ooh, run into each ooh. other. Yeah. <laughs> that didn't happen. We ran into each other right now. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> you don't, Jason, you don't understand how they thumb period or thumb for putting? No, thumbing is extremely important in the game. I, I loved my thumb game. <laughs> Uh, but I I putt all palm unless it's just a quick tap in whatever I might thumb that in. But in general I'm I'm all palm for the putts. But uh, with stouts, you thumb game stouts all day. Yeah, in general, if you play stouts, you should be thumbing. And if you're not thumbing, you're you're missing out. Aljaz, I joined your when you and Hickey were on the Discord stream. I was on an airplane in in like Colombia, and I joined your stream. How about that? That was pretty nice of me. All right, three strokes. This is, should be pretty much it, right? I mean, 
Something would have to go off the rails here. She could two putt. She just needs to be on the green. Yeah, you absolutely do not want to go to the left on this one. Just play the middle. Play in the middle. It's always hard when you're getting towards the end of the holes and you know you really can't catch up, but you got to be a good sport and play it out, and you just, you're just like, I'm done. I don't care. Oh, exactly. I, I had one of those earlier today. Down two strokes going into 18 on Easter. I mean, you can get really lucky, but somebody in the gold bracket isn't going to mess that yeah, up. Yeah, it's hard for them to, to mess something up. That is a long shot. And it's kind of counterintuitive because normally you want to lay up a little bit short of that and you want to play like a between B and C, between two and three. Right. Let's not get that. This might not get down. That's going to get the. It's hard to care when you're down those strokes, though. I, You know, you're just kind of whatever's. And I kind of don't. Does she have a putt from where she's at up top, or is that a chip? I would probably. Well, I don't even know. Probably, probably a chip, of, or you know, hit a wedge over that rock. Would pro is probably what you need to do. Jamie getting down. That's going to seal the deal. She could leave this up on the high side, two putt it. Yeah, you're and take home no, the win. You're absolutely not going after this one. Yeah. Well, and she's putting up, so it's not really that big a deal. There's nothing on the other cam. We are down to the nitty gritty, right? I don't think there's, the main bracket's done. Is purple done? Purple is not done. Oh, okay. Because Jamie Arrington is the queen of the hill in that. Oh, she gets, she's playing a heck of a weekend. Good for her. I love it. She's playing the most games of anybody this yeah. weekend. Staying loose. When you get to play that many games, you get to stay loose. <laughs> Haas messaged you. Haas messaged me for invites. He's still he's still hot. Like he's probably only on his third bucket of neutral today. The neutrals. Oh, good shot. Good, 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 good try putt when you don't need it. And we're gonna get another rematch. That was actually a good thumb putt there. I'll I'll give her credit. All right. There it is in the books. We're going to have the women's finals, a rematch of last year, the exact same. Brittany Casper, queen of the hell. Jamie Arrington coming up from the loser side will have to double dip her to take the win again. And I have a feeling we're going to see a lot of Jamie because if she's purple bracket, yeah, queen exactly. of the hell, with this, oh my goodness. How exciting. We're going to see at least three more matches with her. And you got the Sean Gervais setting up shop. Classic end of tournament. <laughs> that's Gervais. The, that's the spot. If we could do a quick nug reveal, can we get him a box of nugs? No, it's Sunday. Well, any nugs, any nugs will do. Chick-fil-A is closed on Sunday, so we might have to get a sidelines Chicky Tendy review. Who is talking? You've got two of the finest talkers in the Golden Sea community. I am Jackie's husband, Jason Lachavo. I'm John Totura. Sixto Lascano. And you're welcome. You're you're welcome that you have the both of us. Hi Chad Shrump. Chad, Chad Shrump. God he's so Talk good. about another good commentator. Right? Absolutely. Oh legend. Legend status. Absolutely. Best mobile commentator. We'll, we'll do our best to, to keep up with you, sir. And Indiana Hoosier Hoops. I don't know what that means. 